tonight on Poker After Dark. Oh wait, you raised? You screwed up. Daniel Negreanu takes on his coach. <laughs> Matt Berkey takes on the table. And just like that, Berkey has aces. Nice, nice job, dum dum. <laughs> and Scott Seaver goes for broke. I've never had good bounce back ability. Welcome one and all to Las Vegas, Nevada. It's a new season of Poker After Dark, and that means some new faces seated at the purple felt of the Poker After Dark suite. A familiar voice in the booth, however, I'm Ali Najad, and once again, we've got Veronica Brill on the floor bringing you interviews. Among the new faces are Zach Franzi in the one hole, who has bought into this 200-400 game with 50 grand and MJ Gonzalez in the five seat, otherwise known as Daniel Negreanu's coach, and he's in for a cool 100K. And I will take the Jack of Hearts, because it's my favorite card in the deck. All right, I'm taking the King of Clubs. Terrible card. <laughs> You'll see. <laughs> Jeez. I'm gonna follow Scott's lead. Loving it. Chewie told me Very his discipline. favorite card was the Jack of Hearts, and I'm like, he's a sharp fellow. He is a sharp fellow. And I've just ever since. I don't think you're allowed to. I think once someone has a favorite card, The ever sticky. Yeah. Big blind of Matt Berkey defends and flops yeah. a deuce on the paired flop. Be playing that's, 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 my deuce, that's my deuce of clubs, Daniel. Your what? Deuce of clubs. I'm just thinking, I, this is my first time playing live poker in like a year and a half, and I'm just already seeing all the props. Oh, the props. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just wait and see how many you sleep. Oh my god. Well, that's I the beautiful part really about sleeping. Props. By definition, you don't know you slept it. I used to have really bad props, but I didn't care because I just wanted to bury everybody. Yeah. I had a five in like five of my seven props. Yeah. So if the flop came trip fives and I was off for triples, it was, it was one million dollars. Yeah. <laughs> game over. And I did hit it once, but I was playing heads up against Barry. Oh, and a oh, double O. It was it was doubles. Well, yeah, I got yeah. paid though. Not that time. <laughs> <laughs> it was poor Barry, unluckiest prop player ever. No, he won like. Yeah. <laughs> Berkey picking up a wheel draw, checks a second I time, never heard faces say anything bad about a twenty eight hundred dollar barrel. That one guy one time. <laughs> I was like, wow, it's still out of character. That's funny. Yeah. Surrender. Yeah. Deuce. The white flag oh. is waved. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, sleeps or no sleeps? Mm, you pick. Sleeps. And <laughs> five hundred or one K. One K. Right, we can go bigger if you want. 4K. Okay. Well, that was a fairly easy Never negotiation heard. between MJ Gonzalez and Dan Smith for the props as you get a peek at Matt Berkey's background. We've talked about him being a Yinzer from Pennsylvania. Rep and Saul for Y, his I feel you. Poker Instruction Little Academy. Caffeine. The most horrendous thing in the world for you. <laughs> <laughs> the things I saw you do last year, <laughs> Matt. <laughs> This that was then. This is now. It's a whole I'm, new game, man. I turned over a new Different lead. Different kind of coke. We, we don't live in the past, no. man. No, that's oh, that true. green tea, <laughs> man. It'll really get you. 1,000. <laughs> we had a long week in Deer Valley. I didn't even do anything. I slept for four days. I understand. it. I did a lot of things and slept for, like, one day. <laughs> Raise and take it for Negranu's King Jack on the button. We've seen you quite a bit of Daniel of late. He spoke with Veronica about playing with his that's coach. You are probably the biggest superstar in poker, and um, you just played a really big heads-up match, and your coach is at the table. Are you feeling like maybe he'll use some exploitative play against you? Oh, I definitely think, like, you know, we've spent a lot of time together in the lab with a third party and, you know, really going over a lot of stuff in, in depth. So anytime you have that situation where you both learn in the same way and you know each other's strengths and weaknesses, yeah. it creates a, well, he knows that I know that he knows I know. He knows I know that he knows I know I like to do that. So I imagine there'll be some leveling wars. It should be some fun. Uh, how are you going to counter that, like just basically play randomly so he doesn't know what's going on? I think here's the thing, right? Like a counter to anybody who's like maybe going to exploit you is to play as close to like game theory optimal as you can. Right? Oh, wow. Because if you play Game Theory Optimal, there's nothing anyone can do to like exploit that. You're just playing your cans right. Um, but he's very good at a lot of things. So, I mean, listen, it's not heads up. There's a bunch of players at the table. He won't be my target. You know, I'm, I'm looking to set my sights on maybe some other players at the table. <laughs> he still, he still could not win. Yeah. It's there. Cool. And the coach will defend. 
As Negreanu's 5-6 suited. That's how I know when to quit a game. When I have to look at my cards four times. Top they're pair. Just, they're different every time I do math I again. It's been a while. 2,600 is in there, right? Okay. So. Uh, These internet kids, man. Can't 600. <laughs> Play button. Put it all together. Okay, with the old. It's just an honor to get to watch the gears turn in real time. Cool. Trying to educate so myself. Now there's Decide if I want hey to cross the in or not. Days. Top pair turns into top two as Negreanu now draws dead. 19. 19. Cool. Oh, there's Wrong. 8. Oh, there's 8. Oh, wait, you raised? You screwed up. You should have waited for the river because I was going to barrel it in there. <laughs> you raised for real? Yeah. Yeah. I was going to freaking pile. You missed out on an op. Sometimes it happens that way. I was drawing completely dead. Were completely. you? Yes. So Unless you had three. One for one. And I was drawing live. Living in Las Vegas now, originally from the Bay Area and a stint in Southern California, where he was a formidable yeah, adversary in just about catch. any <laughs> private game that was high stakes. 35 years of age. Beautiful daughter, Zoe. Is it only on the flop or at any point? Any point on the board. What if I asked a rabbit on a river and there it is? If you want to play that, that's fine, as long as it's called <laughs> prior. 1,000. <laughs> but only I'm allowed to ask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man, what a great situation that would be. <laughs> when you know you have his card in your hand and rabbit just every time? I'm not emotionally stable enough for that. I mean, for small numbers like this, it'd be fine. 42. But if someone could just randomly choose when to see an extra card, and if I got like whacked for like 30K or something like that, I'd be in outer space. Dan's button <laughs> open gets three bed by Better Diamonds. I'm not emotionally sound. Just, just volunteering that information is so Top pair super. against bottom pair on the Queen 8 7 board. <laughs> I think it was on the, I think you did Ingram you podcast did. and you said something to the effect that your emotional instability is a weapon. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, I can't call it a detriment because it's all I've had for years. That's, true. that's, that's the half cup, oh. the cup half full. Yeah, exactly. If I know I'm an emotional basket case, I might as well at least really that lean into exactly it. That is hearts, my friend. There. If I know I have problems, I just dive into them. Yeah, exactly. Lean into the discomfort. <laughs> <laughs> Wide awake is Dan Smith, who calls his jack of hearts prop and picks up a four pack. Which is in there? He'll have to put all four of it in there, plus another dime if he wants to see I the river. <laughs> it's so hard to figure out this freaking math stuff. Is all pot? Yeah. And did pick up a gut shot straight draw. 23.5. 23,500. Boy, and he is applying tremendous pressure to this ace queen, raising it up to 23 5. And MJ. How much is in there now? Makes the call. <laughs> more. Correctly. And his yeah, hand is hard. still yeah, best. Real game changer. Five of clubs does not rate to have affected anything. Check. Dan gives up. One pair. Winner. And two for two is MJ Gonzalez showing his chops.
Poker After Dark is brought to you by Roman. Simple, straightforward, the way healthcare should be. Visit GetRoman.com to learn more. Manscaped. Don't gamble with your grooming tools. Visit Manscaped.com today for the best in men's grooming. And Poker Go. Get in the game at PokerGo.com. Before the break, MJ Gonzalez made his presence known on Poker After Dark, winning a couple of nice pots to kick off this session. 10-5 offsuit, because it turned out I had never looked at my cards this way. <laughs> okay. And that that lesson really stuck with me for knowing when to quit if I'm not really able to see my cards anymore. Man, so brutal you didn't win that hand. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's I didn't say I didn't win it, but uh, I did win it. I mean, you, you learned a lesson. I yeah, yeah, exactly. That's it. fair. That's, That's fair. fair. I would have learned yeah. nothing that I won. Yeah, for sure. It would have been pretty cool, though. I was yeah, like, you, you apologize to the yeah, guy yeah, before you hit him with the bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was just like, hey, man, sorry. Sorry. Like, what are you sorry about? That's 10 of diamonds, five of clubs. I'm like, yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry about this. Yeah, 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 sorry, man. I have to snap you with this. I apologize. <laughs> Ducks, box cars, and an ace nine all take the flop, and ace nine emerges in the lead as Negreanu closes the action emphatically with a check back. Seaver holds the only flush draw as Franzi decides to get after it. Call. Scott makes the call and has kings full of sixes. Feels a little reluctant, but Scott wants to keep Zach honest. Well, maybe I looked at my cards incorrectly. <laughs> this time I knew what I had. Kicker got you, huh? So brutal. You get a nine with the worst kicker? <laughs> kicker problem. <laughs> Finally knew what I had and it punished me. Well, Zach Frenzy has only 36K uh, plus in career to live to tournament earnings. I don't want to hear it. Come. <laughs> I'm only here because Jake he begged me to come. <laughs> begged me. I've, I've, then I've I spent the last six days preparing for the fluff to get shown into my face. I understand. It's half the fun of playing with him. Oh, I'm sorry. I skipped Shadow Creek to make sure I played, and uh, they're at Shadow Who Creek. Who would have thought you were the responsible one? Obviously, I am the virtue of responsibility. Incredible. <laughs> what a crew that must be. <laughs> yeah, it's a hell of a crew right. there. Franzi is a convert from the Blackjack Streets. My responsibilities know no bounds. <laughs> which was his first gambling interest. Okay. Once upon a time, he was a busboy at Morton Steakhouse. Okay. Two jacks, two diamonds, and a seven. There's three players. Okay. In for 1,000 each. MJ, the pre-flop raiser. Gonzalez takes a stab. Franzi, a non-believer, calls with the ace-5, which is still good here on the end. But a pretty wet-looking eight of diamonds on the river. Which Gonzalez will fire 5K at. Zach has a little sniff there, but in the end, decides. Uh, what do you guys want to do about to let him get away with it? And three for three. I don't know whoever just won the last pot tips for the entire session. Love that idea. Yeah, love that. I let's vote on it. <laughs> yeah, in. Doesn't seem veto, veto. Mm. <laughs> okay, so so we have three two. So it's like Dan. Like <laughs> 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 no, let's just like, call it awesome. It's right so low. Okay. Oh, we can make it smaller. How about that? 
That's worse. That no, I, I hate. That I, say honest, I kind of hate gambling small as like a yeah, yeah, exactly. Right, you can turn it off. Like, hey, let's put two hundred dollars in the game. One thousand. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to do that. What the f does my Ace Deuce offsuit lose? How do you qualify Ace Deuce offsuit as a really bad hand? That's also a great question. Interestingly, MJ and Zach, who squared off in that last pot, have not one but two bio notes that they share. They both state that their single greatest accomplishment that they're most proud of is their kids. And that they think people play tighter on televised poker games than they do in home games. Meanwhile, got something brewing here. Negranu with the hooks, made it 1K, Berkey. With Ace King, three popped it to 2,500. And after MJ flatted the small with King Queen suited, Seaver gets out of there with the Ace Queen off. Good lay down from him. Negranu looking to call the herd. Pushing back, 12,500 total now. All in. All in. Berkey makes MJ's fold easy. So what is it, how much more? Make sure, 52. I'm probably playing. I think it's 52.5 total. Oh, you were winning? Very small. <laughs> the shocked voice. Wait, you were winning? <laughs> um, Negranu has Berkey I mean, well covered. To, so let me just 52 sure. on the dot. 52, and I've already put in 12.5. What was I doing around him? Doesn't have queens, I don't think. What were you thinking about doing? Kings, doesn't have aces. Has ace king, like, for sure. In one of those spots where it's just like, for sure he's got those two cards. Sure. And if he doesn't, I'll just look stupid. But, I mean, here. If you got ace king, you got ace king. Twice. Sure. You have ace king? Yeah. It's so weird how like you can just know for sure, yeah. right? When you have that hand. That's what you're hoping for, so you decide the only hand he can have. <laughs> I don't know how you wrote out queens and kings, but I can tell you later if you okay. want. Okay. <laughs> but there was for sure. I, I, I can tell you now. It's because he had jacks. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. Right, because if I would have put you on that, then I couldn't call. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, I understand that. You know, it's next level. Kind sure, of. sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Two times. 106,000 and change as we have our first all-in player. Two complete boards hey, coming. There's a good flop for the jacks. Berkey's got the king of hearts working. And I in comes hearts. a third heart. Giving Berkey 13 outs. To capture the first half. <laughs> All right. And that's it's not one of them. Out of cards for free. I get all in. I have to run it six times. <laughs> Jacks. <laughs> what a release! I need the first one. Oh my God! We called it off. We did. You called it off. I, I really it's wanted such to. Such a fish. Well, look at that. That's a good flop for you. That certainly oh, looks like a winner for Berkey. Nothing can possibly go wrong. Any more hearts? Yeah. yeah. So I just need like a so class, like nothing could go There's wrong. lots of jacks left. <laughs> With the nut flush draw. Two? There's, look at all those cards. None of them are jacks. So there's two left. Makes it about 33%. Facts. 31. Oh. Shop it up. And we'll press the reset button here. You met sports. Michael cheated. Are you and Berkey? <laughs> look at all those hearts. Well, it wasn't long into the night before we saw a pot north of 100K, but thanks to running it twice, both guys got their money back. <laughs> back inside the Poker After Dark suite for a high stakes 200 400 no limit hold'em cash game. 1,000. Daniel and Berkey both in there again. And some red crab for MJ. Okay. He'll go set mining. Okay. 10 8 6. 
to Diamonds. Negrano with the best of it. Berkey with the bad end of a gut shot. Matt, where do you rank in the pickleball streets? Are you like the end boss? No, God no. Oh, really? We play with Bigger, the group. Super athletic, long, big reach. No, there's so many people who have like strong tennis backgrounds, mm. uh, which I've never played a racket like sport me. before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, 30? It ranks 30. the same as tennis. I think I'm probably somewhere between 3035, gotcha. which is like rather beginner. MJ asking the question with a 3x check raise. Twice I played until I forget that it's like a wiffle ball. ball. And I would just be like smashing it as like hard as you yeah. can. And then they just like walk backwards. And, yeah. the <laughs> and I'm like, I've accomplished nothing here. Yeah. It's very satisfying. It does feel really good. If you kind of get like in a scramble, it's a nice bailout mechanism. Yeah, but like I was trying to hit like top spin forehands. And like that's just not a thing. Yeah, no. The, the tennis background where it comes in handy is. Turn barrel like of over net. 10k. Yeah, largely like net play, like people who are able to like cut and slice and do yeah. like weird things in the short game. It's pretty good. Let's learn a little more about MJ as he spoke with Veronica about being a new dad. So your daughter just started walking. I saw you tweet about yeah. that. How has that changed your life? It is unbelievable. Like it's so weird. Like when you're a professional poker player, like you have a mindset of just like earn, earn, earn. And like you don't care about the variance. And then when you, when your daughter is born, and it, your eyes just light up and everything changes. You know, every you become cognizant of so many different things that you never thought possible. So like my priorities have kind of shifted, but I'm still you know in the high stakes scene. Yeah, I can tell you're a coach for a lot of big name people. Yeah. How does it feel like to play against one of your students? It's just like playing against another poker player. I just I approach it with a strategy and I execute. <laughs> Before tonight's action, MJ and Daniel squared off on the chessboard. You seem really frustrated. Where Daniel has been spending considerable time online, playing, polishing his game. MJ with far less experience. And chess and pickleball have certainly been arenas that poker players have turned to to keep themselves sharp physically and mentally outside the poker realm during quarantine. Gut shot straight draw on the button for Negranu. Better one in the small for Berkey. And he will check raise, putting a lot of pressure on middle pair behind him. And with the eight out of there, Berkey, now a heavy favorite. Paul. Daniel with the backdoor spades. Wants to peel, and in comes that five of spades. Six to one, the lay here. And it feels like we know where those two flags are headed. Right into the middle as another 20K slips into this pot. Berkey has just queen high now. He can't imagine his hand is good, though it is. Will he fire this crucial third barrel and collect the spoils, or will he wave the white flag? He chooses the latter, and now Daniel must bet. And he very confidently 
asks for all of it. Oh, I have a spade, that's bad. He didn't have a spade, good thing I did. <laughs> At least one. <laughs> <laughs> he definitely had the best hand there. I told you I felt like ripping it. I almost called you the queen high, but I had the It was good. Spades. Yeah. I had the 10 6 of spades. Ouch. Well, the new D Negs has some new moves. A big all in with 10 high and shows Berkey the bluff. Back inside the Poker After Dark suite at Aria Resort and Casino as we jump right into the action again with Scott Seaver opening with Ace King. It's uh, folded around to Matt Berkey who has aces and this won't be pretty for Scott. Berkey three bets to 4,000. Have you been playing much in LA? I live here now. I had no idea. Whereabouts? Uh, the lakes. Scott seeing effective stacks of 32,000. Yeah, but which lakes? Because there's like four of them. There are lakes in Summerlin. No, off of Sahara. Right? Decides to get it all in now. Berkey, of course, with the snap call. And Seaver is going to get the ugly news. 73,000 in the middle. And Scott with just 7% equity. And just like that, Berkey has aces. Good no reloads. Nice, nice job, dum dum. <laughs> I would have folded if you had a penny more. I understand. You got maximum, maximum value, sir. Matt lamenting the fact and that then. he didn't reload prior to this pot. Started things off with just 36,000. Oh, worst river. Seaver torches a king on the first board. And he's not looking good on the second. What you got? Uh, I think 36. Queen leaves him drawing dead. So it's a full, That's if up. modest, double up for Matt Berkey. Back in the black. Seaver, meanwhile, down over 40K. Bergie giving himself a sarcastic pat on the back. Did you have anything extra? No. No, I asked. What a needle. <laughs> what a needle. <laughs> what a <laughs> needle. Yeah. <laughs> I tried to. I added a lot of heart and determination. I, I will make it nine. <laughs> 900. <laughs> The dedication and focus is Absolutely. now there. Call. Smith Absolutely wakes up to two queens on the, the button. The old Scott would be tilted playing this stack. This is new mature Scott. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, new mature Scott will Eight. open Eight under the gun for 1,000 and folded for 3,200. You can recognize when a man has it. Call. There. Sievert check calls 800 with the king Not six and hits a six. Get it all in against basis, or maybe not. Well, he yeah, had, he, had it. You're fine, thank you. Like 45, I think. 22. 2200. Boy, this is a milking here. Smith could have bet north of pot ever so slightly and gotten. All of Scott's chips in potentially here, but instead he asks for just 2,200 of the remaining 45. All in. All in. And induces oh. the check ship, Fair. perhaps. Fair. One time. <laughs> <laughs> are you guys all left-handed, or do you just shuffle with your left hand? I'm, I'm right-handed. I'm right-handed, right -handed, right -handed, but like the chips are here. Yeah, so it's the yeah, setup. It's 100% the setup. It's just, you just hate I'm, to see it every I'm, time. Yeah. I'm right-handed too, but I've been... Let me see the second river, just for Scott, <laughs> for Scott's sake. Oh, no. Ah. <laughs> well, Seaver will be left with no choice but to add on now, unless he wants to hang up the cleats early, as 
Smith collects a pelt. Not a great one, two for Scott Seaver as a cold deck torched most of his chips. Then the crumbs found their way to Dan Smith. Rebuy coming up. Before the break, Scott Seaver lost most of his chips to Matt Berkey's aces, then dusted off the rest, leaving him digging into his pocket for a rebuy. Fair. I could have been winning. I mean, you've been known to check raise a little bit better than a, or a little bit worse than a pair. Gotta get out. No, just got top pair. We have a newborn. Yeah, well, heart. Dog, so it's like, <laughs> Sometimes you, you got it. Squirrel <laughs> finds the nut. Family just top, just top pair with a heart. Sometimes you got it. What am I supposed to do? One thousand. Don't worry, Zach. If I keep playing this way, you'll have all the money. Truth. <laughs> At least there's some truth in it. I still can't get over the Jack ten seven deuce PLO hand we play. I don't remember it. Be sure you don't. Let's I play don't around a few hands were. Okay. Let's do that. Let's play around. I four bet Berkey flats. You're king queen nine. Flats, you're oh yeah, king, yeah, yeah. Queen, I just have yeah, yeah, yeah. ace king king ten. I was double suited. I yeah, heard that's a good thing. Jack ten seven deuce. There, Word on the street is that is. Yeah, I, but like I don't know. I thought that was very critical. Somehow it goes all in on the flop and he shows me the old Jack ten seven deuce somehow. Granu getting oh, frisky out of the big here with 7-5 off suit. <laughs> board coverage, that's like a phrase. That's a know, thing. That's a thing. That's a ball. thing. And Berkey loves to play big ones. Hangs tough with the ace nine suited. Now Smith with a bit of a decision after electing to flat. Well, this just doesn't seem King fair. suited pre. <laughs> Oh, you got what you wanted. Well, Didn't miss it for the world. Very yeah. fair. <laughs> <laughs> Four play, you know, three callers is a little. You made a nice big pot for the win. And Dan's call draws Zach in there as well. <laughs> and he flops himself top pair for the yeah. best hand yeah. while Negranu yeah. has an open ender. This Nobody has a lone yep. club, let alone two. And this takes a little courage. Negranu, a big $17,500 bet, dispatches the over cards. And that's a big ask out of a pair of sixes with no backdoor diamonds. Francie, check raising all in. You got like 50. Yeah. Don't look at it. Yeah, I just have three sixes. Twice? Oh, really? No, no. I yeah, it was like, that would be crazy. <laughs> because so you, you have do three twice? sixes? No, I have oh, the six, seven. Oh. Yeah, that's you, you do twice? Psychopaths. <laughs> <laughs> two times, two straights. Did you no. teach him that? Two boats. I didn't teach him that. <laughs> he said I have three sixes. Well, that's awkward. I mean, it yeah. almost worked. He, Negrano leaving the field a little surprised as they'll run it twice in an almost 120k pot. Monkey. Swing and a miss on the first turn. Monkey. Fair. Right. Close, but not fair. Feels good to win the first one, as they say. Fair. Hold on. There's so many times that I can bitch about it, you know. No, there isn't. Hey, the good news is if he hits me on the turn, I'm redrawing. Yeah, 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 exactly. Coming. Uh, I'm coming. I wish I would have peeled. Oh, not the Jack Jack. <laughs> Same story on the second turn in the corner. Left That's in need of a three one. or an eight for a no. refund. Yeah. Oh, too fair. You Instead, sevens Holler. and sixes. Uh, and there is a big uptick on the Zach Franzi chart. Well, it's not often you scoop a 120K pot getting it in with a pair of sixes, but Zach Franzi is the delighted beneficiary of Kid Poker's chips. Back to Las Vegas for more Poker After Dark, where Zach Franzi is sitting with a nearly 70K profit after a nice little run. He absolutely is. Karim was in town for 10 days. I got to play one session with him because I couldn't find 1, the heart 1, to come back. Yeah. 2,500. I've never had good bounce back ability. <laughs> <laughs> we I'm kind of with you, Scott. I fall off the ladder. Yeah, it's yeah. more of a better yeah, analogy. You don't have to, if you never leave, 
you, you can't bounce back. You're just, you're just, you've never left yeah, the game. that's true. I also just never leave. But Earlier in this session, Negreanu had the jacks oh. against Berkey's you know, ace-king, like and they got it in there. Shooters, they miss one. Might the rolls get reversed here. 96% on the next. As Daniel four bets it. Berkey opting to flat. Twenty K in there pre. And the ace in the window right away for Daniel. Fairly wet board. Fifty two hundred. And just a quarter pot bet. On the turn here. On the flop, rather. Okay. Berkey hangs in, looking to pick up equity, which he does not. Now, Negreanu heavily in the lead. Again, north of two thirds pot. Will Matt give him credit and release? The answer Least is that. yes. Oh, Maybe I'm something right. better. Huh? Obviously, so you didn't have to take this. <laughs> we should have just got it all in and flipped again. Yeah. Mm. I guess you could add king queen space. No. Nope. Nah. Add the queen space. <laughs> that makes it hard. Yeah. Yeah. Get Berkey sizing Daniel up there, and Negrano wouldn't have minded a call. It's just the queen on the end that would have made an, an unhappy camper. Tall order, though, as he gets a refund on some of those chips he lost to Franzi. Forty-four hundred. Meanwhile, Franzi getting three bet by MJ. Hangs in there with his king jack. And flops top pair against a gut shot straight draw. That's small. I mean, I'll be anti-sweating myself. Like, of course. Yeah. Unbelievable. This. That's just mandatory. Cool. Frenzy choosing to just call the flop now on the turn. MJ picks up the flush draw. Fires again, this time 5,700, and it doesn't look like Franzi gave much thought to making this call. And that is a soaking wet eight of hearts on the river. Choosing to check. Oh, and Frenzy's going to take a chance here. Well, 
1,400. And MJ's sense of sniff is strong. If he thinks that Franzi is out there weak with this value bet, he is not afraid to put a raise in. He does block 9-10, but it's the hearts that could be worrisome. MJ reached for that stack of flags and looked for a second like he might pull the trigger. Blasting off there. Yeah. Should have blasted off. I thought you were making a 42. That was very, probably very putting the chips in faster than my head could spin. Yeah. If you just say the nuts, I say nice hand and add on. Yeah, we move on. Life goes on. Weird. Wasn't up to no me at that point. Huh? Wasn't up to me at that point. No doubt. Poker After Dark is brought to you by Roman. Simple, straightforward, the way healthcare should be. Visit GetRoman.com to learn more. Manscaped. Don't gamble with your grooming tools. Visit Manscaped.com today for the best in men's grooming. And Poker Go. Get in the game at PokerGo.com. You did a nice one to nuts. Christoph when me and Daniel are at the table. You gave a speech. I uh, did do that. Uh, that was nice. Club. Man, I had ace jack. I almost we like, didn't chop that one, though, right? <laughs> Him with the fishies. No, he folded well, trips. Like, yeah. You bet that on the queen? And you windmilled it in space. Yeah. I that one was, that one was really great. Off, but are you going to? Oh, my favorite one you did was when you said, you did this to yourself. Oh, yeah. The guy bet the river, and you go, oh, my God, you just did this to yourself. And then you, like, check raised big, and he folded, and you showed air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's like, remember, remember when you fold this, that you did this to yourself? Yeah. <laughs> that one I remember. That's one of my that favorite was, ones. I remember yeah. My you, absolute was favorite is you against Sergey in the <laughs> WSOP. Check. I don't know. Check. Oh my God! You every hand you mimicked him, you made fun of him. Oh you yeah. You just needled him as hard I, as human as possible. Went, I went out of control on him. He wanted to light himself on fire. Yeah. Seventeen hundred. I still remember it. It's so funny. Ace queen against two kings. That, that was right after him and Emil got involved in like big fight in like EDT Berlin or something like a thousand years Franzi ago. just defended the big and now you, peels you the turn, it. picking up an inferior club draw. Well, dude. And I was just like, oh, next time I play with him, I'm just gonna be on him like glue. It was relentless for like five levels. Yeah. Just chirped every single What hand. event was it? Not in it. Uh, some, I don't know, 10K stud or something? Yeah, some absolute like nonsense event yeah. with like 80 people in it. <laughs> <laughs> Just completely on him. Wow, and a limit game, it's Nine a lot dollars. harder. <laughs> it's so much more satisfying. They tilt so much worse. Frenzy choosing to check raise, 3 xing the 3K to 9. Cool. Oh. Negron is certainly not going anywhere. And in comes the club. Negrano. Has the king high flush draw up against the queen high flush draw. Neither player has the nuts. Five eight of clubs, ten eight of clubs, and the ace of clubs all beat their holdings. That's smaller than I was going to bet. So I think you did good. I think you saved money. I think. If you have the king, I saved money. You did, you did. I have a flush, but yeah, king's I, good. I have the king. The two of them? It does matter. Yeah, yeah. Nice. <laughs> so the downsized defensive bet on the end saves Franzi money. Now. Just a little. <laughs> Six, I think. Or eight. I guess that was the move, huh? Check Jeff. That's Daniel trying to rebound. Still down 21,000 as we'll get a look at the stack sizes. Brought to you by GG Poker. Negranu in for 150K. MJ Gonzalez up 22 on his 100K investment. Franzi, the big winner, up 69 on his 50K. Dan Smith stuck 31. Berkey up six. And Scott Seaver down 46,000. Next time on Poker After Dark. I almost ripped it in with the AC club. I knew he had a straight. I thought for sure he had a straight. Jake Daniels joins in on the fun. What kind of person straddles and folds free? And this is embarrassing. Shut up.
Scott mounts a comeback. I was like, I can do this. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> You're so inspirational. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Dan Smith goes full cowboy. If I can only lose 30K today, it'd be great. Tonight on Poker After Dark. Oh my God. Oh, it's over. A new gunslinger joins the party. That was a one in 20 right there. Dan Smith ponies up. If I can only lose 30K today, it would be great. And Scott Seaver comes out firing. What kind of person straddles and folds free? This is embarrassing. Shut up. The bright lights of Sin City beckon us once again to Poker After Dark. Welcome back for another high stakes cash game located right here at Aria Resort and Casino. As we head inside the Poker After Dark suite, I'm Ali Najad calling the action. Veronica Brill on the sidelines with the player interviews and these six are sitting with a minimum of $40,000 to play some 200, 400, no limit, but look out, six has become seven. That's Jake Daniels flying into the one seat, and he's a man that's virtually synonymous with big time action, able to play any two cards at any time, and pretty much fearless when it comes to mammoth pots, so buckle up. Kind of like my solution to coming down from Molly. Just take more? Just do more Molly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> my solution to Molly. A bunch of K makes it all better. Got a glimpse there at Jake Daniels from Katy, Texas. Grace. President and the CEO of RTIC Custom Shop. Molly, I like a that real stick too. on the golf course. As long as she's mixed with a power aid or something, she's good. That Meanwhile, that Berkey defense Molly against Seaver's open. That's horrible. It's gotta be in like a Gatorade or a power aid. Middle pair against the flush draw, both players check, add a gutty. Yeah. To Berkey's arsenal. First the senior house is a little different than mine. <laughs> 15. So maybe they're nicer in your house. <laughs> Matt led at the turn for 1500, got called, and he has made two pair while Seaver makes the 35. jack high spades. 3,500 the bet. Ford was straight out there too, so this value bet was always a little risky. Scott raises it up to 22,500. That's a big lump. And oftentimes the initial reaction from a skeptical opponent is why so much? See what happened with it. It was a Monday and I went golfing. I missed my COVID test. But I didn't lose a bunch of money at golf. So after some consternation, Berkey makes the right decision and releases. The guy says, have you had a COVID test before? Yeah. He goes, oh, well then we'll get this over with quick. Thanks, pal. The guy made eye contact with me and was cheering me on. Did you got this. Take it. Yeah, you can yeah, do yeah. it. Did what you enjoy it? <laughs> I kind of appreciated it. I was like, I can do this. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> You're so inspirational. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need you all with me all to the time. To be fair, I did do it. Stack sizes brought to you by GG. Big winner on the day is I don't know, but I Zach Franzi. Mean, up we're going to put in the 50K arm wrestling and change. <laughs> and Jake Gonzalez up 25K. And the, the only other winner, Matt Berkey. Still like your chances. Up a Damn, modest two dimes. I like it better than this. <laughs> I can't remember his name. He's the 11. Eric Casualay. No. no. There's a guy that says he's like he the best 4, arm wrestler 000. of all time, and he would prop bet anyone in arm wrestling that, that plays played poker? the 25Ks now. Then yeah, he's a poker player. He's in his like he's like early. You know, 50s. he's actually good. And then he no arm wrestle anyone. Really just like he he shattered his arm. Oh arm wrestling, and now he's done. You know Marco, right? Yeah. yeah. He's really good. Really? I watched him beat a dude who's Marco like, Johnson? Oh, Marco Trenniello. Trenniello. 
Jennifer's uh, okay. Okay. ex. Yeah. I watched him, like this guy who's a big, you know, huge meathead. It's just all about technique. Yeah, right? it's all like it's technique all and like grip 100%. strength and like something with like just these pulled. muscles here, I which actually, aren't like. I had the guy who was like ten times uh, farmer's really champion at my house. Big Russian guy, the guy. vegan guy, because that's we were doing a documentary or whatever. Yeah. And he was like, showing me like tricks. Like he's like, you know, pull it to you. Because when you pull it to you, you yeah. lengthen the closer, muscle out. Closer to your body too. Everything's right. So he's like, pull, oh. pull this nice. way. Nice. And then you, the guy's arm starts to stretch, and you can't. The and then there was other things like over the top. Trip. I saw on the internet recently, and then of course I watched because I was compelled. There is a tournament where you're heads up, and you just open hand slap oh, yes. the other person <laughs> yes. as hard as you can. That thing and then they go back, and you just go back until someone either falls or taps. Yeah. That's and a, that's a concussion. I saw these two like oh, 400 pounds. Could you imagine how many concussions? Just from Matt, it was like, insane. Unreal. 50 50, right? I think I can cuss from down here. If the slaps are like. No, they because they miss and they hit here. No, because sometimes oh. they miss. They hit your head, bro. Yeah. That's all on YouTube. Japan has opinions Crazy. on how often. One dude got his head blasted out. <laughs> yeah, if only we could find a way to fuse that and poker. Meanwhile, Berkey and Franzi slapping each other around. Oh, that can't get caught. Zach opened much. the cutoff to. 1100, okay, Berkey so. three bet to four dimes. <laughs> His $1,500 C bet on the flop was called by Zach. Then on the turn, Matt pumped the brakes and called a $4,400 bet. Here he is on the river, having checked again. Oh, uh, you win. And induced Franzi to fire 12,300, which he promptly calls. You didn't have to win. Nice line by Matt. Good for a 45K pot. Putting him firmly in the black. Poker After Dark is brought to you by Roman. Simple, straightforward, the way healthcare should be. Visit GetRoman.com to learn more. Manscaped. Don't gamble with your grooming tools. Visit Manscaped.com today for the best in men's grooming. And Poker Go. Get in the game at PokerGo.com. Welcome back to Poker After Dark, where Zach Franzi just attempted a heroic bluff, but Matt Berkey was right there to pick him off. We'll see how Franzi responds to getting caught red-handed. King Jack suited. A little golf trip last week. And not one, but two seats. 36, two days in a row, and 18 the next day. Absolutely worn out. You haven't been playing, huh? No, but I'm going to start again. Yeah. I was busy playing because I stopped when I started doing heads up poker. Yeah, you start I figured studying. I got to do one or the other. If I golf, I'm going to waste all my day. And then I started playing chess for this chess tournament thing. And, and now I guess I can get back to golfing. <laughs> Where do you play mainly? TPC Summerlin. Yes, that's right. Sometimes. You play there? Yeah. I love it there. It's like the only place I play. I play some Southern Highlands it's Shadow cool. occasionally, but yeah. Summerlin's. I don't mind playing the same course over and over. I don't either. I know the greens. Well, my guy knows the greens. <laughs> yeah. MJ follows through for 5,200 on the five high board. Franzi wants to take a peek at the turn where he picks up the flush draw. I like it. I mean, it's crazy, but I like it in June, July because there's no nobody, nobody out there. Me too. But it's 108. Doesn't, doesn't bother me. Me too. Me neither. Not here. I just love fast golf. I hate humidity and there's none. We have quite a bit of humidity in Houston. It's pretty I'd much rather, I'd rather golf in 108. 70 with no humidity? Me too. 80 humid. I can't. Hate humidity. I'm used to it, though. Yeah, I guess you get used to it. I, I feel like a lizard when I'm here. I'm you like, have me covered, need, right? I don't need water, man. I don't know. It's weird. Well, Lotion, chapstick, humidifier. Like, yeah, yeah. They're in my bag. Like, every time and I come to they just go try unplugging it and replugging it in. We're like, we've done to that. To be fair, it's actually <laughs> usually really good advice. But we did that. <laughs> and people don't do it enough. It's like oh. not the worst but, advice. But then it's like we, they say that, and then we they're, they're out of ideas now. Well, yeah. yeah. Just like, wow, you, you used our secret weapon, and it didn't yeah. work. <laughs> Uh, let's see if MJ's out of ideas as he went from 4,200 pre for the three bet sizing to 5,200 post and then 7,700 on the turn. He's got this pot bloated up to 35,000. Is he concerned that Franzi had an ace? And the answer is apparently no. 17,5.
His cards haven't hit the muck just yet. But eventually, they work their way there, and MJ can breathe a sigh of relief. So simplify for myself and just jam turn, raise turn. I'm thinking about buying a house out here, and I can't figure out where I want to move. Southern mm -hmm. Highlands is jam packed. I hate I hate slow golf, and every, I, I play. so many great like because we were looking maybe at moving in so many amazing properties for like reasonable prices. But Southern Highlands, you can't find one right now. What? It's impossible. My the housing the housing market inside There's of Southern Highlands is right literal now. zero. Really? Well, I don't know. We looked a year ago. Yeah. Yeah. Right no, now, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's, it's no, two weeks nothing. ago there was four. I'm looking as well. There's uh, four? Yeah, basically no, I, everything I turns over every like I reached out to my, like my buddy's minutes. realtor. Yeah. Correct. A year ago, out. there was like all these places in the ridges and the summit. And There's, yeah, and the, the average. Well, summit was great if you could get a property like three years ago. Now it's like three and a half million dollars for a lot. I, I could have. I was about to buy and then, well, yeah, I, I don't want to say, but there was a, uh, yeah, Bobby's lot, close. Bobby's lot went up 10 I, I chose a lot and I was about to put the down payment on it. Would have been a good one. It was right over like the 10th hole. It was really nice. I love that. Oh. You played out there? Yeah, yeah, I played yeah, there. I freaking love that place. I think the lot when I was trying to buy it was pretty close to three million. Or anyway. And it's probably like nine now. Well, because it was a pretty decent sized lot. Mm. Like, I didn't want he showed me a lot of places that were smaller than I have now. I'm like, I don't want to downsize. Mm. Frenzy. You know, I, I know Getting it's a nice three bet once thing more to be after he community. opened yet house. again. Yeah, I this time he's beat. Don't but he does have an open ender to go with his outkick top pair. Massive. But I got nothing. There. That likes to check that textured flop. 63. Zach fires 6,300. Nothing to eat in the Southern Highlands. No, eat well, in the restaurants there? that's what Ben said. I can, a good buddy of mine was getting, 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 getting spaghetti ready. Western. What's that? Spaghetti <laughs> Western. <laughs> it's um, almost not her. Well, how far are you from the M? Like, you know, uh, I'm in Summerlin for that reason. Oh. So, like, when I was like, in the Southern Highlands, I don't know what you do. Postmates. <laughs> I don't even, we're, it's too far. Really? No. Really. I order Chef Kenny's twice a week. Yeah. It's Good, unreal. Huh? People that have tried it can't believe it. 13 2. Scott, check called 6,300, and now Who knows this line he has taken is. Good. <laughs> Growing increasingly how he makes uncomfortable. The have the same texture and yeah. taste of shrimp. It's I think he uses funny. seaweed and algae and. I mean, it's the same exact texture. Mm. Thirteen thousand two hundred. No, are any of these yours? Puts it in there. That's my hat. No, are any of these yours? Are you sure? Bad joke. And a bad river for Scott as he makes top two, but backdoor spades and four to the straight, which Franzi has, are also out there. And Zach fires 15,100. Like you. <laughs> <laughs> so rude. <laughs> Can you tell me any hand that I beat? Because I'm just trying to think of any. Depends what you have. Does it? <laughs> what do I beat? I need to know a hand. Can you beat deuces? I can beat threes. Beat threes. Not in my situation. Okay. Great. And Scott pays off. Green was good though. No. I could be three. Good river, Zach. Big pot heading Franzi's way. 
as he reclaims the top spot on the leaderboard. And for Seaver, an ugly river, but he had just enough hand to pay Zach off and see the bad news. More Poker After Dark after this. Before the break, Scott Seaver rivered top two, but lost to Zach Franzi straight for a tough beat. Luckily, that hasn't stopped the endearing table talk. Our story of Chip that I've always loved is um, Chip and, Jack. whenever Chip and Doyle were in a pot, Jack. you know, people will sometimes like squeeze their card bay hand 50 50. Do you want to chop it or save anything? Um, Chip knew Doyle would never do it no matter what. So Chip would fake squeeze, know he like missed, or like, I'm sorry, know he made Had it, it. Yeah. and would only ask Doyle if he wanted to save or split the pot if he had it. So Doyle would always say no for like five straight years, and Chip would be like, oh shit, I have it. <laughs> and just like till Doyle out of his mind. <laughs> Very because cute. he would offer it every time. And Doyle would be like, nah man, I, you know I don't do that. He's like, okay, you sure? It was like, let's see it. Oh I had it. Tried to save you money. Ta-da. We call that the ta-da. Ta-da. Oh, the angles. Chip Reese certainly was a legend of the Bobby's Room days. Back before many of the modern era players were partaking. Those legendary 4,000, 8,000 games that used to get spread in there. All in. Seaver. Ta da. That's Piles <laughs> with the Ace King. Do you want to save anything? <laughs> Big, uh, quick work of the field. Keep 200. Did you ever hear about the Ken Flight and Stu Unger stud hen? Oh, yeah, it was definitely Toby because we were talking to him. He was like, yeah, yeah, he just kept mucking everything. Toby just calls him on the river with like eight high. Like, not a uh, maybe it's good, maybe it's just like a has no chance whatsoever. Just situation. hoping for the you know, yeah. luck. And, and the better part is Roland he showed sh one. He showed one. And Toby's like, oh, two cards play. And Roland's like, no, man. <laughs> <laughs> and then he Toby tried to argue because he showed came. one, his hand was live. That's what he tried to claim afterwards. Okay. That's a pretty famous oh, hand that goes on for several minutes if you want to bother searching for it on YouTube. Roland DeWolf was not happy. 20. Meanwhile, Berkey's pretty happy. Two kings. Staring at a three bet behind him out of MJ, understandably with the two tens. Have you spoken to Toby in the last two years? This is in business school. Was it one? This is very funny. In comes the four bet from Berkey. This is where a player with his reputation for being willing be literally to move chips life. around. Yeah, it should be nicer. When you were swimming? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and get action yeah, others be might nice not. The guy who literally saves your life. MJ's got some good sniff on him, though. JC never got that memo. <laughs> Many people have saved his life. Yeah. Doesn't get creative wisely. And a 10 right there in the window, unfortunately, coupled with an ace, which may be a slowdown for Berkey. He does have the gut shot straight draw, however. Just a 4K bet from MJ. Oh. Seven to one. 
course, Berkey's making the call. Blank turn card. Yeah. And Berkey, fairly clear in his deference here. Yeah. And Matt will play pot control, checking back. Clubs do get there on the river. But how successfully would Berkey be able to rep them, given the line he chose, both pre- and post-flop? As such, he'll check. And MJ feeling pretty confident. Firing 13,700. And how uncomfortable is that sizing? You're getting a tempting price. It certainly looks like it could be a bashful bluff or a value bet. And the Berkey bullets are at the cliff's edge. Goodbye, sweet friends. Know that you were loved in my custody. If but for a shorter than desired time. Ford saved me and I still paid. <laughs> Back to Aria Resort and Casino, where inside the Poker After Dark Suite, a 200-400 game is broken out. Let's get back to the action. Trust me, you already were before this, too. <laughs> a score of zero is way ahead of me in Dan's diary. Fair. Nine, ten, queen, all hearts here as Smith flops himself the nut straight up against a gut shot straight flush draw with a pair of tens. Nine hundred dollar C bet, keeping things manageable for now. Ace on the turn is a slowdown card. Unless you're Jake Daniels. Does Smith want to raise now and deny equity? to a lone heart, charge the draw. 12-5. The answer is yes. North of 10K more for Daniels to continue. Jake hanging in there, hoping for a heart or a jack. Instead, it's the eight of diamonds. Okay. Now four to a straight out there. And tens have really shriveled. Scare check. Okay. You got it. Smith. Admits to being bashful on the river there, but certainly didn't want to face a big check raise. Kind of thing that Jake Daniels is very capable of. Oh. He will happily collect a decent sized pot there.
Well, can you spot the fake? Everyone I know that lives in Vegas has all like really moved out of condo. Vincent life Van Gogh's like, Starry Night, nice 1889 so on the nicer. right. It's definitely a different and style of living. Jake Daniels, yeah. I bought two of them. But it doesn't have to be Summerlin. Or exactly. Of course, coming to Green Valley, bro. You either have to sure. not be married or married for 15 years to have a condo on the Strip. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I mean, Carrie got rid of like seven brilliant homes and lives in a condo. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This condo is probably bigger than my house. <laughs> uh, no. Uh, I'm not. I'm not gonna look. Let's go. I'm, oh. I don't know how to answer that because I don't know how big your house is. 3,300 square feet. This condo is. It's like right there. Yeah, you're in the same ballpark. Yeah. Wow, I have such a good chance of having a ten. Okay. I haven't looked. All right, well here, I'll let you look. 1,200. Okay. Let's do it. It's fair, right? You you call Absolutely blind. Absolutely fair. The arbiter of fairness, and oh. I rule it fair. Here comes the mystery, how you're going to play your mystery hand. So MJ claims to have not looked pre-flop, and we certainly give him the benefit of the doubt in that regard. No reason for him to lie. It's all on camera. <laughs> you were thinking about coming with a move so good. Check called 1,200, but if you just have a 10 there, you just get so paid. <laughs> <laughs> Second barrel you on find the turn the magic from and you just get paid. And that's kind of why we're all huh? here. Gets it it's done. Just follow the flop and pre-flop. And pre <laughs> well, you got, you got enough. It's hard to pull pre-flop, not enough. <laughs> He's like, I have a good chance of having a 10 here, like one no, out of 52, I think. Yeah. <laughs> you got the stone <laughs> maximum. Oh, I, wish you, I wish you had a five, then. Right. I get a call on the turn if you make a five. Of course. Have a five, no ten. Or wake up with two nines there one time. That might be the worst. Crazy. Not really. Everyone's allowed to play the magic hands. <laughs> it's more fun now. I just played a three hour session of PLO with Darren Feinstein and he played nothing but the magic hands without wow. looking. <laughs> I did look, so you know. I have no. a hard time believing that. <laughs> no, I said I did look. Oh, okay. I thought you said no, 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 no. Well, that means Seaver knows he has bottom pair. Wait, what? Something like that. That's just, He's you know. on the phone. Oh, really? No, no. I don't know if it's about the ST, but I'm sure someone can get one. Check calls 800. I think she has to go all the way to the area. And makes trips okay, promptly. Black coffee or something. Yeah. Daniels with Which the over pair. She also would have went to the area for. Oh, there's a coffee a, machine in this. Yeah, there's a coffee machine here. They got a Keurig, bro. Oh, she went to. Anyone? She went to get all that stuff. 31. I'm telling you, though, it might be they the cups, cups, but they have a they have a Keurig. No, because they don't have ice. Sure. So she got ice ice some from somewhere. You hear me, Matt? Hmm? They have a Keurig machine, 100 percent sure. I I don't doubt they do. I'm oh. Just telling you, she definitely got those from Mario. Well, definitely. I'll bet it. I mean, no, if it's definitely. There's no chance. I'm gonna need a price. <laughs> Hold on. They, there's yeah. no chance that they just have Aria cups. I know that they don't have ice here. And we got ice. They do have ice. They have a freezer. I asked. Maybe she just doesn't like you. Maybe they blow. No, I didn't ask her. I asked Paul. Well, maybe Paul doesn't like you. <laughs> Seaver. Oh, that's a just life. Check ball. call 3100 on the turn. Certainly, yeah. Jake would you feel like he's right leaving meat on the bone if he didn't fire here. I got a lot of flaws, but lack of confidence is not one of them. <laughs> How much? When you're like you were so sure that you're like, hey, I can't bet you in good conscience because I just that ten and five is and then you're wrong. just <laughs> south of half I feel like of Seaver's remaining a stack. A lot, of, a lot of privileged information here, but all in it goes. Not the privilege. I'm going into deep five. research, bro, right now. On this, the ice tea ice you research hunt. Yeah. Jake makes the call and. Sees the bad news. Well, Jake's look says, hey, I'm usually the one with 8-5 offsuit making trips, but this time it's Scott Seaver giving him a taste of his own medicine. We'll be right back. 
Welcome back to Poker After Dark, where Scott Seaver is fresh off a nice win over Jake Daniels. Let's listen in as Veronica Brill spoke with Scott about his preference for cash games. So, Scott, you're 22nd on the all-time money list on the Hendon Mob. Uh, I'm curious if, you're, if you prefer MTTs or something like Poker After Dark. I definitely prefer things like Poker After Dark, although both things have their upside, but it's just nice to have the more fun, casual atmosphere of this. Like, I'm very competitive. I enjoy the seriousness of tournaments, but it's just a more fun atmosphere when everyone's just like telling jokes and telling stories, and you get that more in a show like this. Who do you want to take money off of? <laughs> <laughs> most. <laughs> yeah. If I had to take money off anyone the most, of course, it would have to be Dan Smith, my good friend. I mean, the whole point of like playing with friends is to try and get all their money as quickly and brutally as possible. <laughs> you heard that, Dan. Well, so far, Dan's chips have safely avoided falling into Scott's stack, but the night is young. Let me get in there. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, this is great. <laughs> I go on an insane run. I win him two million straight. I'm playing smaller, but by like small ends up being 250. Okay. Uh, we just go out and party all night. Sure. Yeah, as you should. Absolutely. But, um, It'd be a celebration if you didn't. So it's like eight in the morning, and he's just like, "Oh yeah, I have a million dollar marathon bet in two weeks. I haven't started training yet." Okay. He's like, maybe 50 years old or something, and like not invisibly like pretty sure. good shape and he's yeah. just like I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it he, he had to run like a decent time yeah and i'm like hey, man, the ground. It was fun. Like, I, i'm not gonna bet you even conscious because there's you know, he ran like a 420 marathon <laughs> <laughs> make straight <laughs> <laughs> oh man jake fires with the nut flush draw saves one just puts out the 10 minute mile time no big deal awkward spot for scott he did start training after that, but. <laughs> Usually people train for marathons for like a pretty extended period of time. Yeah. At least a couple months. Seaver, choosing to get aggressive now. 's in the awkward spot receiver open the button to a thousand Daniels and Negranu both called round the checks on the flop. <laughs> That's when Daniels chose to lead out with the nut flush draw. And in the face of a raise and a re-raise, he decides to let go Going with Daniel. Live. Yep. But, you know. Still left to act behind him. And yeah, not a lot of outs. Oh my god, you bluffed me good. I had you so crushed. I <laughs> absolutely believe that. Eight, eight o'clock with an ace. Let yeah. it go as well. You have the eight o'clock? Yeah. <laughs> Love to see it. I did. Would you show a queen of spades? Queen of spades, I showed a queen of spades. You didn't show the club? No. I almost ripped it in with the ace of clubs. I saw it, I was just like, oh my oh, god. Oh, you had the ace of clubs. I had the ace of clubs. I truly was like, oh my god, he's got the ace of clubs. <laughs> I can't call. I had no pair, no nothing. I thought you had the street. I didn't know what to do. I didn't think you had anything. Who, me? No, him. Oh. <laughs> That's it. the problem. He might have it, though. You I, know what I mean? I knew he had a straight. I thought for sure he had a straight. Right? But I was like, what if Daniel has a like jack eye flush? He's just yeah, yeah that, then it's just like, he's going to just be like, whatever, you know? I still He's going to give you a speech for four minutes. He's going to be like, ah. I can't just straddle. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you. So, yeah. I'm small? No, it's a straddle. No, no. It's a straddle. Yeah, it's just, no, yeah, it's just no blinds. Blinds. And then he'll get the button next time. Okay. <laughs> I never straddled behind the blinds before. <laughs> In between the blind. It's a new one. Uh oh, Jake, so what happened when I was gone? Fully yeah. then, right? um, Obviously. I had pocket kings and Scott. Yeah. yeah, cool. 2,000. Zach negotiates to come back in, courtesy of a straddle. Effectively buying the button. You went all the way out there and you didn't bring me a water? You asked for water? Wow, what kind of person straddles 
and folds breathe. And this is embarrassing, and you're about to. It's very horrendous. It's embarrassing. Shut up. Here's your free 12. Thank you. Appreciate that. I know, I know you're hurting. Nothing can go wrong now. It's hurting these days. Nothing. It's all downhill from here, buddy. And Absolutely. Have you ever played Shouldn't gin? Very little. Shouldn't oh. that be a good thing if it's all downhill? Oh, oh my God. <laughs> oh, it's over. It's over. I did this to myself. Go ahead, Blair. Check. 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 Of course. Two quick checks on the 6-5 uh -oh. tray board. Check. But the Check. king smacks Franzi. Oh, God, there it is. Value bets 3,000 as yeah. Seaver hits the nine. Yeah, yeah. Wait, what do the I have back again? end of two streets of okay. checking. King. So good. Unbelievably good. <laughs> what? Good every Jake street. was asking me about his water. I was never holding. Good free flop. Good on the flop. <laughs> <laughs> good every street. Great speech. <laughs> Just, yeah. Unbelievable speech. <laughs> I wasn't folding. Jake was no, of course, berating of me course. about the water. And I was yeah. like, I forgot, sorry. <laughs> totally this guy fun. with the ear folding. I'm like, no. <laughs> no, definitely not. <laughs> Here, here's 1,200, bro. Yeah. Take it. I mean, if we can't have fun, I mean, what are we even doing, you know? Hey, you like my iced tea? It's the new one. <laughs> <laughs> Do the iced tea. It's probably been 10 years since I've had a Mountain Dew. Man, I'm probably 20. When I seen it in the fridge, I got excited. Yeah, it's probably been in there for 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> Another healthy choice, grandma's cookies. Loving it. Well, they're grandmas, so they must be like made with love. Love. Nothing but love. And I'm sure love is good for you. I heard that once. <laughs> I know a few divorced people that might disagree. Usually people say that when they're like handing you a pill. Yeah. Or the, the lady that gave you raisins on Halloween. <laughs> no one likes that lady. Who wants these? Troublesome flop here for Berkey after he defends. He flops top pair and an open ender yeah, against and, the two kings. Yeah, Those are special. Well, well, what is the purpose of this? Yeah. They must want their car to get dinged up. Yeah. I'm going to invest wisely. Yeah. <laughs> what, if I put these pennies into Bitcoin. <laughs> well, that actually would have gone really would well. Work, would have worked pretty decent? Yeah. yeah. Unwelcome turn card for the 9-7. I mean, let's just talk about the real winner, Doge. I was not a doggy coin. Oh, everybody calls it doggy. I, I, you're right, but it's just ridiculous. I, I, yeah, I refuse to call it that. I'm just going to call it, I bought some because everybody told me, watch, it's going to go up, and it did. Yeah. Coin. <laughs> That's how I invest. Same thing. <laughs> all the experts told me it was. Well, a, what does it do? I it was absolutely it. worthless, and don't buy it. And all the other people told me it's going to go up, just buy it, and then sell it. And yeah. <laughs> what do you know? No expert told you that. What? To buy Doge. No, they all told me not to. That's the point. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Is that the right way to play Kings, Dan? Every cool. single expert told me <laughs> XRP, <laughs> garbage, <laughs> Doge, garbage. We were just playing like a coward today. I took a shot at MJ. It did not work. And, I'm, and then you just locked it down. Lock it down. Yeah. If I can only lose 30K today, it'd be great. Come on, man. Well, you have better goals in life. Yeah. <laughs> I brought 450 just being like, I hope with something, go home. <laughs> you're, you're almost certainly going to have something in your pockets when you're done. Oh, I, I hope I can buy dinner on the yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just bring 450 and like, ooh. That's just balls that I really respect. I don't know. If I was down 350 in this one, it'd be hard for me to put the other 100 in. Come on, of course you would. That's also true, but that's why I didn't bring it. Your credit's pretty good. Oh, yeah. That's the one. Oh, oh my god, everyone's my new best friend now. Kings again out in the field. This time they belong to Seaver, the preflop raiser. What a pitch. That was nice. Smith will be on the receiving end of them. Should he get to showdown? Here he is with bottom pair and some backdoor prospects. Oh, can't do it again. How many tries? Pass. Two? Oh, pass -o. Binky. Two? Well, that was like. That like, was a one in like, 20. Like I said, the gin. It was gin. <laughs> I'd have to go bend around the cards around her fingers to hit the muck. Her hand doesn't count. Oh. You just got to make it between the pile and the board. Eight Take five tries for 10. I, I think you can do it. I do too. That's why I said I'll take five tries for 10. You got like 40 <laughs> back? <laughs> no, no. Uh, 20, 45. Like 53 back? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. 
Smith. Check calls the eight dimes. Four straight hits the river. Choosing to lead out for 8,000. Tricky spot here. Oh. And Scott's going to keep him honest and see the bad news. He didn't have the straight, but he had enough to beat the Kings. Wide ranges when the big blind gets defended. And pots like those are exactly why you put four deuce to work. Well, we heard Scott say he wanted to felt Dan, but during that face off, it was Smith with the goods, turning two pair to put the dent in Seaver's stack. Stay close. Poker After Dark is brought to you by Roman. Simple, straightforward, the way healthcare should be. Visit GetRoman.com to learn more. Manscaped. Don't gamble with your grooming tools. Visit Manscaped.com today for the best in men's grooming. And Poker Go. Get in the game at PokerGo.com. Slippery little sucker. Franzi's ace eight suited has picked up two callers, but Seaver wants to thin the herd. With Queen Jack off suit, he makes it 7,500 total out of the small. Are those stacks of 20, Scott? Yeah. You're good. Start with like Only Negrano remains Ooh, investing the extra 6,500 <laughs> with the two nines. He'll have position. King 4-4 four, four with two diamonds and a quick C bet from Seaver. K into the middle after Negranu calls the 4,500. And a second overcard to the nines on the turn, the overcard in a three bet pot. And might Seaver seek to wrap it here? As he has picked up a Broadway draw just in case the turn bet doesn't get through. Bed. Almost put it in pre. Would you have called pre? Gets it done. Well, oh, nice chance. You wouldn't have called pre. No. Told you I win. You win that Next time on Poker After Dark. Why don't you guys turn him over? Then we all know. <laughs> Kid Poker rides the roller coaster. Really bad shape before the flop, but on the river I was in very good shape. The real Jake shows up. I don't like it. When I don't like it, I normally call. You're going to be famous someday. 
And Zach Friends, he finds himself in a quarter million dollar pot. Do whatever you want. Okay, I'm rolling. Okay, can't do that one. <laughs> what were you waiting for, Bob? Ta-da! Tonight on Poker After Dark. Big star. Jake Daniels bluffs, hero calls, and shoves his way around the table. Come on. All in. You're going to be famous someday. Daniel Negreanu goes deep into the tank. Oh, And the last two pots of the night are worth a total of 400K. Ladies and gentlemen, Jake Daniels. And welcome back to Are You Resort and Casino inside the Poker Go studio in our Poker After Dark suite, where the third and final frame of this 200-400 No Limit Hold'em cash game is upon us with the $400 Annie, Ali Najad, and Veronica Brill bringing you the action. Jake Daniels, a late arrival. Three in the green, three in the red, and Dan Smith effectively treading water right now in for 100000 Big winner on the day, Zach Franzi in the two hole. Had to go with the wardrobe change <laughs> after the first break. You think I was there? Real skirty cat. Probably not. <laughs> yeah, you probably wanted to win. I did win. Thing is, once it goes on, is it really going to come off? Yeah, it can. I don't know if it will, but it can. <laughs> two different questions. That's correct. It can always catch. It, it is possible. Always. It definitely happens. I've never seen it. Oh, yeah. So the straddle is on, and Berkey stands up and says, let's play for 1,600. Big, biggest spot I've ever played. Just a mid-raise. It was originally 2-4, and he just, just shows up. up. He's like, oh, I thought we were playing poker. What is this, 2-4? Okay, it's 4-8. All right, then I'll sit down. Daniel's never one to fold. Just Defense, like flops himself a pair. 1,000 yards steering, thank you, my biggest Unfortunately, spot. he's up against a queen high Yellow flush. Eight. Yeah. $1.4 million at 300 Check calls, 400 straddle, No ante. Okay. When did it go in? Nice size. Uh, like 70% went in pre-flop and the other 30 on the flop. <laughs> Who saved the 30 pre? Not me. Who <laughs> saved the 30 pre? Maybe it was like 60-40, but okay. basically. 2800 this was the biggest pot you've won or played? No, I did not win this pot. We ran it four times. I got one sixteen. <laughs> you split one? I split one. Nice. I was playing a tournament at the area. Like we were in the upstairs, so he was just like in the middle area, and like the room kind of just stopped for me. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, that's the other thing. This was at Aria and they were out of tables, so we were playing the one dollar, two dollar low limit section. Nice. I just heard yo and it looked over. I'm like, oh, Scott's playing a big one. I was playing a big one. Daniel's check call 2800 drawing dead. Oh, horrendously far behind where you pre. I mean, I had aces. Playing eight or better? Yeah, P P P L eight. Yeah. Would you have ace. anything to go with them? Ace, 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 queen, six, one suit. The one. We were, all, we were three ways. Fold. First, ace, deuce, three, king. You bet 10,000 I was going to call you with a deuce. I, I drew the line in the sand at 10,000. Good math. Is that Burke, man? Hard for me to have a pair on that board. I didn't think it was like me. I may have even gone 11-5. <laughs> but flop a flusher? I have a straight with a heart draw, and he has jack five of spades for a straight and a spade draw. Neither of us stable our hands. First one's a heart, oh. and I go, I think that's me. Yeah. And the second one's a brick, and I go, straight? Yeah, that was... Good eye. 1,600. Well, the line items on this group's resume. Oh, now, every, now everybody wants to play. Our straddle brings everybody out. It does. Replete everybody was sleeping. with big pots. 1.4 million at one point, said Seaver. Three bet MJ's open, last hand, and here 
Dan Smith, three bets, Berkey's. Berkey has enough to continue. Oh, oh my God, that's that, that would give me nightmares for yeah. my life. Yeah. Jesus, that can't be that can't be a whisper story. I was saying the, the biggest pot I ever played was in a game that I wasn't exactly a hundred percent sure was legit. It was on the up and up. Oh God, that's, that's not great. That, that's seventy percent of games I played previous to like twenty seventeen. <laughs> I mean, it turned out, it, of course, it was legit. You won the hand? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's wow. That's what it meant to me. <laughs> no. I feel like no one I know has won the biggest pot they've ever played. I, I lost the I biggest did. pot I ever played. I think I've like lost then, like one through guess three. guess who it was against? I won it. Yeah. ARB. <laughs> yeah, I won my, I won, yeah. see, I won mine against ARB. I feel the answer to who did you play your biggest pot against of JRB of is number one in like the world, on planet Earth. I'd probably have to agree with and you. And what was so sick is I was just so 100% I had the absolute nuts. Yeah, there was, there was nothing that could go it's wrong. It's impossible. Here. 57K went in pre flop and I flopped top set. And he's like, yeah, I flopped a straight. I'm like, but, what? But wait, what? Yeah, I'm like, it's Jack 8 7. What, what do you mean? Oh my God. Turkey. Yeah, check call 3,500 on the called. flop with the heart draw. Now he's hit an eight. And he called. And it's checked once more. I just put a horrible beat on him last week. Dan has picked up the gut shot. I three bet with aces, playing my limit. He just called, obviously. Fox comes to king five. jack seven, rainbow. He could have like a queen 10 spades here, ace 10, maybe ace queen. Yeah, there, there, there are some trouble things. Right, there's some combo draws. and or He never has kings or jacks here. He always has maybe a set of sevens, like that's worst scenario. Mm -hmm. Jam on him. He tanks forever and calls. He has king jack. We run it twice. Oh my seven, god. Seven seven. Oh my <laughs> god. Jeez. <laughs> he goes ballistic. He That's goes, actually the most satisfying thing of all time. He goes, he goes, did you have a set? I'm like, nah, I got two pair. And he goes, me too. And she's like, no, I face. Take 35. Goes, oh. <laughs> that is just so second. sweet. Oh, that's so sweet. Oops. Back to action in progress. Oh, the deuce pairs on the river. Look in the history ever, as far as I'm. I've seen him take some of the most horrendous scenarios. Oh, yeah. After Berkey over check call 13-5 on the turn. In the universe about drawing All in. This to All yourself, oh, that's like the easiest jam ever on that river. <laughs> He's checked the river and Smith says all in. And Berkey needs to decide whether or not Smith actually has better than Jack 8 here. For 83,200. Pre flop, Berkey made it 1,600 in the straddled pot. Smith made it 5,200. Berkey called. He check called 3,500 on the flop with the heart draw. Picked up an 8 on the turn, check called 13,5. And on the river, he lets it go. Ta da! God, I had Queen nine, bluff. Yeah. Hold on. I had the eight. Ta da! Smith has shown off the bluff. That's you. <laughs> I was going to call him a lot of rivers. The deuce is tough. Although you're probably more over bluffed on the deuce than anything else. Poker After Dark is brought to you by Roman. Simple, straightforward, the way healthcare should be. Visit GetRoman.com to learn more. Manscaped. Don't gamble with your grooming tools. Visit Manscaped.com today for the best in men's grooming. And Poker Go. Get in the game at PokerGo.com. Before the break, Cowboy Dan bluff shoved the river, and Matt Berkey couldn't pull the trigger on a hero call, sending an 82K pot into Dan Smith's stack. Hey, Dan. Mm. I just lost five on it. Oh. Front stack's a little dirty, pal. Oh, 
<laughs> Hate to be the bearer of bad news, but uh. You <laughs> I should have told him, I think you got a cranberry in the front. Seaver and Daniels for well, two right? K each pre. <laughs> Bottom pair against top pair. Checked on the flop and turn now on the river. Seaver leads for 1,200. This round of straddles has been great. We had two cards within five cards of each other. And Daniels not content to just call. Raises. Well done, Jake Daniels, milking an extra 2,100 out of Seaver's Jacks. Daniels, who proposed these straddles, has been fairly active in the round. Franzi not afraid to play a ragged ace on the button. Suited small stuff for Negranu. Check. Three-way affair. Clean 6-4, top pair for Jake. Bottom pair for Daniel. Checked around. Big card on the turn for Negranu. Got shot straight flush draw to go with the pair. Franzi hits the three. $3,200 turn bet called in two spots and the seven on the end, giving Negranu two pair, which he will check with four to a straight out there. And will Zach get after this 16-6? Try to wrap a five. That answers that question. Straddle pot pre, frenzy. Flatted on the button, rounded checks on the flop. He called the 3200, and now he gets out, through the best hand. Job, buddy. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say when you show me 7 4. I have an ace in my head. No 7 4. Evidently, Daniel had the 7-4. Oh. 
Obviously, you called with the queen because you're Jake oh. and we're on TV. So I'm gonna give you the Bobby speech. You're gonna be famous someday. <laughs> you're gonna be a real star. Real Big star. No oh, you got the best handout. Hey, you were talking seven four, and I'm like, I have seven four. Big <laughs> big <clubs>. star. <laughs> yeah, but seven big four clubs. Big star. Well, you play good. Jake's horrible. Obviously, a queen no kicker's got to be good three ways when I call behind. Horrible or not, he's hauling in a nice one here. Big star. You keep it up, kid. That's what it ends with. You guys say, you keep it up, kid. Give him a pretty high class. <laughs> speech I'm probably calling. Yeah, that was nice. Before the break, Zach Franzi tried to bluff in a three-way pot, but Jake Daniels picked him off, leaving Daniel Negreanu to stew about folding the best hand. I mean, I prefer not to lose with Jax and whatever the f else I had. Oh no, I've been loving it. I've just been loving losing with all my hands. What are you talking about? It's a blast. I, I would rather fold it than have to. <laughs> and then I, I put a nice little value bluff in, just trailing in the third spot. Here comes Jake with his queen eight. <laughs> Can't let this go. It's like obviously never has two pair or a straight here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he just calls behind. Jack 10 picks up a couple of eights. I'm going to check. Eight, nine for a ride. Dark check oh, out of Negranu, who flops Sorry, an open said, ender. This is not good because I can't beat him. Well, then I'm glad I folded because I would have folded to you anyway. <laughs> well, I mean, that yeah. was sick. He was blocking an eight. So he could have. Pre flop razor fires <laughs> 2,000 with second pair. <laughs> he had an eight with that queen, so he was blocking it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I don't know what that means, but absolutely. Seven six four it's three. It's like you know, seven six four three. You know, it's yeah. hard to have the a five then when he has the queen eight. I mean, it is. <laughs> I might want to. Sounds like good logic to me. <laughs> I'd rather block five. But what do I know? I don't know. I'd rather just win the pot and not think about it. I'd just rather go like, call, show me. You know. MJ I'm folds the eights, thing. leaving Negranu, the lone caller for two K. He picks up a six on the river, giving him the nuts after Berkey checked back. for dinner, like uh, so far. Who said that? <laughs> Jay. We'll go to Anthony's. I don't care if we go anywhere, it's so far. Oh. Straight. $7,500 oh. river bet gets paid off by Berkey. Jin. Yeah. Yes, Daniel, that's you. <laughs> He looks like he's reaching for reinforcements and 2000. not going to add him on just yet, it appears. Deja vu. Nice hand, Dan. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Matt won't defend his straddle. Well, Smith raises and takes it with the ace queen. Smith's biggest score to date came in 2019 
in London mm. at the Triton Poker yeah, Super High Roller yeah. Series. A one million pound buy-in event. He took down eight point seven six five million dollars. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Kenny yeah. finished second. Aaron Zhang was the victor. But with that victory, Bryn Kenny became number one on the all-time money list. Meanwhile, Daniel suited and connected, but dominated. Faces a three bet out of Zach, Daniel. Can I have to go? Uh, when I do have to go, can I buy that 25 off you? Appreciate you, it. you want more of them? Or are you just trying to get rid of your... I'll take more if you want. Okay. I don't care. I don't you know, want the flags. I read that, that doesn't want to be greedy, you know. No, absolutely not. I just want everyone to get what's coming to them. <laughs> By whose definition? Absolutely mine and no one else's. <laughs> I was going to say, by whose definition? Is that what's coming to me? Minus uh, 55K? No, definitely not. Jake took his time. Looked like he might have been thinking about something. There Ultimately flats and flops himself bottom pair. The ten of spades is working. Negrano with the ace. Sizing just right to keep that 8-9 interested. Four, no help. Now the big guns. 20K. loftier hurdle here on the turn. How long? All in. How much is it? If Jake decides to Ooh, raise all in. Putting maximum pressure on Daniel here. Ace nine is by no means the nuts. Um, calling my fifteen. Interesting spot. Wow. Hold it a pair. The bases? Yeah. The highest pair available. Mm. Mm. Gutsy stuff out of Jake Daniels. Gets the best hand into the muck. And it's been that kind of day for Daniel Negranu, now stuck 82,000. Crush that four, huh? Back inside the Poker After Dark Suite, where an already huge 200-400 game is made even bigger with the $800 straddle. <laughs> we have seen some monster pots on the regular. $2,100. Zach makes it $2,100. Negranu. <laughs> with King Four suited, see what it has to play was. a pot in position <laughs> against him. Dear diary, dear diary, this hand is no bueno. <laughs> I hate your guts. Mm. 
1400. Franzi hits the jack. That's just 1400, which Daniel promptly calls. Looking to hit a king or a spade on the turn, and it's the latter. You want to get dinner after this? Abe? Yes. <laughs> Let's do it. Pick a place. Okay. It's not at the M, 18 trillion miles away. <laughs> so it's Monday, and I don't know what's still open on the strip, but I would think going to somewhere at the Cosmopolitan would be our best bet. How do you? No, I had that hour, two hours ago. Oh. We could. Uh, Negreanu called the 4400. Like layer or no? All that closes early now. Everything has like earlier hours. Now right Zach now. slows down. I check. Check. Seven Jack. That's good. Daniel is keeping it together, but there is a point at which you begin to grow tired of being shown winners. And that threshold, I'm guessing for most of us, was crossed some time ago. When you leave in town, are you still staying here? Next week. Where are you going back to? On the other hand, Zach Franzi is trending the other way. As we see the many faces of a man who is playing well, running even better, and just having a great night. I was supposed to go today with him. I chose to be responsible and show up here on time. Mm. <laughs> we know how that worked out for Jake. He's winning all the money. I, I said, ladies and gentlemen. Call. Jake mixing it up with a limp as one of his sevens are busy in Negreanu's hand. A six deuce with a couple of diamonds. Negranu has the diamond draw. Seaver and Daniels. Both called as the board paired. Daniels with the best hand, but Negreanu is going to barrel once more, this time 4,000. Down goes the deuce. in there for the four dimes, but now Negranu finally has the best hand. How much will he try to scalp off of Daniel Stack here with the diamonds? Eighty-five. Hmm. North of half pot, and Jake appears bemused. Maybe I am completely off. Mm. You have two fives, Daniel? I feel like you have 
two fives. Mm. I don't like it. When I don't like it, I normally call. <laughs> Damn it. All right, I'm gonna fold. Man. And while Daniel is dragging the pot here, it honestly does feel as though it's an extension of his run bad, considering that he didn't get paid off by Jake, who seemed oh so close. I think you have a six or something? I had pocket seven. Oh, wow. <laughs> I was in really bad shape before the flop. But on the river, I was in very good shape. Very good shape indeed, as Daniel tries to work his way out of the red, and we work our way to a break. But stay tuned, more Poker After Dark coming up. It has been a rough night for Kid Poker, as he has either folded the winner or been shown the best hand far too many times. But plenty more poker to be played. Let's get right to it. So I wasn't even oh, upset. Like, I I six, the, uh, the cannon goes, uh, you have a set. Remember that? Against Ike? Yeah. I do remember that. You blinked. You blinked, that's right. Was he right? Call. Ike did have a set. Dude, he blinked. Get this guy a backer. Get this guy a backer. Love it. I'm going to go ahead and check. Five plays. You anything? Two cards. Yeah. Ace, queen, tray. Forty-two. Checked around Deceiver, who follows up on the 2K pre-flop bet with a $4,200 barrel. Called by Zach. And Berkey as well. Down to three players. Okay. Ace pairs. Seventy two hundred now. Got a Seaver. Oh, can't do that. You can do whatever you want. Okay, I'm only. Okay, can't do that one. Work, <laughs> 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 he's got to linger around. Gotta gut you to the nuts, man. I thought you would have like King Jack, 10 Jack, some Yeah. My queen was probably good. Yeah, probably. No takers on the turn as Seaver collects one. I like people don't even consider the fact that Scott might just have a hand. No, 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 no. I was shoving him. <laughs> like, what the hell is Berkey Lingo? He has a, a weak ace or the King Jack, 10 Jack. Jake's 1800 turns into eight dimes as Negreanu presses the Jack-10 suited, a hand that earlier in the session MJ Gonzalez folded pre-flop to a single raise from Daniel. All in. All in now time. Seaver, Fold. the new shooter, says all in with ace-queen suited for 58-6. Snap fold out of Jake. Were you worried about that double check? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> my pants. This was the aces, you know? Because that's what I do in that spot. Like the get real excited, want to shout call, but like I better double check first. Yeah. 
Scott Seaver had been a little quiet thus far tonight, but a couple of nice pots in a row, and he's finally got some chirping chips. Back inside the Poker After Dark suite where the session is getting close to the end, but the straddle is still on, so there'll be no shortage of action. I can guarantee you that. No whammies. Big box. <laughs> More like a cheeseburger. 25, correct? 25. Franzi will close the action. Joining Jake's deuces with his 10-9 offsuit as they tackle the king-queen suited of Daniel. Good card in the window. Two nines behind it, giving Franzi trips and Daniel Drawing dead to the gut shot as the 10 would give Zach the full house. 21. Daniel Barrels, 2100. Both players call and look at that turn card. The deuce of spades giving Daniels a boat. Franzi still with trips, and now Negranu picks up the spade draw, but draws dead. 7,000. Call in front of him, Daniels. Now mulls over what he wants to do. Raise the twenty-nine thousand. And the answer is raise. He makes it twenty-nine thousand total. And while Jake does have a full house, this is a slightly uncomfortable situation to be in. As Franzi has made it 64,000 total. All in. All in. What were you waiting for, bub? I mean, if you just slept jacks, you get it, kid. I have a full house. Call. Show me nine deuce. I just say nice thing twice. Twice is good. Two times. Good nine deuce. Nope. Jake's Deuces all in. Gold. Why don't you guys turn him over? Then we all know. I don't remember. <laughs> How go. the f do you get that card? Gets virtually oh. all the Franzi's chips into the middle, and they'll run it oh, twice. Oh, oh Find a deuce on the turn. Ladies and gentlemen, Jake Daniels. Uh, running it twice? Yeah. yeah. Uh, 42 times, please. You can go four if you want. Four? It twice? Yeah, I don't care. Go four. Four times. What was it? Four times. Four? Exact. Running it four times. So <laughs> sick. $230,000 pot. <sighs> they will run it four times. Jake locks up 25%. Show the jacks. Say nice hand. Oh my god, just. What do you do? <laughs> Take your time, though. 
Now 50. All over me. Okay, I know they're making noise. That a boy. Give him another three, please. Actually, give him quads. 75%. That a boy. You're the man. Clean Clean and sweep. So you're in good shape. I had king, queen of spades. I thought I had something. I guess I was completely wrong. You did. <laughs> wow, what a turn card. Jake Daniels hits the miracle full house, sending Zach Franzi into a confusion and full double up time for Jake in a 230K pot. Poker After Dark is brought to you by Roman. Simple, straightforward, the way healthcare should be. Visit GetRoman.com to learn more. Manscaped. Don't gamble with your grooming tools. Visit Manscaped.com today for the best in men's grooming. And Poker Go. Get in the game at PokerGo.com. I wish liar. I can leave. <laughs> No, 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 that part. Oh, I yeah, the second part was yeah, definitely yeah, that a lie. Part. Yeah, no, I absolutely believe you had it. <laughs> I just don't believe you were happy not to be in there. I've seen punches fly with Zach before, so two in a row is too much, I think. Not over a poker hand, you haven't? No, definitely not over a poker hand. Just want to clear that up. Oh, of course. I assume that went without saying. Yeah, for sure. Even I've never punched a guy over a poker hand, Dan. He raised it 10,000. I believe you. I had to think for a moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to think also. You have a cranberry man? Yeah. Berkey uh, didn't have to think too much. I have punched someone at a poker table, but it wasn't over a poker hand. Someone tried to punch me at a poker table, but they missed. And then my friend, who's like, a, was a D1 wrestler who was watching, just tackled him to the ground, and I didn't get to do a thing other than watch and laugh. It was amazing. Yeah, well played, sir. Yeah. Well played. Just the old swing and a miss. Happens quite often. Yeah. Especially if alcohol is involved. Absolutely. Daniels. Pushing back. Ready for 33,000. Making it 33 total with his ace queen. As Negreanu gets caught in the crossfire yet again. Berkey what? says all in, gets snap called, Fair. and we've got a race. Good. Good. Ready, Mitch White? Yeah. yeah. One hundred seventy thousand dollar pot. One. Well, the boys waited toward the very end of the session to do their big gambling. Here we are. I did not hear any discussion of running it twice. Two jacks safe so far. And they hold all the way down. Second board coming. This one, so far, belongs to Daniels. Berkey, rooting for a queen. Instead, he makes a set. Hiya. Now, board pairs, and he takes it. Jacks full of aces and jacks and sixes. Cool. Perfect timing. 85. For a full double up for Matt Berkey. 85, 84, 5. My team. Did you have 85 or 84, Berkey? Next time on Poker After Dark. I can just hear the guitar. Dun, 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 dun. Phil Helmuth brings his home game to the suite. This is my day job. Da 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 da. Ryan Feldman comes with the style. 
I'm, I'm special. Oh, okay, okay. And Arden Cho comes with the action. <laughs> Tonight on Poker After Dark, I f care. The Poker Brats online home game goes live. I can just hear the guitar. Oh. Don't, don't. Get in the honey. And that means players go deep in the tank. Jeremy is in hiding. And deep in the hole. Okay, I guess I'm all in. Yay! Yay! <laughs> During the pandemic, the poker fever didn't subside. People wanted to play. Well, now we've got them back in our studio doing exactly that. And tonight at Aria Resort and Casino inside the Poker After Dark Suite, we welcome a Phil Hellmuth gathering of compatriots and combatants. Ali Najad with the commentary. Veronica Brill with the interviews. 15-time bracelet winner has invited six of his pals to come on down and play a little bit of 50-100 No Limit Hold'em. Buy-ins range from five to 10,000, unless, of course, your name is Ryan Feldman, and you want to make sure you can bust everybody in one fell swoop. 108K the buy-in for Ryan. 5K was the minimum buy-in, and as you can tell, there is no maximum. Working our way around the table there, you got to look at Ben Yerushalayim, Arden Cho, Julie Yorn, of course, you saw Helmy earlier. Feldman brought the Vegas flavor. A little touch of Siegfried and Roy. Stephen Dang, founder and CEO of Flav, a cannabis brand. And last but by no means least, Jeremy Levin, my, it's my, it's my CEO of online. Mega House Music. You know, just don't talk to him about hands where he already knows the results, because then he's going to say that you messed up no matter what. Oh. We mess with them all the time. We're like, Mike, this is the hand, but we... Oh, it's hard to... And then we tell him no, that the river hard. was different, and he's like, well, that seems reasonable. And he's like, Actually, <laughs> the river was this. He's like, well, then you played it bad. <laughs> well, the Mike the they're referring to? Ryan Mike the Mouth Madison. I thought about it. I, thought about I know. It. I saw him thinking about it. Is Ryan? Are you feeling okay, Ryan? You can tell when I think. Do you think yeah. Ryan's going to dance with the stars after I saw him thinking I should three-bet And I was like, please, I'm going to jam all my chips in so fast. He's shining. He's glistening. Did you get a spray tan before this, Ryan? <laughs> um, I wish. He is tan. I did get a massage uh, right before this. Big You're turn card for Arden. Today? Yeah, like oh, 12 nice. bucks. She did not see bet her ace. I got an IV this Gets morning. Gets to work on it oh. now, though. <laughs> you did the IV at the yeah. spa? No. I had my first much. massage in like a year. <clears throat> like the, the fluid week. one? Yeah. Every did week. you drink a lot last night? No, just, just energy. Just yeah. trying to... I have... I have a guy that's supposed to, I have like a few that I haven't used, so I might Check. try that. Nine hundred. Call. There's Ryan. Uh oh. <laughs> Oh my oh, god. Oh, nice. Oh, oh, look at my draw, man. Wait, once Where you showed me the ace, I was like, I'm dead. I know. I, like, yeah. I'm not I wanted to see turn? Swan oh, a little for a second. Wow, you're yeah. just getting free rolls on the turn. Yeah. Yep. Check see, calls and we'll chop it up. so bad. Why can't I just spike a diamond on that river? You got to know you have a few of those diamonds you yeah. guard. Our psychology like, yeah. degree from the University of Illinois fair. might come in handy here in the poker streets. That's the funniest thing with the fair, because it's like when it's so grossly unfair and someone goes, fair. <laughs> That's really cool. I love saying that. Julie, the past couple weeks. Well, I have a couple, I have a couple you're on the app, yeah, so what do I know? Tell you, right? right, now I feel like I, I made Jeremy's brother is yeah, Benny Blanco. Until, now you're thinking that well I'm feeling already on tilt, because you told me producer. to play Super Tide today, and I folded king four of hearts, and the flop came king, king, queen. Oh, I would have probably yeah, don't maybe, to Phil. maybe played king four of hearts. For you're not cool. ever playing that. Don't even lie, Phil. <laughs> Oh Levin's right. company, Mega House All Music, has sold over 300 million hearts, records and has 50 number ones minutes. worldwide. <laughs> with the likes of Justin yeah. Bieber, Maroon I mean, 5, and Miley Cyrus. Free with nine, off, well, so. no, no, no. no suited, 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 first of all, don't suited, disrespect my 910s. They're suited. That's Ryan's aces on that. That's true. It I, it, I, I win a lot with that hand. It's insane. You played some Chris. massive. Listen, I am the best 10-9 suited player this side of the Mississippi. You are the best 10-9 suited player. Would you say you're running good? 
Uh, I'll let you know if you're listening. <laughs> you have no idea how annoyed each one of us is at Ryan for like putting in 3,000 with 910 suited in our 10, 20, Over and over game. and over again. Yeah, he just, just makes Ryan full house. And just all Julie, you started with 10? Mm -hmm. Give it away, give it away, give it away now. <laughs> give it away, give it away, give it away now. 18. Give it away, give it away, give it away now. Love it. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Right. Oh my, oh my gosh. Big pot, big pot. And here we go. Here we go. Oh, the first is, real pot of There's the game. There's three people in the yeah. pot and <clears throat> we're rooting for two of them. Yeah, for sure. Ryan, <laughs> you know that Ryan and his jacket. It's obviously not Ryan. Normally, I'm the bad guy. You like to these shows or whatever. So half the people love me, half the people hate me. But in this case, Ryan, not you are flop definitely Julie had <laughs> That's a good thing. He doesn't At the care. Table. He's collecting no all one our is money. He doesn't care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, not today. Uh, that's not happening. Yeah, dude, we're <laughs> due. My no, top pair in Jack that's High Hearts happening? is going to no, love seeing this bet. Yeah, yeah, I said we're due a win. Thirty-two hundred. Look at him being so serious. In comes the raise to thirty-two hundred. Wow. <laughs> this feels so weird I know, to play live. So funny. <laughs> I haven't played with Ryan in a while, but I know this works. <laughs> I know this works. God, no. Ryan, sure. How does he get away sure. with robbery? Flush drop. All right, fine. Robbery. Flush robbery. Robbery. Sure, robbery. Get out of here. Care. Show one. Queens? Oh, Jack eight of wow. folks. Somehow That's called here. Yes. Jordan wisely lays yes. down. That's how he runs. He runs like that all the so time. Good. Just have <laughs> We've been watching the <laughs> for like it. Yep. We're so in the I knew he hit that flop for sure. <laughs> and let's get to know a little more about Ryan Feldman as he spoke with Veronica just before play. So... I'm assuming you play with all of these people that you're going to be playing with today on a regular basis. So are you going to exploit any of that? <laughs> well, I mean, I, I definitely know all of these players very well. I know their tendencies. Um, we all know each other very well. So, yeah, I mean, obviously that comes into play. You know, this isn't like a normal game where I'm playing with a bunch of, you know, pros that I don't know and I have to be careful how I play. Like, because we've been playing online, you know, four or five days a week for almost a year. So... Um, I know Phil very well. I know all these guys very well. So there's also a lot of camaraderie. So um, they're all successful people. They're all good people. And that's like the most important thing. So, you know, we have fun. We trash talk. We beat each other, this and that. But, you know, at the end of the day, we're all friends. You, I, I, normally I text people um, oh, to say, hey, listen, it's bad form to ask for the game to be kicked up because people are prepared for a certain limit and they don't want to embarrass no. themselves. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, I don't want to prepare for a certain limit. Ryan, you up. are the most indiscreet person okay. ever. Uh, uh, Mike Mattis has the worst. We're talking about straddles. We're not talking about kicking the game up. Uh huh. We talked about. What do you mean? Someone wants to straddle. Wait, I don't. I understand, Ryan. Why is you, you, what you what said was saying? completely innocent, and you think you said nothing negative at all. Got it. Okay, good. Oh. I called. Okay. 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 What did he say? I feel like they're fighting now. I. S What'd you say? Ryan's, Ryan's like, like Ryan's like Jeremy. In one round, we need to get the blondes off. Jeremy just asked. Jeremy, mm -hmm. no, he Let's didn't. Jeremy just asked if someone would straddle. I said, when it comes to me next time, I'll straddle 200 if you want to do 800. You said out loud 248. Now, are you yeah. denying it? The people yeah. at home are rewinding. Yes, yeah, so we're talking well, about one hand. Since we're, <laughs> we're I understand one hand. Since we're all friends, let's decide. Hey, that's a loose term for the people okay, at this well, table. We're all, I'm just kidding. Uh, I love you all. Very Arden's much. ace king connects, since but she's all, up yeah, against yeah, Stephen Dang's diamond yeah, drive. Really since like we're all in a game together and we know each other, let's just all make sure we agree on it. I guess I'm all in. No, I don't. That's not what I was saying. Jeremy asked if somebody else was first. Wait, we have our first all in of the game. Wow. Did he call her? Yeah. No, I think it's just 2,000. Yeah. Flip map. Okay, wait. All in. First all in. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. yeah Dang made it 2K, which was basically all okay. of our stack. Okay, ladies and gentlemen at home, in our Phil's online home give us game, the out we always run it twice. Phil, give Can us the outs. do the math? Phil, give us the outs. Okay, hold on. Give us the outs. Oh, Let me get this. This is my day job. Hold on. That's nine diamonds. So he's about 36%, call it 38%. You're in great shape, Arden. You got your money in good. Give us two cards, please. <laughs> I'm ready. Yep, four cards. Twice, twice. Twice. So they'll run it twice. All right, now hold on. Now he has four more times. So we already know how many diamonds exist, right? Everybody knows. Da -da -da -da. Nine diamonds, and now three tens. Nine diamonds, three tens. That's 12 outs, two. Da -da 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 -da. 32 outs. Are you folded a ten? 
Sorry, no, no, but <laughs> Lieutenant, we can't double count. I lost Canada. your face right there. I wish they could have seen your face. One for our deuce. Right. Arden scoops the first one. Wow. <laughs> Free rolling. Nice hit. What's happening? I feel well, a chop coming. One. I do feel a chop coming. It's usually oh. fair. Oh, that's fair. A, that'll do Jesse it. Jesse was referring to Arden's that's the ender card. safe cards. Fair. Yeah, that's fair. fair. <laughs> Second turn. Wait, he's still alive. Sure, is a chop. A ton of diamonds. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. For a straight flush, mm. which nice is hit. fun, but. For the most nice hair, guys. Yeah. Ard's like, Phil. I had ace king. I hit a king. I got all my money in. I had the best hand, and I had to chop again. WTF. Oh no, I was expecting to lose both. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually like, wow, that's amazing. I already had my chips ready. Poker After Dark is brought to you by Roman. Simple, straightforward, the way healthcare should be. Visit GetRoman.com to learn more. Manscaped. Don't gamble with your grooming tools. Visit Manscaped.com today for the best in men's grooming. And Poker Go. Get in the game at PokerGo.com. Before the break, Art and Cho got it all in against Steve Dang, but thanks to running it twice, they chopped it up, and we move right along. To get other people okay. straddling as much as anyone. I, 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 I usually walk into a 10-25 game, and by the end, Jeremy has us playing 10-25-50, 1-2-4. That's what Jeremy loves. I have two he, big blinds. When Jeremy's stuck 10K, he loves everybody to just put in the triple, like, quadruple. I do like action. And it usually ends well for you. Like when, Sometimes. One time he... One time he got three he winners: got like Feldman, Yerushalayim, and Levin. Oh, and I paid him Ryan, off. Yeah, and great, I paid yeah. him off. So oh, Jeremy's he's, effectively he's, treading he's, water, he's, just he's up about 300 bucks. Trapped him. It was like 10, 25, 50, <laughs> one, two, <laughs> four. Right. Maybe. Nice to walk, work, wake up with quads in the quintuple straddle. Two K. Feldman in the straddle, straddle this time. Makes the game juicy. Look at all this Arden on the button, understandably, Juicy popping Julie. it to 550, Jorn. and Juicy Jorn Julie. with the two tens pushes right. back up to 2200. <laughs> Juicy Jorn. All right. And no, on the short ace stack, ace no. I mean, Cho I'd decides like, she's so going to go with it. Like, oh, that's like not committed. so bad. You have hearts. It's suited. Bill, give us the outs. The ace usually comes. We have ten. You've been a little bit unlucky on the app. I wouldn't be surprised if you won both of these. Wow. Yeah. On the other hand, the math is against you. I don't know. It is two and a half to one favorite. No, I know it's bad, but I was like, I have 1,500 behind. Yep, okay. yep. Yeah, it's yeah. For a female. I'm rooting, I'm rooting for a chop. That Not is, looking good on the queen hard. five deuce right, for the first of two run outs. Oh, Julie wins the first She's like, put me on my Yeah, I was like, put me on my misery. All right, all right, let me get started. You'll win the second one. Oh, not yet, sorry. We have three outs. No hearts have been burned yet. That's good. Oh, that's bad. No one's oh, bad. She wasted, wasted an out for the yep, second one. But no, heart, like no hearts came out. Shot in this one. Yeah. You're either going to hit an ace or you're going to flop a flush yeah. shot. I don't know, I Some don't red like, cards are coming I think out. Julie's now. been lucky against Arden. I so. have. Julie's she really been has. Lucky. Been. She really it's has. time. Julie's been lucky holding in some. I feel like Julie will scoop here. Yeah, Julie's nine. Back Top door. set there you go. for <laughs> Julie on turn the second sure. board. How about for the sure, jack, of, sure. jack of hearts on the turn for the sweat? Uphill climb for Arden Cho, oh. and Julie's her here. fate is Ryan, sealed after page. the king of clubs okay. comes off. So an over 6K pot. Ten. Headed to the Hollywood producer. Nice, Andrew. Thank hard you. Oh, sorry. While the actress and singer is left to reload 10K. Julie Yorn, Hollywood producer, gave Veronica a little insight into her career. Let's listen in. Julie Yorn, ladies and gentlemen, uh, you're a big time producer and you're kind of a poker star. I see you on a lot of live poker shows and now you're here, Poker After Dark. A uh, little nervous about the lineup at all? No, I've been playing with these guys. We have been in a game, uh, I don't even want to tell you how many hours a week, um, all through the pandemic and all through quarantine. But we, it's been on the app. And this is the first time I played live poker since uh, March of last year. So I'm a little rusty. I'm going to have to work the cobwebs out a little. Well, like, what are these things? These are chips. <laughs> yeah. That's sizings. You have the button. Just don't look at the cards and just okay. throw just those throw, round throw things those in money. the middle. Yeah, don't Good. count. Why count what's there or anything like right? So I'm curious, are you going to incorporate poker in any of your future productions? 
Um, I am. I'm in the process of closing a deal at Netflix to do a show based around a casino in Vegas with Scorsese as my partner, who made to me the greatest Vegas movie of all time, which was Casino. Uh -huh. And it's kind of the 2021 version of the back rooms of what goes on. I love poker, I love the world. Anything I can do that's around that world would be great. It aired, Alex. it just aired, yeah. That was from a couple months ago. He made um, Mike played the next day after that. What happened? We were playing with him at the Mike's bike. This episode should be airing next week, right? And raises the tens. Because uh, that was the, the one they just aired as the day before. Who's up? Picks up Queen Jack suit. I have no idea what you're talking about. And Helmuth will square off in position. Sorry. sorry, I don't keep track of With the two mind. suited overs. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's surprising. Buckle up. When's your brother leaving? Good after already. Oh, it's just one night? He came. I don't know how people come here for just. I know. 800. 800. Top set against a gutty and a flush draw. With that texture, Ben may want to get All chips in. in now. And sure enough, there's Ooh. those two little wow. words. Snap, Snap. a Rooney. Oh. Wow. Is wow. It? Tell me okay, snap calls and they'll run it twice from here. Yeah, All right. Yeah, no, I mean. Bill's in trouble is, uh, are the percentages. Yeah. It's like 40-ish. Yeah. Like, like on the yeah. app, Bill would win both for sure. Well, actually, <laughs> oh, he's got the nine, too. Unless <laughs> Ryan wins. I'm like a two to one favorite. You guys will probably bring. Oh, wow. wow. Red wow. nine so right so in the gut. So now I'm because I should have just moved called the 300. Wow. Oh, he's upset now. Then I could have gotten two rivers. Yeah, but then I'm checking the time. Okay, Phil. Four does oh, not pair. Wow. This ben was not drawn dead. dead. So Helmy's locks up half. This is the app. So I hate, app. I hate, I hate right losing the first one. Can, oh can we see a Phil scoop? I here? love when Phil scoops. Can we just put an eight like on this. the turn? When he pushes. Oh my gosh. If Phil scoops this, he's just so. I, I see a club. <laughs> the deuce of clubs. Just like the app. But it's going to be the eight of clubs. There's a club coming on the river. It's an eight of clubs. Deuce of clubs on the river. Yep. Wow. Oh, that that is anyway. so Wow, sick. dirty. 24. Helmuth wins both run outs for a double. That He'll just really run sweet. so good. That is dirty. That's how he does it, ladies and gentlemen. Yep. Gets it in. Not Thankfully, he bought in short. wins both. Yeah. I learned that the best way no, to No, that was bad for you, Ben, because if I bought in more, I would have I would have uh, put in a big bet on the top. I actually like when Phil doubles. Like, there's a four card straight out. I'm going to check call the turn. the best way to get I know you are. Nobody tell Phil, but it pays to be lucky in this game. A straight on the first turn and a flush on the second river gives him a scoop. Before the break, Phil Helmuth doubled up against Ben Yerushalayim and rubbed it in. Now let's take a peek at his interview with Veronica Brill. So, Phil, this game is more of a party than it is an actual game. You've got ladies on your right. You've got Liberace on your left. <laughs> Liberace. <laughs> well said. <laughs> uh, tell me about this crowd. They're actually a really fun, nice, friendly crowd of yours. It, it seems like most of your friends are needling you, like Mike Matisau. Uh, you know, when I film with, when I film with uh, you know, my billionaire friends from Northern California, then generally speaking, you know, they tease me a lot because we play a lot of poker together. Yes. So, I mean, literally we play poker, you know, 30, 40 times a year for 12 years. And so the online game, we actually play, we play five times a week, but we play, you know, we don't see each other. And so, and we've only been Zooming once every couple of weeks. We used to Zoom a lot more. And so, you know, some people hadn't even, you know, met each other, but I would say this is more of a party, have fun type of game. Um, you know, but there's been some pretty big winners. I've, I've won uh, 400,000 in the game in a year. Uh, Mike Madison. And they still invite you, but it's your game. It's my game. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way to do it. Hand and some can't get to 100. Ryan always picks on her. He always picks on her. Yeah. How does he always know? He just, when I have he just, something he always, he always picks on Now he's picking on sure still. All in. Wow, is everybody yeah. always picking wow. on me? Oh, well, you got me. Ace queens all have. Oh, it's a race. got a hand. It's a race now, usually on I the hope app. It's fair. That escalated oh, quickly. Yeah, please app. let me scoop. Please Ryan let me scoop. Ryan wins twice on these no, on the I app. Oh, Phil. Twice. Oh, but in real Phil. life, I got please Phil winning both fair. boards. Ryan does what odds do you give me if Phil wins You're both boards? You're saying he's going to go four for four with the worst hand. Yeah, Jasmine, I do. Well, this is a flip. 48. Phil. Phil. What's the percentage? What is it, 48, 52? 53, 47 or something like that? Who wants 50 Phil's hand on the top board? 
<laughs> I think I'm going to hit Two it. full Did boards you? coming. Two overs against the Jacks. Not a good start. Right. Jacks are safe really on the first slot. That's for sure a scoop. <laughs> oh, that's for sure the queen ball on the turn. No, it's coming on the river. Okay. I'm starting to lose a little confidence. Ace. Oh. All right. That is a brick of all bricks. It's coming on the river. When by is Ryan going to win, too? Buy insurance? Okay. <laughs> you want insurance? Insurance. <laughs> Ooh, all right. Do not let Ooh. Ryan win both boards. No scoop. He does for it Phil. all the time to me, so I mean, I'm, I'm kind of used to it. Like, it's, yeah, it's not even sure it's bothering me that much. He's gonna at least it's not the app's fault. Fault. It's, it's, it's not the app's fault, though, right? Yeah, that's what's gonna happen. That's what's yeah, gonna happen. Everyone does that. Me and Blame the dealer. Boards now. Ryan will win both boards. And the ace queen collect half. All right, we're up. Look at this. Looking good again. Not even a backdoor flush draw. He doesn't even like. Neither one is there a backdoor flush draw. He's got a backdoor straight draw. You got the ten ten draw. He's got the king jack. Oh, no, he doesn't. Ryan's going to win. <laughs> he blocks or drags, but. All right. Wow. All right. Uh, Queen on He's down to six outs. Queen on the river. Ace of spades. Woo! No, wow. sir. Run no. so pure. Wow. Not even, Ryan not even a, runs not so There's not face. even a draw. There's not even a face card. Right? No they pictures. Yeah, sure. Well, you don't so think I'm going to with Ryan? He's... Felt no tell one, music. No one in the last year, no one has Lock beat me Fox as much as Ryan. That this I will is, tell you. You asked the wrong right. question. Yeah, yeah. I've won, I've won uh, two million playing poker in the last 13 months, and but no one has beat me like you beat me. And then, like, back inside the Poker After Dark suite where Phil Hellmuth is on short by number two after getting stacked by Ryan Feldman. Pretty good for Phil. <laughs> Pretty crazy. Yeah, that one hurt though. We have, yeah. to, we have to send the picture Art's, next time. Art's, now, Art's a, really a very talented. Player. He's a very talented poker player. And now Art has all the money. Three hundred. Well, he, he was playing heads up the correct way when yeah, everybody yeah. else was playing the wrong. <laughs> That's he's been so funny. Playing um, high stakes online against the best players. Well, we love him anyway. Um, yeah. Over the last year. <laughs> GG. I saw. GG spot. Well, proud like, sponsor of Poker Go. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Feldman's two nickels, picking up four to a straight flush, <laughs> one of which is jack okay, seven I for trips. It. I missed it. Jeremy checks it. You know, I usually don't miss those threads, Arden, by the way, just so you know. 400. You got me yesterday when we walked into that room. I did like, get you. Da -da -da -da, and you were like, uh, Phil doesn't know what you're talking about. And I was like. That was actually absolutely $400 seabed, promptly called by Jeremy. Table, correct, correct. <laughs> I love the faces Jeremy made. I was like, Arden just. Just wow. in case there were any kicker problems, it's how about a like seven? If I'm playing an opponent I don't know, I can't how best. people. Looking at Ryan makes me laugh. It's hard yeah. to say, like, totally. I love. Best. I think Ryan that's why, like. Treads lightly. Like, Design. what I like about poker is, like, like watching people. I find yeah, it well, you said it out loud. You said he had kings, and he had kings, right? 1,500. 1,500. But I'm you might, you might have good reads, play. but you might have some good reads, Arden. You need to add just a little patience to that. I don't know what patience is. Arden's like, is you there know a what? Word? Do Asians patience? Know? I think you have to be really like, you have to really care to be like right or wrong. Like for me with poker, I don't really I care. care. Yes, yeah, I know you care. Yeah. Like River makes me, it interesting really because. Care. I'm like, all right, if I fold, like <laughs> let's say I'm just like, all right, well. okay, the pot's like this much and this person bet like this much. And I'm like, yeah, all right, you know what, that bad. If the river was like a deuce. Uh -huh. But like, it's not. I'm not gonna cry about it if I was wrong. Let me see, calculating it. Bam! The nutters. Wow. The nutters. The revenge of Jeremy. Not the nutters. Sure guy. I'm glad clubs did. Eleven gets paid just in case he had busted diamonds. Nice hand. Nice hand. Eight nine eight of clubs. No, it's just out to get you as a because bot. Business I would be like well. shooken up Killer if, if one of the time you just said something, if you like, I know. if you like said Steven. something loud on the mic, I'd be like, what the just happened? And like angry, like, <laughs> yeah. Killer you call that, hey, you know, I can't believe you it's called totally that. It's totally against his personality. Yeah, Steven, have it's, you ever spoke on the mic? I haven't. Yeah. I want you to show a toe. No, I think that you, Wait, what? would what you, you agree? Is it true that at least in the last few months that nobody's Gotten you more than Steven like felt to do is that right? Steven Steven's been crushing me for yeah. five or six. Next time you felt yeah, Phil can you get on the mic and just be like suck it Phil? <laughs> yeah, no, I please. mean he, he had a straight and a flush draw. Yep, and then if the heart comes I die, I'll lose one penny But it came ace jack four and I fired and a deuce came and I fired and a three came out. Oh, man. Julie's firing so 300 into the pot with two tens playing, um, We were zooming and I was like Steven get on the zoom and he didn't 
I'll Ryan finish is, the story in a minute. Ever since you guys called Help Ryan, Nitty, caught in the crossfire. Yeah, like, you guys have awoken up. Nitty, a Nitty, this. It's your fault. Right. Apex over here. I like it. I can't wait for like some speeches to happen. Yeah, Ryan, Ryan is the apex predator huh? of the apex. 50 cent dollar games. No <laughs> limit games. <laughs> <laughs> I've never played 50 cent one though. Or maybe, maybe like 2004 game. or something, 2005. I was playing five. Help me bows out as Yorn yeah, hangs tough right. and flops good. And Ryan was playing. And Ryan Over pair. Ryan lose 7,000 or win 7,000 in 5-5. Five, five. He's the only it's guy true. to ever lose 7,000 like 10 times probably. Uh, uh, no, I've lost. No, that's not even a joke. I've lost 7,000 plus in 5-5 five, five game probably five, five at like the seven bike. times or something. Ryan, he would either have... What's the a max power? A thousand. A thousand. <laughs> okay. It's a 300 to 1k. It, like, it loses like 7 to 10 Dude, bullets. I would punch so hard that game. No way. I mean, I know it's a surprise, but you would no way, Ryan. You're not. Just <laughs> calls. None of us believe that. And now Feldman picks up the nut flush draw to go with what are not two the overs to the 10. Julie's got 50 the 10 high hard draw. <laughs> Get in the hoodie. Uh, hoodie has been announced. Shout out, should do it to people in our game, not your game. Shout out. <laughs> <laughs> like, random, who are these people? Random people. Are you, I'm like, I don't even know who these people are. shouting out people that play in this like, tiny little game online. Shout out oh. to not the people from our game who we should be talking to. Clean river for Julia as she calls the 2400. Shout out to Mike the Mouth. 9500. Yeah, <laughs> Up Mike the Mouth Mike grabs. Mike the Mouth, I was afraid he was going to talk over the top of everybody. Oh, so you uninvited him? But then, but then I realized he's a regular in our game and yeah. he could be here. So then I Does asked Ryan him if he wanted to. have the third to, barrel uh, in the chamber. He was in too much pain. Pain? Oh, pain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, you know, his or back's his messed back. up. Oh, right, right, right. Indeed. 7,500. On the meaty side. And off comes the hood as Julie Yorn has to make a decision. Made it 300 on the button. Feldman made it 1400 out of the big. Helmuth bowed out after being caught in the middle. Bet a call of 800 on the flop and then 2400 on the turn. The story being told here is tens are no good. Will Yorn be a believer? Bluff, it was a good one. It was. And it was. Let's keep looking at his face for tells, ticks. <laughs> I don't think that was a bluff. Well, whether she knew it then or not, she knows it now. And Julie, Ryan got you on that one. Welcome back to Aria Resort and Casino for more Poker After Dark and a 5100 cash game hosted by none other than Phil Helmuth. And I'm an actor. I love NBC. NBC is like one of the best networks I've like ever worked for. Maybe the people channel. from NBC will be watching and then... No, I we'll honestly, I really love season. working for NBC. It's like, it is one of the best, best networks. I think they treat actors really, really well. I mean, I'm really happy. But, um, but yeah, I mean, I guess it's different. But when you're playing, though, you don't really think about it the whole time that you're, you know, right? Uh, they have it at Javier's, but yeah, I don't know. It's kind of, it's weird like that. I don't know. Julie stepping out like with the Jack Nine bar, suited. Sometimes they see me coming, and the, then they go get some for me at the other bar, which is really nice. Jeremy's got it's bad considered. spades. Where's those those three bottles you got? Closing the action. They're all gone. Three Drink players. You drank those bottles already? Nutters for Helmuth. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Might be able to get a little action. Yorn with the two-way straight draw. C bets. Eleven's got bottom pair in the open ender. Gears are turning. Every time Bill gets in a pot, it just gets so This is like, yeah. Every time he throws a chip out, it's just some, you can a hear big it. moment. I'm serious. <laughs> now Yorn makes top pair. No, I told Phil I didn't want to play because I didn't want to lose on the game and look dumb. 
Call. And I am losing. You might you have lose, a but you won't look dumb. Oh. Yeah, the nuts. Yeah. How much was it? Nine. She glad I didn't call in. I was open-ended. Nope. There's right. the double Ryan, he's been I'm waiting losing. for. So you have to double me up. Yeah, but you're never going to look like, wow, this is cool. I didn't know how to play cool. poker. That's true. So a lot th of those people, people aren't, aren't, those people aren't gonna care if you win or lose. Really? They're just going to be cool <laughs> to see you on stream. I was open-ended. Like, okay. Because there's a lot of celebrities that'll play on these streams. and A lot of celebrities play on these streams. And, and yeah, fans are just, space, they just think it's cool to see them. A lot of big celebrities play on I think it's because I've never watched the streams. I don't really know. When, Damn it, Armin. Uh, <laughs> you you told me to play tight. In the master. <laughs> <laughs> it's your fault. Oh, the game for 50, get in there. And then you can stack up dates. Thank you very much. Five figure I W am. for Ryan Feldman in progress, up 10 dimes. I pay you off, probably. Up a modest one. Chester Strudel. 11 up 3K. That's right. Yeah. And uh, out Arusha Line in the one hole. Fairly uneventful. I think Arden is asleep. Winner. Hello, Arden. Arden's been talking about not Arden wanting to lose. Happy and I look sad. She's only down 1K. You do look yeah, what does you, Ryan look like? Why are you so sad? Why are you so sad? Ryan's happy he's winning all the money. Well, I, mean, I think Ryan would be this I'm happy winning. if he was losing all the money. With though, money. Too. How much is he on? Too much. Julie, cut him down to size. Show this little pipsqueak what, what you're all about. Show me what you're working with. <laughs> <laughs> Shake it fast. Watch Show yourself. What you're I got the fire like I am. <laughs> Feldman, wow. I knew it. looking I knew for a field Arden. thinner with this ace-10. So it's time to show Ryan where it's hard. I was moving in. Meanwhile, oh. it's like a natural. On the button with this 3-5 <laughs> uh, suited. No, Julie with the fake out. Trapping yeah. right. happy. Ooh, Ooh trapping I again. I, no, no, I, I was I, a straddle, right? I was moving in 100% right now, but now hard. What happened? What happened is Ryan Don't be shy. Like, you can still do it Here's if you want. what happened. Ryan saw limp, 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 and he's Ryan. squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. He's got a lot of fold equity, too. I know. What? Oh, good, Arden. 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 Go, Arden. I think Arden's oh. going to win a big Arden. pot. So the straddler Arden. finds Arden. himself heads up. Arden's going to win a big Arden. pot. That hit Eric her hard. Arden. Arden. Flush draw Arden. with Arden. two overs. Knowing Ryan, deuce three is really tough. In his wheelhouse? Yeah. Yeah. No coaching. Okay. No coaching. <laughs> you can't scare Arden. There's no amount of money that scares it's true. Arden. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. She makes when the I call. first started playing with her, I was like, I picks up a gut shot straight she draw. Some... Oh, nice. The natural four Snap five got pumps there. Pumps so the brakes. Yeah, she loves the natural knife. Arden no checky, Betty. Cho doesn't waste time betting eighteen hundred. And how is Ryan gonna react? All options available, other than fold, of course. Okay. The river we Keeps go. Keeps it clean a lot with of a flat. Ryan puts a lot of outs. Arden's <laughs> card. Arden's card. That's not one of them. Check. And Feldman's check means Arden can get to showdown free if she checks back. Is she going to be tempted to turn this hand into what she's got to imagine would be a bluff? Indeed. Yeah. All right, you win, you win. And the good news Yay! is by betting, she's not going to have to show <laughs> this pot. Show a bluff. You read it right. Too. Did you have four five? No. All right. Show it. But she does it anyway. <laughs> oh, yeah? my oh my god, you actually have the best I, I thought wrong. I had the best hand too. Wow. I was not Look at Arden. Yeah. Oh I really felt like Assassin. a pair was good there. Oh <laughs> I should have raised the turn. Like she had the I best raised hand? so small. Right, I thought she was falling. I had enough flush draw. That was good. Nobody seems to agree on whether that was a value bet or a bluff, but Arden doesn't care. She's going to stack Ryan's chips either way. During the break, seven players became eight as we had a late arrival in the form of poker pro Danielle Anderson. Welcome to the game, D-Moon. You can't be calling king-queen suited doubles with king-queen suited yeah. doubles. What other terms do you have? Why? I've seen Ryan do it a lot and win. Of course. Yeah. Ryan's I'm, I'm special. Ryan's oh, okay, okay. So there, Ryan there, can call whole... doubles with king queen, but not the rest of us. No, there's a whole yeah. bunch of us that, that thought that that Ryan was going to just lose what back like a million. Uh huh. He didn't. I he don't have the ability to lose so back. bad. <laughs> like we were just like, how does he just keep winning? So yeah. Feldman. Literally, there was a list. There's Demon new rules for Ryan. Team one's like he's picking up a real hand. I didn't say that. You're no, that's you not a direct quote. I said he's always the chips are always live when Ryan's in the game. Yeah. The money said something else. The money's never like locked up. Yeah, you did say that. There's some people, if the money comes out of the game, it's never coming You're very back. conservative, Ryan, and like the lies. words you use in the text, you said, well, That's maybe why. lose That's a bunch of Moon has my back, so I know that. <laughs> but you're right. I like that. She if was I'm like, don't quote me wrong. I am very careful. I like that. 
Jeremy. I'm not. Well, I may have. I may have. Punks down right. another fifteen hundred. Call the three bet. Bahu. Five, six, seven, and two diamonds. <laughs> Let's just put it this way, Ryan. There are a bunch of us who thought. You I lost back a uh, decent amount the last couple weeks. Not a lot, but. <laughs> I like it. Not a lot. Although, Philip, even if I didn't say those exact words, I mean. You meant exactly. too. Yeah, I mean, it was, you know, I don't think those exact words. Anyways, the point of the story is Ryan point, can call Ryan's doubles with anything. Like God, and and he win. He can call no triples, too. Yeah, Ryan can call doubles and triples with anything. Doubles and triples? <laughs> I love that she's saying doubles and triples. How about triples 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 triples. Triples. She's right. She's in a bad way here. She's right. She's right. I learned a new poker term. do it. Call Mikey up and tell him Ryan did that with the doubles. Feldman's slippery check. Draws a bet. Out of 11. Yeah. Mikey put in 500 big lines with pocket tens last week. So, you know, he's got a tight knot. He's gotten crazy. Ryan yeah. promptly so called the 2K crazy. and checks once more as a four liner oh, it hits okay. the turn. I was like, I do that. Yeah. <laughs> today, <laughs> today, you mean, or on the app? Oh, against Yoda. The last time. Right, you can't. You, 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 yeah, you smelled can't something. That for Check yes, back. I can. Yoda time. That was like forever ago. You that was like last week. That was on whatever day I got killed. The last time we played oh, okay. the online yeah, you gotta game. Play, you gotta play the last time we played, wasn't it the last time where you lost all the money? That was oh, the yeah, last time lost. I played. <laughs> <laughs> ben took the worst loss of his life. Why not? Both play players, players shut it all like the way down. I wanted a better. Like, I wish that was the worst. I thought you might have a. Oh, you're folding? Like right? Punt it off. I thought you might have like, uh, oh, yeah, some 8x in. King on the end slowed the jacks down Probably from value. Isn't it good for the game? Yeah, it was definitely. Uh, <laughs> might be good. Could always have been slightly Could better. I was going to jam the flop. I want to kill him with this. Kill me with kindness. On the straddle. I like the Lauren Hellman. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lauren oh, the Fuji's. My why clef, why clef, my favorite artist of all time. You do karaoke, right? Yeah. Yeah. But that song is it's great. Yeah. One time, one time. Yeah. One, one time. time. One it's a poker time. song. That's a great song. It's a poker is it? song. Why is it a poker song? Because he says one time. <laughs> like when you go all in. You... Ryan, play your hand. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so cheesy. I can't. <laughs> I get it, Terrible. but it like took me it's a minute. A, it's kind of like a <laughs> one to like a dad poker. Joke. I was gonna say yeah, that's what I do. Dad jokes as Ryan has. I feel like you. Thank you. It's a dad. That's my thing. I didn't my realize thing. Ryan has so many dad jokes. I'm um, the king of that. He's not even He's a dad. King of bad jokes. Uh, well, dad, no, not bad. Dad. That we know. Um, they might also be bad. No, I'm pretty sure. I didn't realize he had so many combinations in his <laughs> pre-flop range. Dad that we know of in but we figured that part. He out. could be a dad. I can confirm. I can just hear now. I can just hear the guitar. Oh, damn. I love how demon's just dying. Like that's not a possibility. That requires. Oh. Ace, nine, oh, six. Ryan's sad now. Ryan's not. Yeah, he's gonna oh, nothing, no, nothing. Liquid courage. You could tease anybody who wears that out. <laughs> that's right. As long as you know. He's, it's how much he? The announcer yeah, Ryan asked Ryan gets me. away with everything. Do you know how much the he? The announcer is? asked about Liberace. <laughs> How much you? No, I think Can someone I should get to win the jacket. Jeremy, do you want to have the middle? The biggest <laughs> winner gets the jacket. Yeah, biggest winner gets Jeremy. the jacket and his Dolce shirt. And the pride. Can Jeremy Guys, this is a big moment for me. Right. If I win Jeremy that jacket, it's going straight to the salvation. If I win that jacket, I'm framing oh, not it. Not me. If I wear that, I'm wearing it everywhere. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm getting Feldman <laughs> stitched on the back. Check <laughs> raised to 1700 on the back. Your new Michael Jordan. Wow. Get Feldman oh. 23 on the back. What then? Strumming my pain with his finger. One time, one time. Uh, you, did you read Okay, so you have uh, 7K back? Such a Let's go to karaoke song. With his song. I don't have one. Oh. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> What's wow. your go-to karaoke song? Ryan I don't really have calls one. three thousand on the turn. I just always like sing along to whatever. And it's aces full I'm usually, for eleven I'm usually on down the river. For a little no scrubs. Ooh, Ooh yeah. Healthy. How does it start? Scrubs. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know that I word's know. in this. I'm trying to. Scrubs. Oh, this guy that can oh. get yeah, that more love from me. Hanging on the top of the sun. Oh, How about the No Pigeons remix of that? It's my, my jam. Yeah, Ryan, I know Ryan knows No Pigeons. All in. All in. How much is it? Okay, right, now wow. we can't This is a big one. Now it's his business. Big the jacket's on the line. Big decisions to make. 
Hey. We're so hey. weird. Like, you know what? You know, I could have an ace here. The jacket's on the line. <gasps> Jeremy is in the, in the hole, in the hiding. Hood. He's in the hood. He's in the hood. <laughs> He's in the hood. <laughs> Did you see my hood pop up before? Jeremy, what are you doing? He doesn't want you to get a live read. I He's like, I don't know how to do that. That was my The funny part is he thinks Ryan could actually get a live read. Seven, eight good here? When are they going to come back and play? Who? Phil and Jennifer. There was, I know, not during it because the on for the game. Right, but she always kind of plays the relax, like she yeah. you know, kind of pretends. There were sixes? Like she know, you know what I mean? She plays that kind Do you of, have you know, world, world, where you don't know speed, how brilliant club, she is. But heart. Yeah. Ace nine of diamonds. Look at Ryan. <laughs> Feldman. <laughs> Working through the action okay. to this point. On the app, so Ryan. Not gonna Ryan would already know what to do on the app. Trying, trying to here. figure out on the app? what Jeremy would what just defend the, the big app. with. <laughs> and check raise flop and barrel Two, away. Man. Joker would hit the Yeah, you're right. This, Two. but it could be, but it could be the cards or it could be the money. Oh no, no, no. We, we know, we know which one it is. <laughs> Seven, eight. <laughs> All right, we gotta be serious. Very serious. This is a very serious game. It's serious. Ryan's alone making a decision. We don't gotta be serious. Two. Ryan doesn't care. Yeah. Two ones. <clears throat> Clear. You can I wasn't even paying attention, so I actually kind of wish I knew what was happening. I have no idea what's going on right now. I mean, I know that. Jeremy's all in. All in, but <laughs> that's it. That's all I know. Jeremy about three came. Seven what? Seven before seven five. Oh, he led. Mm. Show me the money. Woo! Full Shit. house. Shit. The Turn that one. Ace is full. Let's go. Ship it. Ship it. Ship it. It was a payday. Yeah. I wouldn't celebrate unless you beat me so much lately. I'm not like that. But ship it to Jay Boogie. <laughs> I love it. All right, so drinks much. on Jay Boogie tonight. Not yet. Finally, someone stopped the runaway train that was the aggro Ryan Feldman as Jeremy Levin made a full house and got paid. Poker After Dark is brought to you by Roman. Simple, straightforward, the way healthcare should be. Visit GetRoman.com to learn more. Manscaped. Don't gamble with your grooming tools. Visit Manscaped.com today for the best in men's grooming. And Poker Go. Get in the game at PokerGo.com. Only a deuce. Right. Well, no, because if it comes like ace, three, four, five, you know, like there's Oh, no, I'm not. I thought you meant How much are you? 12? No, How much are you? Ray, oh, okay. Okay. Percentage of chopping. Huh? Double straddle again. Ace queen for D Moon up front. You could have hit a jack. Three X's. Well, uh, Dose. Ryan becomes Spanish. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tequila. King 10 suited. Oh my God. Tequila is. Starts to look a little sexy. Quanto Late cuesta? in a session. Quanto cueste este mano? Yeah. Goes back in the pot again. Yeah, I was all in. you probably a quadruple up here. With ace nine of clubs, makes a sizable investment. Great flop for Daniel. Wow, I would have won three quarters if she didn't limp in. If I called blind, okay. I had a nine. That would have been great. I had nine five off. Oh, wow, and you beat us five. That's I would have won three quarters, yeah. Yeah. That's so sick. No, yeah, three quarters, yeah. Check. And she is going wow. to lie and wait for the check back. Amazing. He shows 5-5 five, five and you have 9-5 and you that And that is a death knell for Phil Hummuth's stack. That would have D-Moon's check got this allows him sure. to turn the ace. <laughs> now she's got top two. 900? 900. That's a modest 900. Guys don't gotta get so quiet. Julie picked up the Broadway back. gutty yeah, and Fuji's gone back. Oh, yeah. She'll call. Uh, oh yeah, they were singing Fuji. Is that yeah, somehow I going to dissuade Fuji's. Helmuth from entering? No. I was gonna threaten to quit if he folded here. Fill this hand. Let's take a it's the, Not me. Uh, I wanted the rebuy. Deuce, I wanted to get felt this year. Rebuy. Feels <laughs> dead. Yeah, three by five K, right? Ooh la la la. I love the Fujis. They were amazing. That's why Wyclef's my favorite artist ever. I've seen him perform more than anyone. He's amazing live, like amazing. I saw him perform in LA actually about three years ago. Wahida. The bar with a Cuban cigar. That's so many great songs. 
I wonder if Steven 42? or Ben has spoken more 42? this game. Oh, Ben. All right. Ben's spoken a lot. <laughs> huh? Ben's, Ben's spoken a lot. Steven spoke once when spoken to. Ben has a lot of quick hitters. <laughs> Oh. Give me five. And Danielle manages to be the second person tonight to stack Phil Hellmuth. Next time on Poker After Dark. Let's do instead of do seven, eight, three. It's a new game and a new group. No. With Ellie Alezra turning up the aggression. I can only not beat one hand. Oh, you got the ace of spin. I like it. Boom, boom. And Nick Wright turning up the volume. I felt that I won, and then once you turned it over, I thought I had lost. Oh boy, he just learned this game. You Run know how good. to play four cards, and now he's playing two cards. Run good. Tonight on Poker After Dark, a new gang of gamblers hits the felt, led by Maria Ho and Ellie Alezra. Queen Deuce, Jack Three, boom, boom. Couple trip, top set, flush. Zach Franzi never misses a hand. I'm never gonna say no to anything. And Nick Wright never misses a chance to drop a hot take. Cobb salad is an elite salad. Cobb salad is not an elite salad. The iconic Las Vegas sign, just north of the Poker After Dark Suite. At Aria Resort and Casino, it's time to welcome you inside once more for some cash game action. Seven participants, not including yours truly, Ali Najad with the commentary and Veronica Brill with the interviews. Might recognize that mug, well known. Sports commentator and host, Nick Wright, handles the first things first duties on FS1. And there's another host with the most, Maria Ho, inducted into the Women in Poker Hall of Fame has handled duties here for us at Poker Go on a number of occasions. Returning for another helping of cash game action is Zach Franzi in the two seat. Then you have Joel Parento, who is the other half of Daniel Winant in the six seat. Then you have Hish Salama in the four hole. 5100, no limit hold'em cash game action with a $100 big blind ante is the game. 10K minimum buy-in. Can't gloss over, last but not least, Ellie Alezra, who is fully vaccinated and has been chomping at the bit during quarantine to get back into live poker action. The online streets simply can't compare for a guy that cut his teeth playing Bobby's Room action at Bellagio for so many years. Joel's first participation with ace king $300 open gets flatted by hish <coughs> lesra wants to play his button and nick wright likes the price four players to i guess you can call that a flop <laughs> we'll get there one way to deliver it jack nine eight all spades though top two for nick wright who checks hish has that nut flush draw and top pair loves the look of this board but decides to check it 11 that leaves Alezra with an opportunity to get frisky. Pretty big sizing. Very wet texture, so Nick will proceed with caution. Same way, the deuce of diamonds, a complete blank on the turn. Check. Two checks in front of Ellie now. And he was just talking about having written a book. 26. He's telling some tales here on the turn with a $2,600 bet. Call. Wright makes the call, and that's a bit of a weird spot for Hish. Obviously, he has to assume 
He's drawing alive and not up against a straight flush. Well. So in comes his 2600. And the seven of spades, not a welcome sight for Jack Nine. Hish does have the ace of spades, but he's beaten by the ten of spades if it's out there. On account of that, he decides to check it. And will Ellie wave the white flag or really press? Boy, he reached down into that stack of purples. How much is that? 44. But I don't think 4,400 is going to get the job done. Certainly against Nick should clear him easily, but Ellie. Hish is going to have to see it. I can only not beat one hand, just so you know. Oh, you got the ace of spades. I like it. Paul. <laughs> <laughs> you got the ace of spades, he says, right? Yeah. Supposedly. <laughs> I believed him, so. Believe who, me? Or him? No, I believe no, you. Yeah. Yeah. You cannot beat one hand. I can only not beat one hand. I was expecting you to show the ace, but yeah. if you don't want to do that, uh, it's fine too. Let's play some uh, different today. Let's do instead of do seven, eight, three, <laughs> for 500 each. I'll just make it very apparently clear. I'm never going to say no to anything, so. I like it. <laughs> but you eight, spoken three, like a true one. professional gambler. Before you proposed, so. We were propping cards during the game and everybody kept sleeping. I guess the answer, the answer is no. <laughs> I didn't hear any rejections. I just didn't hear any. There were no affirmations. I, 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 I heard no eyes. Anxious. To do we'll it. Go back to do seven if they want, but eight three sounds, you know. I'm open we to We could just play one round of deuce to seven instead. I, I will do that. Forget well, about seven. Uh, yeah, <laughs> well, just one round? <laughs> we'll run every other round. Yeah, yeah. We'll, yeah. we'll play if one. No, that I object. No, we're we playing single or a, a, a round, round of each. Oh. We'll, 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 we'll end up yeah. seven, but it's single draw, no limit. Let's give Ellie a chance. Yeah, I love that. No problem. Daniel with the suited connector opened and defends against the three bet as he flops Jin with a straight flush redraw. I'd be in for that. Ellie checks back. I'm in. Daniel you slips play? it to him a second I time. Okay. I came, I came in town for the game. Wow. Okay. What about you? I live in Aria right now. Okay. Nice. Yeah. So this is your basement home game. I'm homeless right now. <laughs> Meaty 1800 here on the turn into just north of 2K. There's literally no homes available right now. Ridiculous. Oh, you're oh, so you're trying to live here. I'm born and raised here. Oh, okay, okay. Dead hand. Ellie knows when the jig is up, and he'll get a look at just how dead he was drawing. <laughs> Poker After Dark is brought to you by Roman. Simple, straightforward, the way healthcare should be. Visit GetRoman.com to learn more. Manscaped. Don't gamble with your grooming tools. Visit Manscaped.com today for the best in men's grooming and Poker Go. Get in the game at PokerGo.com. Welcome back to Poker After Dark, where Ellie Alezra has been extremely active in the early going, but it hasn't worked out too well for the health of his chip stack. We know Ellie, though, and he won't be phased a bit. Sweet. Straddle, restart, a little bit. You know, the success okay. of the high stakes was because they they did weigh it and they added it. All yeah, of course. Yes. Stuff, you know? I think it's definitely better. Yeah, and for the whenever viewers. you go on the. On you mean Poker the general go, public doesn't want to stare at you folding for two hours? And they show like, um, cool. like Doyle's game or whatever, those mixed games mm -hmm. things, which are interesting games to watch, but it's six uninterrupted hours. So That's you right. Just don't, That's right. You can't really figure out. But that was the best. Like when I they were. They were yeah. yeah that, Ellie, I know you liked yeah. it too, right? Like yeah. when they were playing mix on. This oh, is a trouble best. flop here for Alezra. Right. Top pair and the ace of hearts. And he's oh, up against my completely my favorite Frenzy, who has Thank the flush. You. 
I think we can probably put these on the ground. Oh, no, that's... To can't be fair, there's the definitely, like, enough action, but... even if they showed it straight through, but only the diehard poker fans will, will want to watch right. hands that, like, sometimes go to the flop, yeah. but don't go but to I'm gonna, the first, I'm gonna be you know honest. I mean? You know like... who you're disappointing right now is my mother. Okay, she <laughs> wants to watch all... Everything. She wants to watch all six hours, yeah. okay? <laughs> that's funny. Not my mother, who would be horrified that I'm here. <laughs> well, we won't, we won't, we won't your tell her you're here. What? No. All in. All in. Twice or once? Always twice. Yeah. I have a flush. They're running it twice. So Zach check called the flop and then check jams as Ellie made a mm -hmm. pot committed turn bet of 4,400, calls the extra 25 and his first 20K barrel, or bullet rather, hangs in the balance. This is up. <laughs> versus, have, a have a a versus a pair of deuces, that's right. right. Yeah. I hear it's good to win the first board. I'm not sure. Elizra couldn't Hello. connect on the Hello. first board and chop it up. What are you chopping? A chop scoop. it up. <laughs> Can't hit Dad, the second one. Send me, send me some. Uh, oh, yeah. You don't want to be that. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm concerned. I mean, Ottawa's worse. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. <laughs> She's complaining about. No, no, I think it's Skip. Oh wait, it's, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That was Francie's Beyonce. <laughs> Listen, no, usually one day we're playing 400, 800 with Canada, the Canada lineup is me, Negron, and Berkey, Dan, Scott, Steve, and Oliver. Uh, well, so when it was still a thing, we would go to Australia. I'm destroying the table the whole damn night. Really? Cool, cool, cool. cool. Really cool. I stack Daniel, I stack Scott, and then Jake wakes up with the two deuces, decides to float the flop and find Vegas or Los Angeles. Yeah, okay. Just out anywhere warm. On a Jack nine nine, we're at nine ten. Well, well, this was fun. Ellie adds on 10,000 in for a total of 30 now. Yes, Elezra just limped. Yes, yes, that's what I, I was going to say it, but you said it, which is better. <laughs> 400. It's allowed, right? It's yeah. allowed. It's, it's allowed. allowed. Yeah, it's encouraged. Allowed. I think it's encouraged. It, it happens so not rarely that the booth was trying to figure out what to do. <laughs> they literally <laughs> called he, it in. He what in it? They're like, what in the Is hell did that man just do? There's a left in the, in the pot from before. Exactly. Bro, no, I think that belongs to Zach from the previous pot. <laughs> Nut flush draw against top pair as Franzi. C bets with the action yeah. check to him. Yeah, yeah. we're getting there. Put in that middle in the pair. traditional little, manner. Little Back door straight four, options. Plus four, plus one, plus one, plus one. <laughs> they, they weren't coming out. What do you want from me? The typical way to bet 1100. <sighs> Salamo. Looking to stay out of trouble. Paul. Look now. Can Allows look. Elezra to call the 1100. Bravo. Now it's trip aces on the turn for Franzi. Mm. More standard that way. Thanks. <laughs> they came out there. <laughs> You only give action to a guy that give you action. Which language do you want me to say thank you? <laughs> so da. Okay. So da is good. 2400 turn call came with a disclaimer. Now, could this be a trap card for Ellie as he hits the king 33. to make aces up? He just added on 10K, a call here, and 7,100 of that is Ghost. Horrendous start to the session for Alezra. Barely two orbits in. Just have a big ace. And he makes the call. So without a doubt, the first group of people I've ever gambled with were Francie classical pianos of topic of discussion. 
This yeah. is the. This is I was gonna far more educated than my typical <laughs> poker game. I was gonna join in, but I just don't have much to, <laughs> I to I contribute. Yeah. I heard it. He was, was like, "Oh, you haven't heard this guy? Oh my goodness!" I'm like, they used to play the piano. <laughs> well, things have gone from bad to worse for Elezra as Zach Franzi took two big bites out of the season pro. During the break, Ellie Elezra decided to take a walk after a rough start, and the table decided to start talking pandemic commercial real estate. So they'd rather eat the month-over-month -month loss of no rent than lower the rent, get it filled, and then all of a sudden their entire building is valued less. Right, yeah. So you would just have all these vacant stores, and oh. no one will lower the rent. And it's weird because, like, the question mark is out on, like, what's happening with commercial real estate right yeah. now. Like, everything else seems fine. Like, the housing market's on fire. Mm -hmm. The economy's doing well. People are spending. We're playing poker. Still waiting on Paul Pierce, but... He's on his way, bro. Yeah, okay. There you go. That's all I need to hear, man. Short it. But go long on two kings, call it. which is what Zach Franz is doing here. One of those kings busy in Nick Wright's hand. A lot of interference as all the Broadway cards are being shared by the four-player field, and somehow the case king finds its way to the flop. Franzi's on fire. Maria, you just didn't like Vegas? Um, or family, or...? I, my family still lives in LA, yeah. but, um, and I did like Vegas, but I was in a condo. I was at um, uh, the Martin. Yeah. If they could just escape me. Um, and I just wanted more space, especially you during the. See Zach the is. Yeah. 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 I know. Did you make a profit? A little yeah. bit surprised I mean, by like, Nick's choice to. When I first moved Defend in, the big it, check call and then really leave. But like yeah. obviously this was at the beginning of the pandemic, yeah. so the housing prices and places weren't as good as it is now, but it was still. Right is drawing dead okay. with just one pair. Call the extra 1800 on the turn fairly quickly. Are you guys going to get a place here? No, we always, almost every trip we talk about it, but then we always like, we, the Cosmo is so great. We love the it's amenities. Good. We love being right on the strip, having a gym in the building, food, room service. So it's not worth it. And like, it feels more like a vacation yeah. when you get to like have all of the amenities. Like, yeah on hand, but yeah. it's, just, it's just too nice to right. be in the hotel, so. Sure. And all their rooms have balconies, right? Yeah. yeah. So it's like even more of a house, I'd be more of a condo. Yeah, I'd be more tempted to buy a place in LA because mm -hmm. the hotel is not as great. Pretty good right now. Right. Huh? That's true. I feel yeah. like looking at homes online, we're just like, we could just peace out, but yeah. One of my old coworkers in Toronto blind bought a place uh, in Fort Lauderdale <laughs> because of why it's just, it's, I mean, it's sad what's going on up there. Um, Nick oh. makes a big oh, call of 6,000 on the river here as the conversation was centering Not around quarantine skill, housing. Not to take away but like, how are you running, Zach? You feel yeah. like, you know? Bad. Doing all right. Couple trips, top set, flush. You guys been able to, uh, like, get in to get a is vaccine? Is it sad that <laughs> yeah. I'm actually upset? Oh, you guys, okay, good. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, that's actually so one of the reasons why we're staying way longer. Huh? Sure. Uh, we were supposed to fly out. <laughs> while, while you were gone, he flopped set of kings against my one king. Oh boy, he just learned this game. He, he knows how to play four cards, and now he's playing two cards. Run good. Yeah. Yep. I mean, I made a horrifying call in the end, but I put him on the nuts or nothing, and it was 50-50. <laughs> it's just, just wrong. You know JRB, right? Yeah, of course. He whispered in my ear, he said, this Zach guy, so lucky. <laughs> <laughs> it's Eli's big blind. I'm yeah. Yes. yeah. Cool. My guess is it wasn't anyway. so much a whisper. Oh, you good, you think? <laughs> Only on Tuesdays. <laughs> Tuesday? <laughs> I missed it. <laughs> JRB, back in the day, was a nightclub guy? Yes. I've heard him talk about it, but I didn't. <laughs> Thank you. What? There's is this no one? Sorry, it's going down? Okay. Yeah, okay, okay. Sorry about that. He seems like a very nice guy. But it's also you, very I, funny. I was during quarantine. I was watching. He's so old, amazing, isn't it? How can you not like him? He, yeah. he donates to his game every night. <laughs> no, no. But you know, no. right? He's, he's, he yeah, a, and especially if you work in the nightclub business before, you have to be good at. Yeah. He's very. And he's the best self-promoter ever. Not a not surprised. But he's very pleasant always. Yes, yeah. I think yeah. Phil Helm, you might have something right to say about the best self-promoter ever, moniker. Tomorrow. 
Meanwhile, we I'm focus on the task at hand for Joelle Parenteau. That was winning this pot, Friday the though she decides up. not mm -hmm. to fire a seabed in the Queen High Rainbow Friday. flop. Yeah. Yeah. Friday's 50 on Hey, we have Phil Almuth Friday, man. That's the real, the real gambler. That's enjoyable. There's, but I Nick was takes the initiative. Poker go during the, the quarantine, turn. and uh, JRB's on an episode, and he's talking about like never getting married, not like kids, the whole thing. <laughs> and then I watched one, just randomly yeah. a different one, and it was like two years later, from during the quarantine. He's talking about how he spent the whole it's quarantine like at home with his kids. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> He's Did you a add third. chips, Eli? No. Oh, okay. He also has a third coming. Oh, she pranked. That's awesome. 900. 900. Another went over girl. there to add chips. I got my credit is no good. <laughs> Your credit is no good. <laughs> they cut him off. Nick Wright with a slick 900 on the end. Sheds the better ace high, which was a Broadway well, dirty. up the street. I could text him for you. <laughs> okay. No, they, they transfer from Bellagio, but you know, as an old school, when you run bed, don't add up money yet. Right. You, you see, so you wait till it, I. He waits till at worst, least the first break. No, my worst. Javier's. Lo poker losses, like at the end of the night, are nights uh, where. No, I need you to find out. Instead of waiting to in lose, yet. if I get been, buy in for five thousand and get down to the last two thousand, like I'll add three more. Add three. You know what I mean? Th then all of a sudden they, the they say like, tomorrow every day. What hat for? <laughs> I'm like I only went broke once, but it's well, like yeah, it, it, because it's. <laughs> Thank you. Is that the menu? Yeah. Sorry, Ellie. They thought I was real spoiled on Monday. Okay. When me and Dan go outside and I'm drinking something, like, he bumped into me and went all over. I had a white Louis t-shirt on and it went everywhere. Like, well, I'm not going back on the camera with all this over my chest. So trying to figure out how to get a shirt. So I called the butler, had him go to the villa and bring me clothes. <laughs> Here comes no me. way. He comes oh, walking in with my dry cleaning yeah. clothes. Oh I'm like, there we go. <laughs> I like it. Why, what else was I going to do? I was covered in coffee. <laughs> oh, the butler life. Actually, upstairs with JRB, you're taking breaks when you run, you lose a couple of big points. Oh. Hey, Waldo, we play, it's at Waldorf, so you take a break oh. whenever you want. Okay. Oh, okay. Maria, three betting the king queen suited out of position against the six seven the suited head chef of Mastro's because mm. he caters a lot of the nights there. Ooh. And when we have oysters, he he won't let them come over unless he comes to shuck them himself. Wow, super nice guy. That's but it's really cool to play like that. Yeah. Super nice guy. I don't know what to get. What's the best thing? Backdoor Javier's? diamonds and like two everything. overs comes out swinging against backdoor clubs. Enchiladas, the trio, but they've been out of lobster and crab for like the last four days, so I'm waiting to find out if they got oh. seafood in. Okay. It's uh. like a different sauce on each one. It's one shrimp enchilada, one, one crab, crab, and one, one lobster. lobster yeah. That sounds amazing. If they have it, I'm gonna get that. It's my favorite thing. My problem with food is board pairs. Literally not any type of food I don't eat or don't um, like. So it's I don't big. know. I don't know if you noticed up the, the flush Italian down. kid doesn't miss too many meals. <laughs> It's not from being bashful. <laughs> yeah. He enjoys food too. Yeah. Three thousand four hundred thirty-four. Ellie keeps getting up. I can't never go smoke a damn cigarette. <laughs> Sizing went way up on the turn as Maria was not interested in being called. Oh, it's just the wrong suit. On the turn. <laughs> oh, okay. Six, seven, the flaps. <laughs> when Maria Ho finally makes her presence known at the table, that's usually what we see, her dragging a pot. Stick around. More after this. Welcome back to Poker After Dark, where our 5100 cash game has had a nice balance of action and table talk, thanks to one Nick Wright. I mean, the fact that the Clippers have never made a conference finals, that's impossible. There's there's other teams though, right? Like who else hasn't? Think of them. It's New Orleans, they, yeah, but they haven't expansion. existed for a yeah, long okay, time. Okay, so let's like take them. Okay. Yeah. So then try to find another. Charlotte. I don't think Charlotte ever did. They okay. made round two and lost to Jordan. Um, 
but they're also relatively new. Yeah, they're new-ish. They're yeah. like in the Orlando league. came is in the last Memphis. thirty years. They made they made a conference. Memphis they? made a conference finals. Yeah, Orlando has Zebo got suspended it. for a game for oh, like okay. fake yeah, punching. Yeah, Orlando's definitely. Made no, I was gonna no, no that's well, um, they didn't win a championship, but they went to the finals twice. They didn't win with Shaq and Penny. No, they lo- they got swept by a king. Shaq, Shaq only won I, rings I with I Miami and the Lakers. No, you tricked and then they also went back to the finals with Dwight. That's what I'm thinking. But they, uh, that's what I was going to say. Like Orlando's one of the new teams. They made it. You think I'm not going to follow that on Toronto the hasn't made a conference finals. No, 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 no. no. I, like, I oh, you Franzi just got to cut out. Has oh, just well, had the yeah, medicine for Alezra. Okay, well, and here he is with Ace King in the big blind, looking up at a raise and a three bet from Wynan and Alezra, respectively. Well, <laughs> you did make the uh, flush draw and wasn't up against a straight flush, so I feel like oh. they're still faring pretty well. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying, like, Ops for a flat <laughs> call. I hope that's one of the ones they edit out. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, why don't you bet the turn? I don't know. Huh. Guess I should have Because you knew it wasn't coming, you didn't want to lose more. Okay. There it is. Go Lakers. <laughs> Why didn't go set mining? Isn't going to like a queen nine four flop. Does have the only spade, however. And Alezra here with the open ender. Check. Choosing to check back. Seven on the turn and He's going to bet it like he's got it. What made you a jazz fan? The statistics, the numbers. Take it down. Oh, so Zach. you're not a fan, like it's not like that's the team oh, you no, root no, no. for. No, I'm a Miami you're just saying, yeah. oh, okay. What do you, I think, what do you think about Tyler Harrow? I, I don't think he's very good. Oh God. <laughs> Sorry. What no, am, I, am I? Am I? Going, am I take, going after no, all I'm your like guys? No, I'm like over leveraged on like all of his trading cards. <laughs> oh, that's not great. Yeah, it's alright. I mean, it could be worse. Um, <laughs> he, they're also. Did you see just? Like 36 hours ago, they he's like beefing with Pat Riley. Well, yeah, because they think like, he parties too much. He's too big of a celebrity, they say. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 And Pat's right. Like you got to listen to Pat. Well, he also, yeah. I mean, he's young. <laughs> young, yeah. That, he's got his own cereal. Yeah. Unless you're I mean, Dennis Rodman. He had like an unbelievable run. He didn't start partying until like he was in his 30s. I know, but that was when he went, came under Phil. He was yeah, out yeah, of yeah. control. I mean, still played great though. I wish I had my own cereal. You know, come to think of it, that'd be awesome. What would you call it? Hishios. 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 <laughs> Sounds plate. very bland. <coughs> okay. Why don't you just make it? Up. Okay, okay. That'd be uh, a good now vanity we're project. Now we're now That's we're cooler talking. than a boat. <laughs> How many people have a Sell boat? All of your all of the Tyler rich people have a boat. Put it like, all, hey. go all in into your cereal. Sorry, boys, we're that out. Could, uh, could have a better return. <laughs> I'm investing, investing in my new cereal. <laughs> this, is, this is it right here. I'm at a card breaks. <laughs> we're in cereal. <laughs> We expect a percentage for this sale because Open with the ace queen, has here. the ace of clubs and two overs, but chooses to check back a seed against yeah. Joelle, who now turns so an open like ender with her deuce three. Or just directly buying a little bit of both. Do you do like sealed boxes and then? Yeah, I've got, I've got a ton. Okay. I've got so many right now. <laughs> so Tom Archeezy has a Seven. ridiculous amount of it. Yeah, no, I know. Yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure. I've got a ton of national treasures uh, if you guys collect. It's like the highest end stuff. When I was a child, my mom owned an antique shop. Shh. Sorry. Eli won oh a pot. Oh my gosh, did you win a pot? Yay! Oh, hey, oh, hey, Eli, bravo. Loser. <laughs> it's all the cereal talk, man. <laughs> Cash him out. It's turning around. Chris is broken. Cash him out. <laughs> uh, oh, guys, I'm getting a little tired. Nothing well, well, better than seeing Ellie something. smiling at a poker That's table where he happening. feels right at home and has for so long. I still can't believe I paid off this set of kings. It's just the worst. This is a terrible way for me to see. They'll, they'll probably edit it out, though. Oh, no, it'll definitely oh. be in there. It's the only big pop <laughs> yeah. we've played. I was kidding. I was sorry. <laughs> just like, how big was it? It's like, yeah, I bet. When I left, right? Yeah. You left. Like 15. I, yeah, I mean, I bet on the turn, I bet 800. He made it 2,600. On the river, I checked, he bet 6,000. I paid him. 
It was a big hand. It was a and big what, hand. What was the board? King, eight, five, eight, deuce, deuce seven. You or would so, say something. that he's running good. Uh, yeah, and, and he had, and I had. <laughs> you would say I he's had running a king, good. And he and I just, I, it, it didn't make sense to me that he would bet ace king or king queen like in that way. And so I said I thought he had, you know, was trying to push me off exactly what I had, which was a mediocre king. I was like, I'm gonna look like a genius on TV. I, <laughs> awesome. I said to him, I was like, I said to him, I was like, I just don't believe you. And I put it in, and then he slowly, the way he turned his hand over, is like, I think I might win. And I saw two face cards, I'm like, two queens, I'm the best. And it was two kings, I'm like, God, <laughs> not the best, I check, sorry. Big flop for Daniel Winan. Top yeah. pair, the <laughs> second nut flush draw. We know Wright has the eight of clubs. 500. What's nestled in there with it? Good that the mic can't pick up your inner monologues. Like, <laughs> it's like that'd be great if it could. That, that technology's coming. Right. After the pre-flop raises, <laughs> check back on the flop. When people are Hollywood. He chose to just God. flat 15, the 500 yeah. from Nick Wright, <laughs> which turns into wow. 1,500. That's good. Snap called by Daniel. He might have lost more had he taken another line. 1,500. Yeah, he. Good. And Nick Wright. Beginning the ascent back to even. Could have lost a lot more there. You, you had set? No, 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 no. Oh. Just the, the way how it went. Like, oh, I got you. I had a pretty good ace. And by pretty good, I mean really good. <laughs> <laughs> so with some sarcastic applause from Ellie for winning his first pot to Nick stacking chips, the players in the red are turning it around. Nick Wright has made a splash so far in his first appearance on Poker After Dark, and he spoke with Veronica about his poker origins. Yeah, so I'm curious how you uh, fell in love with poker, how you, you found Oh, love with poker. um, so funny, when I was like 11, we got a small pool table in my house, and my dad, who used to, I didn't know at the time, but used to be a, a bit of a street hustler, like a pool player, dice guy. He was trying to teach me a lesson. So we were playing nine ball. I'll never forget it. $2 on the five, $5 on the nine. And I crushed him for like an hour. And he owed me like 40 bucks. And I'm 11 years old. And he's like, all right, I need a chance to get my money back. Let's up the stakes. Let's play 10 on the five, 20 on the nine. I'm like, no problem, you stink. And he rolled me for 45 minutes and I owed him I lost all the money he had won, and I owed him $130. And he made me pay him. And I was 11. I had no income. He made me find a way to pay him $11 a month for 12 months. Um, and <laughs> you might say, hustled you. yeah, hustled me. And he thought the lesson was going to be, this is why you shouldn't gamble. The lesson I took was, wow, you can make a lot of money gambling if you know what you're doing. <laughs> wow. Well, that's one way to learn how to hustle. But, yeah, come on. But he... But he did know that he was beat. <laughs> <laughs> but he wanted you to prove that he was right. So he paid for it. Right, but the thing is, is that it was like the, it was relatively early in television poker. It was the first time almost in history where he had the back of his mind knowing, I'm going to get to find out. If it's a big time regular game now on TV, you're like, I'll go to my deathbed not knowing. Yeah. But he could just have to wait a, year, a few months. Francie tried to limp into this one. Alezra trying to Six reclaim seven. some of his bucks and disaster on this flop as Zach has trip queens. Oh, oh boy. Seventeen. More innocent lives flung into the fire. Oh. No! <laughs> we need to steam this guy up. We need him to lose a f pot. I might. Well, there's only two outs that would make that true, and that's not one of them. 
900. The heart's coming in, and Ellie downsizes to a defensive 900. That's all you want to call on the river when the heart got there? The nine? The heart got there for you or for me? For you. No, I had aces. Oh. No good. Just can't beat the guy. Got lucky, I guess, with the heart. That's why I said, at least blocking the queen must be good. Guys, guys, we have three more days to play. Remember what's her name for Joelle? that uh, used to work in the, in the, in the yeah, I remember poker after dark? And she she used to, I mean, it was like what you say, four or five days episode, so for one. So she they stop us completely. And, and she, she had to go change. Oh, yeah. she she has to come change. And oh, that's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> that Which one? Awesome. There was a few hosts of the, the original one. Drea? No. Shauna Hyatt, she perhaps? Or brunette? No, like, brunette. brunette. Oh, okay, Leanne yeah, Tweeden? but I always forget. Leanne Tweeden? No, yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like Twitter, I remember. Yeah, Twitter, yeah. Twitter. Twitter. Twitter, yeah. I like when they ask you, what's your Twitter? I'm like, I don't have a Twitter. So, huh? Mm -hmm. You're crazy for not having one. <laughs> Joel not raised Nick that. Wright's limp. How are we supposed to keep in touch? Instagram. Okay, Instagram. 800. I do go on there once in a while. You guys are all making my uh, Christmas card list this year. It's been wonderful. Oh. <laughs> His Take six of the cards. Still good. <laughs> The Christmas card photo is going to be our photo. <laughs> <laughs> From here. From them to you. Yeah, that's it. I like it. <laughs> Ellie's stab on the flop unsuccessful. He decides not to fire twice. Christmas card's going to have a meme of Doge on there. It's awesome. Uh -huh. Completely it's worthless. The first crypto I bought. Ready? Wait, completely wor useless, but very great moneymaker. Yeah. It's insane. Kind of like XRP not, not getting destroyed by the SEC and using them as a pet. Looks like Nick is getting very comfortable at this table. Stay tuned for more Poker After Dark coming right up. Welcome back to Poker After Dark, where the table talk has turned to poker players' favorite topic of debate, their taste in food. Top salad is the absolute, like, nut low. No, it's yeah. not. Oh, yes. strong not disagree. I was going to say. Strong, like, I, I literally, bad uh, that was half of, of my dinner game. last night. No. <laughs> Cobb salad is an elite salad. We can take a, we can take a vote, right? Cobb salad is not an elite salad. Yeah, it's it salad. I agree with you. It has bacon. It, it has avocado. It has hard-boiled egg, which It doesn't matter. It's good. got rich, creamy, like, oh. Hard-boiled egg is drawing dead for me. Okay. That's the nut low salad is anything that's, like, the arugula and fennel horse. Or just like they try to convince wow. you is And don't they often put like that blue cheese on it? That just oh, remember yeah, that this travel. moment, Nick. No. no. It's the one you where you and I fell out. I'm, I'm not going to tell you anymore. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he already answered it for me. He's done telling you. So is that Cobb the answer? Cobb salad no? is the eight deuce off it was a of salad. It's ish blind. I mean, yeah, yeah. It's, it's not even salad. Who are you kidding? Yeah, not eating healthy. Was new, the <laughs> new on the other hand, the beautiful spice. only. That's it. Fresh parm. The what? Lemon, Everybody double raise in tournament now. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Don't do yeah, three yeah. times or check, two check to me. Go ahead. Berkey check. used to 7x, and now it's strictly two and a half, three. Check. <clears throat> like, oh, he's so Two players hit a five on the turn. Mm -hmm. It'd be like 400 in the pot. It'd be like 3,200. So. Both playing the 10 oh, kicker. Oh, Berkey. He soft it. Huh? He soft it. Oh, he's, <laughs> he's had to uh, refine his bets. This is where Nick Shulman would say, I think you should go for thin value here. Check. Yeah, obviously good. Oh, here it comes. What? What's here it comes. <laughs> 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 what? Ellie, just roll over a 10. No, you, you know I got five. <laughs> I just have to check if I can scoop him. Oh, OK. <laughs> I 
believe you're I personally did not know you have a five there, so I feel like that was one half. Slow roll. Uh, slow one roll. half of an emotional <laughs> slow roll. Yeah, slow roll. An emotional <laughs> slow roll. I believe is there, is there never but it was but I did feel better because I'm once you, old, once you old. I felt that I won and then once you turned it over I thought I had lost and so I want like everyone even to take I was like, oh, Twitter I, I thought you the eight play no, no, those guys and weigh in on the, the Nick Wright yeah. Wright yeah. Cobb <laughs> salad is That's elite time Nick salad right right debate. Right. Say, sir you're supposed to open your hand first <laughs> I don't have here's a man in need of corrective action maybe I should do that I never do that like make the guy that they'll kick me out of that game. Give so them best ask me. questions. No, oh, yeah. no, and they're relevant the, questions. They're like, hey, does this if, beat that? If a three hundred, if a pot is checked on the river, I don't like go you, back in I my head and it. say like, who's is supposed to open? I just if I think I can win, I just turn my hand over, oh. which I probably shouldn't do because I lose out on information if people <clears> look. <throat> but I just always just open my hand. Yeah. Daniel Yo, dares to take hot. on yeah. Zach Franzi, who continues to like smash flops. And sevens. <laughs> Let's go. There's been a pair of sevens on all three. Four. Yeah, that's right. Cool. And why that shuffler's legit. Going to float here. <laughs> right. Better Over hope there. he doesn't pick up equity. And my Let's gosh. <laughs> Francie has a hard draw to trips. Oh, why not? Seven hundred. Gotten himself into a small cool. quicksand pond. All 700, now the Ace of Hearts, improving Zach to a flush. Out of seven, but ended up with a flush. Oh. Oh, wow. Well, credit to Daniel for not paying off on the end. <coughs> Respecting that third barrel. Down, but no. No. Still. I think the seven was good. I'm talking about my looks or poker. Woo! I like it. <laughs> it was all the Cobb salad chit chat. <laughs> poker After Dark is brought to you by Roman. Simple, straightforward, the way healthcare should be. Visit GetRoman.com to learn more. Manscaped. Don't gamble with your grooming tools. Visit manscaped.com today for the best in men's grooming. And Poker Go. Get in the game at PokerGo.com. Thank same. you. Yeah, Thank you. Wow. Wow. Well, Maria, LA, maybe LA, you and I have been we can't living go in a bubble. Yes no. people. Like, We've been living in a bubble. We can't go eat with and okay. people Because like, we don't like yeah. Yeah. I hate to know. Yeah. I, Basically. I agree. Fair. It's they were too lazy like, to chop up the... I don't trust anybody's palate that doesn't cool. like Cobb salad. Too All that's missing is a little bit of air on. Oh. I just don't like Cobb salad. Oh, Cobb oh. salad? Yeah, there's bacon. But there's like there's eight bacon. Eight yeah. other yeah. ingredients in there. I feel like you could just get it without it. Then. Or I just order a Caesar salad and add whatever oh. I want. Caesar salad's like also on like the bottom of my list. Yeah. Oh. I think you just don't like cream. But you like you like <laughs> like beet and goat cheese and Beats. this fancy Caesar dressing can yes. is like, like can be offensive, but Caesar salad without like dressing. You know the problem with Cobb? There's like hardly It's like a meal by itself. It is a meal. You're not that's gonna not a problem. Why is that a problem? Gonna, there's chicken, bacon. Well, because yeah. we like that's to eat the steak thing. after that, you know? <laughs> yeah. That's why you know okay, you know what salad's good? The wedge. Okay, I agree. I like that too. That's also bacon. Let's why don't we find common ground? What's the difference between the wedge and the cob, really, when you think about it? Wedge has blue, blue cheese dressing number one. But wedge oh. usually comes with like some type of blue cheese crumble or gorgonzola. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, gorgonzola. Oh, nice gorgonzola. That's a good cheese. This is a very in-depth salad conversation. Oh, seriously? We're going for it. We're going for it on poker after dark. I'm sure all they all will the salad weigh dog. In. <laughs> oh yeah. I prefer greens and dressing. Mm. Well, Nick Wright would have preferred a non-club turn, as he is now facing a $2,200 lead from Ellie. Got himself top pair and a king kicker. And he's shown the ability to be curious in spots where a line doesn't seem to add up. Doing some accounting. <laughs> Thank you. 
5,200. That's all what you're playing there? No, I've got like 7,400, I think. No, I'm saying you yeah. got... Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. I, I, the biggest chip I have is this. I'm all in, yeah. All in. Well, I'm <coughs> wrong. I, if he has a flush, I'm dead. That's unfortunate. That is not what Nick Wright wanted to hear. Okay. As he has misread right. this situation. There's a 52. I have to call. Do you have flush? You win. All in a call. <coughs> Doesn't matter how many times we run it. He wins. Ouch. Good hand, Ellen. Thank you. So okay. credit to Elezra. Yes. Chose the line that induced the raise by we leading out on a turn on, after getting there. That. Yeah, yeah just give me big chips. Oh, Zach, when the horse will fall yep. out. We'll be there waiting, don't worry. I've been hearing that for seven years. <laughs> right. Next time on Poker After Dark. Oh, you're not even in the hand. Yeah. <laughs> That's no impact. The table talk stays strong with this group. You should look at my hand. Look at my hand. I don't know. Oh, well, what? <laughs> Ellie keeps mixing it up. Hey, look at me. Look at my face when you... I have two tens. It's not good. Not two tens in my hand. And Maria keeps taking them down. How much do you like your hand? Enough to make it 4,000. <laughs> <laughs>The sun has set on Las Vegas, Nevada, and while neon illuminates the strip, seven high rollers are lighting up the table inside the Poker After Dark suite. I'm Ali Najad, joined by Veronica Brill on the sidelines as we continue a 5100 No Limit Hold'em cash game session that began last time. Not a great start for Ellie Alezra, who's hoping to rebound, nor for Fox Sports analyst Nick Wright, who's got his work cut out for him. Zach Franzi, on the other hand, can't seem to miss a flop. I mean, I did many times when I make third and fourth day. I mean, I'm showing off of here on the main event. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when I come in, I do Google. Yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure, stuff, absolutely. You know? How helpful has that been for you? He did. He did. He did. What? Yeah. Well, how many bracelets? I mean, Three. Four. Four. Okay. Yeah. But uh, definitely, did. In, in no limit, you have to do. Of course. I mean, I feel like as long as I've been around yeah. poker, including myself, not that I've been as long as you, it's very rare that yeah. I go to a table and there's someone on that table that I don't know that I'm worried about. Really? Yeah. Oh, I like it. Oh. The confidence. Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. Especially in no one that hold them, though. It's, in other games, it's completely right. irrelevant. But The only thing, the only way, reason I'm pissed on Nick over here, because he talk Check. about my men. Who? Jordan. Jordan. Oh. He said bad things about Jordan. Say Jordan. And it's not even close that Jordan there's is nothing, better listen, than LeBron. There's nothing wrong and with And he being... said LeBron is way oh. better and Jordan is... That's, that's really that, hurting. It's going to be an argument for like no. 50 years who was better. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing be wrong with being... Would you be happy if when you were done, people were like, he's the third greatest poker player of all time? There's nothing wrong with that. He'd be for Jordan. You have LeBron, Kareem, Jordan. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm the. I'm the. <laughs> now he's that doing was Kobe to to the the conversation. Now he's trying to put Elliot on Stone Cold. Kareem. Yeah. Well, who, who, who? I think I can name two people I'd put above Kareem. Yeah. It's okay. It's like, I mean, Kareem's I mean, got six MVPs, six championships, most points. But you know. Let whatever. me see. I'm 60 years old, right? And I'm. I mean, Jordan was God. Yeah, right. I mean, I watch all Nostalgia those games. Nostalgia is tough. To, all... It's tough when someone that you grew up idolizing someone's better than. I understand. <laughs> but it's not At some point, I'll be. You, you should see his I like piece. Anilla. The like... piece is amazing. Yeah. Your piece is good. You know, at some point. I mean, I don't think ever anybody talk like that about Jordan ever. That's not true. I, I, the one, the one guy when he was uh, after his first retirement, just belittled him and Come on, him. Ish. Ish, look at me. Look at my face when you... Check. I have two tens. It's not good. Not two tens in my hand. See, I trust you. I it, mark it when you say check. it's not no, good. No, 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 flip it. Oh, flip it, okay. Yeah. 
Actually, hold on. <laughs> oh, f he didn't have the ace of spades. He did not have the ace of spades. I actually had to look at it, yeah, no. Well, By Hish the way, did the honorable thing the there. You tell me I no, 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 I was not going to, no, no, no. The, the ace of spades, she asked me, she goes, why didn't you show him? I'm like, I actually had the ace of spades that time, but <laughs> never would I live with myself. Nah. Open ender turned into two you nines. You know, cash game, that's what we do. I don't know how much you know about cash game. I don't. But when you, they, get, they don't when you get cut, you do this, right? You do that, and you don't want, I mean, over here, you want to have some information. They, uh, opponent, but right, but most people don't game, make you show your blood. Like, yeah, in cash game, we do this, and that's the end of it. But what, yeah, yeah, they don't invite me to games. I'm trying to, I tried to explain this. <laughs> I can get you invited, don't worry. <laughs> He said tens is not good, I really believe yeah, it. No, no, of course, and then I was like, immediately, no, 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 no take, take your hand back, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm the funny guy. I thought you were saying your set of tens was no good, by the way. Forget that's what I thought. That's what I thought too. he said, that's too. Right, because he hadn't checked yet, and I thought, yeah, I thought you like. In honor of Doyle Bones? No, I get it. The ten I, dudes. I thought Ellie was saying. Thank that. you, Doyle. If you watch set of tens, <laughs> if he was saying no good. Yeah, Doyle watched. Then Doyle never even watched the high stakes we, watch, we played that together. That he was on, I know. Right. Yeah. He never Who's watched you and me. Uh -oh. oh, okay, check. Check. Well, you seem so disappointed, dude. You know what I mean? 400. I'm just, I'm just upset. 400. Paul's not here. <laughs> Nut flush draw C bets 400 <laughs> on the heels of the $400 <laughs> open, and bottom set wastes no time raising it up. I'm just upset Paul's not here. Check raise. Um, yeah, okay. <laughs> check. Add a Broadway draw to Wright's arsenal. <clears throat> okay. He still okay. needs to get there, though. Two checks on the turn. A very safe river for Hish, who needs to come up with a number. Thirty-six. Thirty-six hundred. Almost full pot. Points. Nice move. Deuces. No bluff, no bluff. Not mm -hmm. enough to get heroic with. One, so. You think Maria O is an old school? She's an old school, I believe. She knows every one of the old school, and she play with most of us. You know? Right? You're an old school. I think so. I feel like, yeah, I'm more old school than new school, I think. You know, one more thing is, in, when we do this, <laughs> listen to the dish. When we play and you do this, let's say, you call your hand. Yeah. And I mark it. Yeah. And you can beat the tens, for example. I, I would have given you the pot. Yes, yeah, still. Uh, of course. In, no, in World Series of Poker, you don't. World Series of Poker, yeah. WSOP, yeah, 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 yeah. the mark. Yeah, it's, uh, cool. But 100%, I would have shipped you that pot. <laughs> like, if you mucked your hand. <laughs> If you don't want to be in a headlock. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I can hear it. This is why it's glad it's not live. My mom would have called and said, what are you, what are you doing? He won. He won. You wouldn't have given him that Mossad would have been out front. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. Like, huh. uh, five, five. Maria and friends, as only Joel and Hish sit this one out. Pocket sevens don't turn into a set on this occasion. King high board. As Lesra in trouble, as his nemesis Zach Franzi has kings up. Three thousand. And inside, Ellie is thinking, "Not again, this guy." See, Zach, that's an old school move. You look again in your card, like you don't know what you have. But you had to look again, maybe you're tired or whatever. I didn't look again. No, I mean, I'll give you a lot of respect. Six, seven. Oh, maybe. You had me. I'm aware. <laughs> My other card matches the board. Great lay down by Ellie. Oh, when the horse was so <laughs> mm. Let me know when that happens. I'll still be waiting with chips and cards to play.
Poker After Dark is brought to you by Roman. Simple, straightforward, the way healthcare should be. Visit GetRoman.com to learn more. Manscaped. Don't gamble with your grooming tools. Visit Manscaped.com today for the best in men's grooming. And Poker Go. Get in the game at PokerGo.com. Before the break, Elia Lezra was involved in a lot of pots, and while things haven't been going so well for him this session, he is certainly looking to do his best to hide any frustration. I prefer not to play with all the pros in case you didn't know. <laughs> I know it's a crazy game selection theory, but I, I normally, you know, like Monday's game with Scott and Dan and He might Daniel. sound stupid, but I'm, I don't have a game selection. I just play. I have every poker player phone number. I play with everyone. I just... You don't play with me, man. I did, yeah. Well, I mean, it's obvious I play with them. I said I prefer. Oh, prefer, not. prefer not to. You know those cherry picking of games, like some people do that? Free play. So hard, waiting for the sucker to sit in the game and... You know. oh, I mean, I don't think I've played in a casino in quite a while, except for... Back. Bottom pair and an open ender like for Ellie. As Salama flops top pair, doesn't like the texture against the blinds and I don't have to go checks far. back. Walk next door and get the play. 700. Ellie comes out firing. And bottom okay, pair. Okay, Ellie. Into the muck. I almost called you with the 225s. Heads up. <laughs> Sevens. That's 1100. That is nice not the hand Ellie expected to be up against. <laughs> his check back the Ellie flop. Ellie really likes it. And he hates me. Just flatted the turn. We'll go to dinner. Then and we'll friends. friends. And he is a pretty what interesting happened? guy, as Veronica so Brill discovered in her talk with Hish on, on Monday, break. I wanted to hear about your most embarrassing moment, and you sent me some weird pictures of yourself eating an oversized chocolate yeah. bar. What, like, you, you said most embarrassing poker moment. Poker moment, yeah, yeah. talk to me about that. Uh, so yeah, I was playing on Friday Night Poker uh, here a couple years ago and I brought out a five pound Hershey bar. And so that was, I don't know, it was entertaining for the, uh, for the crowd because I had it hidden in my backpack. How do you so, hide that in your backpack? Big backpack, <laughs> it's a big backpack. And then uh, just you know, right after break, I came back and started eating it. Uh, so that was, uh, was a good time. And uh, $19,000 Uber ride, what's that? Oh, the $19,000 Uber ride, <laughs> yeah. So I went to visit a friend in the hospital, and when I got out, uh, I checked my phone for the Uber receipt. This was about four years ago in Toronto, and they had charged me $18,850. That wasn't the issue. The issue was when I filed a support ticket, Uber came back and said, hey, the charge is fully legitimate. Uh, so that turned out to be a fiasco. It was, in the, I think, on the Today Show. It went viral on Twitter. Uh, they eventually refunded the money about two and a half weeks later. So thank you, Uber, for uh, for giving me my money back. <laughs> what this? That's Three really. <laughs> Paul's gonna be tweeting here shortly. Yeah. That's also yeah. a Three strong take, but not strong or bad like your Cobb salad take. Like, <laughs> Cobb salad <laughs> is like, the worst. It's that was strong, but like yours is still oh. infinitely. <laughs> Maria, just one day you're gonna get a text from me. I'm gonna say, what's your address? I'm just gonna start sending you Cobb salads. I, oh my gosh, I, you'd be my best friend if you did that. I'm just gonna send dozens of hard boiled <laughs> eggs. You don't die. <laughs> no, make your own heart uh, Cobb salad Here's kits. Your, here, I got, you. I got bacon <laughs> bits and hard boiled eggs. I don't know if I want to make my own, but like if you just want to. Yeah, after enough of activity. those Cobbs, you better send a forklift over too. Ingredients. You're good. Here's some cereal. That ain't eating healthy. Fruity pebbles, fruity pebbles. Meanwhile, Maria. Raised the cutoff, picked up Nick post. and Joel. That'd be, yeah. Like, that's I'm gonna promote or $600. Kellogg's, <laughs> Kellogg's would be legit. I need a Kellogg's patch. Promptly raised Posted. by Nick so to good 1400 <laughs> it, it, Yeah, it's great. I ate my fruity, like, I ate my Frosted Flakes. It's going to be, I ate my Fruity Pebbles. Yeah, like, who would be the poker player they put on the Wheaties box? There's a question. Uh, Berkey. Berkey is very fit. Yeah. I used to be fit. Now I turned into a pony keg. It's all right. At least it's not yeah. a full keg. Yeah. Well, yeah. You know? yeah. Invested Who's 800 more to look at a disappointing I'm five of hearts on the turn. You could have just brought it to the Aria. Yeah, we were thinking about it. We thought she might yeah. be too distracting. But they but might have to yeah. cheat to have those, like every poker player now got this from doctors. You can. Both Would players you know, right? checking yeah. on the it's turn. It's against the law for them to go Nick past it. Asking you anyway. Picking up the gunshot straight draw. Yeah. 
My dog doesn't like dogs, so I don't take my dog in. Nine. <laughs> Maria does not like, try to so love pissed. I'm walking. Can you imagine I'm walking through the Bellagio and somebody's and got a little poodle? Content to just roll over right? and, and my dog just w. snatches it. Goodbye. <laughs> 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 like, it's insane. My dog loves children, loves people, right? You put your kid on my dog, he'll walk around with him. Nope, no big deal. Another dog? Good luck. Oh my God. See a big dog? Uh, press the canard. Oh, the biggest. Peek at the stack sizes brought to you by GG Poker. Zach Franzi still comfortably in the lead. Ish Salama, the only other player in the black, up 14,000. Elia Lezra trying to climb his way back toward even. And Nick Wright trending in the wrong direction. Man, in two of these three, I thought we we're going to break down the glass door. Like they were so protective of him that. Nice. 12. Stop 12 it, Julie. 100% correct. 100. 100% correct. But like I said, like if you come to my home, Call. but he literally another I'm dog <laughs> another dog walks by the gate at the house, he's like trying Call. to take the gate out to get him. I'm like, yeah. what are you doing? Like the dog wasn't even looking at you. Like it didn't even punk you. Like yeah. let it go. Little babies, he'll sit there. They can smack him, ride him, beat the <laughs> out of him, care less. Joel with another the two dog. aces. Good luck. Made it 1,200 to go pre from I'm like, the small. I'm bringing him to the Aria with me. I'll walk around. Ellie and Nick Everybody hung in there. Put a little service jacket on them. Nice. Aren't in love with the jack high rainbow texture. Oh. Yeah, that's what I like in, in Vegas. They have those dog parks where they have the yes. section for small there's, dogs. There's a lot of them, and it's separated, yeah, absolutely. Because but I, I can't take him to the big one either. Like, right, he, because he'll... He has no interest in where's playing, your dog? playing with friends. With you at the Aria? No, he's at my sister's house. OK, OK. I really love the window card. Jack of Diamonds. 138 pounds? Yeah. Wow. Good hand. All in on the flop. Gets He's it actually done. not like extremely large for his. No, range. they get bigger, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, I had a Mastiff that was 187 when oh. I was like 14. Yeah, those are mm -hmm. Mastiff. Another wonderful dog. I mean, the most ridiculously loving, cute, 187 pounder so flop in your lap like it's a poodle. Enjoying her moment. Mm -hmm. Her name was Casey. A restaurant yeah, owner when she's not busy there. playing cards. Wolf down. The name Didn't of they her. Originally get Brett German Walker? street food. Yeah, they, the they outpost. They, they worked with the medics. <laughs> Locally so here in Las Vegas. Until that's, the medic got there. Right also, yeah, cool. until the medic has got one there. in yeah. Ottawa. Yeah. Yep. Four hundred. That's one hundred percent true. They were in a lot of wars, and they would guard the wounded until the that's medics cool. got there. Yep. Which is actually funny because if you lay down on the floor, Casey would stand over you. It was crazy. Like that's basically like saying, "What your great grandfather served in a war, so you ever <laughs> his habits?" It's insane. Here, yeah, I've seen the camera, isn't it? Oh yeah. Those two? Oh, yeah. No, no, no. There's a, a camera, camera, like an actual camera. camera. Oh, yeah, and like I've been doing it here. Yeah, no, 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 no. There's usually, RFID. Usually, that's fine, but yeah, sometimes it, looks, it doesn't. You could also pass for a coyote out here. Yeah, yeah. People will shoot it. That's why we're like always yeah. on leash. Yeah, absolutely. When we go out somewhere, we have like a an orange tag. Right, right, absolutely. Because yeah. people, like I said, people will pass that for a coyote and shoot it. Yeah, for sure. Top pair against second pair. Carbone the other night. Loving life. She had rough. She had a rough dinner. Oh yeah. Ellie tears That's one good. off. And Top shot. Good. Pack drop tomorrow. We bought, we bought a large steak. Mm -hmm. And then we played credit card roulette at the end of the night. For the dog. And then it was uh, when it came time to paying, they were like, "What? You bought a steak for your dog, and I have to pay for it?" <laughs> so my my master used to eat whatever I ate. Basically, I was young and you know didn't know. What to do. So if I had a steak, she got a steak. What about I, spicy chicken? If I had anything I ate, fruity yeah. pebbles, she ate fruity pebbles. Wow. <laughs> wow. It did not matter. Oh, wow. My dog, and if you try to give it dog food, she'd like laugh at you. Yeah. Oh, nice. Lesser oh. gives Two sixes. up. Sixes. Two sixes. Nice. Oh. Okay. Nice. Two sixes. Two sixes and an ace. Appropriately. <laughs> So Maria may not have been able to get there against Nick, but a nice pot versus Alezra has given her stack the boost she needed. More after this. Welcome back to Poker After Dark, where a friendly cash game is seeing just as much table talk as it is poker action. Let's get right back to it. That's one thing in life I draw the worst at. So I just pick up the bill without asking anyone. We can go out to eat any time. <laughs> Like literally, like I just told you, Dan won the fl the money on me. Yeah. We went to dinner, and he was supposed to pay the bill. I just he didn't. It. No, I paid it. What? Told him next time. Call. You run bad in credit card roulette? 
Cool. It flips. Like if we're in a store, like I was just in Louis Vuitton last week with a, another player named Keith Ferreira. Doesn't sound like you run too bad in flips from the Monday, though. No, no, not poker flips. I know. Flips. I meant just life, general. Life, but, I want to hear about flips, the, the bad, see. how Lifetime you lost flips. in Louis Vuitton on a well, flip. You met, so <laughs> now all these people are watching and we're flipping a coin up in the air. They're like, what the he's hell are they really, doing? He's running really bad. It has two oh. aces. Yeah, Louis Vuitton, though. Keep going. Winning. I lost in Supreme. I lost in a lot of them. With ace like queen one. suited. Flips in poker, I do all right. Flips outside of poker, not so good. Squeezes the queen 10 and queen jack. 4,000. As Maria oh, the plays back. I'll be quiet. How much do you like your hand? <laughs> Enough to make it 4,000. Okay. <laughs> I like my hand. It's the first four bet. Yeah. yeah. Painful. Painful. Show it, show it one time. Nice. I got one of those. <laughs> Did you? Yeah, I was suited too. Come on, she was just in. Too many, well, like, yeah. too many call, like, I would have just called if, uh, if it was heads up. But yeah. So, so, such, so confusing there. Daniel. The limp under the gun for a bit. Actually, no. Oh, no, no, she erased it. She erased it. Oh, wait, so he three bad. Suited. He re He re raised. Yeah. Ah, I missed that one. Yeah. Nice hand. I, I called three like an idiot. Just Even better. That Maria's cry. over there tweeting, I just had aces on poker after dark. <laughs> nobody and nobody OMG. called. <laughs> nobody, nobody. I run so bad. Nobody called. It's horrendous. Just kidding, Maria. <laughs> 400. Four becomes twelve as Joel will. Tackle Zach Franzi. For once, he's caught out of line. General idea what you're playing? Uh, 4,500 uh, 4, more. Seems fair. Well. Fair has been declared, and Zach will look to. Put a beat on, pops himself a gut shot, and that's not the sort of range he would expect Joel to have as a three better pre. The question becomes, does she have an over pair or not? 1200. You want another powerful take? This is the only chapstick you should ever use. <laughs> I don't mind that one. It's, again, still, nothing beats the Cobb salad so far. <laughs> I'm, I'm, this one can't, like. I hope we're talking about it for years to come. <laughs> Franzi, looking for some added equity in the form of a club. King R4 would have worked as well. Instead, it's a third hard, and Joel fearlessly moves all in. And promptly sheds Franzi. And almost nothing. And let's get to know Joel a little better as the chef spoke with Veronica Brill earlier tonight. So what is easier, running a restaurant or playing high stakes poker? <laughs> Uh, I would actually say poker. Poker is actually what I do to to relax, and it's a it's a fun game. Versus uh, business is, is in a restaurant. It's chaos all the time. I actually find the the poker table quite uh, peaceful. Oh, nice. That's you're probably the first person who's ever said that. <laughs> you're meditating at the table. Yeah, you just <laughs> you put your phone away. You just forget about work for six eight hours. It's great. I see you've had some success at the World Series of Poker 2018. You had a uh, tag team cash. Yes. Yes. You got actually third place. That's quite impressive. So this is not a new thing for you. No, we've been playing for a few years now um, and, and slowly working our way up. And we've been, we've been really fortunate to, to make some great friends in the, the poker community. And they've, they've certainly taught us a lot or just learning through chats with them. Um, and they've, they've been really gracious in inviting us to some really cool games, so, yeah. Wonderful, well, thank you. My pleasure, thank you. He's not saying she didn't have ace high. I said that's He's not what played. Oh! Oh, you don't want the bet? <laughs> Weird. Three hundred? Getting wide. Oh. A tick up from ace jack to ace queen for Joel. She's getting wild. She raises every hand. I just woke up. The just hit my head. I 
hands up. Nick defends and flops an open ender with middle pair in front. Two quick checks, board pairs on the turn, and Nick gets to work. 300. Small enough for Joel to take a swing, and in comes the jack. It gives Nick the bad side of a straight. 700 and call. He checks, snap, calls the 700. There's Joel. Caught perfect. Are you guys ready for the H3 yet or no? <laughs> a very nice spin up for Joel, who's put together a couple of nice pots. A recipe for success, you might say. Welcome back to Poker After Dark, where the table talk has turned, as it often does, to a man that isn't here to defend himself, Phil Helmuth. I thought I he got sponsored by Hugo Boss. I don't think, oh like, God. Phil Helmuth, like, when he's th thinking about the things he worries about, he's like, am I dressing well? I asked him, I go, bro, you need to buy a new jumpsuit. Then. I'm not trying to be mean. Yo, it's probably the, the jumpsuit gold, with the hole. The, the yellow and gold Hugo Boss jumpsuit that shows up at every event is just <laughs> no good. I'm very supportive of jumpsuits, but I don't know how many times I'm going to let this happen. To be fair, there are a lot of miles on that black and gold ensemble's odometer. But he owns it, does Helmuth. Joel owning ace-king. Is it false? Ace force suited. Doesn't want to play for a double. I'm going to find the We all need to see it. I'm going to be so tilted. It's so bad, Ellie. Oops. Because I follow him, but I And a big flop for him. Gut shot, spade draw, and bottom pair. Way out in front, as you see the equities. 800. 800. <coughs> Look. And so How bad is that? Looks like he's going to ask a question right now. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? It's like, it's, uh, it's like a legit... Oh, it's not fashionable. Yeah, sure. it's a hole, man. It's like... Oh, God. Oh, you're in a hand, sorry. You can see it. Yeah, I saw a different one. Yeah, because the other one was like the yeah. full frontal view yeah, yeah, of the yeah, hole. Yeah. It's but like, how, how did it happen? We need to find out. We need to investigate. There you go. Take one. Hmm. Seems like a reasonable card. Mm -hmm. Ace King forced nice to relinquish. We need answers. It's honestly like he was like trying to jump a fence. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first thing I thought. Oh, he got attacked by a dog. <laughs> he got attacked by a dog. Yeah. <laughs> no, that, but that's, the, that's like a small tear that just kept getting worse when he bent his knee. It just kept getting totally. worse because of where it is. I know, yeah. No, the real question is, is that or was, did he really get a hole for it in his pants? And then walk around with it. Say it again. How do you get a hole in your pants and just continually walk around? With Agree. I, I, he had it in multiple pictures. That's my point. Yesterday, yeah, he was like out, out with Lizzie for an hour in the high limit room. Then he was out at dinner with other people with the hole in his pants. Because <laughs> you're like, doesn't he have a butler that can no. get him, get him new pants? <laughs> Listen. Oh, you know the butler probably got him the wrong size. Uh, that's what it was. Uh, my guess is he does not have a butler, first of all. But yeah, he got him swim shorts. I'm pr like, pretty okay. sure uh, Phil has people in his life that can tell him, hey, bro, your pants are ripped. You might want to work that out. We tried, Zach. Yeah. We're there. Mm -hmm. Zach is going to hunt a snowman. <clears throat> Alezra looking to do something with Jack-10 and yeah. He's going to need one of Franzi's eights on this nine high rainbow board if he hopes to hit the gutty. Good looking texture for Maria. from Zach. Let's see, check calls. 1600. And Alezra oh. would be very pleased with an eight on the turn. Yeah. 
Now he can hit a king. And for Maria, a little bit of an awkward spot. Wynand was the original razor in the hijack. Alesra flatted. She three bet the button. Franzi defended the big, and while Daniel folded, Ellie did not. And both of them spent 1600 to take a look at this turn. Where Maria comes with 5500 now. You have 10 in black? Yeah. You're good. What, 12 5? 12 8? Cool. I mean, I have 8 in black, so probably 10 5 total, maybe? Oh, okay, so 8 yeah. in black, and put 2 in black. would love to know if a jack or a 10 would be good to add outs or that he wasn't up against backdoor clubs. <laughs> but instead he's forced to fold. How good was your hand before the turn? Maria is into the black. Strong to quite strong. Well, it takes luck to get dealt pocket aces, but skill is what yields you the maximum profits, as Maria Ho just demonstrated. The other person to say no to me was Sam Farha. <laughs> like, 10 years ago. You serious? I'm dead serious. Oh it shattered God. me. I'll take you out to oh. Texas right now. You got his The name only name. person I've ever, like, ever asked for a picture, it's like, man, yeah, like, you know, I came up this watching so you. This is so stupid because in our sport, we have to. He, we have to. I mean, Doyle, I went with Doyle a couple of times to Tunica and a couple of places, and he was stuck big, and people come, and he was like, you know, like, and he didn't want to give it to them. And Chip Reese used to tell him, come on, man. It's important. We need it, you know? And Phil Ivey is like that. He's, he, he, he's not mean, but, but Daniel and Gus, they're all oh. very nice, you know? They're all... It, yeah. That's why I think that's weird, though, because honestly, I've been in scenarios Sorry with Shaq many a time, or seen him go out of his <laughs> way. Like, yeah. For sure, it was just—it was—I was, sho was shocked. I was shocked, and Sammy that destroyed me. Sammy f destroyed that destroyed me. I can see Sammy doing it. I mean, he could have lost a hand like four hours ago and still been steaming. <laughs> we were walking through the Aria lobby. This was like this Seven is ten minutes. years ago. Uh, I was with like two of my buddies, uh, and like one of them sort of knew him. I was like, "Hey, can I get a picture?" He's like, "No." <laughs> The, the rivalry between me and Sammy, they decided to, you know, to give us an interview. So they got both of us doing the heads up, and they start talking about politics. And he stopped them, and he said, guys, I can go back to Lebanon. I can get killed next to this Israeli. I'm not so... And we, they stopped the interview. He was worried yeah. about it. Imagine if you were Syrian. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> he got one developing a between airport, Nick right? and Daniel. Yeah. Right, open, raise the two queens. Was stationed at the U.S. Embassy there. C bet seven hundred. Call me on Facetime every day on WhatsApp. He <laughs> lied and be like, "Look at this, look at this." Decided like, to make it twenty three hundred. <laughs> Nick obviously makes the call now with the ten pairing on the turn. Will Daniel try to rep trips plus? No, he checks back. Four double pairs on the end now. Yeah. Let me get, get some lessons from those young kids. They really teach him a lesson on the, on the PLO. Yeah, yeah. They that's came why he's in and they really spank him. And <laughs> he, he used to be good with us, you know, with the old school, but then. Yeah, but was, you guys were playing Hold'em and he was willing to gamble. Yeah. Downsized river You know who did it to me? Maria Shapovalu. We went to Melbourne, Australia in the hotel. Yeah, yeah. Seven, and we were together in breakfast. So, you know, the breakfast yeah, is on top yeah. there. And my friend came from Israel just to see me in a tournament, and we went to watch tennis. 
So he said, can you please ask her? And I was sure. So I got If you don't know, know the story behind table, how it is that Nick Wright managed to get himself a seat on Poker After Dark, well, go back to December 9th of 2020 when he tweeted at Nick Shulman and myself referencing an exchange between Doyle Brunson. Ellie with the lip. And Nick on Twitter. Right, that is. Okay, I'm just, I'm out of here. And he said, who does he need to talk to to get an invite to the first post-COVID Poker Go taping? Apparently he knows Geralibos Vulgaris, who has since moved past poker to become a prolific analyst, statistician. The same thing. Still got it. For Mark Cuban's camp in the NBA. Oh, you're not even in the hand. Yeah. That's no impact. Geralibos can vouch for Nick's general likability. And from that tweet Half was born size. this moment. I have a pot size. Seven. Ooh. Seven hundred. Ooh. Oh, you should look at my hand. His hand is you dead. should look at my hand. Look at my hand. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, I don't oh, know. No, what? <laughs> oh, wow. Yes. You guys will never know. Yes. Wow. Yes. Wow. Wow. It's going to be between me and Daniel. Wow. It's going to be between them, Daniel, oh. what is hand and what is mine. That was... We're going to see it on TV. <laughs> We're just see hey, don't say nothing. Was, 90 days. No. Not even to Joel. <laughs> no, I, not even to Joel. That was, that was unexpected. Before the break, Daniel Winan made a nice bluff against Alezra, and the table had a ball when they saw the cards. I mean, it's very hard to play against Phil, I can tell you that. He's, uh, it's very hard because you'll be bored out of your mind. You're doing it Friday, right? What? Playing with Phil? I don't believe I was invited. Story, story of my life. <laughs> Never invited. And Brennan's not here, so I don't know. The only person ever to invite me to a game is Ali. It's the only person. He's going to come. Patrick, you should ho don't you live Patrick Antonio. Yeah. Why don't you host a game? Friday? No, he's going to come. I mean, I guess I could. Who the end I mean? of May, we're going to do an old school reunion. I'll take Brad Booth's place. <laughs> Alex, I'll take Brad Booth's place. <laughs> I don't think he's I know that I, just I know Brad's not coming. That's why I said I'll take his place. Johnny and he's going to bring Sammy Fava. Johnny was just here. Oh, can he's I come by my picture? Yeah. Oh, great. Well, I'll be there. <laughs> hey, remember this face? Mm -hmm. 500. Winand, the protagonist with these two fives. Hold it. Chop it. And you said you brought up Sammy, and so now you're no, trying I'll to chop it. Yeah. He didn't see bet. So yeah. Alezra, who got want. Chop it. If you want, I'll chop it. Right. Curious you with the seven hand? deuce I suited. Yeah, I want to see deuce. them both. Run it, run it down. Oh. No, no, no. no. You might have been in bad shape. I'm not sure. <laughs> Somehow manages oh, wow. to get a chop against a seven of hearts. <laughs> okay, Ellie, chop. It's, uh, time for the straddles. I'll Simply didn't want to face thing. off. Yeah, the straddles start. Yeah. Zach, Ellie, uh, you only given his track record. Better of a hand than you, so give okay, him the extra. Oh, started, no, 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 no. It's my small blind is when it starts. Yeah, 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 yeah. Starts right now. That was nice. Does. One round. Sammy play in Houston. That's experience right there. Yeah, you knew it. You, know when you knew you were drawing dead and you got somehow got <laughs> Veteran <head> move. <laughs> that's, that's unbelievable. Right, yeah, 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 that's experience that got you that one. Hey, you're drawing to I thought I thought you might say friendship, but <laughs> I guess experience works. Ali, don't show this hand, okay? No, please do. This gotta do show it. Show us. <laughs> Beautiful. That's where you learned to play cards was up there, right? Is that a true story? In, in Alaska, correct. Yeah. Yes, yes. That's right. Okay. Yeah, that's oh, where sorry, I play my me. mix game for the first time. That you wanted to play mix first? Uh, yes. I actually play all of them for a little bit, but you, then... Yeah, yeah, but you probably learned like stud first, right? Or like true. Yeah, I love stud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, I know you do. So <laughs> I, the first game I learned was European stud. One down, four up. Oh, yeah, that's very wild card. That's betting every street, right? Oh, Ellie out of the cutoff with the king nine, picks up Nick, call. whose hearts are covered. Last time I did one of those hard calls, I paid off. That's where you have seven, eight suited, you're supposed to go all in. Oh, yeah? With your stock, yeah. Uh, I wish I had seven, her eight stack, she's got like six she, I was going to say, she's got more than you did in her credit so much. I, yeah. I thought she had only 3,000. Four amigos Ellie's to the queen coach. nine deuce <laughs> flop. Check. Check. Top pair with for Nick, stack. who checks it. Second pair of backdoor spades for Ellie. Yeah. 
I figured that's what he meant. Way to make it difficult for Ready. the dealer. <laughs> Pile of black he is likes me. plopped into the middle. <laughs> he likes me. No! Hmm. <laughs> oh, and it looked like Nick was ready to just call, and perhaps Ellie's no. He learned. He learned from you. Not from mine. Emboldened him to, to check now. raise. And he claims it's unrelated to the no. Well, I could have told you I can't beat him in a pot. Twelve all day. and save twelve hundred. Oh, okay, I win one. I got ace, I, ace, king, a spade. No, you shut up. Wow. Shut the f wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what a jerk. I got ace, yeah. I'm just all paid for you. I can't believe I'm laying this down here. So I got ace, king, spade. <laughs> <laughs> Ellie made about three words out of this. Before he could he started no laughing at himself. Well, plenty of wheeling and dealing, but underneath all the laughter, that's more Elezra bucks going into someone else's stack. Poker After Dark is brought to you by Roman. Simple, straightforward, the way healthcare should be. Visit GetRoman.com to learn more. Manscaped. Don't gamble with your grooming tools. Visit Manscaped.com today for the best in men's grooming. And Poker Go. Get in the game at PokerGo.com. Does every, I'll do it if everyone wants to do another round of straddle. Ellie is Sure. Up. I'm, I'm still going to answer with I'm never going to say no. Yeah, it's in. It's just, she wouldn't even buy out for a box of cereal. It's bad. Yeah, straddle. No, I feel really strongly about... <laughs> so I'm not gonna buy out. Yo, I'm done. <laughs> Every time I see also a, a, a Twitter poll that I would I would lay some odds on is straight Seven? up Cobb salad Seven. versus arugula salad. Agreed. Same. I put I put Cobb salad's a minus one forty favorite at worst. There is no way I'm fine. Not west the of the side. Mississippi. Can I take Caesar and I'll just No, like, no, you just well, you're not adding salads, salads in. No, I'll just like, I'll take Caesar that's versus a, that's what oh, Ali texted. Oh, okay, okay. Ali yeah, texted me arugula yeah. salad is elite. You're allowed to say that was what was his text. Agreed. I'll take, that's, I'll take, like, uh, that's just the green. Tell me more. What's the salad at what, uh, what else we got here? Yeah. Like some Olive Garden? Apples? Yeah. <laughs> no, Olive Garden. Throw that some deal. Walnuts. Plus 800. Like, that's like saying Olive Garden. Yeah. Yeah. That's like, fair. Yeah, yeah. They got like the world famous salad everybody oh goes to. Oh my God. You have to Don't specify the breadsticks. Bread no breadsticks bread allowed, just the salad. 17. 17. When's the last time you ate all of them? Uh -oh. Is it break after this? Yeah. Thank you. 10 minutes. How much you paying? Yeah, we're good, right? Red lobster. Can I steal another small one? Yeah. What's the other one? The other fish boy. Dry looking flop. I'll have this one. You have the next one. Ellie. Saying he'll have this one as he raises the $800 C bet from Daniel. Winand with middle set. Doesn't look like he has designs on slow playing it. Well, I, guess I stand corrected. I tied this one. Nine on the turn, six, seven got there. Go. Good check back from Ellie after Daniel tried to lay the trap. And that is a very troublesome card for Elezra. Trip aces against a full house. An almost full pot size bet on the river out of Daniel. Ellie's kicker does not play and he can't beat 6 7, though he may take that out of Daniel's range given the small blind open raise.
you can just feel Elezra doesn't love this at all. I'll show you if you fold. Oh. I want to call so bad. Yeah, I just give it. Nice. Don't show me. You don't want to see it? It's a bluff. It? I know it's a bluff, so I don't want to see it. Wow. Nice. Good fold. Good Thank you. Good fold. Well, while he may have lost the pot, that will be a <laughs> high note on which to head to a break. That's a good fold. Yeah, it's a really good Thank fold. You. Thank you. Daniel. Well, we lost. Give him credit where credit is due. Break, sorry. That's okay. I usually don't think that yeah. long. Try to convince myself you have a Sam kicker. Keeping himself in line there and saving 5K in the process. Was Lezra? Could have been worse, but unfortunately for him, he is down almost 30,000 on the session. Nick Wright down 19. Winan now down just 3K. His fiance Joel stuck a dime. And the three winners, Franzi, Salama, and Ho. Next time on Poker After Dark. I didn't even know friends in know the word floating. What? Joelle cooks. I'm playing for all of my chips. Hish Salama stews. Count it really slow. Let's take all the time. I'll do it till like the stack bleeds out. Just so tilting. And Zach Franzi comes to a boil. Yeah. I mean, if it happens, that I feel the hate. Here you go. He's talking to himself. Ah, uh, you obviously win. <laughs> you want to see some pain on the faces. Tonight on Poker After Dark. Yes. The only thing more surprising about the number of times we see pocket aces. Five. I'll do it till like the stack feeds out. You want to see some pain on the faces. Is the number of times it holds up. Oh, oh wow. Uh, you obviously win. <laughs> Count it really slow. Let's take all the time. Welcome back to Las Vegas for the continuation of Poker After Dark Cash Game Action. From inside Aria Resort and Casino, we bring you the latter portion of this 5100 No Limit Hold'em Cash Game. Ali Najad and Veronica Brill at the helm. There's a peek at the stack sizes brought to you by GG Poker. One shines brighter than all the others at the top. Zach Franzi making it look easy. He has been running white hot. Elia Lezra was on the comeback trail, but took a couple of beats. Did make a great lay down just before the break, though. The trip aces against eights full versus Daniel Wynum. I like how she said Saving it's 5K. Very how, many, how, how many 18 DMs do you get? Which is? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just because I've actually had to share my analytics with a couple yeah. of companies, and I'm like, oh. oh she knew it. it was like, that's really, also, who's your average that's also why Fresh out of high school and sliding <laughs> in my DMs. Nah. That's also why I don't have my DMs The, the Cobb versus <laughs> Arugula was a stacked bet. What about when a real friend messages you? Well, if they were a real friend, then I'd probably follow them too, so. Ah, uh, sure. So then they can what? get in. I go on Instagram and my first five things are always Rick Solomon, Rick Solomon, maybe Robert. It's seven. Rick Solomon. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> Great videos, Rick. Great. <laughs> Heads up. Winand on the button, opens, and promptly picks up a queen high flush The only draw. thing I get is LinkedIn notifications. He's up against so, middle pair. That's how my life is going. And Binky, <laughs> Nick Wright draws dead. 600. With his jacks. Can't know it though, and leads 600. Got what looks like it might just be a dusty button raise, ready to wave the white flag. Uh, Ellie, where's the cabana? In, uh, we do a family reunion this weekend in the Lake Las Vegas. Right. 
Oh, okay, okay. My okay. dad came from Israel now, and we took Up the to 30 of us. Oh, wow, okay. So we took like big four cabanas, the private room, and all this. Well, where though? In Lake Las Vegas. Yeah, no, but like what? The West End. It's not yeah, a pool party, yeah, yeah. it's a family reunion. Wait, yeah, <laughs> okay, well, I didn't know. It's I all, uh, you're right, it's pool party probably, because all the kids are gonna be in the pool all day. All I heard was the adults are gonna be with the yeah. By pool party, I meant girls in the Like bottles. Yeah. No, yeah. no, no, no. Wine and cracking bottles up. Making 600 look like 1700 on the turn. Wait, like, so will Hagar be hung there? in there? Yes. Wow. Like, she's the one not gonna like this world's on the phone now. Bed. Oh, really? She just asked me all the questions and I forgot to tell her who I'm playing with now. <laughs> she married up, don't worry about it. She did better than me. <laughs> she went to USC, became a lawyer, got married and had a family and, well, you, we know what I did. <laughs> Nothing wrong with you. She's a district attorney over here now. So. Oh, okay, cool, 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 cool. Ooh. Oh, flush. Queen Nick. three's running good. Just couldn't picture a world in which the button would not see bet with so a you're flush draw. I, educated you on poker since I heard queen three is a good hand to have. Right. Oh. Just checking. Mm -hmm. Ends up paying Daniel off. I thought we were going to get to keep the photos. <laughs> <laughs> I would have spent money on my picture for the signature. <laughs> now with the signature, I don't Antonio, want to. I would have spent money on Antonio. Like, yeah. Yeah. We're struggling? It's like the you know you yeah. go to like it's Six Flags or whatever they're like. Right. Oh, on yeah. the ride. Yeah, thirteen bucks. Sure done. They'll send you guys Until your bags bought. for free. Gotcha. So. I hope so. I'm making posters. That oh, that's my cereal box photo. Mm. One less thing I have to do now. Yeah, I just need the name. Exactly. Two thousand. Have you been to uh, Serial Killers? No, that's a place. What? Yeah, where's that at? Um, it's at there's one at Miracle Mile, but it's like a big chain now. And yeah, find in Hollywood. Yeah. So excited. And it's just like crazy cereal, everything. I don't know if I'd want to eat flavor. cereal on the strip. Like if it was like off strip, I'd be like, okay, I'm down for a bowl of cereal. Is it but still? It's what, if, what if it's B-Y-O-M, oh. bring your own milk? No, like I just wouldn't want to be in Miracle Mile we'll eating cereal. let you guys cereal. go at it again. What if you saw me there? You'd be like, what's wrong with him? Reasonable open from Daniel, but caught okay. speeding by Ellie's ace queen. Oh. Here you go. Uh, well, he's got, yeah, yeah. He hangs in for the extra 1300 and we got a pot. Like the equivalent of being in that cereal place by yourself in Miracle Miles, like being in a dive bar by yourself. It's up there. Yeah. Isn't that the principle of a dive bar though? Yeah, I feel like a dive bar, like you, that's a okay. little better. Sleep whiff than... for Daniel. It's the principle of what about What about a dive bar with Cobb salad? I've never heard of that one, but I'm sure it is. Uh. 23, <clears throat> 2,300. That's best on paired yeah. ace in the Broadway Five. draw. <laughs> <clears throat> Easily bets and takes it. I had the queen ten. I just off. want you out. That's I had the queen ten off bar. My straddle, right? No. <laughs> yep. Yes. Oh yes. Yeah, yes. You get it all. Another twenty dimes. <laughs> I mean, it's relative to what comes on the turn and river, but I did not flop two pairs. So, still, if you had one, you could still go running perfect. This is Elia Lezo, not Zach Freeman. Uh, my name is not Freeman. I don't know who that is. This is a new... You just turned me white. I'm in. John Smith. Seven. Raise up to seven. Melezra, trying to get busy here. Both he and Nick Wright know they got to play pots if they're going to get unstuck. Joel joins the party. Their spades are covered. Not a one on the flop. But it's two ones for Alezra. Thirteen. Thirteen hundred. Thirteen. His seabed promptly clears Nick Wright, who wants none of it. Paranto with the open ender. Oh. Will proceed. 
Doesn't want to see an eight or king of clubs in her mind. <laughs> Speak of the devil, there is the eight of clubs. Alezra now draws dead. But is there a world in which he might have been able to tell a tale? Emphatic check back. And now, put you on king queen. He barrels the river and says, I put you on king queen. That should embolden Joel to feel a little bit more comfort with this 910. Call. And call. sure enough, she Three. makes the call. Top it up. Oh. I see. Been that kind of night for Ellie. Chop it up. <laughs> <laughs> Just call. <laughs> I didn't see the 910 there there's coming in. Flush, there's everything, yeah. Poker After Dark is brought to you by Roman. Simple, straightforward, the way healthcare should be. Visit GetRoman.com to learn more. Manscaped. Don't gamble with your grooming tools. Visit Manscaped.com today for the best in men's grooming. And Poker Go. Get in the game at PokerGo.com. Before the break, it was Joelle Parenteau's turn to take some Ellie Alezra bucks as she showed down a straight and raked in a nice pot. James Board found me a home. <laughs> found you a home? Just don't tell him what Ellie said. I'm texting him that right now, actually. <laughs> Three? Yeah. He's going to tell you, I'll play you heads up. 500K buy-in. Bad time to have Jax, Maria. Joel. Second tour of duty with aces. Raise. Raise, I put 15. 1,500. Five Xs to 1,500. He should fold. <laughs> <laughs> Take my cards back. Well, whatever Zach's doing has been working so far, and I wouldn't be surprised if somehow he ends up yeah. with this pot despite being in horrendous like, shape. Why he was in there to begin with. <laughs> it's possible he said that about my <laughs> Got shot straight draw. Happen to really like that. Check. Check. Two checks in front of Joel's aces and 2,500. Oh. And that's a bit of an uncomfortable feeling. Two flush draws on board now. Check. Double gutter for Zach, whose eyes are trained on Joel here. She's only got about 10K behind. There's 12.5 out there. Any meaningful sizing here should commit her for the rest. Sure enough, half her remaining stack. And what a no man's land Maria Ho finds herself in. Trouble for Franzi is he could be up against a flush draw. And that would take the 10 and 6 out of the equation for him. Maybe Maria's got some 9 10 mixed in there. 
crazy. 22 for us. The grudging <laughs> muck. Let's see how the Jack-9 would have fared. <coughs> Maria has literally won out other than getting Joel to fold. That's not it. Four to a straight and backdoor diamonds out there now. And he's six. Thanks to eight high. Check. Check. Joel content to check back. Yes, sir. Wonder how much she might have been able to get off of Maria. Bet had she value bet. Like, I'm trying to figure out why I called the flop if I'm not going to call the turn when it's <laughs> so much value there. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a regular straddle, I think. The position. I thought you said sleep. Sweet. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Getting past your bedtime. It's after dark. <laughs> Damn, Ellie, are you going to take that? <laughs> Tell them how you get down. You guys, I'm Tell going them how you get down. Yeah, I'm going no. from here to play three and oh, six. Oh, I, I know. Ellie, I've seen <laughs> you like close. On team no hey, sleep like 72 I'm hours. I'm stuck 35. Session. What do you think I'm going to do? <laughs> Trying to get even. He's already here. He's I just, like, just want to know who you were referring to as the no clue. Seven. <laughs> Yeah, uh, right there, the cur curl, curling, curling uh, champ. By the way, I suck at that, but if you want to play some shuffleboard on this. Ooh. Raise. Raise. This is an aces rich environment we have been seven. subjected to this I evening. I asked that you got to be steaming, so I'm calling you. Very, very much <laughs> so. And conveniently, and you Maria will bet. play right into. The flop, you That's have to true. Bet. You have to bet because you're professional, right? Should I smoke it then. Are like you, you professional? Have the steaming narrative. Uh, semi, yeah. semi-retired. Ooh, how much money? So you're a really good professional, is what you're saying. Yeah. Ellie put forth. Jack high, two diamond, two heart, rather flop. Thought about it for quite some time before flinging a flag out there. Queen on the turn. 8,800 out there, and Maria has seven left. Allen. The gentle mutterance, all in, and a snap fold from Alezra. Pocket aces, good for Joel and good for Maria. Stay tuned to see if the big pairs continue to hold up after the break. Welcome back to Poker After Dark, where Maria Ho has been having a profitable night as she yields the interviewing duties to Veronica Brill. Maria, the tables are turned. I'm interviewing you now. Yeah, <laughs> I like it. How does it feel to be a part of Poker Go, but as a player now? Yeah, I mean, first and foremost, I've always just been a player, but of course, I love being on the other side of things, and I feel like it's given me a really good, well-rounded perspective um, to be on both sides. Yeah, and I appreciate your help. Maria Ho did uh, reach out to me and give me some tips when I first started. Um, you've got Ellie to your right. He's really chatty and a lot of fun. How are you enjoying the table so far? Yeah, everyone's super nice, and I've actually had quite a bit of experience playing with a few of them, but also I'm friends, you know, with Daniel, with Joel. Um, I played with Nick before, and of course, Ellie's always going to be a good time, and you can count on him to kind of get things going anytime there's a little bit of a lull. What friends do you like? East, Eastern Europe or something? Well, my grandparents came over 
all the siblings actually, when they wrote it down, had different names. Oh. It was longer. It was a Greek name. Instead of G I A S, they wrote Z I. Z I. So you had the best. Uh, my papu was F R A N Z I. His sister was F R A N Z I E. His other sister was F R A N Z Y, and his brother was F R A N Z F R A N G I S. Oh my God! All four different. Mm -hmm. Seven hundred. Seven five deuce rainbow. And my father has oh. the most Jewish name in the history of the world. Ellie. The uh, most. He did. Israel, Israel yeah. needs wiki. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Nick swinging the bat in position with this king high. Clears the last round. I knew it. Which yeah. is good news for over, Hish. I said, I said he don't know. Right Salama, an uncharacteristic tearing off with this deuce tray. This is him, no? Okay. Yeah, that's Leanne Sweden, but yeah. I, but the first Nick toast doesn't barrel Patrick off again. Shauna Hyatt. Shauna Hyatt. Like the yeah. Yeah. Had a free pull at six outs. Oh, yeah, that's 1,600. 1,600. And no hesitation on the river. He says 1,600, despite four to a straight being out there. and no. Doesn't right, allow Jack. Hish to or roll over deuces can, for a winner. Oh, you have 10-6 there? <laughs> wow. It's literally been bugging me the whole night, and I just figured out who you remind me of. If you say the dog whisper. No. Is it the curling champion? No, I don't know if anybody. Yeah. Curling <laughs> champion. Yes. Yeah, yeah, oh, yes, good yes. callback. You were my teammate. <laughs> <laughs> you make you need pair of fours. Oh, he reminds me of Wags you have a pair of fours? so much. And, <laughs> Is that what you said? I need pair of fours to oh. put them in. You had no pair? I had no pair. Yeah. I was winning, as usual. As usual. <laughs> you know what's funny now? The old days, because Poker Go was 30 minutes delay, you couldn't lie. 800. Mm -hmm. But yeah. now we easily yeah. can lie. For 90 yeah. days, I can. <laughs> it's a raise already. I right? <coughs> yeah. I bet you I had a pair and they were both black. And I showed him my hand. How about that? Oh, so I believe you then. <sighs> you, you laugh with the best hand again. That is what I said. The pair was good. And you call, you almost called my hand out. It's 800? Oh, oh, yeah, it was a miss. I thought it was oh. already three. <laughs> and I tried, the, I, right when I said it, I realized I'm. I thought you said you had a pair of fours. I was like, ooh. It's not going to explain it. Was good. It. <laughs> no, no, it was fine. So right, said, Wait, I checked inadvertently raised to 800 right, under the assumption this was a straddle pot. Instead, he ends up 8xing it with an inferior ace against Daniel Winand, who identified it, but said he would not exploit flatting with his I was queen. actually betting for value. Who was? Thought you might have the ace-10, ace-10. You nail it, ace-10. It what? comes with another 800 as the seabed. Um, no, in the next couple weeks. Yeah, okay. Merciful yeah. eight on like the turn. Within the next Early month. May. Now, yeah. Within the next month for sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Allows him to chop with Winan, provided that they even get that far. You use Instagram much? Yeah. Well, no, 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 not much. I get them oh, right. like right. once every Probably two like weeks. Probably like the easiest way to I'll, I'll get follow. The, I'll yeah, I'll text yeah, yeah. him. Oh, you, yeah. you can add me on Instagram. I'll, I'll get your restaurant out to my fan base. Oh, you don't die. Thank you. This guy. Thank all you. my Instagrams are friends and family pretty much. Mm -hmm. No and, chop. And and half, the, half of the 45,000. Courtesy of the turn <laughs> bed. <laughs> I, 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 honest to God, it Those wasn't a move. And no I said, I, I did 800 thinking it was 300 already. Yeah. And then I'm like, at this point, I'm too deep in like, yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. He gets really I definitely deep. had like a three bet type of hand. Like so did I. Yeah. Bet the 50 yeah. I'm, I'm embarrassed. Like, I'm an O. Ellie Jenner. He remembers our bet. What was that? Is that? That's the one hand you can call me on right there. Yeah, right there. The one he, where he made it eight. Oh, yeah, I fold. Uh, Absolutely. Uh, I'm 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 How much do you want to bet? No, it's better than that. Oh my he God! He called the drawing dead just, flush. You bet I'll, I'll tell you after. You want to know? I'll tell both. Oh, the way you weighed it up at eight hundred? Right. Oh. Yeah, because okay. he like just no. made it eight. I'm like, yeah. I promise, I know. Yeah. I'm seven fifty out of small. I was like, I can't afford to spend even eight hundred. Yeah, you then you had to have me beat. No, you're right. We'll talk about it later. Yeah. When you stuck like that, everything looks good now. I can tell you one hundred percent, even how your chips work. No, you're right. Yeah, yeah. You're right. Stack a two K with some greens on it and replace them. You're right. Okay. Check. Queen six okay. tray all diamonds. Okay. Alezra 
Flops the six, but frenzy show as he goes from a flush to a straight flush. Three. My God. Now another diamond, just in case people think they're playing the board, and sure enough, a little sprinkling out there from Nick Wright, who is fighting for pots. 1100. I'm only. You can. <laughs> I'd be like, he was kidding. I made a joke before. I feel like a raise wins it, but go ahead. Yeah, you're drawn to it. I just have a straight flush. Oh, oh wow. 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 Raise was definitely winning. Wow. Nice, Ed. So whatever read I have that you're bluffing, it actually means you have the nuts. Because both <laughs> times I thought you were, the first time I thought you were bluffing, you had set top set of kings. <laughs> and the second time you had a straight <laughs> flush. So you're playing well. Good to know. <laughs> it's Straddle. Hey, at least this time you thought Straddle I was bluffing and folded. Straddle is on. Which means you had absolutely <laughs> nothing. What? No. You had nothing you could nothing. call with. So yeah, you yeah. Had no, no, I had the board. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now think if you would have had like a 10 of diamonds here. You would have I'd have called. called. Yeah. Right. There was no raise in me, but I'd have called. Strata. 25. 50, 100, 200, 500. <laughs> I know a raise gets it here. I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Please, oh, yes. please, oh, yes, please. 2,000. Checked all the way down board. I have a straight flush. This is a new Nick right here. I like it. Well, we got like 40 hands left. This is Nick 2.0. Well, oh, this is Zach 1.0, which has been working so far. No other releases were necessary. <laughs> Go set mining, and fours are still good on a paired flop. 1500. 1500. Nick fires quickly. And Zach. Ain't going anywhere just yet. String call. <laughs> Neither player holds String a spade. Spot. Check. Check. Quick check from Nick on the turn. And man. 2300. Zach just puts so much pressure on. Such a bad spot for Wright to have Zach directly to his left and running like God, no less. But Franzi is sharp. I didn't even know Franzi know the word floating. What? Float? Yeah, float. You know, even you know this word and you just did it. You're calling with nothing on the flap. Your reads are about as good as his, but. I don't know if he had nothing. <laughs> yeah. Nick Wright has not had an easy night with Zach Franzi on his left. First, he got flattened by a straight flush and then was forced to give up an ace queen. More of these two action junkies collisions after the break. Welcome back to Las Vegas and the Poker After Dark Suite here at Aria Resort and Casino for more of our 5100 cash game. Every time he's putting the money in. Bo Baldwin teach me something. When we used to play high, and we want to change limit. He said, oh. black is bad for my eyes. Yeah. And he teach me another, the best line ever. Okay. I want to see pain. He want to see pain. Yeah, in one time, every time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you want to see some pain on the faces. <laughs> We're playing in Ivy's room and he jams on me. Okay. And I'm like, okay. kind of tanking, but not really. Like, I have top pair with enough flush draw. Six, but it's against Bobby. So he either has air here or like a set, or maybe even kings. So I decided to call. And I said to him, Bobby, you want to run it twice oh. this time? He goes, <laughs> he, he did oh. not want to show me the hand, though. And he's, he shoved in. He's in first position. That's the only thing I wanted to see is his hand. Times. Bobby could have like six, seven, or he could have two kings. Check. Meanwhile, in the four-way well, limp pot where Nick was in the straddle spot. Seen. I don't think it was intentional, though. The guy clearly was fairly new. I don't know if he spoke English very well. But he he fired instead the of saying ender. all in, he said, I'm Nobody playing for turn. all of my chips. And it was like the weirdest, I was just like, oh, all of them? 1,300. <laughs> Hish is I, yeah. seven. I've seen some horrendous moves in the days. Like back 13. when you play cash Snap on the 1,300. Oh, yeah. Even at the series, we were playing, uh, I think we were playing PLO. And uh, 
I have devil fish Elliot sitting to the right of me, rest his soul. And some guy bought in and he put two bricks on the table. Mm -hmm. About four hands later, it's pot repot, he's all in with these bricks and devil fish wins the pot. And the guy gets up like he's mad and leaves. About 10 minutes later, we notice the bricks are 100, 100, one, 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 no, oh my God. I was like, he free rolled you for like 100K, it's oh, awesome. Oh he just wow. jammed him in there. <laughs> like and that, you never see the guy anymore? No, never seen him, but he, he's risking like 3,000 to win 100. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> oh, i Because who's going to check the bricks if you win? How come I never heard this one? Oh wow. my God, it was hysterical. <laughs> <laughs> I felt so bad, but I was laughing hysterically. That's absurd. <laughs> that guy's my hero in the worst way. It's, it's one of the reasons why cash isn't allowed on the table. One. Although, it takes away from the game. When you had money cash that was allowed on the table, you'd be playing in a casino, and so many people, like myself, would stop by and just have yeah. to have game play. Agreed. Those were cool times. I'll ask Mori to ask for the... If we do the high stakes, the hold school, yeah. I think you can't to allow that. I think because they're not taking yeah, a rake. That'd be cool. Can, by the way. Top set is what? cool times. If there's no rake, I believe they can. Okay. When is that happening, y'all? Nick That's tearing cool. one okay. off with the old. ace 10. So I need to, I'm going to tell him where I can. We don't need you. I'm taking Brad's place. <laughs> so who's going to play for sure? Did Joel. they ever find him? Yes. Yeah. 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 Goes 300 pre, 300 on the flop, 600 on the turn. I got I got a call from the detective about it. Who's gonna? Yeah. Like, stellar sizing here. Yeah. I'll bet Phil's not playing. Myself. Galfon. Oh no, Phil Galfon. Patrick Antonio is already confirmed. Wow. Is he living here? No. No. Good lay down from Nick. Live where there is no tax. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. No, there's there's California. California. That, that, yep. I'm looking at places in Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico is the best for crypto. Well, a tough night for Nick Wright keeps getting worse as he can't seem to get to showdown with the best of it, but there's still time left to spin it up. Stay close. Back inside the poker after dark suite and right down to the felt for more seven handed cash game action. <laughs> I don't want that one. Let me wait. Let me check first. 300. Looks like a curling move for me. <laughs> <It> <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Me, Nick, possibly Zach. God, stop with those games. Assuredly, <laughs> Zach. It's working so well for him, though. They're just never ending. <laughs> Man, I feel You're raised hate. with greens. I feel the hate. Here you go. Okay, okay. <laughs> it's not hate, it's love. <laughs> Count it really slow. Let's take all the time. Hish. Very anti green chips in the pot. Like and How much? So Zach throws them all in there with a few blacks to boot. Call. See, that's how you do it. 1,050. Two well, tens aren't going anywhere. You don't want to have to go back to Aria with all these chips. And oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Awful yeah, well, shape. Can you chip up here to lose no? the pot. Yeah, you can chip up. Yeah. I mean, yeah. if it happens, that was part of the game, I heard. Yeah. Two players with queens, yeah. two players with a gut shot on the king queen nine board. Are you guys meeting up with Manny after? What are you guys not, tonight. Tonight. not tonight. No. We've had yeah. dinner with them three times already <laughs> since, mm -hmm. since we got into town. Um, I'm busy tomorrow, but either Friday, like day. Okay. Cool. And you're playing on, on Friday? Or? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's I'm just so Friday tilting. Friday. Okay. But, um, Nick, I wish you were in the hand. I can call his hand to yeah, a T. Yeah. When are you I'll guys going to come back next? You guys are going to leave. Feel yeah. free to call. Oh, no, no, no. He's in the hand. He's in the yeah. hand. Um, I'd like to know what you think. Oh, yeah, I'll tell you. Least, uh, three weeks, probably longer. I'll yeah. bet there's no chance in hell you can say what I have. No chance? No okay. Chance. All right. LA anytime soon. Um, what's the situation like going to LA? Is, uh, is it better? Is yes, it better now? They're, yeah, I would I'm say they're like at 50% capacity. Yeah, okay. Do that because I said no you chance were, uh, and you think I have a horrible hand? Since I don't. No, that's not why I did it. But. Gutsy look here from Nick. Nobody would ever expect me to check this on the flop too. Yeah.
Yeah. Rips 8,700 and change yeah. out there, and we it's haven't really seen anything that, this aggressive out of him. He's been the caller in most spots. When pots were big, yeah. Yeah. is so that going to get seven. curious? Let me let hear the conversation there. Wait. He's talking to himself there. <laughs> no, he was talking. I was, oh. He was listening, gleaning information. Either turn. Uh, what, what, go ahead. You fold and that me. feels like the very first time. Mm -hmm. King Jack. Doesn't matter. I knew that was. That no Zach Franzi has folded a winner. And he's not oh, happy with himself. Wrong? Yes. I wish we started now. <laughs> the game will be on. And now we got only 10 minutes to steam up. I made the right read, but it's the end of the night. I didn't want to just give him 7,000. Oh, one more. Oh, I thought you were about to say it's the end of the night. You didn't want to send me home with nothing. I thought you were about to be nice. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's the end of the night. First time playing in this game. I want him to come back because he's played so terrible. So I was like, let him have it. Mm. I knew I had the best hand. I just didn't pull the trigger. Queen Jack? No. No, Queen Jack was the nuts. You have Queen Jack? Oh, no, I'm sorry. Jack, 10 10 Jack. Got shot in the bigger figure? I have Ace Queen. You had Ace Queen? Yeah. Ace Queen. We'll oh, that's when you said you could beat him. We'll have to wait that's 90 what, days to see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. OK, that makes sense. Wow, what that makes more sense. 300. King, Queen, 9. King, Queen, 9. Two spades. Two hearts. The only problem. Not two hearts. He could have turned a set of heart diamonds. More aces. I don't think it's this a best time. Score. Hish. I think he either has. I have the best hand, or he turns a set of threes. It. And you heard Ellie say he wish the session was starting right now, as Franzi might be feeling some type of way after folding a winner in a pretty big pot. His king three suited. Well, someone told me he would, he would be coming. Not looking good on this board. He loved those shows. Oh, yeah. He loved those shows. But he's yeah. going to float. He said maybe, but I didn't think he would show. As yeah. He always wow. says he's going to come. Double paired board now. <laughs> Two flush draws. <laughs> and Hish has been pretty conservative on the turn. I, I had a different hand. Hmm? I don't think he likes it. No, it was so sweet. Oh, right there. <laughs> so no, I have absolutely nothing. So good. Oh, okay. I had it, thought I had a complete It was okay. a massacre. Yeah. yeah. This time he fires. <laughs> Legit. Gave you a dime for no reason. Well, that Nick Bluff may have activated the steam chamber. Franzi finally losing a pot and sending his chips to Hish. Humidity levels rising in the desert. Before the break, Nick Wright pulled off a brave all-in bluff that got Zach Franzi off the best hand. Now it's time to see how that affects the action. What if they did it at the series? They had a 50K no limit. I mean, is this even Sorry, real? Say it again. Get right now. Sorry, say it again. If it was 50K no limit rebuys. With rebuys, how many people would play? Mm -hmm. Everybody. Correct. Yeah. I'm just saying, I would like to play. That's up. Yeah, they should mix in a freeze out. I agree. Like just like one, rebuys, just one. Yeah. I don't ask for top much. set. Who are you talking? What are you for talking? Joel? Series? No, so like Aria, Aria will run Aria high rollers, rollers. Oh, Aria can't and they'll look. do them like I don't know once every but they're they're infinite rebuy. <laughs> yeah, for like a, like first yeah, six and levels. first nine. Yeah, but it's like I'm such a dog in that field. Right. But if it's a freeze out, like there's some shot. Sure. Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. Still a dog, but not a big dog. Not as big a dog. I mean. Ace is full now for Joel, and yeah, I like it. A check back. Play the best in the See world. See if Maria can improve. On those tournaments. Yeah. Backdoor clubs I mean, show yeah, up. They'll bite All out of hoe. You know. The wizards. Know. Yeah. I call them snipers. Who do you think the best is? At what? At the, the like the, yeah, like these, like the, the high rollers. The same, the same guy. Same, yeah, I know. So. I know. Savro? Yeah. No. No? What's the kid's name that has won like you 70 think, uh, million in the last few years? Redhead, you think, Seems is better like than he's him? A uh, super charitable a, guy. Fedor? No. Alien Sierra? He's American. You're, t you're talking about uh, Jason Kuhn? I'm no. No. Oh, um, Kuhn, Kuhn. Jason Kuhn? No, no. that's not Jason who plays well, though. But that's Jason not who I'm thinking player. of. I'm oh. thinking of a guy He's relatively young. I think he's from New Jersey. Dan um, Smith? No, the, I'd never, I'd, five years ago, five, five years ago, five years ago, I'd never heard of him. The Ali guy is really good. He's yeah. so good. Yeah, Ali's won a lot. What do you mean, Sam Perry's yeah. like one, one in, he's like number two in the money this year right now. 300? 600. 600. Oh. Ellie, this is not limit. 
<laughs> it's just like. Hish is open. Any two cards out. Oh. I wish it gets two X. No redraws. If I knew, if I knew, if I knew you would keep this going, I would make it nine. Not about Twelve, just to see how long they'll keep calling. I'll do it till like the stack bleeds out. So let's do it, man. We chop it after. Huh? Hold on, that's. I love that. I I take my bet back. I raise. It's like it's so good. We'll just yeah, we chop it out. That's pretty funny. I'd like to text him. Trying to negotiate some parking lot deals. Encouraging Hish to re-raise and squeeze out the riffraff. Hit and me, eight, Dylan. 8-6 off suit is riffraff indeed, in particular on this board. Franzi, though, hmm? has ace-queen. And the field in real trouble. Comes out firing. Hish with second pair in the gutty. I thought this was it, Calls. Ellie. I thought this Ellie. was where you're going to get that. Two of the best back door spades. <laughs> Not interested in continuing as we're down to heads Ellie, up. I bet your hand and my hand would make a sick Omaha hand. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Double suited, boom, 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 boom. Check. Zach plays it safe on the turn. 2,000. Comes out betting on the river. Yeah, no, I <laughs> cards. No, I get it. I get it. I get it. You let out, which made no sense. I was nervous. I didn't know. <laughs> I wish I could uh, ask Maria and Ellie what to do. <laughs> they, they would know. Watch this. Ask them. No. You have king 10. There's no way. He doesn't check that on the turn. And then bet the river. You shouldn't have asked Ellie. Ask Maria. <laughs> Just makes no sense. By the way, is king 10 good? King 10 is not good. I can beat king 10. <laughs> what if I told you I had ace king? I think you have ace ten. Why do you check the turn? It just makes no sense. It's like at best, why am I even talking out loud? It doesn't matter. I assume you have the best hand. I never think you have that. Oh, wow. Oh, you're good. It's good. King 10's not good, but. Barely good. You have ace jack or ace nine? Good bet. They say think long, think wrong, and in this case, it held true. Hish tanking and making the call, leaving Zach to scoop a pot. Poker After Dark is brought to you by Roman. Simple, straightforward, the way healthcare should be. Visit GetRoman.com to learn more. Manscaped. Don't gamble with your grooming tools. Visit Manscaped.com today for the best in men's grooming. And Poker Go. Get in the game at PokerGo.com. No, the nine could have made a straight, too. <laughs> exactly. The nine could have made a straight. And the, the four could have been a set. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's why I let you pick. Or two pay yeah. or something, right? <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let me put it this way. If you were betting <laughs> any more than 500, I was not calling. Give me two sixes. Sorry, okay. sorry, sorry. <laughs> Do it, and then give me yeah. two sevens. Yeah. I think we're done. Yep. Okay, I'm going to grab mine, and then here you go. The Lazarus is going to pick up two jacks and a $600 straddle that yep. Franzi put out there for the okay, last hand of the night. <laughs> <laughs> 
like my parents when they're still eating, you know, when <laughs> I get up and play video games. I know you can find that hard to believe. Oh, Nick Jr. 16 or what about? 16 total. Oh, Paul's he's got, him. he's got him. I picked up that rack like it was an empty rack. Oh, I almost dropped bad. all your chips on the ground. My bad, bro. Franzi invests an extra 1,000 to right. defend okay. against okay. Ellie's yeah. raise, and oh boy. Queens and sevens. He asked for pocket sixes and you asked for pocket sevens. Okay. Both players check the flop. Franzi Time. fires two dimes on the turn. You heard the man. Ellie asks for a diamond and hits it. Four to a straight and three to a flush out there. And Franzi still fires. The way he ran against me, I asked for diamond and he still did. How epic would an Ellie all-in be here? But with just 3,500 more to call, who knows whether or not Franzi would get away from it. Hmm, 25? Yes, sir. Oh, this is the part where you hope he doesn't fling it in there and slaps his own hand like he did earlier. Saving 5K against Daniel Winan. Sometimes Nobody it feels like to be oh, who cares, but you got so credit to Ellie. Five stalls you. Show it, show, show it. it. Mm -hmm. I did. Uh. No. <laughs> give me, yeah, give me 15. <laughs> you playing with you, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. Next time on Poker After Dark. With my mind on my money and my money on my mind. It's an old school sit and go. Blah, 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 yeah. blah. <laughs> Phil Helmuth has him right where he wants him. <laughs> got her, got her. It's like you're laughing at me. <laughs> well. And Daniel Negranu is loving every minute of it. You want me to tell you I think you're better than Phil Ivey at something? What? Promoting yourself. There. Hey. Negranu, stop! <laughs> Tonight on Poker After Dark. Why don't you tell the story? Oh, you hit a nerve. Phil Helmuth is in his wheelhouse for a classic sit and go. You want me to tell you I think you're better than Phil Ivey at something? What? Daniel Negranu plays the foil. Promoting yourself. There. Okay, heights and weights, guys. Heights and weights. And, <laughs> and Maria Ho plays them all like a fiddle. <laughs> Nick, how do you feel about your seat right now? I love it. You may have grown accustomed to hearing that music and thinking it's time for some cash game poker. But tonight, we hearken back to the old days of Poker After Dark. Inside the Poker After Dark suite, yours truly, Alina Jad, alongside Veronica Brill, with the interviews for an old school sit and go. $10,000 ahead, and just got a glimpse at some of the competitors familiar to you for the most part, and we'll go through them in a moment. 15 minute levels, so it's on the turbo side of the spectrum, but instead of winner take all, like it used to be, we'll pay the top two places. In seat one, the man who coined, it's time, UFC ring announcer, Bruce Buffer, followed by DFS and NFT analyst, investor Peter Jennings in the two hole. And you see Phil Helmuth, needs no introduction, 15 time World Series of Poker bracelet winner. Nick Wright, Fox Sports One commentator, Daniel Negranu, a legend unto his own right. Skipped over Maria Ho, multi-talented poker analyst and cheers everyone. Good luck. Host, Absolutely. as well as a cheers, formidable yeah. player on Careful. the felt. And last but by no means <laughs> least, John Aguiar. Mm -hmm. What they won't know when heard him. Who is the senior advisor of high stakes gaming at DraftKings. Just like online. Wow. 
John will be happy to know yours truly has completely undiversified his portfolio into an all-in on DraftKings play as of a few weeks ago. Any insider information will be appreciated. Seems just like online. Last time I got second against Letterer, but I took a little 10,000 per second. On a less felonious note, Maria Ho, maybe a misdemeanor with the 9-5 offsuit. Mandatory. Defending. Okay. And Jennings Perfect. On one hand. flopping the <laughs> open ender and taking it down. If the name is familiar to you, you're probably in the DFS streets. And DFS stands for Daily <laughs> Fantasy I sold, I sold, uh, Sports. He is a two-time world like champion to my left is you. in he that did. space. Really? He did say that on the I said I just Prized by it. that. Yeah. So Won a million wow. dollars in the first ever DraftKings Live event in the Bahamas back in 2012. Oh. Now serves as an analyst well, for DraftKings and ESPN <laughs> in the DFS space. Canceled. <laughs> Canceled for giving compliments. <laughs> compliments you didn't are say no longer anything allowed. Anything about my beautiful face? Uh, right. Yeah, but we're, it's a long day, Daniel. We got time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's gonna get around to everybody. Compliments for everyone. What, what is it? Five five. 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 Peter is the co-founder I mean, of um, Lucky Trader, yeah. an analytics platform dealing with NFTs. Those being non-fungible tokens. Da, 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 and you'll get slayed on Twitter. A place where money seemingly Daniel grows like nice weeds. Either. Also the co-founder of nice Fantasy me, Labs, a company nice focused on daily fantasy sports okay. media, okay. analytics, Equally. and tools. Got it? The way I hear yeah. you guys have been going at it, I'm surprised you're so nice to each other. <laughs> one of us is nice to the other one, I can tell you. He called me a, I think it was a f I never attacked him outside of our match. He just called though. me a idiot. Jesus. I'm going to check. Helmuth and Negranu coming off of their round one high stakes duel match where Daniel had him. That's close to fighting words. Down to dust. <laughs> Crumbs, in fact. I know, I know. And Helmuth managed to come back. As long as it sells tickets, right? And yeah. win round check. one. There were some contentious Everybody exchanges heading into it. Meanwhile, Helmuth finds himself heads up yeah, with Ace Queen, which is guy, still best here, yeah, though in precarious shape against Nick Wright's nut like flush well, draw. The Ben Askren bet and uh, Jake Paul, if that wasn't the most obvious bet in the world, and I love Ben, don't get me wrong, but he's not a boxer. You know. 8,000. I mean, neither is Jake Paul, but. Dude, there might be, I mean, the way the McGregor line closed, I mean, I'd bet the house on Mayweather minus like 5,000 or something. I mean, I don't, what do you think the line is? on your face. It's like you're laughing at me. <laughs> <laughs> well, so not cool. laughing at you. Seconds. Not that that matters, yeah. but it's ridiculous. Here, show my hand. Helmuth well, chose anyway. to flat pre out of the big, it's check called the 2K, the and then gets away from it for 8,000. Yeah, oh, it's great. <laughs> I, I, I was mean, a lot of the amateurs just showed him a worse hand, Nick. So. Could have set him off hand, too. No, boxing not set covers, me off. I wouldn't be surprised. Of course. It's like, it's like celebrity boxing. Firing That's twice with ace jack would have been right there, though, right? Because it would have got you to fold ace queen. Father of three, wife holding down the fort with the three kids right now. Well, Got the Midwestern roots on him, does Nick? I don't but what people certainly more right outspoken than I think minute. the average Midwestern is a personality. Disaster later. Yeah, once I start seeing you fire with Ace Jack, I'll be trapping you with I got you. all day. You know what I mean? Yep. All <laughs> day, man. All day. You get queens all day. Negranu, stop! <laughs> Wait for all your own. Day. Wait for your own entrance. Queens all day. Are you We're gonna play a hundred hands. He's gonna get queens all day. I mean, all day, Queens. You know, I know. I just you be twist happy my to words. get like nine eight the politician. And this guy's got queens. The politician is in the studio. <laughs> just said, I'm going to trap you with Queens all, all day. day. And yeah. I'm going to have a. I'm going to trap all those <laughs> times. And he's so, going to have a jack. <laughs> when you have the Queens, and an ace isn't going to flop, and you're going to stack him. <laughs> Last time we played in the studio, Maria, you uh, got a little jiggy against me. <laughs> I Maybe I can trap you. I'm trappable for sure. I'm going to check. 100% you are. Ooh. King 10 turns into bottom Check. two on a Maybe sopping not. wet board. Check. And Maria I will. pumps the brakes with her ace. That allows a nine to roll off, which connects with Nick Wright's holding. And a second round of Got checks her. means it's time Seven. to bet. <laughs> <laughs> Got her. Got her on the mount. <laughs> you did. He's Trapper Phil. Like, I would have hated myself for it's not betting twice. the turn, but now I kind of hate myself a little more <laughs> because you check raised me. But I'm actually going to call. Oh, oh my yes. God. Ooh, here we Please go. give us the a deuce speech in the call. so I can bet 6,500. What will you pay off? A deuce? Per, per, a lot. That's not a deuce. That's not a deuce. King's full will be reassuring. 
guess I'll bet 8,500. 8,500. Sub half pot river bet here. Feels a little milky. Maria now playing a 10 kicker. You fold the king, Maria? Good fold. <laughs> actually, good fold. no, I think he flopped it. A king was a good fold, actually. That's what so, I said. So if you folded an you ace, king. well done. Yeah. No payoff. Do you feel a little dead inside? A little, slightly. Just, a king was no good. You lost 10% of your soul. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I was always going to fold the river, but I, I don't just wanted to wait long enough to hear you say, like, I'll Got win her. this one, you win the next one, because you <laughs> Listen, do that last, a lot. But. People, people think I'm being mean to Maria. That he I love Maria. Well, I love Maria, but the last time we filmed, she I mean, just we that river, she smashed me, and I'm like, King. ran over just you. Give me more time <laughs> to trap her. Yeah. yeah. Just give me more time. It's crazy. No, it's she will never game. slow down. You would know better. Yeah. King Queen is a fold. Future game, but <laughs> it would have been King better if it happened in the 200 we filmed. It's actually against him. ABC. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, when Tamas said oh, over set me. <laughs> I'm that was pretty cold. sure Phil uses cold. his right hand to check his cards. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there's are there going to be a barbecue sauce stain on his thigh. I mean, we are talking about a man who folded down to like 2.3 big blinds in the WPT. Oh, he's gone to the left. Who? You. You did that. Hey, 2.8. Oh. It was it was below three. COVID era can thumb I, suck. Can I give you the sauce he's, there saying, feels slightly hazardous. Things. Sure. <clears throat> um, Look, I think you're you're not allowed to compliment me in front of the ground new because any compliment to me he's gonna like. Oh I like I'm looking forward to this one. Poker After Dark is brought to you by Roman. Simple, straightforward, the way healthcare should be. Visit GetRoman.com to learn more. Manscaped. Don't gamble with your grooming tools. Visit Manscaped.com today for the best in men's grooming. And Poker Go. Get in the game at PokerGo.com. Welcome back to Poker After Dark, where Phil Hellmuth has taken a break from berating Daniel and Maria in order to inhale a chicken, bacon, and avocado burger, as well as a few of his own fingers. There's a tweet from Phil just recently. His buddies from the tech world, Chamath Paliapatia and Jason Calacanis. Played on Poker After Dark with him and famously came up with the win the min mantra. Eating whatever Phil was eating with my hand. Phil was playing what that would be excruciatingly tight. <laughs> that is a chicken, a lettuce chicken wrap. The lettuce wrap. I'm on back on keto. You're on keto, Phil. Well, 1500. No more Sour Patch Kids. Nothing. I'll be off keto for our match. Yeah, I was gonna say, how long? <laughs> how long <laughs> you stay on the keto start? diet? I, would. I have to have candy. What, what's you couldn't pay me enough money to do that diet for more than two weeks. What's the distinction between it's not keto and Stupid. Atkins? It's not it's not healthy. Healthy. Huh? What's the distinction between keto and Atkins? You, guys know you remember that. the old Atkins Basically, thing? Basically, it's a package. All right, it's the same manipulating thing. Manipulating the amount of carbs that you can have, okay. and then you go all the way to carnivore and just never, and then <laughs> diarrhea for like a month. <laughs> and then, your, then your body starts taking vitals from other areas of your body. You're not getting full nutrition. I will bet. You'll, you'll lose weight. 1,500. Ace Queen is pipped. By two deuces here as Helmuth and Negranu in their first face off. 1500 ahead pre and post flop. Now Helmuth binks the ace. And 3500 in the dark. Fired 2000 on the turn and then a dark 35 on the river. Not calling. That's for sure. Now threatening to potentially raise. Definitely not calling. But folding. There were some cards I would have done that with, but no. So are you vegan? Fine. Yeah. I knew you had been. I didn't know if you. Now I didn't oh, spot yeah, a yeah. napkin years at now. any point. Good for you. So unless that bottle is really absorbent, I'm still trying to figure out. Oh, I need a product placement shot. Where we shed the ground. You. Hmm? Which promote, product? promote, promote. Brain Finger sauce. Right now. How much are they paying you? I, I generally, I own pieces of... <laughs> Way too much. Uh, Daniel in the background, Phil doesn't know what he's talking about. No, it's exactly 31 to 13, Daniel. MC, MC No, I didn't no. say you know what you were talking about. I said you're off tune. 
Oh, well, right? that's All cool. I do is win. All I do is win. All I do is win. That's not how it goes. Yeah, I'll give you that. All I, I like, do is win, 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 no, no matter, matter what. what. <laughs> you, and you go, all I do is win. All I do is win. All I do is win. Up, up, <laughs> up, and they stay there, and they stay there. Up, down, up, down. You go with the Frank Sinatra rap style. I want to hear it. <laughs> oh, I want to hear that style. Come on. Rolling down the street, talking about uh, sipping on gin and juice. <laughs> Laid back with my mind on my money and my money on my mind. And doing it. That's what happens when Helmuth raps. And doing he's it. So, Bill's so. way. <laughs> That's going to make I a blooper did show. It. Yeah, I was going to say it. My way. <laughs> If you don't think that's going on the show, then. Oh, it's in there. One thousand. I like watching Daniel do Phil rapping Sinatra style, like his yeah. mix. A couple of players have middle pair on the 954 board. All right. Heads up. It was a limp pot pre, four ways. Now the nine pair is on the Rolling turn. Advantage the right with the kicker. Handle. Sipping on gin and juice. Yes. Laid back. Like poetry. With my mind on money and my money on my mind. <laughs> and a disciplined lay down there That's on the turn. Point. Oh, I, I have a funny feeling you're right. From Buffer. It was a rough really, outing for Nick see, Wright in his first ever Poker After Dark appearance in Cash upstairs, Game Streets. I know. Yeah, right. I like yesterday. That's so what I was looking at. He was at. sitting right where really Daniel's staring sitting into my soul. Yeah. Yesterday, Ellie was in two places at but once. He perhaps was there, but he helping was him feel better day. about yeah. things. Like Cash Game yesterday. Is that what you were saying? Yeah. yeah. This tweet from April 13th. High praise from the legend himself, Doyle Brunson. Everyone bought in for 20. Saying Nick has the best opinion of day. any sports announcer. They do it for like a week stretch at a time every like yeah, couple months right now. Okay. Every month or two. Oh, it's one, one, one. It just went up. Okay. Last hand. Excellent. Call. Nine Jennings mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. with the suited connector. Mm -hmm. Vied for a table for two against Buffer, who limped with the inferior hearts, but Maria with the ace queen now I seeking three scoops. The other day. Mm. Um, I'm sorry, Aldi. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> Phil and I had a little post-mortem after his last right. match in I reference to some spots where go. he folded <laughs> a couple of eights, but a different situation <laughs> altogether. A little less than in poker. <laughs> I won't begrudge him for getting out of there for a double. Meanwhile, 10-9 turns into a double gutter. Ace high, still best. Nice beat there, Daniel. Got some. Got some skills. I was getting ready to start rapping. <laughs> oh, boy. Frank Sinatra and... Uh, Know, what you got? Let's hear it. I have to figure something out. <laughs> I don't know. I, I actually wouldn't mind doing a rap song. That'd be fun. Way up, I feel blessed. <laughs> way up. See? Is that not a Frank Sinatra right. style? It was like I, just, I don't know. I got to sit back really and good way guy. up. 9K C bet from Fuck Maria gets called word. by Peter. Now two Mama clubs on the board along with two kings. Out. Mama did say <laughs> I should knock you out. <laughs> I'm going to knock you out. Mama said, knock you out. <laughs> I know he's got that. A check back from Maria. And the ace pops you up. Think pop, we're popping like this. Doing. She happily like, checks back with the third diamond good. out there. I, think, I, mean, I didn't queen think I'd be, ten. I thought I'd be sitting between. Some problems for her as well. You know, the two queen, players. The queen. A hundred times uh, better than me. I didn't think I'd be pot. sitting between a singing competition. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, nice hand an an extra right. tilting. Phil, Should a, Phil go on Mass Singer? That would be. Oh boy! Something. I had a Phil's top ten hand I folded. Phil, you should go on the Mass Singer. Yeah, that's what I think, right? Yeah, one of those. Kind of. I kids thought though. it was. Lit. I don't not, know. I I'm feel like I saw a lot of people all of a sudden boy traveling fold to for, for I don't know, under I don't know where actually I take a visa back. He has, he has to X bet it all in. He has to find find a way to put the last bet in with twos. And you know that. Okay. Lines up. Yeah, I just folded eights. Funny, I folded eights against Maria already, already, so. Tonight? Like an ace king Today? backboard? Yeah. Or? yeah, when I three bet Pete. No, before the five. But I used 5,500. I, I think, I think eights, about though? poker differently. Yeah. The raise, re raise hand, he had eights. 
He'd have been winning on the flop. I had 10 nine suited cool. in that hand. No, no. Oh, you've had a good Came flop. King Jack it was four, a great right? flop, and then the worst yeah. turn. And yeah. then yeah. I'm like, oh, she has an ace, and then an ace on the river. <laughs> you know. Ace, king, ten. You were just getting ready to bluff the river, and yeah. the ace king, came, and yeah, you're king, like, ah. queen, no, she has an ace. Flush <coughs> draw. Aguiar flops great. bottom yeah. set <laughs> against Wright's top <laughs> pair. Everyone thinks I'm super tight. all diamond texture. Might be a savior for Nate. Crazy hands all he checks back. Now the fourth diamond. I do miss Rolling Tiger off. Man. I normally see you guys. Could slow John down. Yeah. It'll be back next year. <coughs> we're talking about, it, hopefully. Indeed. I miss those nice poker star trips to Barcelona and Bahamas. They do a nice job when they do those things. Still no post flop betting. Total brick on the river. Are you guys playing live poker a lot here in Vegas? Are you going I've to been, casinos? I've at been all? home for a year. I didn't yeah. do that. Yeah, again, it's my first live game in over a year. Yeah. I've been filming a lot. <laughs> I think I, I think I played uh, uh, once live <laughs> this trip, and then once way back in July. So this is like something. your third live. What well, you're playing? No, yeah. I film all the time. So that's yeah, different. Right. We te we test first, and we play we play live games in the Bay Area too. But everybody, you, know, like, you, know, you get these tests, right? Hey, my, all my friends 90 friends. seconds. You'll, you'll know the result in 90 seconds. Yeah, the rapid test. The rapid test is only good, they say, if you're in day two or day seven of COVID. Aguiar fired 1,500 on the end. And Nick Wright stands up, makes it 8,500. And somebody. The best hand goes into the mud. You might not expect an amateur like Wright to know when to turn top pair into a bluff. This kid's got some tricks up his sleeve. We'll be right back. Just before the break, Nick Wright showed off some non-amateur moves, putting in a nice river bluff that got pro Jonathan Aguiar off a set of nines. Now back to the action. Here's what builds me off. Uh, I played against, uh, all I did is play against the greatest players all through the 80s and 90s, because those are the only people that played the tournaments. But everybody yeah, was right? dad back then. Except, well, that's not so you're still, Everybody was the best okay, players. Okay, so still. why don't you tell the Story, and then when you're done, I'll, I'll tell my story. Oh, you hit a nerve. <laughs> don't interrupt me. Let me get my spiel in, or or, or don't. I like. I don't want. I don't want to play. Nerves. I don't want to play. Uh, I don't want to play the debate game where I just get cut off with bull. <laughs> Daniel does that to me all the time. I don't. Daniel hasn't it. said anything. He didn't do anything. Daniel's but go ahead. At that. But let me. But let's hear it. Go I, ahead. I have to. I have to silence. Guilty Daniel before, before you I do start. it, right? You know how many times he's done this? He says, "Don't say anything. Let me finish, and then you can talk." Then he's. He, I don't say a word. Right. right. <laughs> then I go, okay, so Phil, here's the thing. Within one, within three seconds, he goes, blah, 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 yeah. blah, blah. <laughs> yeah, but then you call me out and I shut up. Well, I mean, it, you, a guy can be wrong, but admit he's wrong. Like, that's important in life. You know? There's a, a lot of people in poker that don't admit they're wrong. My whole goal was to not play Maria. No, that's yeah, your line. That's my Did line. you guys ever see the movie Step Brothers? And Phil, to win tournaments, you have to play a bunch of great players, of course. But so like, this is what pissed me off. Back. Let me, let me yeah, respond, sure. and let's see if nobody interrupts me. Maybe Sorry, I'll I can finish. All through the 90s, I played against the greatest players. They all played in the tournaments. I beat them all. Same thing in the 80s, right? And then all of a sudden, they developed this narrative that I'm not good against good players. So the very field that has all of the great young players are the Turbos. And in the last four turbos, I have a first, uh, a sixth, a fifth, three final tables, some crazy amount, three final tables in five years. And this is the one where I'm not supposed to compete because of all the GTO guys, it's all math because the blinds go up so quickly. So it's f***ing aggravating for me. You know, not to hear, aggravating to hear as this a jack on the turn know, for I, me. I thought that the greatest poker player of all time was the one who was going to win the most bracelets. That's what I set out to do. I did that. And now all of a sudden, oh wait, you are not the greatest of all time, uh, you know. And so if people come and say, Phil, you're not the greatest today, um, I want a chance to prove I am. But I can't, I can't say that I'm better than a lot of the, a lot of the people because that's not fair to them. Not because they study, uh, but because there's a lot of talented uh, players and out Maria there, right? That also study. Bets twenty two thousand five hundred yeah, on the know, river with backdoor speeds what, like, coming in. If you in. study, if you if you study bad math. Do you become better at math? But how do you know it's bad if you've never studied it? That's not my question to you. Do you want to say yes or no to the well, question? Well, when, when you define something as bad math, okay? I mean, I turn I'm, the nuts, I'm, Maria. I'm to assume. I'm actually having fun with you. I know. 
Right. But that's kind of like a really, I just know 57% is wrong. Let me ask you a question, Daniel. This, this I think, and work with me. We, we can have a discussion together without being like, you know. Wow. Something around. good comes from playing. Interrupt so this is that the question. debate if, to if, bring you I'm a gonna Nick right fold just, with I the mean, winner. He said, why like so old. much? The table is tilted towards her. No, Maria I, raised the cutoff to 6,000. He flatted the small. Both I, players I checked the jack high board. He made the nuts the on the turn. Let me ask His 5K got called, and then the massive bet of 22.5. After Poker Wright checked it, I don't think that's yeah, true. Sends his king oh, <laughs> into the muck. Before the break, Maria Ho put on a bluffing clinic and got Nick Wright to fold a straight. Now she and Daniel Negreanu are sharing the chip lead with the blinds at 1,500, 2,500. Then it's hard to measure who so the greatest cash game players are because there's a little buddy. Well, I'm, I'm not even talking about. I'm not even. I'm talking about your genre, which is tournaments, and I'm saying the best tournament poker players in the world, right today are generally playing, I'm going to make it 6,000, in the high roller events. Like this one. Hmm? I said like this one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to see better players generally in a 25K buy-in than you are in a $300 buy-in. I don't think that's controversial. That's right. I think it's pretty black and white. So have you played Bozerian still, Ben? Uh, yeah, once or twice. Did I win? You win. No. Oh, no, no. no. You win. Oh, sorry. No. no. Sorry. I didn't see his hand. I didn't see. I, I don't sorry. Know. I have cards. I apologize. No, no, don't. I'm, I'm just sorry. glad Daniel didn't muck his hand. My bad, guys. No, I do get mad at the moving the goalposts, and they're like, well, whoever wins the most money, then I just went out and won all this money. And they're like, oh, yeah, but now you're not playing against the best to win the money. Like, I mean, Daniel's like such a politician. He changes the goalposts and changes and changes and changes. And I, I think you're going to be up against that forever, Phil. Yep, agree. Five. I didn't expect it's it from it's Daniel. It's lonely at the top, isn't it? Didn't expect it from Daniel, though. You want me to tell you I think you're better than Phil Ivey at something? What? What What do I think you're better than, than Phil Ivey at? Like, name it. I don't know. What, what am I supposed to give you here? I'm not better. Bingo. Promoting yourself. I'm not better there. at Texas Hold'em than Phil Ivey? No, you're not better at Texas Hold'em than Phil Ivey. You want to bet on what, what he would say? Well, I, already, he would, he already, he I already know what Phil would say. He's like, oh, no, Phil Helm's the best because yeah, he doesn't well. care. Like you do, right? right? He doesn't care. He's not, well, he's not going to say something like to, you know, boost his ego or whatever. He doesn't give a what people think, really, in that regard. So his opinion doesn't matter. Well, his opinion on who's better, he's going to say you because he wants action. Okay, he's a hustler, old school. You hit it. You know what I'm saying? You hit it. Ivy, yeah. Ivy, right. Ivy, right. Ivy, Ivy knows him better at, at Hold'em right. than he is, and he knows he's better at almost every other game than me. We, we kind of, we discuss this. We know You're this. not better at Phil Ivy at, like, literally Anything, except promoting yourself. That's it. That's all you got. Phil Ivey would mash you in every other format, and I'll bet my money on it. And there's Phil Ivey. There's other examples. Not even Phil Ivey. Ouch. Okay, heights and weights, guys. Heights and weights. <laughs> <laughs> Get ready for this. I need a microphone. I have a microphone. Can we talk about crypto punks again? <laughs> Are you kidding? This is the stuff that's going to make you like... Your results in high rollers, 25K no limit above. You have zero firsts, zero seconds, zero thirds. How much That's money not exactly you lied about me and never corrected Wait, it. is that true or not? Is that a fact or not? Correct. Have you had a third or better? Correct. He's pretty full So what do, you want to, what do you want to say? You can't beat the high rollers if you never beat As them. He's like, I'm up a million and a half in high rollers. Congrats on that. Also, like, like, wow. so why, why do you make, why do you, why do you leave I just a said a fact, because I'm yeah. saying a fact. You've yeah, never come first, Because you're a politician, second. you just want to spin it. Because, is it true? Have you ever come first, second, or third in a 25K no limit or above? Uh, no, but I'm up 1.6 no. million. No, well, but hold on. The fact is, no. So you've never won, you've never come second, you've never come third, but you think that you're the greatest at that format that, that other people have won 30, 40 million in. I didn't say it was the greatest at that format, Daniel. Nick, how do you feel about your seat right now? I love it. Um, I didn't but, say hold on, it was but the greatest I, hold on, but at you're, that but format, But your plus Daniel? money. That bet you want to make, Daniel. Yeah, then I got a question. I have a question for you. Daniel tweeted you're, out you're that I was losing money. Did you call me or no? No. 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 Good fault. Daniel tweeted out. <laughs> I don't know. I'm the, a sharp gambler. I know you're polarized so, there, but I was, you're Daniel's so intense in this conversation. So. Like, if you really pull Even if you get, even if you trap him, he'll talk his way out of it. Since you're, you're, I folded second nuts. Um, since why are you because your bet with him is not he has to finish top three in a single tournament it's that he has to show a profit yeah. and if lifetime he's shown a million and a half profit in those because he's played seven of them you know what i mean it's like and he played two of them which are one million dollar buys so if you look at his roi he's up like one buy-in actually he's down his roi is negative guaranteed but he did cash in in a one million dollar buy-in how tournament. could his roi be negative easily because if you play a one million dollar buy-in right and you cash for 2.6. Yeah. That's you know one and a half buy-ins you've yeah. won, right? 
So now you're up a million. A oh, and then you're. But saying, then you play 25 Ks and 50 Ks and all that kind it. of stuff, okay. and you lose 10 of those. Now all of a sudden, I get you know, it. your ROI would be minus eight and a half buy-ins, but your but your money would look I good. I got good, you. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Not yeah, looking yeah. good. You're saying it was queen ten against ace massive. queen yeah, yeah, three, but outline. it does turn so into backdoor clubs in a gutter on the flop. As Maria Seabets. He can play 50 high rollers. Seven thousand three now. Seventy five hundred. He gets as much time as he wants. So he can if he. He could play 25 Ks, and then if he gets Hell stuck, me. start playing 50. Well, no, hasn't I mean, connected, ROI, but he can't just yeah. bail it has to be, it's, it's stay unit sticky, based, right? It's yeah, that wouldn't be fair. Save your million and dollar. Binks the ace. It's not, not 300, 400 players. Play them up front. It's double gutter field. with the so second so for a second nut flush right? draw for you first. You win like Maria now. Oh, okay. I thought the first would be well over a million. So now you've got. Okay, so I got it. Exactly. Okay, got it. We have yeah. to get legal sports betting on poker I grudge do. matches. It would just be. Would, I really wanted oh to see God. the. I, really I wanted to see these guys play a lot of hands. Place I think the work that you just did. Well, that would really be underrated. If like, there's any state regulators listening, you need to legalize this stuff. You need to be able to bet on the grudge match. Eighteen and a half thousand chip you know, bet the on the turn. Smart promptly called by Helmuth and Maria the state hits the club. State decision. Even yeah, we are even a republic. If they do, even if they do, uh, the we are a republic. states still the re yeah. do it. The reason that we have sports betting now is because the states, because the federal courts decided the states have the rights to offer it if they want to, even if the feds don't want to let them. Right. So, so at least we, we got to take that. the good Wait with the for bad. it. Why is California taking so long? The tribes. Any state. That's, that's what I heard. Yeah, the Indian. Yeah, yeah, the Indian. has yeah. a big tribal gaming represent. 100% you are going to bluff off the money to me. How do you get away with it? Maria's braced for impact. The, the article that the number one She's easiest player on the planet to trap. One sports betting location for someone. Got away with shit against me the whole was, time we filmed, like and now you're beating my hands on top of it. Starbucks parking lot so, right out what were you gonna give me on the river? Like a 50. Just before the break, chip leader Maria Ho sent Phil Helmuth into orbit by rivering a flush against him. Let's see how the poker brat responds at the 1,500, 3,000 level. Daniel, I hear Phil kind of talking to himself. I think he got under his skin a little bit. Me? Well, no. Yeah. No, well, this no, guy. No, he this guy. This, this guy. Started. I got it going. <laughs> I got it going. But, that, <laughs> but then also. right here. Yeah. <laughs> Marie also just rivered a flush on him, and that didn't yeah. help. With Queen well, 10? Is I it mean, Queen 10? I know she had the done. double belly button there with you, you the, had the flush. She had the ruthless hand. She had the ruthless hand. She had the easiest player on the planet to You know, this is sexism, because if the last time somebody put a beat on you with Queen 10 like that, you you called him the biggest idiot on earth, and it was like a two-hour diet. No, you guys wanted to talk over me. You made Adam Levin No, you got this is the one This is the one group that talked right over my rant. Luckily, it won't be shown. I won't be embarrassed. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. No one's talked over my rant in the last, like, 30 shows I've shot. 24. What, they haven't shown it? No, I mean, I was ranting, but everybody was had a separate discussion. It's great. Oh, I got you. It's hard to se separate the audio. Yeah, yeah. They'll, they'll pull it out of your mic. I'm sure they'll get it. Negreanu. I'm sure it's probably waiting to be as they I'm can. Sure they have all going She's got the real deal, around. though. It's a big ask. Another 17,000. Upside is she'd be in position. So she'll take a look at a flop, and we've got 54,000 in the middle. Nines are an overpair on the eight high two club board. Seabed. Okay. Maria makes the call, and King or a 10 would be good for Daniel. And there it is on cue. Maria does pick up a gut shot straight draw, but she's no longer in the lead. Daniel concerned about the possibility that Maria was slow playing bigger than tens. Ops to check. Play pot control. And Maria looked a little apprehensive, but checks back and now running top two for Daniel. 
who can rest very easy that his hand is best. How much will he seek? Into 114,000. 68K. This is over half of Daniel's remaining stack and represents roughly half of what Maria's got. What sort of hands would be in Daniel's range here to three bet out of the small, fire the 30 on the flop, check the turn, and then come out swinging on the river that two nines can beat? Mm, you can just feel the uncertainty here for Maria, and you can't blame her. She's dipped into her time banks well beyond the 30-second shot okay. clock. Yeah, that must have been a tough one, Maria. Oh, it had yeah. to be a tough one. It felt like nines or jacks. Wow. Yeah. Nines at first, and then... One of those, two. Yeah. I don't know, <laughs> Daniel. Yeah. Nice hand, Daniel. Thanks. Top shelf read from Daniel and top shelf John, fold from Maria. Like when, uh, what was it like for you when uh, DraftKings went public? Were you just sweating and checking every second on your phone? Or? He's got a new nickname. Oh, by the way, thank you. I've been making money on you. I really appreciate it. I love to hear it. Yes. It was. Uh, I mean, it, that was. It was a crazy time because like we announced the what SPAC you? and like SPACs Five. weren't like a thing three, three. when yeah. we announced it. Yeah. So like we announced that around Christmas time and we had locked in the date in April and then COVID started to get really bad in February and then into March and all the sports got canceled and oh my god. It was just kind of like nobody yeah, knew nice bet, Daniel. Nobody knew what What's was going to happen. It's a nice bet. And then mm, maybe I should have bet a little less. The markets, <laughs> I mean, the markets went off. The oh, don't you say those March. words and help me sleep better tonight. <laughs> I'll say this. I either got lucky on the river or I got unlucky on the river. One of those two things. Ooh, you were going for like a Either one trappy, of those two things. I either got lucky on the river or I got unlucky on the river. Yeah. If that makes okay. sense. <laughs> no, I always check. I'm always going to check the turn with my hand as played and then yeah. the river. Okay. If you had it, then yeah. It's a bad Lucky river. river. I was, either way. I'm almost going to, yeah, I'm going to call most rivers. Except for. Yeah. Let's see if the nines work out any better for Maria on this occasion. It's going to be a tall order considering that she's up yeah, against John, so two guys, tens so instead of king ten. Christmas. COVID comes, you must have thought the valuation is going to be like 25%. Daniel chose to just flat I, I it, and know, Maria I, hits you know, the nine. People would always ask me, like, my, my crystal ball's broken. Like, what, what's the stock market going to value a company at? Well, I mean, like, who, but, who, especially who, DraftKings in the middle of the pandemic, the number should, you, you would not expect the valuation to go by, way down. By April, people would come to their senses and realize we were going to spend our, our lives for a considerable amount of time at home, online, and then it was just like Zoom, Netflix, on oh, online, yeah. online gambling, all that League stuff. of Legends, DFS. It was ping pong. Russian, was Russian Colorado, ping pong. Colorado, Colorado. What's, What's the game you were talking about, being Phil, on with the beanbag and the board? ESPN and, and Cornwall. Yeah, yeah. Cornwall. Yeah. Cornwall. Yeah. Those were, yeah. It was like ESPN 8, the Ocho, like had yeah. come back for COVID. It's just like, oh, let's, let's check in on some e-racing. And That's know. right. So then you just decided to just Leave DraftKings after. No, I'm still, well, still there. Yeah. And that card I'm was a good furniture. card for me too. They got, they so got to move me out with a truck. Good. We call him. It was a couple tens. John. Couple tens. I had. Yeah, I had a set, so I had to bet big. I nine. Liquid John yeah. now. Gets See, away from liquid, the two tens. <laughs> Not willing to give back those hobucks that he picked up a pot of go. And so we'll head to a break. And as we do, let's check in on the stack sizes. Brought to you by GG Poker. Negranu way at the top. Maria restoring some order, trailing behind them, and the gaps broad between herself and Nick Wright. Down to Helmuth, Aguiar, Buffer, and Jennings in that order with the blinds going up when we return. Stay close. Plenty more Poker After Dark sit and go action still to come. Well, our sit and go has featured a wealth of humorous bickering between Negranu and Helmuth. Veronica caught up with Kid Poker to get his thoughts on the brat. So Phil Helmy's at the table. He is uh, known for freaking out, having uh, some tilt. You gonna try to get him to tilt today? Well, he's, Phil Helmy is definitely my favorite player to play against in the entire world. And uh, you just hope that by the end of the you know thing that you get at least one they, right? Because I knew I made it in <laughs> poker when he called me a they. 
He's like, they they just don't understand. And I was like, I'm they. I'm part of they. I made it. You are they. So what's the easiest way to make Phil Hellmuth tilt? Well, there are some ways you can go real deep and cut, but he doesn't like that. Like when I make the joke about coaches and stuff, he, he's, I don't know, he takes that very, very personal. Um, or questioning his legacy or anything like that. Oh, Which is yeah. the only thing Twitter ever does. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Yeah. And uh, and Jamie Horitz has been around forever. And, and I think you know He's my a baller. I think you know my boss now, uh, Charlie Dixon. Yeah. He was he was part of the whole poker crew when ESPN was running the World Series. And, yeah. Yeah, Jamie Horitz was a huge supporter of poker and this show, Poker After Dark, was on NBC six days a week because of him. I mean, not Phil? just because of him. Because of Daniel's glowing personality. What happened now? What I do now? No, he gave you a compliment. Oh, okay. He said it's one of the reasons this show was successful. Honestly, the number one reason that Poker After Dark was successful was watching oh, I'm sorry. play props. That was my favorite part of Poker After Dark. They, they, they canceled props. 14. How much were... 14,000. When you guys blind versus the blind in the limp pot. Before they made you stop on high stakes poker. Most players, players open-ended. Mm -hmm. And Helmuth raises it up. How much were the up? props for? Like, at the end of the night, what was the swing range? You could win... Probably 200, okay. 300, 1,000. So as like much that. as you could win or lose in the game, the props. Sometimes the props were bigger. Like, it depends. So the way the props Maria work is. Defends the 4K lead for an extra 10 triples. as the board pairs you on win the another one, they go for triples. triples. So whatever it is, like, you could, like, there was one prop I remember that I had because I was silly. If I would have won, the, if, it came, if the flop came 5-5-5 five, 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 and I was on for triples, it's a million my way. <laughs> it was a stupid idea. Tell me should straight again. I'm sorry I fell off. Diversified. But I had seven props, and five of them had a five in it. So what five, five, five hits, you hit all your props, and yeah. it's just Appreciate madness. It. Yeah. It doing the math. 14,000. Maria taking initiative. Gabe hated him. Leads <laughs> out for 14,000 <laughs> with no, seven people high. Like, people were more worried about the, the props when I get you off. And there was actually Phil Ivey. That's very smart. He would actually play poker hands different. Just based on the props. Give me the stack. Tricky. It's, called, it's, called, it's called a change-up. Yeah. <laughs> Say, so you're saying there's a puncher, puncher's chance. I'm saying there's a puncher's chance, Daniel. Thank you puncher's so much. Puncher's chance bourbon. Bruce Buffer. Now, do I have to Bust send you a buffer. check? <laughs> yes. <laughs> this hand is sponsored by Puncher's Chance Bourbon. I know Phil's going to ask bourbon. me for a check if he says that. <laughs> if somebody goes bust in this hand, I'm the one that needs at least a free case of puncher's chance. <laughs> No problem. If for somebody drafting. goes bust and they this, if this hands on TV, I, I need some punters hey, for the derby, cool. especially Saturday Eat night. Eat them in the pot. Watch the UFC Saturday Always. night. Okay. Have it then, yeah. Wow, double, we got a double. I'm just a wild and well, crazy actually, guy. No, this is being aired and. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, but if they had probably a, a UFC that Saturday night too. Trust me, if I had bottles, I would have. I had to fly. I would have brought you all a bottle. Yeah. I'm curious to try this thing now because, like I said, I've had bad experience. With, I don't like whiskey. You're not gonna have bad experience here. Did you get my text? Do okay. I still have your same I'll number? Check. Maria. Can't love always having Helmuth sticking around in these pots against her. Let me check. Especially when he's in position. My number's the same. If you have mine, just throw me an address, see. please. Check. Yo. So see if you got the yo. She checks middle pair. I sent you a yo. To it. Just to make sure it's you. She check calls 8,000 on the I think phone. I sent you, I'll send you back a picture of the bottle. We haven't made in France, they're in beautiful bottles. Yeah. Definitely curious now. My partners were behind the marketing of uh, Sammy Hagar's Cabo Wabo Tequila, Campari, and Skinny Girl. Have you ever heard of Skinny Girl? The wine? Uh, the wine, yeah. I guess well, I've got a great partner team in this thing. Wow. Thanks, Daniel. Mm -hmm. Let's see. If you missed the flop, you would have won 100% fired. And now you check Oh, called. Daniel, I want to get you. You were on my podcast many years ago. I want to get you and Phil back on sometime. I mean, I'm going to have you on and him, but at different times. I'm afraid if you get on there together, it's going to be. Yeah. <laughs> you won't get many questions in. That's <laughs> Both players check the turn, and Maria's Actually, riverbed might takes be really it. Good. Poor Nick Schilder. should have just checked right back to you. You always check when you hit this with me. Thanks to Maria's hold over Phil, she is in contention once again for the chip lead while Helmuth sits in fourth. We still have seven players. We'll be back in a moment.
Poker After Dark is brought to you by Roman. Simple, straightforward, the way healthcare should be. Visit GetRoman.com to learn more. Manscaped. Don't gamble with your grooming tools. Visit Manscaped.com today for the best in men's grooming. And Poker Go. Get in the game at PokerGo.com. I heard Shane Sixby got the... Quite made, the wine collection is. He made an eagle we were, today on our we, last we hole. We were golfing with Shane this morning, actually. Yep. He made an eagle today on the last hole. I'm wow. glad we played. We played an emergency 13th hole, and and yeah, Shane got me unmarried. Decided to make an eagle. It's really hard to make an eagle. It is. It is. When you're Shane, it's actually not that hard. When you're oh, okay. Shane, you can just hit it 330 like down a, the middle, then hit a, a two iron up the hill, 260 yards, and he's like a what plus? Flash the buck. Plus four. Plus. Oh four. my God, a plus four. Yeah. Are you a golfer too? You played yeah. golf at Notre Dame. Yeah, you, yeah. you played U.S. Mid Ams. Like, guys, I golf with Chuck Liddell. The very oh. first hole I played with Chuck Liddell. Ooh, what's he his He hit his swing first like? shot, his first drive. He hit it. I've never seen one do this. It was a total of negative 40 yards. <laughs> He hit it straight into tree. a tree and it bounced back backwards <laughs> all the way. Happy you know, golfers. You see that, right? I mean, it was like I don't know. I, don't know. I was expecting that even score to go. I don't think there. so. No, he you had to tree. go back and play. He had to yeah, play it you mean in like if you, you, in a re, in if real you find it in bounds, yeah. you have to play. If you bound it in bounds, you have to even play. Even poker related action. Yeah, you still have to play. Maria defended her big and has outflopped the ace queen of Daniel. I felt like when you were talking about Chuck Liddell driving, you were going a different direction. I was expecting the 400 yard. Yeah, me too. That's what I thought. That's exactly what I. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. You said first shot of the round. His caddy was wearing high heels. <laughs> Which was a mistake. Was it a he or a she? Was it Bally High? No, it's sounds it? like Bally High. 2021, right? <laughs> sounds it like was Bally a day. High. Yeah. <laughs> Maria calls and promptly hits top two, but that card gives people. Daniel yep. a gut shot. He helped me. I did some. I did the couple of UFC shows this week and last week. Oh, you did? Yeah. And I called him for picks because I didn't oh, want to pretend cool. I was a UFC specialist. Yeah, very cool. <laughs> yeah. Very cool. Yeah, there's a lot of eyeballs. In fact, we're gonna shoot a we're gonna shoot a uh, show. Bruce will uh, will invite you. Um, uh, I'm gonna make him captain, and it'll be a UFC. It'll be like Helmuth's home game, or like Fox Sports Helmuth's home game. It's small stakes stuff. I mean, you gonna film it here or in LA? Vegas. Let me know. It we'll on invite you. Can you maybe you can bring a fighter or some somebody else? Just at, I, I, let me know, and I'll check my schedule. Cause it's yeah, all, yeah. All about that. Obviously, you're in. But no, but contact contact me. I, I, yeah, yeah, I'll let you know. But we don't have a date yet. Sometime late in June. Um, supposedly Vegas is going to be open. They're talking about Seven the McGregor eight? fight July 10th, the sellout team. Nice work out of Maria here as she so checked, slipping up. it to Can't Daniel. Be. The show this Saturday, Picked we sold out 15,000 seats in less than 22 minutes. Wow. Off his stack. With the I check can't race. wait for a month from now when he can sell out all the seats. Is it? What is there a date right set? Mid May, I think, is when all the restrictions are supposed to be. Next time on Poker After Dark. You changed every card that's gonna come out now. <laughs> Everything that happens is your fault. The bust outs begin. All in. I'll take a flop with Phil. I can't get away from this, I'm all in. As the money bubble looms. Race. The Maria show, it's just the Maria show now. Always. And the pots get gigantic. Oh! Whoa. Whoa! What just happened? All you can eat. Tonight on Poker After Dark. <laughs> Everything that happens is your fault. Phil Helmuth's folds are the talk of the table. You had a big pair? Well, nines. I feel good. <laughs> and when everyone goes all in. All in. I'm all in. All you can eat. Their outs are the talk of Phil Helmuth. <laughs> 34 outs. Oh, whoa. whoa. What just happened? Welcome to night number two of our three episode sit and go here on Poker After Dark. I'm Ali Najad calling the action with Veronica Brill talking to the players. We're still seven handed here on the felt. Buy in was 10,000, and the prize pool will award 50K to the champ and 20 to the runner up. Blinds are now 3,000, 5,000 with a 5K big blind Annie. Maria Ho is your chip leader, while Peter Jennings is sitting on the short stack. Oh, what's your favorite televised hand you've ever played, and why is it the Beth Shack? Uh, Brett Ritchie, ace, 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 king, king. king. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that hand was just weird, you know. I mean, I fought really hard to make that final table. I was exhausted, and I ended up having a bad result. Um, 
I remember I was a little unlucky when there were two tables left. But yeah, that, that hand was that weird, hand? man. It's, you've never seen this hand. Maybe I have, and I don't. So it's mm -hmm. Phil has aces, Beth Shack has aces, Brett Ritchie has kings. It's, it's like the a, final table a of a tournament? Re, is it a thousand rebuy? It was a prelim. Oh. It was like, you know, late 2000s, it was a prelim. <coughs> and like, he's defense Brett to big against I, buffers I don't know if there was two fives. Raise, but Brett raises or re raises. He he's the one the And then pair. Beth goes all in. I think Beth's the first one to go all in, and she's. You know, she goes all in and she's How much just like, oh, yeah. I got, and uh, Dan Shack at the time is on the rail you know? and she's doing this all to yours, him. Baby. She's like know, literally know, making know, the ace know. symbols. And half a second after she goes all in, it goes all in. Turbo I'll goes all in like four Killed five. the cycle on the table. Right. Today. And Brett's there with King. Ten seconds. I can't she's get away from this. I'm all in. All in? Check raise all in from Phil is. Oh, no snap call? Not no. what Bruce wanted to see. I got a pair, but that all in is pushing me out. 17 of his remaining 57 oh, dedicated. At least I didn't wait. Waste of time, Mike. Go ahead. And draw heavy texture, but so Bruce. So she's making ace as symbols to the rail. Phil has cold oh. four bet all in for all of his chips and is running around the table basically Ooh. high five. She, you high five. <laughs> you high five Beth at some point, right? Like, cause she's saying like, I went all in at a quarter of a second and you went all in and Brett's just in the tank with the easiest to fold kings. I'm all in. She goes hidey ho. Now to Phil Helmuth who has the other two aces. All in. One quarter second it caught. The minute she said all in, all in. Quarter second I was all in. Quarter one second. quarter of a second. Phil, one quarter of the second I One quarter of a second. In. One quarter of a second. You guys can have what a game. great clip. There There's game. having a poker world, face, and then the there was whatever that we was. We have a deal with the World Poker Tour. Yeah. Can I give a I controversial? I think Daniel and Maria and I all signed the deal, but yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I want to hear it. Nick, what's the, what's the? Controversial opinion? Yeah. Uh, Sorry about that. This is, yes, we are currently living in a time where the wealthiest people have amassed truly uh, robber baron era amounts of wealth, and so there is a sorry, uh, robber baron 69 wealth, maybe, um, Continue. and <laughs> that has, so right now, okay, I fold. actual cash dollars have little value to people with that level of wealth, and so there is a new creation that you can make the argument as to why it's valuable, green. But it's I'm the big just, one, right? Yeah. Good it's man. It's just the newest boat. Me. Between NFT chatter, Jennings, and it's, it's with his third all it, in. You, I think for some people, you're right. But Managing for some to keep his head above water. The fact that we're going to live the next phase of our life digitally to some extent, and we're going to be in this like Ready Player One, VR, AR, like Do you guys spend any time in AR or like VR worlds at all? No, but I, but I think, but so again. I think that that is a little bit. I have a piece of a, that. That cool. is a bet. That's awesome. I love that. That the, the ultra wealthy so are essentially going to break off from regular society even further because I don't think anyone I, thinks 15, we are, you know, very close to a place where the average American is living in that world. The and people who Oculus headsets three hundred bucks now. I mean, yeah, but that's not. I see what you mean. I, it, sometimes things feel far away, and then when they happen, you look back and you realize <laughs> they happened very quickly. I want my hand right I there. Just give me uh, something. That's perfect. Maria's 13K open with King 10 suited, picks oh, up Daniel's I, two eights. That I think that I, I understand. two I overs right and the flush draw. That there's, is, these are smart investments because they are going up. I think that people are bending logic to explain why they are actually valuable. They're valuable because right now people yeah. are willing to pay things for them. Hot. But cool. they are, the reason that a painting has actual value is because the artist associated with 14K. it, we have, not only we have not only assigned value to them, but because there is called on the by history, Daniel. people have gotten a, a actual tangible sensation by looking at great works of art. I love Daryl, but Daryl's Twitter avatar, nobody like actually, nobody looks at that and is like, oh my God, that that's me? beautiful. <laughs> it's just cool because it's the, 
you know, mm -hmm. it's a, it's a, to me, it's a yeah. Rolex for people who aren't into watches. Uh, to be fair, yeah. anybody who's invested in this stuff that it doesn't think that like they're at least part crazy is. Of course. Doesn't think what? That doesn't think they're at least part crazy. Yeah. You have to think you're crazy. It's insane. Second Look show. Look at Tom Brady. He just opened up yeah, his Yeah, but autograph. everybody used to Very think creepy. people that were correcting sneakers was crazy way back. Of course. You're collecting shoes. What are you doing? <laughs> people collected cell phones. What is this? What do you keep this junk around your house for? I'm not talking about hoarders. But, you know. The Maria show. It's just the Maria show now. Always. Silent killer. Poker After Dark is brought to you by Roman. Simple, straightforward, the way healthcare should be. Visit GetRoman.com to learn more. Manscaped. Don't gamble with your grooming tools. Visit Manscaped.com today for the best in men's grooming. And Poker Go. Get in the game at PokerGo.com. Before the break, Maria strengthened her chip lead by bluffing Daniel off his pocket eights. Negranu sitting in third now with 19 big blinds in his stack. If Phil elements. or Daniel wanted to create an NFT, and if you're the, if you buy one of the original, whatever, you get to play an online poker tournament. With them. How no. on earth is that different than if they were to auction off that opportunity, and it comes with a signed picture? Yeah, no, that that's, that's not different. Fair. That's a good point. That, that, that's fair. The the big thing is that you like you could sell that thing openly, and people would know. Like right now, let's say. Like I won golf with Tiger Woods, right? When I won his mm -hmm. charity. If I went to sell that, let's say, how would the person know they're actually getting that experience? Like what if there's someone who's being okay. like fraudulently selling that experience? On the blockchain, you know that sure. you own that experience. Okay. So if you're saying it's a fraud blocker, sure, I buy that. Yeah. That's all. That's all. Great technology. Blockchain of is right. Like. You know, Bruce, the Eternity Chain guys. I mean, one of their things that they're doing is, you know, they they signed Tony Hawk, mm -hmm. they signed you, I guess, and mm -hmm. uh, and they signed Muhammad cool. Ali's estate. But what they're doing is they want to do, they want to have like really first class stuff. But they also yeah. want you to then go into the room and one, chat with so the people that cool. bought it. That's yeah, important to them. Not enough. Well, I'm going to ask you along the lines of what you were saying. Yeah. Probably I have no problem doing that. People want the direct connection. If I own a homey with NFT, I want to be able to talk to you or did some. And Some so what is it, club room or whatever it is? Where you're dealing, with, you're dealing with a depersonalized yeah. product oh, yeah. to add a personalized touch. Out yeah, and that's, that's what a 30 is. I like that, yeah. Also, like, Blau, he did that really successful NFT for music. You're getting rev share on his streaming rights, his concerts, all that stuff. So that's where it could go. Like, imagine I could buy an NFT. Talk about the bet. Maybe I can buy an NFT where I get 10% of your poker winnings for the year. Like, that's cool. Like, that's real utility. That I could, be, bet that on could be a huge downside as well as upside. Sure, but maybe you buy, I mean, I don't know. How, how about 10% of the debt? <laughs> yeah, I will tell you this, uh, all the, like Daniel might not necessarily think I'm at the top of the poker world, but for all of us, I've, for the last 12 years, I've had, I've won more money in poker one month later for all okay. these years. Even when I, even sometimes I lose like 111. Daniel like, took a shot it. for 21K. This is going to blow my streak, and then three weeks later, I won 170. Well, that, and see, so it's just this thing, so they're going to do well, just a matter of how much. Yeah, the downside didn't mean that, You'll lose money. I mean, they'll lose money. It's just that if you have a big winning year and the NFT price doesn't yeah. equate the money you're giving them out of your poker winnings, yeah, yeah, and you're the Maria one who's made get the, the call. Yeah. yeah. Checks back on the turn. Four to the straight out there now. I'm not signing that deal. No, it's not a good deal. No, I'll pass. No, I'm just throwing. I mean, but there there should be thoughtful ways to be aligned with influencers, athlete, creators for the fans. Correct. Like that's 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 what you started saying, and I'm kind of agreeing with your yeah, point. I'm telling you that Eternity Chain does do that a little bit. So, um, and we're far away. It's it's early days. I mean, there's and of course we're seeing all the money grab and all the Daniel. different stuff now. Where it's just like, hopefully that gets flushed out. 50k. Things that go up quick have a tendency to go down. Like Michael Jordan's rookie cards, 86, 87 Fleer. I paid. You could pay. Two weeks later, a box sold for twenty-five thousand. It just went down. So I averaged. I bought another box for. Man, you must. You must have found the only. You must have found the only yeah. website that I've seen so far. Because to me, these cards are credit to the ground. Like it's just the Jordan with Last Dance went Nine, really four, high, yeah. really fast. No, that's full. And when something goes high really fast, out of Maria. Yeah. Escalator up, yeah. elevator yeah. down. Any nine four. What's that? Could you beat nine four on that? Oh, that's what I had. Right. A pair? Who's got oh. pairs? Oh. Hard to make a pair. Oh, that's true. Um. Yeah, no, it's a totally unplayable hand. Yeah, There's no proof of it. There's exactly really right. no way to prove it. I mean, there you go, bring it back around. Yeah. It's all subjective. I 
feel like I made a good I was hold getting a seven and then a bad one, hold against you today. A good one, well, at least good, one, one good one, one bad one? I guess it's... I don't know seven. if it's bad, though. Did you make a bad fold? <laughs> Did you fold like nine again? No. That is 13,000. No, he had a nine. Never mind. No hints about that hand. <laughs> well, I give you hints. Did I? Did I give a hint? I don't know. You did give a hint. You said a pair is good. No, he pairs said a pair hard is hard to make. He said, yeah, pairs he are hard to make. Oh, you didn't say a pair is good. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a, pair a little different. <laughs> pairs are hard to make. Got it. That is not conclusive one way or the other. Yeah. Just stating facts. Pairs are hard to make. But, but she may come to New York with me. Really My cool. sister lives there. So, so I'm going to stay north. Yeah. You're probably going to stay in Manhattan. I love Manhattan. I'm just staying right where it is. I don't know. I'm staying at the place. Uh -huh. Are you guys doing cameos? Yeah. I did for a while. God, I do a ton of those things. There was a lot, and then I kind of got... I keep forgetting. Like, I just noticed one of my cameos expired again. What's that? just keep expiring. That's what happened. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so busy. I signed up for it because the guy asked me to, and the first the first one I got, I ended up like it was... The, this lady was asking for it for her longtime boyfriend who wanted to get into sports media, and I felt like such an obligation that I was like, I called him like aside from it and like talked to them for 20 minutes. Oh, wow, that's cool. Um, I like that. And so I, like I did that, that and then yeah. I had another one that I did and I never filled Ooh. out like the, how to receive payment. Ooh, and then I forgot whoa. Everybody yeah. calls. Call in everybody, okay. Three I don't have up. anything. So you mean there is a puncher's chance, okay. I don't Negranu. have anything. Getting it in with King Queen. Oh, He's wow. up against, against right. nines I'll and tens. I'll take the side pot. I'll take the side pot. Okay. I feel like Daniel wins these a lot of the time. Keep me alive. Seems like a Who do you like? Who do you like? He's got the opposition I covered Daniel here. Wins this Daniel <laughs> wins this a lot of the time. I mean. <laughs> oh, there you go. Now, now my chances are ruined. I wish you hadn't said that. I'm oh, sorry. you had a king? You ruined everything. I, I you changed every diamond. card that's going to come out now. <laughs> everything that happens is your diamonds, which you have. Covered. Everything that happens is your fault. Right in the window. Yeah. Right in the window. I feel like uh, Daniel wins these a lot, they say. You, you know there's two more He's cards. certainly to come poised. Out. You know. I'm not trying to be a jerk. So like <laughs> for a double <laughs> knockout here. Not like you have an effect, but. Yeah. See, there's an ace. That's yeah. good for me. Board oh, pairs, see, aces, uh, and kings. Looks we'll great. Just needs to fade a nine or a ten. Yeah. Let's see if the I'll take a four across. <laughs> Only a four across, though. <laughs> <laughs> Oh! Whoa. Whoa! What just happened? Whoa! That's a new John Aguilar. <laughs> what just I run too good now. He he lost lost that hand. Hand. Until DraftKings went public, I finally no. get a pair. When, of I, needed liquid liquid lost that hand. when I needed these, when I played poker for a Correct. living, I, I could never, never win. win these. Yeah, yeah. Liquid never. John never turned. Never. never. <laughs> liquid John bakes. <laughs> right, 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 right. Nice now hand, the John. DraftKings is way the hell up. Liquid John. I'm nice gonna get, I'm gonna get a case. Oh, I feel bad, Daniel. Huh? I'm gonna get I a case. I know. Please, right? I'm gonna <laughs> get a case. I still had a feeling. But John, you gotta let me know what you think of it, please. I will. I, I thought will. Daniel was a stone cold lock. Gentlemen, so and beautiful great. ladies. Two I'm outer on the end. With you, wonderful play with you. Nice to see you, Bruce. Means that only Bruce buffers two tens, which were best before that three-way pot. Appreciate it very much. I would have called with your hand too. I would have went. Are eliminated. Take care, buddy. One See you. Great to meet you. Thank you. you Great to meet you, too. Don't be good, okay? Later, Bruce. Before the break, Bruce Buffer was eliminated in a three-way all-in that also saw John Aguiar take a huge bite out of Negranu's stack after rivering a two-outer. It's so aggravating when, when you're in the middle of it and you're like, but I have to fold another ace queen. Then later you see, oh, they had kings. Great lay down. But you don't get that in the moment. Yeah. Instead, you just tilt it. You know, all these laydowns that I make where I'm just so steamed and talking to myself. I just need to be able to say, you know what? There's a 50, 60% chance that was a great laydown. Don't tilt, Philly. But I don't really tilt with my chips. I tilt with my, uh, talk. I try not to. All righty. Chug -chug I'm really good at you. tilting with my talk, though. Can Jennings keep his okay, clean sheet alive as he look pretty quickly. moves all in with two queens? And it's another Helmuth has an ace. Mm. It's a meaty 87,000 if he wants to call. 87, 11 bigs. What did you do? 
show, 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 show. Essentially, what he's I telling you is you should do that every single time. Yeah, that's, that's what, what he's telling. That's what he's like saying in theory, but you know, doesn't mean you should. But wow, that's the dream. Dream, too the good. dream right there is is to have somebody in the big blind. I've actually you had for eleven big blinds. They look down and say, "I've got an ace," I and, have and they look at the other card. <laughs> there is not like a, there is not a poker player under the age of thirty that would have looked at the second card there. They would have just been like, "Oh, I got to sweat for aces. Let me call first. I figure like maybe eight percent of the th under thirty. Okay, eight percent. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah. about ninety-two percent. The eight percent that just learned yeah. poker last week. The people that pre-ordered your autobiography. That's I'm hey, just, I'm, I, what can I tell you? I'm just a play weird poker, guy, man. To Wild be clear, and weird. Play, saying, poker, you know? play poker like a pro was judging. the first poker book I ever bought. I, you know. He's a lion, we're elephants and eagles. I'm that, just a weird guy. I'm a mouse. You know? I make these weird laydowns. Yeah. Just a mouse. That one might make TV. That's not going to be good for me. Oh, no. Oh, no is right. Oh. <laughs> How many? He read your Limps soul the small and he read my Nick soul. Nick Wright God. makes it 28,000 with 6 4 off. Down. Ashley's never going to let you play on poker after uh, that. After that. <laughs> Maria crushed soul my soul, but that was expected. I have a really good that was. You know, I limped big <laughs> No, I know. But I, I got to get going, man. Not leaving, but I got to I gotta do something. Oh. Good play. Ooh, when he shows it. Nice move, nice move. It's a good play. Yep. What sets, it comes from Shawshank Redemption. Better get busy living or get busy dying. By the way, I get, That's bluffed. Such a good I get bluffed more than any poker player. I got, and I know, I, but, but I win. For you. I've yeah, won more poker after Dark No, I, was, I wasn't showing to they be bluffed a jerk. Me, they bluffed me, they bluffed me. I was just showing because I lied. I the title. If, if we hadn't had the conversation, I wouldn't have turned it over. But because I lied, I felt the obligation. No, I'm, I want you to show it for several reasons. One. You have least, information now? No, no, I have this weird, like. It works against me. I know. I have this amazing ability to read people. And now, and now, now, now you have an idea of what I have on yeah. six four. That's right. No, I know no, when I you're weak. Yeah, no, I agree. You don't, you don't know, but you will know. No, no, no. I, I totally. I think it. actually, I think you do get it. I'll give you. No, I get it. I don't know if I can. If I can. You know, I think what he's saying up. is you can only get away with that for so long. No, usually just one, usually just once when I when I'm when I'm playing against amateurs, I'm like, okay, that's what that look was. Oh. So the next time, it's gonna, I'm gonna limp in with a with another strong hand. I had king eight. And then, and it's going to be a, a, a it's going to be a much funner dynamic. Watch. I'm, I'm devastated right now. Yeah, absolutely. You devastated. should just blind out, honestly. I'm like yeah, after that, limping in. I'm so crushed. <laughs> <laughs> he spent he spent the last three minutes to leave about about Jack I'm so bad. I'm just thinking through all that my. Shed's I was, king I was horrible. High. Everything I just did there was agreed. You're gonna like when this comes on TV. You just need to rewatch that hand for like two minutes. Yeah, I'm gonna watch. And I don't, I'm already thinking about what I was doing. Probably I mean, something no, I, I thought you were gonna. It's probably not egregious. No, I, red red yeah. queens. Yeah, you were, you were looking for it. I believe it. I was prepared for it. The table talk remains strong with six left in our sit and go. When we come back, it's Ho and Helmuth on top with Kid Poker on the short stack. Nick Wright has been holding his own so far tonight. Let's hear how he pivoted to televised poker thanks to Texas Dolly. So Nick, Doyle Brunson had some nice words to say about you. He tweeted that you have the best opinion of any sports announcer uh, along yeah. with Charles Barkley. Yeah, That's a big he did. Deal. The greatest poker player of all time, uh -huh. saying that you're one of the greatest. Yeah, absolutely. You're the greatest. Yeah, I mean, listen, the, a big reason I'm here is because Doyle reached out to me on Twitter months ago to either, I don't even know if it was agree or disagree with something I said, and I couldn't believe he was watching. He then also, there's another tweet of his telling me I needed to shave, that I looked ridiculous, <laughs> and that I, I mean, and so. Doyle's and now it, a well-rounded man. I in, think in, you should take all in advice. In Doyle's defense, I hadn't shaved in like three weeks because I was trying to fix my beard, so I let it was letting it grow out and then try to get it fixed, but he was right. He's a very, you know, avid consumer of high, high quality content in the sports media space, so obviously, he watches the show, so I appreciate it. And I wish he was here. Thanks. All right, so for anyone can answer this. Nick will sit this one out after a couple of crafty plays. <laughs> Who would you guys? You and me can shut the up. <laughs> Who would you be most scared to see a, at a poker table? Who's the worst person to your left? Scared to see. 
a bad timing for the question. I'll take a flop with Phil. You know, I got plenty of chips to take flops with. Yeah, you've got like plenty of hand to take yeah, flops no, with. No, I, yeah. Which against Queen 10. I'm going to check in the dark, buddy. 35K. You get a check free card if you want it. Probably. Check. Ace, nine, eight. Two diamonds. Helmuth with a backdoor flush draw and gut shot. Check. Check. No post flop betting yet. And now Daniel hits a king on the end. Check. Boy, Helmuth. So capable of just having an ace somehow in these spots, despite two 21. streets of checking. Bets one third pot. And that is just about two thirds. Pretty crazy to fold. What Daniel has <laughs> left. <laughs> it would be the most stupid fold ever. 21. Leaves me with 14. That's pretty cute. <laughs> Whatever here. Just take the 21. Good call. Wow. Oh. I have queen high. Oh. <laughs> <Got king. laughs> oh, this hand up. I slept a straight draw. Got I guess I, I let you save for 14K by not moving in pre. True, but I let you win the whole pot by not betting the flop. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just thought, I just, I have this weird thing where it comes to this play, and I know, I know, if, uh, the king high is the only thing that beats me there because I'm always betting the river, right? I mean, the GTO guys would have bet that flop, but what do they know? GTO guys are amazing. Yeah, they're really, I've, nope. I'm, okay. Don't misunder, I'm not the. Next hand. I'm not saying anything negative about the GTO guys, trust me. It appears, or Dan Daniel can spin it into me saying like that, or he can pull selective quotes. He's a good politician like that. Politician. At the end of this, I'm gonna expect Daniel to run for the mayor of Vegas. Oh God, no. Politician? <laughs> you know, wait. Yeah, I, I got way too many skeletons. <laughs> morgue. A morgue full of skeletons. I'll kick things off with the answer to that question, P. I feel like it's somebody like, I would say, Stephen Chidwick. I think he studies, he works harder more than anybody else. He'll take pretty much every spot. He plays as close to perfect as I've seen. Um, but also knows when to factor in dynamics and deviate from GTO, which I think makes for the best player, somebody who has the best baseline, but also knows when to deviate. There's no doubt in my mind, Stephen Shidwick's one of the best in the world. High praise and from Maria and Phil. Games. Yeah, true. Definitely not a one-trick pony, that one. Maria answering the question Peter Jennings posed earlier with regards to who is your nightmare player to have on your left? Meanwhile, yeah. two queens and an eight on the flop, that. and Maria. And he has a hell of a stare down. Like, I don't, high. I don't like That's it. That's not fun. I don't like it. <laughs> Who's yours, Phil? My what? He's an orange man. Favorite player to have Nick to your left. With an opinion. For, like, I, I, East Coasters like, love like their sports. I used to like, like not no having exception. a. Uh, 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 Formerly on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire was Nick, not long after he got out of college. And, and that not was sure uh, kind of fun. Whether or not that's <laughs> where the first roll came from. He did really well. Um, but he kind of made me go crazy. Brendan Kenny's like a, a tough one on your left because he's always yeah. just looking to three bet you, three bet you, three bet you every, at every opportunity. Five and ten dimes now with the 10K ante. Every orbit costs 25K. Each hand, just about 4,000 on average per orbit. John wisely lets go of the deuces, given Jennings is behind him with two eights. Need a count. <clears throat> and Peter, again, sailing in there. Oh, and his eights might be having to fade two nines for Helmuth if he can find his way in here somehow. It's just not, this is just not the spot where Phil calls off his money. These are the two shortest stacks at the table doing battle, and Phil lets go of the nines, leaving Negranu to make up his mind about queen high. 
Ooh, throw it in. Take it down. Sweet. I might have had two overs. Probably, uh, maybe. Maybe? Well, then maybe I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I had a pair there. I was. I had a pair. I had a big okay. pair. You had a big pair? Well, nines. <laughs> you had nines? Yep. I feel good. I had worse, <laughs> nine. I had, I had nine. worse than nines. Because that was Phil's big blind. Yeah. You would have gotten the call from me, heads up. Yeah, of course. Obviously, and quickly. I was moving in on Daniel, but. Isn't that your favorite hand? You, which brace did you do with nines? Two black nines, right? Black I nine. just couldn't okay. imagine you shoving with sixes or fives there. I didn't shove with sixes or fives. Or eights. You said you did. He had eights. He had eights. 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 That's my favorite hand. I mean, I'm not not shoving with eights there. I'm not not shoving with eights. <laughs> now I gotta readjust my thinking here. I had eights out of the equation. But of course, makes sense. Yeah, I'm five handed. I wouldn't do that with fives or sixes. Sevens, well, would be, sevens would be probably. You're not supposed to, but, well, but, but then again, like everybody has different theories. I'm all in. I, mean, I play Maria. Maria. I don't know what I'm doing. I call. Opens the ace jack on the button. Nick gets it all in, and he'll be pleased. Phil would have folded your hand, Maria. As ace Maybe. queen. I wish I was Phil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sitting pretty. Have you ever said that before? Mm -hmm. Lots of times. Who wouldn't want to do That was some politicking? Yes. Feels very choppy. I'm right happy here. to chop it, honestly. This feels very. You can love, just I'd let them not. not run it out. No, it feels very cheesy. Right mm. Got very some cheesy. ingredients for okay. chop suey. But in the walk. Might be dirty. Might be. Five or a six, on request for Maria. A jack would end Nick's fun. Instead, yeah, it's a nine. An ace queen gonna is really going to double it. through. I have 135. Am I counting that right? Well, one of Nick's goals was to get on the show. He's accomplished that. And now, Mr. Wright, you are the chip leader. Before the break, we had a 285K pot out of the blue as Nick Wright's ace queen slaughtered Maria Jose's jack, catapulting the Fox Sports host to the top of the leaderboard. Nick Wright, 285K, over 100,000 ahead of second place, John Aguiar. Helmuth in third, followed by Jennings, who is batting 1,000 on his all-ins. Negranu at 88, and Maria now, after losing that pot, the short stack with just four bigs. I could get like a three or something on the flop. It's going to be really there. bad because they're going to go back to Five minutes ago, yeah. <laughs> they're gonna play insane. Phil somehow knew that he didn't have it this time. Though. Yeah, man. when he calls out the A seven, when I have seven six, it's gonna be not as good. I'm gonna make it thirty thousand. Eighty million. <laughs> 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 Daniel with the chin high in the big line. I need a Daniel to have a seven, I can tell you that. I would have called 20. Lays it down. Would have? Yeah, if you'd been raised, I would have called. No, I mean, if you had a seven, would you have called 30? No, I would not have mm. called with a seven there. <laughs> you were all in every time, right? <laughs> Ooh. I had a beat. Queen eight, the hand that Maria is going to pick to go with. Just 41,000 all in. Different scenario here for Helmuth, who folded two nines earlier. Mulling it over with the two nickels. Oh, boy. <laughs> OK. Doesn't make the call. Damn it. Not through. 21. Got it. 
And that allows Maria to, oh, well, not to take down some much needed Three. blind and yep. any okay. money. Yeah. Okay, I had, I had, no, I, I, I missed you. Thank you. Yeah. That's what I was missing. Her and Daniel real both with I, six I bigs. I was like, uh, I had a four, so like I thought I had an ace. <laughs> I had a pair above a four. Phone a lot of She's pairs. a dangerous player. I just didn't want her to get shot. Well, I'm a really weird guy. No, I know, no, no. I'm not <laughs> judging. Happy. But I'm mean, a really say? weird guy. Like, I mean, I just I make all these folds. Uh, no, 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 I'm not. I'm not. Hold the, the best hand. Hold strategy. the best hand. Hold the best hand. And then, yeah, I'm not judging it. We agree on that, Phil. You just, you just, definitely a weird I think guy. you have folded more pocket. <laughs> I didn't say weird guy, I said weird got. player. You said weird guy. You did say guy. But okay. Well, sorry, I'm right again. You're right again. <laughs> but I admit it, right? Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> I call. Daniel's right a fair amount again. He's like, I didn't say that. And he's like, Phil, you said exactly that. Uh, you're right. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> he's right a lot. I'm not sure if it's reverse if he ever admits it, though. I if I catch you wrong. <laughs> okay, fair fight, fair fight. I don't mind being. Behind here, just slightly. So Maria one, getting though. it all in again this time. Nick Wright with the I ace like queen once Jackson more. Area, so I'll take I'll take it. Yes, she's do. not dominated. Two clean cards. I like Maria. Will Nick finish what he started? Sure looks that way on a queen high board. Jack always makes it fun. Things not looking good for the one-time chip leader. Mm. And the jack oh, indeed there we go. makes it fun. Three aces, four nines, and three kings. Ten outs. Thirty-four outs. Ten outs. Da 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 Nice playing with you guys as always. Nice answer. Well, Nick Wright took a big bite out of Maria's chips with Ace Queen, and then he finished the job with Ace Queen. Before the break, Maria Ho busted out in sixth place thanks to a couple of cold decks against her new nemesis, Nick Wright. Five of our original seven players remain. Bruce Buffer and Maria Ho already eliminated. 63. Two professional poker players, a couple of DFSers. And a sports commentator. Okay. Ooh. Remaining. Oh, I had a nice sweat the first Me too. Uh, Daniel's ace queen suited. Certainly oh boy. good enough for an all in. 154. Now Nick Wright with the two sevens and the big. <sighs> Would do well to just He's let just these two square off. No need to spin this wheel. Not Sorry. with a hand like sevens. You got time. Yeah. Take, take as much as you need. Yeah. You got the you got the, the extensions. You got the <laughs> extensions, man. I'll give you one of mine if you need it. No, it's all right. Oh, I don't even want to see this one. I'm glad. I don't know if I wanted you in today. Uh, um, I had sevens. Oh, then I did want you in. Yeah, you. Want, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You wanted all the under pairs in. You can have the cards. Well, we're gonna put the theory, test the theory, uh, you know, of our man, uh, Liquid Aguiar. Nice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Liquid Aguiar with the tens. It's for the kids, really. <laughs> he would never. For me. There was Liquid a Chiefs, Aguiar. There was a Chiefs punter named Louis Aguiar. Not My related. whole child's so. not related. No. <laughs> so whenever you say Liquid Aguiar, I start. Mm. Yeah, I, I Daniel like binks the queen right away. I'm just, I'm just <laughs> consistently rooting against you. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> much I actually appreciate it. I can appreciate the honesty. I mean, if I do it again. This is all Phil's uh, fault. Very unlikely. John does have him covered, My but he's fault. still yeah, rooting he for a 10. Off that pot earlier. To polish off Negranu. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Four across diamond. Ooh. Yeah, and four across diamond. I saw that. Wow. That would have been legendary. Good thing I didn't get to sweat it like on GG. Mm. Peel the corner. Yeah. 
Good fold, Nick. Good ah. fold. Nice hand. There you go. Such a silly game. Skill poker now. Uh, yep. Yeah. Real. Clearly, you, I you guys really should have played hand, those though. differently, both of you guys. Yeah. I mean, really should have thought about those differently. Well, Daniel with the double up might be able to loosen up the Henley a little further. Still only has 13 bigs. Nobody got that one. <laughs> I thought Phil would. He's always got the ears ready. <laughs> I was uh, eating. So. Yeah, you were eating. <laughs> you're not no surprised. Kidding. I know you're your not. Your eating surprised. is a meme now. It's like you become. Your your eating has become. Ace queens worthy. run good. Yeah. My ace queen won all in twice against Maria. Yours just won. Nick. Yeah, whatever you need. Yeah. Right. Uh, let's make it. Eighty-seven million. What do you have? Hundred and forty. Hundred and thirty or something. Hundred and thirty back. One thirty-two back plus. Mm. Gazillion. Here it comes. 40. Yeah, ba boom. 40. Meaty man raises, as they say. 40,000. Or do they say that? I don't think they do, Daniel. Okay, let's see. We can do it. And Nick Wright lays down ace 10 suited versus the button open from Phil, so clearly a lot of respect for Helmuth's range. I haven't moved in yet. I know, I'm just saying. I'm just, I don't want to waste a lot of time here. Floor? Am I allowed to do that? I don't think you can. I think it's a big. I think it might technically be a committing. I think. I, I think he has to call. Now. Okay. <laughs> I'll just fold then. Okay, if you're that committed, Phil, I'll fold the hand I'm supposed to play against every other human being in the world. <laughs> Tell me, it might have cost himself a pre-flop exactly. call there. You're supposed to play like how? Call or raise? You're supposed to go all in or call, either one. Not fold. For sure, not fold. Wow, I'd really? Bet, and I bet uh, yeah. money I had a better hand than you. I don't think the nittiness of the poker brat has perhaps reached new heights. Afraid of a potential coin flip, he scared Daniel out of the pot and scooped up just the blinds. Poker After Dark is brought to you by Roman. Simple, straightforward, the way healthcare should be. Visit GetRoman.com to learn more. Manscaped. Don't gamble with your grooming tools. Visit Manscaped.com today for the best in men's grooming. And Poker Go. Get in the game at PokerGo.com. Your move was to jam in his face. If you call, uh, if you call and an ace comes, you get nothing. From well, you wasn't. Yeah, you know. You need call. to hit a ten. You're gonna yeah. stick it to you. Yeah, yeah. I shouldn't have said I should have called, but yeah, the stick it to him. It's got all the fold or a raise. Yeah. Push him around a little bit. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna work out well for you. Oh. Well, that hand it would have. Beautiful. But... Maybe. I only had a hundred more, right? Well, Chip Leader is gonna take his turn with aces. Thirty-two. All you can eat. 126. And now Negranu picks up the sevens. Horrendous shape Hold. on the button. I rips it in there and gets that. snap the called. Oh, the oh my it, it God. Seemed, it seemed like aces. It was the. <laughs> yeah. He, he started was like, reaching. He was like, yeah, I'm going to call. Yeah, I should make sure he it's started not. reaching for his chips uh, the minute Daniel moved in. And then he checked for ace four. He was checking for <laughs> ace four. <laughs> yeah, it was just double. The minute you, the minute Daniel moved in, you reached for your chips to call, and I was like, Ooh. if you were Phil, it would have been a different. <laughs> I think a seven's coming. I think it might. You do? I've been rooting against you, so karma's. Yeah, against me. not gonna be a thing. I've learned karma's real. <laughs> I mean, every time you've been all in, I've been, like, I've been waiting for someone to hit you. So that was a good this line. Is probably how well, John Aguiar staved off elimination by hitting a nine on the river in a two-out spot against Daniel earlier. Still two seven. <sighs> Available. Either one Might will work. Negron will be able to pull the same rabbit out of a different hat. Oh, oh, my God. Diamond. Diamond. It's oh. always the closest oh, sweat ever, right? Diamond again. Right. Close, close, really close but not Finish quite. Just go all in when he when he raises. <laughs> wow. Good luck, guys. We're all that's that's it that for nice. Daniel Negreanu. Good luck. Good luck, Take man. Care. Yeah. Hope to see I get these like a bouncy. We'll do. I get <laughs> Nick Wright looking sharp. Over half a million in front of him. 43 bigs. Host of first things first on FS1, and he's in first. With three players gone of the original seven, just four left, and my guess is he's letting somebody know about it. Don't jinx it. We could be heads up fairly quickly here, as Peter Jennings has just six bigs, and John oh, yes, with I'm just sorry. five. 
<laughs> and he pulls a Helmuthian all in on the button with his Wait, two threes. Wait, now do I get to keep them though? Oh, okay. All right. Does Phil oh, have enough to call? Feels... I got it. I call. Really? Yeah. And wow. he does have it. Two kicks. I got it. I call. <laughs> I, I, it's kind of what I get for that's what, Helmuth shoving on Helmuth. <laughs> that's what I was just going to say. <laughs> you do the really, Helmuth shove on the... He said karma is a real thing. Well, really we'll see, it him. seems like that might be real. Yeah, you know, it's a real test. It's, this is for the kids, which is important. Liquid Aguiar, we're going to see how liquid you are after yeah. this. Am I really going to lose to Phil Helmuth on the only poker on after dark? On a Phil dark? Helmuth I, shove? I finally get oh, on poker that's... after dark, and I'm going to lose to Phil Helmuth. It's just seems wrong. It's <laughs> and the way you did it, too. <laughs> it's, everything about this feels like justice. I mean, I had to call with king queen. Obviously. Probably just going to make quads. Top no, set for Jack Phil. Queen run out. You got club club. I need club club. club, 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 club. I need quads. Disastrous club. texture for John. Jack of clubs. Jack of clubs is Jack or queen. Jack or queen. Yeah, Jack Those are your fun cards. Jack of clubs seems fun. Just, I don't want to be dead. Seems fair. <laughs> I don't want to be drawing be dead. dead with the card to go. Dead going to the river against Phil. Uh, oh, there's the jack. Chop dead. outs. Queen for a tie. I'll take it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hey, you got 40 outs. You got four outs After to a shot. After that flop, I'd take it too. Yeah, that flop was. You really hate to see it. No nice queen nice and the two threes. Pleasure playing with that you. one's Dispatched. gonna make the tape. Yeah. I'm yes. confident that one's gonna them. make the tape. Brain fuel. Sponsored by Brain John <laughs> Aguiar. <laughs> Liquid Aguiar. <laughs> 1.6 million in career tournament earnings. Won't be able to add to that figure here as a fourth place finisher. And we are on the money bubble. And there's the replay. It was cute until Helmuth woke up with the Kings, wasn't it? Wow. Queen is a good mathematical shape here. That's for sure. We both had an overcard on you. You had a king? Yeah. I'd probably have to call you the king queen. Yeah. King jack, I think I'm calling too. Maybe even king 10. Jennings has moved all in with two queens in the past. Right with the ace 10. Made the call. Nine, nine of hearts. Nine of hearts. <laughs> Didn't hit the ace. Seems like a reasonable request. Ten now gives Nick a pair. Not going to beat da, da, the queen. Da, 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 da. Three aces, two tens. Da, 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 da. Thirty-nine outs to five outs. That's what I do at my charity events. Eight to one. That's what I do at my charity events. This won't be too painful if it doesn't come in, which it does not. Ooh, and Peter Jennings. 72, correct? Yeah. About to win the Cy Young Award. Nice hand. There it is. Pitching a perfect yeah, game with the yeah, audience. Yeah, yeah, of course. Next time on Poker After Dark. It was very amateurish, so you were either really strong or really weak. Our sit and go comes to a close. Oh my God, we're actually gonna be in a real game again. While Helmuth sees himself as the favorite. No more shows for Philly. That's good. The underdogs are biting back. This is why it's so goofy to play against the amateurs. Wow. I think I'm going to win this one. Tonight on Poker After Dark. These things are much easier if people just give me the money. The sit and go is down to three. Oh my god, we're actually going to be in a real game again. But in the Poker Brat's mind, this is why it's so goofy to play against the amateurs. Wow. There's only one who ever matters. It was very amateurish, so you were either really strong or really weak. OK, I mean, I guess he wants to play every hand. Let's go. What started as seven players has now become three as Nick Wright has emerged the chip leader and Peter Jennings, the man who refuses to lose. Ali Najad with the call, Veronica Brill with the interviews, GG chip counts, show the bust out order and the stacks. Jennings 162K, not a very deep stack, just 13 bigs with the blinds at six and 12. And now they're up to 10 and 15. 
That lowers it to 10 bigs. Burns brighter. Yeah, like the my point Steph is, does it so often. So. Right, Steph is obviously better in all, all of that, but I'm saying like both of them on a Helmuth crazy with hot. Two seventy has eighteen bigs, and Wright with the four forty three has twenty nine. Fifteen minute level, so you got to get busy quick. And Phil, with just so much experience in these situations, plenty of gears in his transmission. Queen on the button raises, takes it. Jennings. Unwilling well, I think Clay to comes do battle with an ace. Uh -huh. You're right, though. So I mean, that's too, too not as big injuries. And the defender part's not as a what makes I don't know. And he's so valuable to them in that room. He is. So valuable. I mean, have you watched the team? I've watched the team more this year than the last five years. You like Wiseman? Four years. Yeah, I like Wiseman a lot. But, but watching, but watching yeah, like, enough. they've been a real team. Yeah. Like it's been. I wish they'd let Steph do more pick and roll stuff, but I know it's the system. 40. I'm oh, sorry. I'm sorry, man. I've been I'm suited connector on the button. I play a lot of live poker, period, and <laughs> have it in a long time. Raise and take it. You guys think the Jazz have any win equity? Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. You can Say have it. it we'll the Jazz. It what do you think in. about the Jazz? I, they, they're drawing dead in the playoffs. Yeah. The I thought the Nuggets were a lot. Yeah. The Nuggets were a lot, like yeah. we were talking about. They had a shot. The thing is this. No. It's going to be the Nets and one of the L.A. teams. Oh, the, net, the Nets are even healthy. I think the Nets are drawing dead. Really? Yeah. Oh, see, that's where I disagree big time. Horrifying defensive team. Never, yeah, but never won. They're going to score 150 points every game. Okay, so, so that was Doug Moe's Nuggets plan and Steve Nash's son's plan, and neither one of them ever made a finals, much less won the title. So, Too but they're not going to be healthy, game. and they don't, they're not cohesive. Oh, they, I, they haven't played I think the Nets are huge. I love the Nets, and I'm a defense guy, and, but Kevin Durant is 40,000. 40,000. You have 240 more, Phil? Correct. Helmuth? With an ace in the small, getting sized up by Nick. Cool. 25K plunked down to defend the big with the queen 10 off. Swing and a miss in both seats on the king high board. 35? 35, Thirty-five thousand the C bet, and that'll do it. You're an LA team guy, or do you like Milwaukee? I think it's Lakers Sixers. I like the Sixers too. I think Drew Holiday is wildly underrated. Player. I agree with that. I, like I also him a lot the other reason I don't like the Nets is, and I know Philly lost tonight, but um, the Nets I don't believe are going to be the one seed. You're saying they're not even going to make the it's finals. The defensive the Nets. stuff. Yeah, I, yeah. And you have good sports acumen. I'm not challenging, but it just feels like. No, I'm, I'm in the, listen, I'm in the, they're a minus favorite against the field to make the finals. So I'm obviously in the minority. Oh, okay. I, I'm, I know I'm in the minority here. 45. Raise 45,000. Oh, I have to call. Yeah, it's uh, 90,000. Like. Nick gets caught with a 9-7 suited and. Yeah. Two to one favorite. The 45K open. 90. 90. Feels priced in for the extra 87,000. So suddenly we're playing a 294,000 chip pot. You'd think two over cards over 200 cards would be more than two to one. Yeah, and especially I like that hand, 9 7. Suited is a little less than two to one. Can Peter Jennings keep his undefeated streak alive here on the money bubble? One burn down, three off the top, two kings and a deuce. So far, so good. Six outs twice, Would running diamond is also an option. No longer, wow. as a four Six comes outs. off. Three sevens, three nines, da 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 da, 38 outs. Not counting my cards. River. Mm. Close. Not there for Nick Wright.
Poker After Dark is brought to you by Roman. Simple, straightforward, the way healthcare should be. Visit GetRoman.com to learn more. Manscaped. Don't gamble with your grooming tools. Visit Manscaped.com today for the best in men's grooming. And Poker Go. Get in the game at PokerGo.com. Before the break, short stack Peter Jennings doubled up through Nick Wright, leaving our sit-and-go still three-handed. Still pretty tight cluster, though, for the two-time world champion in fantasy sports. Co-founder of Fantasy Labs. Came up in finance, and so much of what Call. people employ on Wall Street relates brilliantly to both poker and daily fantasy. Well, didn't think we'd get one of these. I'm, I'm yeah, a weird guy, you know? <laughs> limps the button with the king. Jennings with the ace and the big. Flops top pair. Nick with sevens. Can't blame him for thinking this is a hand that should be good in a three-way limp pot. So he leads out for the min. And then a min raise out of Jennings. No thought needed for Nick to continue as he calls the extra 15,000. Now the six pairs, and he improves his kicker. Check. Not quite as meaningful, but a kicker improvement for Jennings as well from the five to the seven. 40, as he barrels once more, this time 40K. Sheds Nick Wright. Really an exercise in patience for Peter Jennings for the most part. Didn't get hasty. Moved all in and real good spots. Fortunate to have them. We played, or the first hand we played, I had ace jack suit. Like, if you watch a lot of tape on Lou and you're on the court when he's on the court, like, you know everything he's going to try to yep. do. 35. What is 35,000? Cool. Bad timing for Nick Wright to play a 10. As he defends the big against Peter's jack 10 button open. And flops a gut shot straight draw against middle pair. Door clubs. Check. Passes it to Jennings. Check. Checks back. Binky. That eight gives Nick Wright the second nuts. Jennings has now picked up an open ender just in case the jacks are no good. Min bet on the turn, quickly called by Peter. King on the end, changing nothing from Wright's perspective. He now bets 50K and gets Great. paid. That's good. Where's Sam? Jennings didn't appear to give too much thought to that call on the river with both an ace and a king looming. Some pretty coordinated texture. Not saying he wouldn't necessarily arrive at the call. Obviously, I was going to call, but if you piled the river, because 10 queens easy, like it goes yeah. check. And Nick spoke with Veronica at the start of the tournament to talk about his overall strategy heading into the game. My approach is to play this. You know, I'm going to play in some cash games with Poker Go, and I'm going to have a very different approach than Sit and Go. Sit and go, I feel like you have to be, you have to be totally fine with being the first person out because third place is the same as last place. And I am at such a decided disadvantage if like, if I get to the final 
three and I don't have a ton of chips and like Daniel's one of them, I'm basically drawing dead. I mean, if, it, if I get to the final two and the chips are about even, and it's like Hellmuth, then I think I'm a slight favorite, obviously. Um, but uh, well, that's a joke. Not really. Um, but uh, really good joke. The, uh, <laughs> so, um, yeah. so yeah, I think you have to be super aggressive. So we need to, you know, we need to go where you are, where you're best at. You're the king of hot takes. Give me oh. the hot take that you'll be most embarrassed of after today. I'm gonna pick Bruce to last longer than Phil. That's so cool. He was right. Isn't Not about buffer awesome outlasting Helmuth, but yeah. about that take being embarrassing. Isn't that unbelievable? So Dude, he's so aware. I'm all in. Ace jack on the button for Helmuth, open to 70,000, and now an ace queen for oh Nick. Oh my god. All in from the small, and a face up snap muck out of Phil. You don't want to show. Okay. I only showed the one hand because we talked about it. All right. No more shows for Philly. When have you? I usually tell people I have a strong hand. It's all Ooh, good. I, 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 can you beat trip. me? No more big lay downs against Nick from the big line, I can tell you that. Not looking to give anything away. These things are much easier if people just give me the money, you know? I think this is going to be the one, Phil, where I give you the money. I think so, too. Don't make it too much or I can't play. Okay. You talked me into it somehow. I, mean, I, have, I have a hand I have to race with. But sometimes it works out Maybe better. Maybe it'll work way. out, yeah. 30? King nine, Call out six. flopped okay, okay. in a limp pot blind versus blind. Nick. Snap calls the 30K lead from Helmuth. Check. Who Check. quickly checks the turn. 30. 30,000. this. Come on. I haven't beat Nick one pot. This is getting discouraging. I trapped him and trapped him and trapped him and folded Ace Jack. Come on. He raised every button. I haven't raised every I button. Always bust the guys that raise every button. You know there's a grin on Nick's face. I think you know face. I haven't raised every button, and you're saying that just to discourage me from raising the next one, like put peer pressure. Oh, I'm mad at myself. I was supposed to raise this hand, too. Seems like a pretty and good I think it has everything to do. Well, you'll see. With all those hours that hand, though, I did, of televised I had, poker so he watched. Know, I had four eight, and I really wanted to play it, so I talked hoping you wouldn't raise when I thought you were going to. It was very amateur, so you were either really strong or really weak. And I, I read wrong. Oh, worked. During which he's seen oh, no. Phil behave this way, and here he oh, is with a front row seat to it. Tell me. 200 and exactly. Might look I a little fold. steamy. What is this? I fold. fold. But the king queen comfortably into the muck for Nick. Damn it. Big hand. As is yeah. the I'll king show, 10 show. for Jennings. I mean, you don't like to show. I'll, sh I'll show you if you show me one of yours next time I ask. Uh, no, that's all right. I'll show anyway. Is, I think you're going to be upset. You would like of pocket nines or something? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whoa. But I bet it all. Where did that so come from? <laughs> I did have nines, which which is like one of the, maybe the sixth best hand in poker. So it turns out king queens flipping. Queen Jack suited coming for it. Jennings is on vapors, and King Jack suited is enough. Call. <laughs> How much? Fifty-five. Seventy-five total. Oh, does Helmuth want to join the party in an effort to bust Peter I here? I can't re-raise. Right? Cannot. <laughs> oh, I, know. I know. I was kidding. Cool. <laughs> no, you might want to re-raise. <laughs> well, no. Right. Of course, I would want to if I was allowed to, but. Typically not allowed to when it's 5,000 more. So the main pot is complete. A dry side remains between Helmuth and Wright. Check. King 8, 6, Jennings way in front. Helmuth with the sixes. 
25. Ahead of Nick. Barrel's just 25,000. Oh, wow. Right, with naked queen jack high, makes the call. It's trip sixes on the end for Helmuth. Down will go Peter Jennings with the king jack. 45? 45,000. Right. Trip sixes. Folds and oh, really? heartbreak oh, for Peter. Oh, boy. As the money bubble officially bursts. I was right on my call. Very late. Hey, great playing with you. Something yeah, tells me Helmuth wouldn't be quite as cool if he was on the other end of that bad it. beat. But Jennings makes the gracious exit. Back for heads up play after this. As heads up play is preparing to begin, let's take a look at Phil's pregame interview with Veronica for a peek into the mind of the poker brat. So you have a ton of success. No one can argue that. But do you think there's anything you could do that would silence the critics? The only thing I can do is to start playing some of the high rollers. And if I start winning them and doing well in them, then I think that's going to shut them up. But then they're going to, it's like, they're going to, it's like, you know, the whack-a-mole. All right, we think Phil's the greatest at this. And he's the greatest at this, but not this. And when I whack that mole, there'll be something else. Well, he's not the greatest at this. I'll try to whack that mole. And so if I'm chasing around playing whack-a-mole, trying to prove I'm the greatest, it's probably counterproductive. Um, I was kind of stunned that I didn't get, you know I mean? I think the world, 99% of the world thinks I'm the greatest of all time, and that's amazing. And, but you know, the people that I really want to think it, that half a percent, they're fighting me for it. And some of them are very uh, not classy. Uh, I never ran down the legends in my life. But why do you care what they think? You've got so much success. You don't need their opinion, do you? No, you make a very good point. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you said it, Veronica. Phil is somehow still desperate for approval, despite having all the accolades he needs to silence the haters. And whether or not his performance here or on High Stakes Duel changes anyone's mind, his resume certainly speaks for itself. Helmuth with the ace five, lying in wait, limping in the button. Oh, it's 20 is what I meant, sorry. Raise 20. Binks of five and Min raises Nick, who bet the Min with his seven eight. Seventy on top. I mean, I, sometimes I just, it's hard to play against people that don't play professionally because that's a really big hand. You're capable of re raising with a five. I did not have a five. Yeah. But he did have a couple of cojones right there as Nick Wright. I have a good feeling. Re raises this Phil. Quicker than we thought. Showing some chops. I think I'm going to trap you in a second. Is, the, is this right? Yeah, it's your button. Oh, okay. I limp with ace. With an ace. Okay. Smash right. the flop. You're right. Okay. I mean, I guess he wants to play every hand. Let's go. I'm going to put my guy a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> Dar, we like doing it. We like. Uh, I don't mind. Call. Helmuth limps the queen nine. Nick says run it with King Jack. Flop second pair. 30. Let's Phil see bet. Now he knows that Phil's capable of limping the button with an ace. Can't just go away, though. Certainly not with that jack of spades work in the back door as well. You see Helmuth shoot him a look. Deuce of spades on the turn. Helmuth does Come not on, have Phil, a flush draw. You have a spade. <laughs> a little histrionics. Just double checking. Phil with the check back, and now jack high flush for 45. Nick. Comes out betting. Easy release out of Phil. Doesn't make a meal of it. Sorry. Nice hat.
65. Call. Okay. King Queen suited on the button. Charging 65 to take a flop and Queen six suited. Not in Check. great shape here. Ace high rainbow 65. board. 65. Nick instantly fires another 65 at it. Hundred and thirty. Oh, and look at this, Helmuth. Min raising to a hundred and thirty with naked queen high, just betting against Nick Wright having an ace and leveraging his table yeah, image. Thank you. An ability to rep one. I let it. you bluff me there, Phil. Can't comment. I got you. It was a bad. I should have checked back. I had a huge hand pre-flop. Check back would have probably been a better play for you. If I had an ace, you give me a chance to just end it. That was a bad play by me. I was ahead of anything that was stupid. Limp pot. Top pair. 40. Good spot for Nick against the sevens. Check calls 40,000. Oops. Help me. 50 trips. That's 55,000 gets promptly called. Right needed a jack. 65. And now he comes out betting. Weird spot for Phil. He's certainly not going to fold, but. I don't have 810. I'll tell you that. Nick says I don't have 810. I'm it's thinking of raising you. No, I know. And that certainly makes it easier for Phil, but instead jack. he just flats. Okay. God, the race was a better play, I think. 65K. I don't think you can fold for 65 more. I was 1,000% folding. Yeah, I was doing it. the Phil Helmuth vintage blocking bet yep. of I have to call, so I'm... Well, now I'd say you're a massive favorite, Phil. I think Phil would agree with that, as he holds 80% of the chips in play, but this match isn't over yet. Stay close. More Poker After Dark coming up. Welcome back to Poker After Dark, where our sit-and-go is heads up, and Phil Helmuth holds a substantial chip lead over amateur Nick Wright. Now a jack-10 on the button for Nick. Deal. Contemplative limp. Tell me, says run it. Flops a gut shot straight draw. Still just I'm eight on. high for the time being. And Nick Wright says all in on the ace high flop. Quite a bit of moxie on this it was one. A good flop for me. It was a horrendous flop for me. And I wasn't lying. The earlier hand when you put me on ace-jack and you folded ace-queen, I did have ace-jack, but it was ace-jack yeah. and clubs. So I, you know, I was in a decent yep. spot. All in. Finally, I get to say the words, <laughs> all in. I mean. I think that's the first time you've said them tonight. I believe you. Were you all in ever when we were? No. No. That's how. That's how, That's what happens to me in these sit and go. That's what happens to me in these sit and goes all the time. I'm just never all in. You're n which is, well, if you're never all in, you can't lose. Um, 
People are always like, why didn't you put all your money in with two nines? And I'm like, well, because two hours later, I'm never going to be all in <laughs> and have the chip lead. Yeah, that's the first time you've said it the whole night. That's wild. Yeah, the button is right right now. Yeah, okay. definitely. Because I limped on it that last hand. Call. Go ahead. No all-ins after the limp this time. Is King Jack not in the neighborhood for either holding? 80,000. He wins. And they are playing the game. Nick Wright, weak lead. You, that, you throw me the button. And 10 high raises and takes it. Oh, we've been, oh yeah. We were just at 15.25. Small blind stays the same, but the big slips up a touch to 30K. Smooth 75,000 in there each time. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> just a smooth 75,000. And we've played a lot of hours to get yeah. here. Yeah, yeah. This has been so much better than yesterday when I just called off all my money repeatedly. Was it cash game? It's a cash game. I played so bad. I did everything the opposite of how I said I was going to do it. I was totally rattled by the cameras, like the. Yep, yep, yep. It, Ellie Alezra was playing, and he's probably my, the player that when I was like kid watching growing up, I enjoyed all watching in. the most. And I just couldn't settle myself. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, you tell the stories. I'll move all in with nine high in the process. I love Ellie. He's a really good guy. He's a great guy. And I've played so much poker with him over the years. He and I played a lot of mixed games together, you know. Um, how much? 140 more? I have the 30 plus 135. All in. And I might have just misquoted you there by five. That's all right. Phil There's put the pressure on. There already. I think I, I think I have to call. I call. Queen high. Eight high. You don't have a seven with it, do you? No. Nick wants to gamble. Has a decent amount of equity in this spot. How much you have? I'll tell you. 100, a total of 160. To the flop we go, oh, and Nick flop, Wright <laughs> flops the joint. <laughs> <laughs> and Phil <laughs> needs running you Jack two King. Spades? You don't? All right, so no Jack, no King. No sweats. Phil and I are having too much time fun together. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Ooh, a Jack. Jack. Hello, Jack. Jack. That would be that would be so sick. Not like you this. You deserve it, Phil. Jack ball, bam. So Nick getting lucky. I almost just folded queen. I almost just limped with queen or folded it there. You just didn't have you know close. You can't. I don't. I mean, I don't know. You obviously did the right thing. You had the best hand. I just there's 75 in there. I've got 130 more. You know what I mean? If I have a playable hand, I gotta play. When your opponent calls off his stack with eight high pre-flop, that's the face you make after he flops a straight. Nick Wright doubling up and we're back in business after the break. Before the break, Phil Helmuth had a chance to end the tournament, but Nick Wright's 8-7 offsuit flopped a straight and suddenly we are nearly even in chips and the game is on. All in. I call. King high. Helmuth moved all in with King high. Nick wakes up with a couple of fours. Seven, eight off, so twice. However, I may hit a king and win this. Yep. Phil does have Nick covered, but Nick well in the lead. So nice to have a bigger pair than Helmuth's side card on the king, and he's flopped a set here, but Helmuth with a wheel five. drop. He went from three outs to five, four outs. He did.
astute observation. Neither player has a diamond draw as the turn is clean. Now Nick just needs to fade a five. If he does that, Helmuth will have vapors. And he's done it. Seven, eight, and two fours, and suddenly, Nick Wright is ahead 790,000 to 85,000 here in this heads up portion of this sit and go. all those hands. Oh, man. Mm. Now you are a massive favorite. Yeah, that's correct. Although I don't know, I don't. I think you're gonna move in in the dark every hand, so that that gave me a shot. There's some subtlety to the heads up, but that you wouldn't understand, son. Usually. Uh oh. Yeah, I'm all in. 55. I have kings. <laughs> wow. Come on. What the <laughs> <laughs> Kind of sick three of the last four hands. Seven, eight, flop the straight. Seven, eight again, you fold. Pocket fours, flop a set. Now this. Uh, Justice I, says I, diamonds. But I didn't see you. I didn't see you moving in with seven, eight that hand. You really, you really just <laughs> I'm going to try to get lucky. <laughs> no, I didn't want you to call. Two diamonds. Ooh, look at this spicy board. Well, that's an action flop, Phil. We got, it would have got in anyway. We got a chance. We could have yeah. had, we could have both had a couple hundred thousand it gets in. No, because you would have raised before the flop. Yeah, yeah, that's right. It might just fold. Yeah, that's right. I don't play like everybody else. Helmuth has flopped the diamond draw. Pair is irrelevant given he's up against a set. Now he's got one tug at eight outs. Game. This set, set up right there. Just somehow you get in, I limp, trying to trap somebody. No, I mean, you. if you raise him in the big blind, i probably call. And I'll yeah, the flush draw, and I'm going to call, now. and now I'm going to call. Yeah, Nick Wright on the brink of winning this sit and go. Can he do it? No, the 10 of diamonds and hell. I didn't think that was coming. Doubles. What a game. What's he got, 55? Yep. I wasn't expecting that one. And neither was Nick Wright, as he thought his pocket kings were going to finish off the champ, but instead, we are still playing cards. Well, before the break, things were looking grim for Phil Helmuth, who was all in and at risk with 9-6 suited, but he rivered a flush to stay alive, and heads up play rolls on. It was just funny, because you said that I'll probably move in without looking, and I was going to, yep. but then I was like, ah, I should look, and I looked down at kings. <laughs> Yeah, I found a fold here. That was interesting. Now that I know I had kings there, I wish just for the show I hadn't looked. It would have been better. <laughs> but I don't look. I'm like, you say I'm going to move in without looking. I don't look, and I flip over kings, flop the set, still lose. All in. I have jacks. First, Helmuth runs into kings with the 9-6. Got lucky to 95. make the flush. Now he runs into jacks with king jack. There is no justice whatsoever. Basically the same situation as the king three against the fours. Yeah. Except we have huge hands. <laughs> yeah. For, yeah. For whatever, we have three, four big blinds. <laughs> We're sitting on three big blinds yeah. each. These are monsters. Is there a king? Close there draw. is. All right, six outs. And the Twice. 10 is not a lone Dive winner for right. Oh, that's right. You're right. That's and a chop card. Six. And the, one of the jacks said, I have one card to win, four cards to tie. That's actually a great flop for you. I didn't even yeah. realize how good of a flop it was for you. Oh, my God. We're actually going to be in a real game again. That's not <laughs> what I was hoping <laughs> It's for. not over yet. You still have one out. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I have literally one out to win, four outs to chop. Yeah. Huzzah. Good hand. 95. 95 to you. Helmuth beating like, kings and battle. jacks. Unbelievable. <laughs> to stay alive. Unbelievable. You're down to nothing. 
and I actually get real hands. I get kings and flop a set. I had you all in when you had the fours. Uh, and I had you all in when you had the seven eight. Oh, you were supposed to win the fours. The fours I was supposed to win. The seven yeah. eight. Could I wasn't make, a huge dog. No, no, by no means. No, no, no. no. But, but I certainly wasn't a dog after I, it was just funny because I flopped the joint with it. And then the fours was the, thus far the big hand. Call. Go ahead. You have 190 these. behind. Yep. Down three to one in chips. Limps the three five and flops bottom Check. pair. 40. I'm all in. Gets check raised all in. Oh my God. By Jack High. I hit the flop. He's doing something uh, very amateurish. He should have me beat here. I don't know. Don't leave your time extensions unused. <laughs> Guess I need my first time extension. I used one against Maria very early, and then I just forgot I had him. Wonder what Phil's gonna make of all this chatter. He lays it down. And I think Nick shows him the jack ten. Nothing. This is this is why it's so goofy to play against the amateurs. What is going on here? He thought I missed the flop. He I just had a bad a read king, on though. me. You didn't have a king, Phil, and you're not going to call because you're such a huge favorite against me, which you are. You're not going to risk. Oh my God! Please, 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 please! I wish we had more chips. I'd like to play this match because I don't think you'd last too long if we had a well, lot of yeah, chips. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, no. I mean, that's just the weirdest play. All right, now, now I'm I hope I can get some chips because I'm ready for the weirdness now. Wow. <laughs> what the f was that? That's what's that's gonna keep you up tonight, to Phil. Wow. Give it to me take the Take it down, Phil. I'll take it. A gift with seven deuce. What the f was that? Okay, just limp in with your ace king, Philly. And let's do it this hand. Limp with ace king. Let's hit a king and have the man move in with nine high. Poker After Dark is brought to you by Roman. Simple, straightforward, the way healthcare should be. Visit GetRoman.com to learn more. Manscaped. Don't gamble with your grooming tools. Visit Manscaped.com today for the best in men's grooming. And Poker Go. Get in the game at PokerGo.com. Deal. Nick limps in. Helmut says run it. Jack Check. nine yep. tray. Middle pair for Phil. Check. Yep. Nick checking back ace high on two streets and then hits the ace on the river. 35 call. And that's when Phil Nines. decides to bet. Ace. <laughs> Come on. What the <laughs> You let me, that, you can't blame me for that. You let me get there. You checked it to me the whole way. I'm not blaming you, but it was kind of unlucky. <laughs> that, that's true. Helmuth with just mm. three Let's big blinds. Hold one. Ooh, ace done, nice. Nine deuce, not enough. All right, the last time we were in this spot. Kings against King Jack? No, it was Jacks against King Jack, but yep. it was Kings against 9-6 and you won. Yep. When you were down this block. I think this is the last hand. Do you? I do, I'm all in. Well. Has Nick Wright called his shot? All right. Helmuth had 
40 in the big, 40 in the, the ante, time and just 30 left. I've been all in where I've had the best of it. I think I'm going to win this one. Either way, this has been awesome. Ace high against king high for a buck 80. And more importantly for Nick Wright, the extra 30K in money and the title. How's he going to do on the flop? So far, so good. Gut shot, straight draw. Hearts are live. Jack of Hearts is a fun card. Eight of Spades is my favorite card. <laughs> You're very greedy. You're not a pro. <laughs> I know. Well, <laughs> when you ask for the nuts, like sometimes it's sometimes the other. Yeah. We try to be a little Two sporting. Hearts. There you go. Any heart now. All right. So wait, wait. You want to know my your thing? Yeah, of course. Okay, this is what I do at charity events. Yeah, I know. Where I've raised sixty-four million. Da 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 Fourteen outs. Oh, I forgot about the fours. To thirty outs. Yeah, that. You're my bad. I forgot about the fours. Oh, that means a four is coming. I totally, <laughs> elim I totally eliminated the fours possibility. And the river is a jack. Nick play. Wright absolutely beats Phil time. Helmuth heads yeah. up yeah. and claims the sit and go title. I don't finish second very often. Congratulations. Well, first it was Nick putting up a fight and then it was Phil. But in the end, David took down Goliath and the two combatants are standing by now to chat with our Veronica Brill. So Nick, you're the winner. Does it feel extra better because it's against Phil? Well, it feels better that it was Phil than an amateur, like, because I'm an amateur. So the fact that I played heads, and we played heads up for a while and we were even when it started. And I, you know, I got very lucky when I was down to 130,000, and I had seven eight, and I flopped the nuts to give keep me alive. But I think he'd say, I think he thinks my Jack Ten play was insane. But I think he'd say I played well, and it was, yeah. I mean, it's, yeah. Well, I mean, the so guy's like a legend. You make a living beating amateurs. How do you think he? Uh, how do you think he played today? Uh, Nick played really well, honestly, from start to finish. Uh, classy guy on top of it, and uh, I enjoyed the match. And like. I just get tilted, you know, I mean, it's just me. I'm emotional right now, I'm seething because I lost. But you, you gotta recognize, you know, and you, you gotta say good stuff and good match. Was, yeah, and, and- Well done, classy. I mean, you actually played really well. Uh, I appreciate that. And to a man, every, I don't know a ton of poker pros and gambling pros, but the handful I do know, to a man, all of them say, Phil is such a great guy in like real life. And that because, He's, you know, a different type of cat while while people are playing, and in the interaction off camera and whatever, it's it's the same thing I've got. So this was great, and I got to sit right in between him and Daniel, <laughs> yelling at each other when I threw that little flame into it, talking about Mariano Rivera. So that was a ton of fun. It was great. Well, thank you guys. It was great to watch. It was a fun match, and uh, hopefully we'll see you both again. Thank you. Thank All you. right. Thank you. Good match. You too. Next time on Poker After Dark. Just because you beat me in a recent. <laughs> Poker after dark when we got heads up. You think you can start talking to me? I do. The cash games are back, and so are Helmuth and Wright. Phil, I want to see some blood. But while the poker brat stays in character, what the f Elia Lezra and Landon Tice are the marquee fighters. I got clubs. Let's go. So I just put people in tough spots. That's my job. <laughs> Boom! I don't even know what I am. <laughs> Tonight on Poker After Dark. I love poker, I breathe poker. Some sharks have returned. I'm the best hold'em player in the world. With new blood in the water. I just put people in tough spots, that's my job. And once again, Phil Helmuth needs a lifeboat. Just because you beat me in a recent <laughs> poker after dark when we got heads up, you think you can start talking to me? I do. What? The A warm welcome once again to Aria Resort and Casino, home to the Poker After Dark Suite, where it's time to play some cards. Tonight's festivities, a little No Limit Hold'em. Ali Najad with the call, Veronica Brill on the floor with the interviews, and we've got seven players gathered round the purple felt of fate. From left to right, Landon Tice, the young phenom, Nick Wright, Fox Sports One host, Phil Helmuth, the legend, Needs no introduction. Melissa Schubert, a first timer, newcomer. Local cash game grinder, Elia Lesra. 
Poker Hall of Famer. Got Emma Zamovich and Alan Richardson. We're playing 5100 with a $100 big blind ante. That was great, but I have. Usually the guy that object it's Phil, so if you pass by Phil on those uh, 8, 3, or 7 okay, deuce, boom big. Boom big. So it's begun. <laughs> Our first hand together. So it's begun. Boom -bee -boom Let's go. Oh, and Ellie, of course, is in there. Um, he's undeterred. Okay. Looks like it's not our Give first Give me Lisa the card. <laughs> Give her the card. Oh, right back in the saddle with eight, nine yeah. suited as five. Landon Tice was the pre-flop raiser. A five-way affair, but they both blinds along for the card. ride, and the flop is King Jack Eight Rainbow. Yep. 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 Elezra to with check. top pair. Measured and ready. I played a cash game with Ellie in the studio. About two years ago. Fires 1,300. He and I won one pot between us in the first, like, two hours, remember? Richardson releases. Well, looks, yeah, like, you, that looks like you guys are both two for two. <laughs> yeah, you, guys you, guys are, you guys are two for two right now. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone else is gone. Do you remember when, uh, do you remember when uh, JRB called off 100 oh my God. 15,000 with ace check off suit? He's. And I had aces? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It was close, Landon. Yeah. But you have two to know two they, is they announced three he's, more hands. They are, hold on, let me tell the story. Sorry. They announced three more hands. <laughs> Quiet now. And it goes, uh, he straddles, and it goes uh, call, 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 call. It's the yeah. second to last okay. hand or something. And yeah, I look at good. aces, and I'm like, <laughs> I can't raise enough to get everybody out, so I smooth called. And then it got to him in the big blind, and he made it 6,000 more. Got him. Nobody called. Oh. No, I played it. 6,000 really to 115. Yeah. I just moved all in. I said, ah, <laughs> I'm only in 10K. I'm up 100. Now, Landon, 000. Phil was sitting here. <laughs> JRB, and I was sitting to JRB next to him, and uh, I move in, he takes seven minutes. And he had his hand in the muck twice. Yep. Like, was ready to yeah. fold it twice. I think, he, I think he saw some relief in my eyes when he was ready to fold, because I was just relieved that the seven minutes was over. And he took that as weakness. If you haven't seen the hand Let's they're describing, find it said, and watch it. He said, I, something he knows about, the guy. doesn't want him to turn over eight, nine. No, <laughs> Alan knows the guy. He said, what would would do at this spot? Eddie Ting, he said. Yeah, what would, what would Ting? Eddie Ting would do at this I'm point? I'm channeling my inner Eddie Ting. <laughs> That's what he said. What, what do you do? <laughs> Eddie Ting is a big gambler from the East Coast. I don't think he's folding then. Tell me, getting sandwiched by Emma Z. No, Eddie Ting wouldn't call in this spot. No. I made him, I took some insurance after flying. I was in 10K and there was 230,000 in the pot. Yeah. I have, was a, good I have a funny insurance story. King that nine deuce was you. a flop, so I remember that. He had, what do you have? He had ace jack, he had ace aces. Jack. So it's almost as you bad guys, as you can get. You were playing televised Nick. high stakes game. Mucks the king queen, Brandon and the ace five goes down too. Yep. And take it, Emma. This, this story's got a good ending for you, Phil. It's not going to sound like it, but it does. <laughs> so he said to let you know you, beforehand. You, you take forever to get insurance. And you end up getting it from Brandon. And you insured it was 36 to 8. And then the card ends up coming, whatever the card comes, is a chop. And you say, no insurance paid, it's a chop. But that's not the price you quoted. You quoted it as if there were 36 to 8. And so I saw it when I was re-watching this stuff um, like three months ago. And I, Brandon and I follow each other on Twitter. And I DM Brandon. I was like, I think Helmuth owes you 10000 <laughs> And he said, he goes, I know exactly what you're talking about. He goes, the next day, Phil walked up to me at the casino and said, I think I owe you 10000 that you guys had misdone it, and you paid him. He said in the so real time, he didn't even realize it. And no then you came to him the next day and paid him. <laughs> a noble individual. Yeah. I am famous for, I am famous for, like, when there's a dispute in the poker world. Uh, and then sometimes I've been screwed a lot, you know? But if I get screwed by somebody, like, it's a bet I won, but they insist they won. Sometimes I just pay the 5000 and just mark it in my book, never dealing with this person again. You got me, but from a karma point of view, you probably never beat me another pot anyway. So, I mean, yeah. and I'm like, this way my reputation can be, be beyond perfect, you know, and what, what is that worth? How many know? pages do you have in that book? What? How many pages? He has five book? books. No, I'm joking. No, that book. Which book? The book you put the person The notebook. In. Uh, I mean, you know, a couple. You scared me there. Back to the poker. 
That's Schubert fun. opened with and Ace, and 10, scared. suited. Got three bet by Alezra and Emma. You know the movie Bronx Tale. <laughs> Four bet. <laughs> no, I don't. Her Ace Jack suited really? in bad shape. Yeah. Oh, well, there's a great, in, in a Bronx Tale, there's a great After line Ellie. where a guy oh, yeah. chasing decides to hang in there. Hit me. And 20, the old, 15, 15. 20 bucks, yeah. whatever. And yeah. the, the board, old not guy you. says, <laughs> do you like the guy? It's like, no. Ragged Danny flop. Is. He's like, okay. Cost you twenty dollars to never have to deal with him ever again. Exactly. I have a list of those people. Too. Right. That is just it's. it's a great there's movie. a list of people that come it's up to me. A lot of life lessons. I'll loan them two or three hundred, and I have lists of. But then they. But yeah, then I never. These guys could have all gotten me for five thousand a year later. Like the eight three game. Right? <laughs> we are playing. <laughs> are we playing the eight three game? When Philip over, we? we are not playing. I'm approving the game. The eight no. three game. <clears throat> Wait, wait, wait. The, uh, I pulled the fill out. Lock, and if check. you can unlock the door, yeah. she's out. Of oh, course you check. It's not special. You know. <laughs> no, that's the fill out will do it always <laughs> without it. Uh, right. You know? You need a, Ellie, new, a new metric. Check yeah. called the sure. thousand and promptly binks a I queen. I think you regret checking now on that turn. No, then I bet. <laughs> you can't go. <laughs> but I, I honestly I, think. That's mean you're checking, right? It doesn't mean anything. I'm just <laughs> oh, okay. talking to you. I think like you deeply regret <laughs> your check. Wow. So good. You read my soul, right? <laughs> I'm so scared. I no. the board. <laughs> no second no, barrel I wouldn't out go of that Emma. Far. <laughs> but it's an interesting one. You should have checked dark again. What would Landon do in this spot? <laughs> he would <laughs> always bet. What yeah. do we have? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. I see the shadow. <laughs> she, I she see can the shadow. shadow. Green shadow. And yeah, the reflection. I have to wait three months for that? Yes. <laughs> two yeah. queens. Two queens in my hand. I don't know if it's two I ain't queens. saying a soul. I ain't telling a soul. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got good secrets right here. Those, yeah. Those if guys. you bluff me, I'm going to haunt you on Twitter in three months. <laughs> <laughs> So half the table knows what happened there. I said. In the end. Yep. I hate this already. <laughs> Zimovich made the right Welcome call. To your life. <laughs> Alan can call my hand. Poker After Dark is brought to you by Roman. Simple, straightforward, the way healthcare should be. Visit GetRoman.com to learn more. Manscaped. Don't gamble with your grooming tools. Visit Manscaped.com today for the best in men's grooming. And Poker Go. Get in the game at PokerGo.com. Before the break, Emma Zimovich and Ellie Alezra had such a good time playing a pot together, you might not have noticed that Alezra scooped up nearly 10 grand. Yeah. And the watches go up. Well, the first round I was paying 25K each, now I'm more like paying 50K. And the next company that'll go public, I'll Big probably watch. just buy 100K watches because. Sounds you know, like I got. Sorry. I mean, if you get 10 million out of a deal, then you better. <laughs> to me, like now, of course, the CEO himself made 200 Alan. million. Who's the sniper now? Alan, but am I? Is this? Am I wrong for saying those high-quality watches hold their value pretty well? They actually do. The market's. Insane. They do, mine doubled, right? You just watch them double. Yeah. yeah. Woo! It's just sitting in my, in my, somewhere in. It's sitting somewhere in my it house. Double. He doesn't even wear them. Yeah. He's buying them to match. I don't even wear them. It's true. So Alan watch limped guy. in with so. King Jack suited. I started. Lezra with the two queens has a beautiful flop for his purposes as Alan is going to be trapped in the you like top pair. To me. Does that mean it comes back the other you way? You might win it, yeah. yeah. All right. I might be ahead right now. A humble watch collector. $1,100 bet and call, and now Lezra barrels again. This time 2600 Nice. <laughs> that was a good grab. I don't know if you can be a humble watch collector. <laughs> yeah, I you can nah, be. I mean, you just don't talk about it very much. Just like Alan alone. calls again. Need some help. Right. You just collect thing. watches yeah. in general. Yeah. Not yeah. there. You can say like this Order was straight on the board, board, however. And there you're a humble. Yeah. And Alezra is still barreling. Humbly. You just don't show Humbly. Over those queens. <laughs> Downsized to 2K. He did. Wow. My God, this is scary. What's, this, what's the phrase? The dog does <laughs> long. He just told me <laughs> to turn over right. queens. He knew it's my hand. Three the streets of value. He it's, know what you have, and he's still all in I thought he was going to show. I thought he was going to Had a feeling eight. it might have been queens. You have to be polite on TV. Yeah. Oh. How about the dog Wednesday? Got Tuesday. Tuesday. Eli, yes. Wednesday. <laughs> Wednesday. When I when I raised you and you went all in and I said you have a flush, I'm you dead. I called. Well, it was awful. The dealer said you want to go once or twice. You can do it infinite. Doesn't matter. He wins. He wins all of them. I was not dead. 
<laughs> like He's queen no, suited okay. for Landon, no, no, no. clearly, who's been receiving tutelage from I our partner in the booth on many occasions, you, uh, Nick Schulman. I don't think you lose that much to me. No, no. Jack nine five, because I'm yeah. gonna I'm gonna raise the flop, and immediately you're gonna be like, fill this queen. First hand you played. No, second what hand. you did to me in the last first hand I saw. The first hand you saw? Yeah. Well, the, well, the first I one was everyone called. Straight. This is like the third you hand. Have 80, I saw the one everyone called. Yeah. That, that didn't well. count. And, Richardson and he, and defending with set. seven deuce. Flops you bottom pair against he top just, pair. He just checked. He lost 12,000 only. 12,000 only. He flop is set and I turned a gotcha. I made a gotcha straight yeah. on the turn. Uh -huh. And I thought I'm going to make so much money. And in the river he just showed me and he floated. Richardson. Oh, you folded on the river? Peels the for 250. Doesn't improve. <laughs> One of the best laydowns of the it's, year. It's. For me. I just. Uh, I flopped a I set. He called a big bet to hit a belly buster. Hit. Yeah. And only only belly buster hit. So I'm sitting on my set. How much? And he got. And I something yeah, was wrong. Yeah, I'm like both deep 80. I'm like I know he made it straight. This is brutal. So then I folded on the river. But I also said out loud that everybody on the planet's going to be mad at me. All the kids would have snapped it, right? Everyone will call. It's How much was your river bet? Nine, three nine. He flopped Eleven three nine. Alan took me forever. called eight hundred no, on the turn, and now he comes out barreling yeah. after Landon improves <laughs> to aces and queens. But I think I won three hundred that those two days shooting. Yum yum. Actually, and Tice the last ice makes it fifty five hundred. Not buying the idea that he was yeah. up against King Sorry. at ten. No, it's true. If Warden, every high stakes poker after dark for the last six years, I've won. It's only game. money. Crazy. Especially when you're the ripe old age of 22, well, as Landon is. Like 29 out of Spent a couple of years and then in the panhandle. Poker. Got one. And I just won Tallahassee, quietly. Florida State. To me like before like before <laughs> dropping <laughs> out, he's got over a quarter million in career <laughs> tournament <laughs> earnings. And has a 20,000 hand heads up match coming up. Yeah. Which is mildly aggravating because I've been there for 200, 400 yeah. no limit against Bill Perkins. Oh. Alezra. Min raising on yet another occasion. That's the straddle is not on. Oh. Worked out well for him last time. Is All the time. What's, <laughs> what's worth 200? <laughs> Jason Marcia is the first one I ever seen tournament. I play a lot of tournament that he was only doubling the big blind. Oh really? Yeah. And then I, I love poker. And then he cut up after that, you know. I mean, yeah. I'm looking at you. I didn't. I'm not even glancing at him. You already got him figured out. Yeah, I already know. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how much to make it. Yeah. But you're going to call me, and you might have me beat. You got two so. people that are definitely calling you. I called. Oh. <laughs> oh, two people were definitely calling you. Pretty sure, Ellie, you were folding. So. <laughs> it looked like he wasn't going to do that. <laughs> but Alan, oh, might, to be Alan that might have the best hand and might call me both. Choosing to flat. Now he effectively has second 400. pair on the queen 7-4 cool. board and leads right out. Fortunately for him, not one but two players have a seven. The trouble is Richardson has a diamond draw to go with his. Twelve. Maybe twelve. Only because Philly said I had the best hand. And you believe. It's like I'm not even here. <laughs> I don't remember what I have. But I have <laughs> They're just leaving so you out of it. Oh, I mean, you know, see, they know. Harder <laughs> than I am. Four don't worry about it. I mean, it's like, they're just trying to help me. I'm sitting right liver? next to Philly. He's like, I know what Ellie yeah. has. I'm worried Nick about it. Bro, you, do, now I know, do you want us to talk about how you called 100 out of the small blind and we're supposed to look at you? What? No. Huh? No, of you course. Can you, we, we, I mean, you can talk about it. You were out. It's not no disrespect, no. but you, you called were, 100 uh, from the big blind. I got you. So <laughs> I had to I had to read two people in this hand. You I already knew, Irrele right? Were irrelevant. <laughs> See, now right. this is a hand that 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 I was going to raise with that everybody else on the planet raises with. But you said I already had the better hand. I was I'll take the under on everybody else on Somewhere. the planet. The ace jack of diamond? I do not have ace jack of diamond. <laughs> Woo. I'll take the under on everybody else at this table. <laughs> <laughs> Okay to play poker like that. Phil, Phil said he read my hand. I know he didn't have me beat when he led into this spot. But he did say I have the best hand. You know I didn't have you beat? Yeah. Is that what you said? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I really it's hate amazing. when Tom Duan takes so much time. <laughs> Tonight I think about what was Tom Duan. Hang on, I missed a few colors in here, Tom. Yeah. Well, maybe I didn't have you beat. That's too much. <laughs> When I'm thinking, it's not for TV time like Phil. <laughs> Don't yell at me. Eventually, uh, Ellie <laughs> makes the call for the extra 800. Piss me off. <laughs> Put on my headphones. 2200. <laughs> wow. 2200. Alan barrels again. This time, 2200. Could you beat, could you beat two eights, Ellie? No. No. 
Did you beat three sevens? <laughs> you got lucky in his. Wow. Do you have seven? He doesn't. I, I was worried you had nine. Do you have three sevens? No. Yeah. Wow. Or eight. Oh, that's a double victory for Allen. He beats Ellie out of the pot and makes Phil think he made a good laydown. Spoiler, Phil, you didn't. So oh, what's the works. smallest stakes one, that the Chinese one, one, would? Oh, I can play quarter. I can play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, but if it's me, it's like five grand. <laughs> <laughs> that game against Utah, a guy was hung over from gambling all night. Oh, I have the flu. They food poisoned me. I was up all night gambling. They did it. <laughs> they did it. All my oh. stories, all of these legendary <laughs> stories are just lies. Yeah. This is what I'm learning today. It's yeah, Landon. <laughs> Come on. There's yeah, also but, no but Santa don't, Claus. Don't try to destroy the image. I mean, Easter Bunny's the, not if real. If Ellie said he has the flu, he has, he has the, the flu. flu. He has the flu. <laughs> oh my Bullshit. God, you live in such a beautiful world. Zymovich facing a three bet out of Melissa. <laughs> Lighting it. Right. Look at me now. I'm going oh. to do the same thing. Don't judge me, though. Don't judge me. Don't ever judge me. Don't Flops judge me. top pair. Very small seabed. Silence of the killer. <laughs> not, not nice. Both girls look Silence. at my hands. I can lose on both of them <laughs> and try to look at the poker face. <laughs> Emma calls and picks up the nut flush draw on the turn as Melissa binks the king. She doesn't fire another barrel. Emma checks back and now makes aces up. Schubert keeping it clean by checking the river. She will be facing a bet here, though. Can you can you talk somebody something? <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just watching. <laughs> Over bet. What's that? Three thousand. Uh, I think less. Twenty-four. Twenty-five. Call. Oh, and Melissa call. says call. Well done by Emma. Ooh. Recognized that there would be some oh. polarity behind that figure. <laughs> the old it's why so much more. reflex. Oh, 25. 25. You are and right. Melissa pays off. Let's do this. Thank you. You mm -hmm. gift. Is there a river gift? Did you do any? Were you able to do any in-person gambling? Play like live poker? At a casino when you were 18? Yeah, so when I was 18, I played. Uh, First travel or not? In Florida, Native you mean. American Reservation? Right, that's like what I Seminole Hard Rock. Yep, is yeah, that that's what I thought. It's legal? Yeah, you're yeah. 18. So oh, that's, really? I went to school in Syracuse, and there's a place called Turning Stone. Oh. Okay. Like, it's legendary 30 place. minutes from. Northern, uh, Northern New York, right? Yeah, yeah there's yeah, like I, 30 I minutes there, yeah. from Syracuse campus, 40 minutes, and it was 18 and up. And so it was, so I got to college, and you could. Because they, you could gamble there. Can you so drink? Four players. No, or you just can't, gamble. You, they, they do sell wow. drinks, but you have to be 21 to drink. Um, wow. Schubert checks. picks up three callers um, after opening the 300 like with ace, ten of clubs. Like Flops top game, pair, right? but she's up against bottom play, like, set. You have to play like Case four. Poker, like poker. Given Richardson variants. had bottom pair, and he's got a flush draw. There will be some sparks here. She fires 800. Emma with the easy fold. The Dreamy development yeah, chips behind oh, in front a of Nick. Of purple. Okay, so yes. So <laughs> eight hundreds becoming two thousand. Do you have any whites hiding behind your stack? No, uh, no. I got them back here for if I get felted, but they're not in play yet. I'm unlucky. I have um, none back here. That's a lie. I saw you. You bought in for fifty thousand. I saw it. <laughs> I can no. give you some, Alan. I got you. <laughs> no. No. I am. Um, I didn't buy in for fifty, but the rack runneth empty. <clears throat> See that look on Melissa's face. The cold call from Nick is cause for concern. Let alone the raise from Alan. 
she gonna do? Just 2k behind. I guess. I didn't. Mm. I just now realized. Mm. Landon, we know. What? G Gigi Holland. Poker is Galfon? Ooh, no. Schubert. Oh, so yeah. once. Galfon's one. Says all oh, in. Yeah. Of course I know. That does not open up for a raise, does it? Uh, 32 would open up. So no, so, so the no. answer is no. It's 150 short of opening up for a raise. Alan verifying that his call here will not <laughs> allow Landon, <laughs> uh, Nick rather, Alan says, so sick. to re-raise behind him, but <laughs> oh boy. just me? the inquiry. <laughs> you, what? That's Leave the girl alone! Did you, get, did you get your tip money back Hold at on, least? That's your fault. You should have made be. it 1900 That's Yeah, you're the one. It's all his on range. you. Yeah, oh, wah, 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 wah. Wah. I'm not that smart. Wah, wah. Yeah. 20, what is it? You didn't 3, think about it? 3,000. It was something. You know? I need to hold something you know? in my 50. head. I wish you just folded them, though. Oh, Imagine. <laughs> and that's for me, I, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not, I'm not same, feeling same, same rule. I'm not feeling same great about Come on, else. <laughs> be positive. Positive. Over 10K great. in the main oh, pot, and it is really complete. Don't, don't give tells. Relax. <laughs> Turn is clean for Nick. But he decides to check. Alan checks back, misses on the river, and poor so Melissa probably thinks aces sense. and tens have got to be so great annoying. here. Oh. The old Alan used to hate those. At least Boom. one out of three. Yeah. Instead, she looks at wow, Melissa good check. pocket so fours. To see the I know, me too. I actually thought yeah. I was good there. And the first bullet so many. is gone. Nice meeting you, Annie. Nice meeting you. I'm glad there wasn't an extra 150 in that pot. Well, I would have got Melissa stacked. decides I ran too. she's had enough. Off. You had big uh -huh. spades. Welcome back to Poker After Dark, where it's time to get to know Emma Zimovich a little better. She spoke with our Veronica Brill earlier tonight. You are having a lot of fun in this game. Ellie knocked over your chips. Is this typical of a cash game for you? More and more, yes, actually. Uh, I'm just having fun and playing. Anyone you want to stack? Oh my god. Do I have to have just one? No, just <laughs> give us the I'm here for my blood. list. Give us the no, list. Um, yeah, all my friends are telling me just stack fill and slow roll him. I have like a list of duties, so I have a lot of to, to stack do. fill number yeah. one. <laughs> Well, Emma, I think many of us are rooting for you to do that as soon as possible. Helmuth limping the two tens. Richardson with ace jack decides to shoot it to 1,200. What was she playing, Alan? Lesra caught in the crossfire on the button. What you gonna do? My instincts say raise, but I think I'm probably gonna end up just calling you. So we have the bonus of getting Ellie in there too. God, my instincts are screaming raise though. Screaming. Well, I guess this is Phil Helmius. I mean, how else would I play the <laughs> hand? Listen to your heart. Listen to your heart. Yeah. Get in there, Ellie. I'll take some support. <laughs> you know, chop it up. You guys want to chop? <laughs> <laughs> How much no, is? Alan and I want to gamble. We didn't come here to chop. He's 10 loser. About to be even. 15. <laughs> Have some faith. 7 4 deuce, a total air ball for Ace Jack. 1500. See, that's 1500. <laughs> Call. Help me. Flats. Alan has six outs to improve. Deuce pairs on the turn, and Richardson promptly comes out firing. Man. About to be 17? No, more. 20. What? I mean, you know I have a pair at least 10s, right? At least. Well, you should know <laughs> that. The rest, of, the rest of you know that. That's why I win every day. So yeah, I have at least 10. No, I know you don't have jacks. Man, I mean, what the f is going on here? The last cash game I shot, they picked up tens and eights all day. Alan's crazy enough where he's just like, he doesn't know. We have ace, king of spades, huh? I turn to flush draw. 
I do not have ace, king, or spades. Ace, queen, or spades. I do not have any spades. There's <laughs> no spades? <laughs> I don't know if that's committed. I think it's just no two spades. I have no spades. No. <laughs> he just checked. So you, you want confirmation? <laughs> your last card gave me your money. <laughs> you can give me some of your money. <laughs> And Richardson. Bill, I want to see some blood. No Bluff space. Salmuth. You want verification? I'll let Ellie look. I don't need, I don't need verification. I don't need your games. No, no space. I want you to show me a bluff so that show I can pick bluff. you off in 10 minutes. Please show, show it. the bluff. Show it. Please. I can't show a bluff. Okay. Uh, All right. Until he's lying. Well, maybe you have nines when you're just dead. <laughs> maybe. No. I, I had, think he has um, two I jacks. had tens beat. I think he had two jacks. Two red jacks. No way. He doesn't bet that much with jacks. Two red jacks. One and one. What, one right? One red. One red. Okay. One black. Mother Why did they do this? Oh, yeah. I should have known one had to be black because you had to Why did they do to face. me? <laughs> you would have known. Are they doing it to you, Phil, or, or are you doing it to yourself? One pair and two pair. All I play is That's sets. a good fold. <laughs> Over Sometimes you got to give all the money away with one pair. No shot of you have tens. <laughs> no, she, no shot. He just has like what? jack high. His radar cannot <laughs> be that good. Jack. What did you say? He, he said no tens. shot, you have tens. I, had, I told you I had at least tens. You think I'd lie to you? Well, if you had queens, you're not folding, and I know you didn't have jacks. I had tens. <laughs> what do you feel okay, like? You so? think I'm going to lie on the stream? I never lie on the stream. I believe. Ever. You didn't say you had. You just said I, I know said I, I had at least tens. tens. Yeah, I had at least tens. All right. I Don't limped in. What do you What do you want me to do? Like, you, everybody plays so bad. I thought I'd trap Ellie with whatever he had, like the Jack Nine suited. Fourteen hundred. You know he's not folding. He did not have. I, gotta, I don't know how to get. To get it. <laughs> no, 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 but, but that's I what it is. Nine that's suited. I don't want to throw. I can't win all the money unless uh, unless I get multi win. By the end of the night. Tens pop up again. I don't this know how time to do it for Nick. I'm just gonna guess. <laughs> <laughs> you put in too much. Yeah. That's you put in too much. Right. I put in too much. Yeah. Gets three bet. Well, you don't think I can fold tens? I folded. I, I folded. I, I folded top set against him when when a belly Hanks buster straight hit last year. And won three hundred thousand. What do you think I'm gonna do? Tice in the mix with king eight suited and flops gin here. Twenty two. Good jacks. <laughs> At least one. Twenty two hundred dollars c bet. Yeah. From Nick. Called by Landon and you don't want to say, okay, I'm not going to tell you next time. I always tell my hands. I'm always honest with people. But do you want to, You want to play that game lie. with me? I'm not going to lie. Look okay. of concern on Nick's face. Any of my hands. I will not tell you. What is your thing. question, sir? I said, did you have jacks? The answer is no. Oh, you did bluff me. Wow. <laughs> Good bluff. I did not bluff you either. He knows what's coming. <laughs> After the five pairs, so both players check. Now so the deuce easy. of diamonds on the river. I just didn't think you'd Landed. give me the money. I thought you're smart enough to avoid me, but I you're not. I just said I didn't bluff you. Checks Going for the Nick sneak. Promptly rolls what over the tens. That's a it's in second not flush. What, what didn't even this? think about trying what to bluff. What is this? These are diamonds. Are you happy now? I've always been happy. I want to be sad. Are you happier? Happier. I'm sure Landon wanted more from Nick with that flush against the over pair, but he'll take it and we'll take a quick break. Stay close. Before the break, Alan Richardson bluffed Phil Helmuth off an over pair and the poker brat is still steaming. Are you still pissed that he bluffed you, your hand? You think Are you kidding him? me? Yeah. You don't think I'll be locked into every micro like move that he makes the rest of the day? You don't think I'll be completely him locked in? Now. I just love it. I love poker. Tell him it wasn't a bluff. I love poker. I breathe poker. I do everything with poker. <clears throat> 300. I have a poker wife. I have a poker that's wife, a yeah. That's, that's some True dedication to the game. Yeah, that's commitment. Yeah. That is... You talk uh -oh. to him? Yes. <laughs> he said, let me talk to Nick. I said, I don't know Nick. <laughs> and then he said, Nick's right. OK, I said, OK, Nick's yeah. Right. He thinks he's right trapping here. on the button, having flatted with these two tens. And he's got a bone to pick with Richardson, who he is all but certain tried to bluff him in that pot where he folded his two tens. 
Now Alezra in the small what three the to exactly fourteen fifty. Get a what the f out of you. <laughs> I mean, what the some f things are worth more than money, you know. This is f***ing outrageous. Well, if you raise the button, I wouldn't be raising hair. <laughs> I mean, I can't help. By the well, way, I, I know I, Phil is not calling, so. All right, so now I got to figure out how much that you're not calling. I know Phil. Is <laughs> <laughs> what a game! <laughs> All right, so that's one I don't have to worry about. Get a room. <laughs> I'm gonna make it um, 5,000 more. You showed him. <laughs> you showed him. <laughs> that will be all his stack. I switch, Phil. What the f? What do you think I have? I don't know. I didn't see the beginning of the hand. I didn't not eight. Well, I'm just curious. What no, do you these... think he has? I'm not supposed to say. Yeah. All right. Well, well he asked you what you think he has. I'm not gonna show my hand. Okay. It doesn't say matter. I'm all in. Yeah, that's what I think. All in? Kings and aces. Yeah. I knew it. You had Jack. What's a deal with oh, no. those again? But Two I knew Ellie had kings. Oh, you knew, yeah, yeah, you knew I have a kings. I said it out loud. Check the tape. I said kings and aces. I, I said it on the tape. Check the tape. By the way, he's not going to lie. I Obviously. got clubs. Let's go. <laughs> and these people Club. don't understand. The minute Ellie raised, I put him on kings. Cold, cold deck here. Diamonds. And the diamonds are covered. I had the ten of diamonds too. Do believe the players are running it twice. Wow. Ooh, oh, what a waste. Gross. waste. Turn what left. Waste. Ellie drawing dead, and he burns one of those kings that he needs on the river. Ten jack queen to the Here comes a second board. <coughs> Ten. Very uphill climb. Sixteen. Stop. I don't even have that much. Stop. Stop. And the turn leaves Ellie with one out to he chop. Lost it either. Not there. Oh, this is mine too. Okay. You chop it, Phil. No, I'm not gonna put one more. Seventy-five. I'm not gonna get my money. Ninety-five. You chop me, Phil. <laughs> Fourteen. Fifteen. And there's Phil blowing a gasket after Al oh, yeah, 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 said re-raise. Yeah, yeah. Hadn't even that. come up with a number yeah. yet. Everybody else knows that I only raise the flop once every like hundred times. If you're gonna re-raise in that I spot, straddle. it's yummy. What though. if I was ahead? It's even better. Well, then I'm screwed. If it's, if it's yummy when I'm behind and it's better than yummy when I'm ahead. It's okay, Nick. You, All I you, can do is you, tie. It's okay, Nick. I would understand if you don't believe me or don't understand. And therefore, you can, take, you can See, say now, that stuff. That's now, fine. Now, now we're bordering on condescension. It's unnecessary. Well, I'm the best Hold'em player in the world. I, so you, you want to you you say, you want to discuss Hold'em with me. What do you want me to do? Just say you're right? No, no, I just, I didn't, I didn't, I'll be honest, you're right, I don't understand. If don't you want to have discussions like this, me, I don't mind, but. Uh, okay, but, uh, but, I just no. didn't, what I didn't understand was how it's good for you. What I'm, I'm, what I'm basically saying is this, I haven't had anybody four bet me on a flop uh, in like two years. Well, so, right, that was only well, I, Now I have you on my right. And it's still the case. I didn't four bet you, I three bet you. <laughs> but the, I checked, the. <laughs> if you had jacks, that's good for me. That's really awesome. good for me. That's great. That's all I'm saying. All I said that I didn't understand was how it could be good for you 1, if I'm 000. behind and even better for you if I'm ahead. That's what I said I didn't understand. Zymovich C bets on but the button. I'm probably way leveled here, so. Okay. Top pair, no, top I kicker. Your point. Gets what flatted by the club draw. If you, you want to say, it can't be good for you this way and it can't be good for you this way. I, I understand what you're saying. We're done. She's got trips now. I'm also tilted. I'm very tilted right now. I can't f***ing wait. Which I love because now I'm going to just... Ugh, I'm paying such close attention. <laughs> I like this. 2000. Don't think too much. 5,800. Okay. <laughs> Don't think too much. <laughs> Nick getting aggressive as he check raises mm -hmm. Emma's 2K bet to 5,800. She's just got so much hand here. 
<laughs> he was in the straddle to start this pot. Might he have pocket deuces or fives? What he's got here is eight high. Ten ish. You can't help people. You can't whisper <laughs> answers. I wasn't looking at your stats. You can't just oh, whisper. Ten six, right? <laughs> ten ish. Oh, there's a. That's fine. That's fine. I that's have fine. greens. No, no, no. That's fine. Eleven, right? You no, no, won no, them totally all. Fine. No, no, no. It's totally fine. I mean, I'm trying to speed the game up, Emma. Yeah. Eight thousand. Eight thousand is a bet. Eight thousand dollar river bet I have gets a good hand. Oh, you snap called you by yeah. Emma. I tried to warn you. No, you're right. He tried to whisper answers. I wasn't whispering. <laughs> I was pretty vocal. And that was a big blow. One came one to Nick Wright stack. Welcome back to Las Vegas, and welcome back to more Poker After Dark. If I didn't have a chip on my shoulder to just prove to people that I'm great, right? And so then that manifests itself in a negative way too. Sometimes, right? Of course. Hmm. Now They're I'm all, arguing. Now I'm arguing. That one's with, been opened. Now I'm There's now I'm in here arguing right? with Nick and. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I am gonna get Alan. That's that's a no brainer. That's a given, right? <laughs> Come on, Nick. Give me money. Yeah. Uh, give me action. No, you said it right. <laughs> You said it. That was Freudian slip, but you said it right. Yeah. Alan will try to stay away from me, but <laughs> you said it right. I'm gonna trap him so hard. I'm not gonna play a hand against you. How do you, trap <laughs> you I feel trap like people are avoiding some with. people. Like there's, there's some, some dynamics there's some for some sure. Avoiding okay, going. Yeah. There's I like some denial. Watch. There's some denial. I limped in with tens. Watch. There's some refusal going on here. Refusal. I limped in with queens. I limped in with these refusal. hands for you. Um, I'm <laughs> people behind me. I'm gonna stay away. Nick's got a little refusel on here. his hands stay here. Away. He's <laughs> got to be in the flop to begin with. With you, yeah, he's How's I'm he gonna gonna be fold? in a bad when way. When I limp with Ace King, he'll just open fold. I might. Yeah, <laughs> seen it no, before. No fear of me. No fear of me. <laughs> I'm not gonna let you trap me on TV. She made a 300 <laughs> in the really hijack. Fired 400 on never. the flop. Now 1200 <laughs> on the they turn. They don't really believe it, Lana. They don't believe it. Believe what? I've been watching you and playing with you for, oh, what, 15 years? They don't believe, they don't quite understand. They think that they're, they think they're safe. For now. They don't quite understand. And then zip, zip, zip. The deck has a funny way of working itself out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Looks like a safe run out for Emma. It, though, Can't you know? blame her for thinking she can cobble some value out of this river. But, she fires so I've been told. You're young, you'll see. <laughs> you'll see. <laughs> I think you have ace queen, which has me beat by one card. That's so bad news <laughs> for one of us. <laughs> oh my God, I hate my life. <laughs> Phil, I'm gonna become you now, I think. This is all it takes? Yeah, that, that's, that's something terrible. Emma uh. is being <laughs> totally honest and in yeah, the process is scrambling all. Nick's yeah, read. <laughs> Somebody's gonna Steve get annoyed. Somebody's fold. gonna get annoyed by that, and that it's like. I'm not good enough to fall. You're good. You have to. I, I'm. I'm no annoyed. You raised ten. Ace ten. Yeah. Yeah, of course. She basically <laughs> told you she had ace ten. Well, that, right, but I thought it was an thought, act. Yeah. I mean. Oh, it could have been also. Sometimes right, it's like it everything. Absolutely been an act. Like sometimes I, it's everything, but <laughs> nice end. Thanks. She knew you were the, calling, honestly, no matter what. There was not enough question. money in the pot. I'm glad I put the money for you in the pot. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> a, a, a kind, a a kind offering, yeah. Nice charity case. I, I thought I heard you say, uh, Nick, give me money. I appreciate that. Well, a sick cooler didn't stop Emma Zymovich from being all laughs, as she's a good sport. Nick Wright taking down the pot. Poker After Dark is brought to you by Roman. Simple, straightforward, the way healthcare should be. Visit GetRoman.com to learn more. Manscaped. Don't gamble with your grooming tools. Visit Manscaped.com today for the best in men's grooming. And Poker Go. Get in the game at PokerGo.com. Not 100%. Yeah. Tell me it's with pocket tens again here. <laughs> 
limped in, and Landon Tice out of the straddle with King-10 suited has decided he wants to thin the field. Is this going to be the one time <laughs> where Phil says, let's go? Started the hand with 4K. I wish I had a I mean, what the hell is going on here? This is the goofiest. <laughs> I mean, I'm in such a weird spot here. What do I have, 4K? He's always in a weird spot. I mean, I can't just call. It's a weird spot. Or you've eliminated one of the options. You got Could just left. call. Hmm. Oh. Back to three. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I wonder, like, if what a game. the cards aren't being dealt, just like, uh, like, like, there's like a cosmic, comical. That's that, yeah, there. That. Guys in the camera, please focus right on and feel. <laughs> you got Director Ellie. Call and now. Ellie, Ellie, what? The Man, you I want said it, I, I want this hand so bad to I want to call him. That's what I want. <laughs> yeah. You told me hand. I talk too much, so I put my <laughs> headphones on for you and say a word for ten <laughs> minutes. I left. I love it. I, I don't I, talk for the I want for you, to you talk. Ellie. I talk because <laughs> because I have a hand that you would have already called with, and the rest of the planet would have already called with. The man just stuck me for <laughs> thirty-five thousand dollars. I want to play. What That's that all you? what I want to do. I want to play. All right. This. I'm can I get it? it? Can I get it? Yeah, you can have the hand. Let me have the you hand. You can have it. You can have it. <laughs> okay, go ahead. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> one time Daniel. Take the 200 from him also. In the well, dark, time, it appears that Landon yeah, he gets the 200. Yeah, has said it's okay no. One time for Daniel Ellie, played my discards Ellie, it's to take Phil's You agreed to this. One time hand. Daniel played my discards and he won 40,000 with my discards and I lost in the game. And that's a true story. Paul, I just want I, to make sure I that know, it's fine I know with what you guys. Does, but I just want to verify. No, I don't, I don't want to, what? to see. No, you can't look at right. Is it fine what I'm what doing? It's already too weird. I don't want after just, I, I lose it's a good. win. I'm good? I'm good with Go. it. I'm <laughs> really wonder How what? can I say no? Yeah. Go. Oh. Well, if you say you no, like it ten? weakens your hand. So. I, oh, you have that I got the 11, yeah. <laughs> OK. This is awesome. Boom! Oh. I don't even know what I have. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Landon binks the king. He needed desperately. I wonder which music well. helmet is going to listen after that hand, though. Please be two threes. Oh, did you see? No, I didn't. Oh, my God. Uh, how much? I'm only. I'm dying. Aces. Oh. Aces? No. Kings? No. Ten. Wow, he took, he did it to me. Oh my God! He did it to me. <laughs> I thought that I thought he somehow thinks he's the one that's incurred the harm here. Me. They don't know I limp with this. Disaster for Ellie. Yeah. Oh, wow. And that no card else. means okay. Elezra is drawing dead. Yes, yes. I guess this worked out pretty well. No, you know or what? Look out. <laughs> if I look at the hand before the flap, if you let me have the hand, I move all in. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. Then. And then you. And don't now fall. I'm upset on myself, so I. Yeah, yeah but you play. bought the hand. You could have moved it. I didn't. I didn't think about it. Uh -huh. I go play mix, boys, girls. Good luck. See you. Good playing with you, Ellie. Good playing with you. Next time on Poker After Dark. I fold. Oh. The end of the session packs quite a punch. He has some chance he has ace king. Now you're speaking my language. As Phil and Emma keep firing. Can I take a healthy walk? And Landon Tice says he's here to stay. I hit pretty big, that's why I bet big. <laughs> and my brain is like, ooh. Tonight on Poker After Dark. <laughs> the end of the session brings out the fireworks. Can I have my hand back out of the muck, please? Nobody can resist showing their bluffs. I don't believe that at all. And Emma Zimovich can't resist getting physical. Can I take a healthy walk? <laughs> and my brain is like, ooh. Well, you could say the action has been stratospheric so far on this explosive cash game session. Welcome to Poker After Dark, where tonight we'll bring to a close this 5100 No Limit Hold'em game that has already seen the exit 
for two felted players. Melissa Schubert and Elia Lezra hit the floor. And now five remain, including the brat himself, Bill Helmuth. But it was poker brat. My, my book on how to play poker. I got lucky. Somebody held it up on ESPN and said, I won 17,500. And then it hit the list. It's crazy. It, the, I, don't, I don't mean to be rude with this question. This is just an yeah. author question. Did you, you probably shouldn't ask Did it. you have to buy a bunch of them? I bought zero. On? Yeah. Good for you. They didn't start doing that until 2015, I think, right? Or I don't, lately. I, yeah, I mean, I know it's recent. Is that I bought zero. You can yeah. auto get on if you're a rich guy. And you, yeah. I'm not saying you, but. No, you're 100% right. Yeah. You yeah. can just auto. I heard a lot about a, that. It's to, I, I even know the price. It's 200, $250,000 to five hundred. $250,000, right? and your book will be guaranteed be to be on the best, on the best seller list. list. Yeah, because. What? Yeah, it, it, you just it, buy it, because you have to sell it's ten like thousand. You have to sell actually. ten thousand copies like, in the, the first, first week, yeah, yeah, and course. you're going to be on there. Yeah, but so a but lot you of have these to guys, spend two hundred and fifty thousand of your own money. Yeah. Yeah, but still, it's like a really yeah. Uh, and then you're a New York Times best-selling author in the whole nine. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you love those purple. Well, this chips. is a I'm paying you in black, though. Best-selling flop here. Okay. If you're Zimovich, she's got middle pair. I might, I might step up, up though. They got the draw. I can, I understand that. Nick with top pair, Jack kicker. Big now that part, dreaded right? ace rolls back, off though. on the it's turn. Fire. It's just I, I just hold on for dear life. It's just unbridled aggression. It's, how else are you going to go to the hospital? <laughs> See, you don't ever, there, there it is. Two Do purple. you want purple or yellows? Can I, I I'll you tell you exactly choose. the mixture. A mixture, Two no. purples, three blacks, two greens. Two purples. Three blacks. Three greens? I said two, but three's okay. Let's 75, yeah. Okay. You thought you needed to call him, huh? <laughs> that had a beautiful hand. <laughs> that doesn't $1, mean $1,200 dollar barrel on the turn. I honestly had a really beautiful hand. Beautiful Not the flop. first time Nick has beautiful been in the turn. lead and been turn forced to fold. Irrelevant. I'm supposed, to raise, <laughs> I'm supposed to raise you on the flop. I played it bad. But I'm scared of you, so. <laughs> I'm, in bad shape. I'm in bad shape. I'm scared of you, but I'm going to tell you what to bet <laughs> all the colors. Oh, there was I thought there was a chance it could induce a check. Small chance. I was about to, but then you I don't gave me that. no choice. I don't believe that at all. You were never about to check. Uh, you, I can be surprisingly... Passive. <laughs> Passive. Surprisingly. Yeah. Whew. Six of diamonds not coming. Miss Boozy. I fold. <laughs> Once again, he's initiated. I mean, uh, I'm just going to open fold. Well, not anymore. Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> Raised it up pre. 250. Checks back on the flop promptly. Now Binks a six on the turn. Helmuth, who had the 10, leads for 250. 425. With your 10 ball there, huh? <sighs> King Queen, no good. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> With another heart on the air. It's tough, and you knew the six of diamonds. <laughs> Not Alan's first time playing a poker pot. Phil, do you ever show hands? Properly lays down the loser. Uh, winners, baby. Yeah, I never show. I yeah, never no, show bluffs. Like, you That's never show anything. For. Never. You, ne you can go back and you can look forever, and you rarely see me show bluff. Why? Because he doesn't bluff. No, I don't want people. To no, see he what bluffs I look. all the time. I don't want people at the table to, to see what I look like when I'm bluffing. Did, did I have you beat? Right. How? Even if you, even if you oh. see me. I'm not this generation. I'm old. Even if you see me, even if you see me not put a chip in with tens five times, it doesn't matter. It's like yeah. did 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 He has some chance. He has ace king. I love that now you're speaking my language. I'm upset. I'm, I, that time my instinct said move in. And you didn't follow it. You talked me out of it. It was good. Yeah. Did I? Yeah, yeah. Quite the smooth talker. I wasn't worried about you, by sure the way. I'm I thought you were. Set. Can you just repeat that louder? I thought five. you had like yeah. ace jack. I said fives on I thought you had yeah. ace jack off. Like and you just flop in the set here. Raise. Get away. I'm trying. I'm trying to do stuff here. I'm trying. Well, I'm in your way. <laughs> For sure, I flop a set this half. You can't flop a set when you just wish to flop a set. What? What? What'd you say? 
language barrier. Keep playing. It's a wall. No, keep talking. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Last time I knew I was supposed to move in, and now, okay. now, now, now you, really you want information. Okay. Yeah, talk. Um, which, wait. There's I don't know which personality. I'm just talking mm. about stuff. Just clicking. And you in want my to head. give 10 to one? I flop a set? No. Why would you give? No. <laughs> stop. <laughs> just stop. Just stop. Oh, you don't no. have cards. I'm sorry. Check to fill. Four way once more. Zimovich fans on the jack eye board. He doesn't have a set. Mm. Again, he a round lied. of checks. Now that third spade giving Emma the nut flush draw. 650. And Helmuth barrels the sevens. Fold. Threes. Yeah, we know. Nine, ten. Eight. <clears throat> Jacks. <clears throat> I don't like to play with versus Phil now because he exactly knows what I have. He knows what I have. I think I know what you have. He really knows. Like, he definitely knows. 550. That's it's small. Board My generation doesn't fold to 550. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> we're we're 5,000. <laughs> oh, my God. Am I gifting you chips? <laughs> I'm not gifting chips to Phil Elmia. This, not, this is not going to happen that way. <laughs> Wait. Can I take a healthy walk? A healthy walk? A uh, thinking walk. I think it's yeah, I don't mind. With the chips. A healthy walk. Am I giving? Oops, camera. Wow. It's the natural. Okay. You feel any better Hi, about Ace King after <laughs> a lap? Clocking yourself now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm not gifting you 500. Cucaracha. <laughs> Cucaracha. I can beat Ace Queen, but not Eights. I don't, I have Ace King, but that's, yeah. I gifted you five. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Payday. <laughs> Thank you. I actually had you on, you had the King of Spades, right? Ace of Spades. Oh, oh, spades. oh I misread it. I thought, I thought it was uh, like. Oh my God. Ace Queen with the Queen of Spades, but you had Ace. I should have walked the, the, walked the other way around. Poker After Dark is brought to you by Roman. Simple, straightforward, the way healthcare should be. Visit GetRoman.com to learn more. Manscaped. Don't gamble with your grooming tools. Visit Manscaped.com today for the best in men's grooming. And Poker Go. Get in the game at PokerGo.com. Before the break, Emma Zimovich did a lap around the table before calling Phil down with ace high, and she is still regretting that payoff. I mean... Emma's outside talking about how she called 550. <laughs> to you. She's like upset. And then I said to her, I said, do you realize that if I would have bluffed you, they would have killed you? And you had to call 550. They, she's who's like, yeah. meeting? No, meeting. everybody that watches the show, yeah. they see her full ace king for 550, they're going to attack her on the internet. Yeah. <laughs> but if she calls, they're like, of course she had to call. No. You don't want to... He's trying to make me feel good about yes. it. <gasps> That's correct. Oh my god. Stop. Stop talking to me. Well, I used We're to. We're done. Treat. <laughs> we try this thing He's called. making a very good case for it. Yes, I made the perfect case. I don't think like that. Oh, by the way, Lannon, did you did you have some of my <laughs> three blitz? <laughs> show me, show me, show me. Got the blue one. Yay! Or what's the blue one say? Fire up. It's Thrive Ice. Victory Bliss is a better like name, right? It, it is. Yeah, Thrive Ice is a pretty cool name. Wow. I'll give you a cooler name. I keep that right Jack there. nine trade with a couple of hearts in a three-way affair where Tice was the pre-flop raiser. Backdoor hearts and a gut shot straight draw. Like C bets 300. To. <clears throat> I 
I misread the coin flip in my head. Yeah. <laughs> you wanted one thing, yeah. but the, the coin said a different. Coin said pensive, a different but mm -hmm. makes the call. And Binky. Ten gives her the nuts. Tice with second pair and a gutty still. Checks back. Now the hearts come in. Sixteen fifty out there. And that'll cost twelve hundred to look Emma up here. I wish I had something to tell. To what? To tell. To say. My brain is like, ooh. It's a good word. Make noise, so that's a really good word. Oh, it's yeah, a really good word. Too good. Nonsense. So good. I'm so lucky. She may have had a belly buster there. So lucky. Wow. Sick read a by five Phil. Of the cards. Good fold so by Tice. So lucky. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. What? Nonsensical. Sure. Nonsensical. Speaking of drinking, you know that scotch that night that you, uh, with Dan Smith, that we drank? That was the most beautiful scotch ever in my life. I'm trying to figure mm. what what it was though. I don't remember. Oh, I didn't look yet. But I'm going to tell you that one later because no. since I'm since I'm a since I'm an owner of King Sami Mezcal, the best mezcal ever created <laughs> by mankind. Okay, let's talk later. Beep beep oh beep. Oh my god, is that the live 200? And this is 6. I'm going to call. Wow. Call. <laughs> wow. What a reaction, huh? Wow. I told you my brain is dead. I'm brain dead. <laughs> no. I'm done. Alan wanted to re-raise, but he's... Hopefully I don't pump too much. I thought we were getting a re-raise right Phil there. Phil sees it all. Wow. Can I be part of something? I bet there's some good hands this time out there. Nick's ace in tough That's shape here against Richardson's ace jack and Landon in turn. Dominated by Alan. 998, two clubs. Two pair for Phil. Way out in front. I'm going to bet 850. 850. 850 gets through two and now three opponents. 850 on an eight. No bluff, boys. No bluff. No bluff. But I think <laughs> this couldn't be happening today. Could, did I get even? Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo! I'm in 10. Oh, 10. I never read by. I'm still home with. No, I, I know what I thought. <laughs> you started with 20. I started with 10. <clears throat> I can't help it if I defold. How much do you have now? I can't even now. I can't help it if I defold 10s three times before the flop. I didn't come here to do that, but. I think but you will. Even. But I will do that. I'll straddle. I'll do whatever I think is right. And one time I folded them badly, and then all hell broke loose. That was a fun Somebody one. took care of them. That was just the weirdest hand. Is Ellie mad at me? I didn't ask him. No, I, I, I'm, I, I'm curious what you're, I, I, I told my wife I can't imagine he's mad at me, maybe Definitely 5%. Definitely not mad at you if you want my opinion. Yeah, I, like how could he be mad at me? Like yeah. maybe he felt like I took too long to, 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 to play the tens, fine. Yeah. But can he's you not, be mad at me over that? I don't think there's a chance. I think, I think he's irritated with himself. But I mean, that's what he said. He said, now I'm annoyed with myself, I'm going to go for the mix. Like, yeah. I just think he's mad at how the whole thing went down. I wouldn't be surprised if he's 5% mad at me, though. No, he's but he should, I don't think he should be. He's 0%. Queens for Landon on the button. Human. Got himself a customer check. in Phil. I've never seen somebody so happy to call. Well, because I have folded so many times and you raised the button, it's nice to pick up some okay. Mm -hmm. Tell me you flops a piece. Check. 200. Mm -hmm. Raise two. Raise the 400. Oh. Check. Phil. Min check raises. Landon with top set, just in love with that. Check call of 500. No Check. improvement on the end. Four to a straight on the board now. Phil checks once more. 2,500 out there. And 
Landon will pursue some value. Uh. Phil doesn't make a meal of the muck. That one didn't feel, it didn't, felt like I was unlucky somehow that hand. Did it? Mm -hmm. I feel, I'm the one that feels quite unlucky to be honest. Mm. <laughs> Thought I was getting way more than that after seeing a, a flop raise. It's really hard to beat. It's hard me. to beat. It's hard really to raise. hard to beat me for money in these, in these especially these televised games. It's hard really to. Hard. Uh, <laughs> and then when you start over, and then when you when you bet eight thousand on the river with me with Queen Jack, you're, Ace Queen. You own, with Ace Queen. You're you're, <laughs> you're never gonna get called worse than that ever. Crazy. Against me. King Queen's a good hand though. Yeah, but have you seen me in the last <laughs> ten years call King off my money with King Queen with a Queen on board without it being good? Never. Once. Never is a long time in ten years. Yeah, it feels like feels like never, but I'm just not a uh, bad timing here for Nick Wright I mean, on the button with Ace Queen suited. Before the flop, do you think I'm gonna Properly three betting. Tice is A six, but Emma wakes up with the medicine. In comes the fourth scoop. No, it, you know. I'm not saying that Atlanta didn't make a nice bet. Oh. Oh, with the ace queen? It was a nice bet, yeah. I'm just saying. I'm you want to say nice call too, or just nice bet? I'm a little goofy. <laughs> Had a good hand. I, I hit pretty big, so I bet big. <laughs> Nick will have the benefit of position if he chooses to proceed, but. Cost him 1500 of his 11K to do so and. Good fold. <laughs> Good disciplined fold there. Stop being scared. Give me action. It's been quite the session for Landon Tice. First, he sent Ellie out the door in a bizarre pot that saw Elezra purchase Helmuth's mucked hand. And since then, Landon has continued to impress. Let's gain some insight on the youngster by listening into his interview with Veronica Brill. You're 22. 22 now, not You're 21. You're 22. No more 21. Feels uh, old. So tell old. me, what is the key to your success so early in life? Uh, <laughs> so early. I mean, I've had a lot of good friends, and I just really love the game. Spent a lot of time just playing and talking strategy with friends and spending thousands of hours in my room just learning and talking with the best people I had access to. And being able to just sort of enjoy it, you know? Obsessed, some would say. And then you got it. Well, Ty seems to have a good <laughs> head on his shoulders and enough maturity <laughs> that I expect we'll see him quite a bit in the future. Off your right for that. <laughs> yeah, Emma can sing it for us. Oh my God, I hate country. Chris is just making us listen to country and I can't. You and I have about the same amount. I will call you. Oh. I can't get, get a single. She's definitely <laughs> probably raising. How do you know everything? I'm scared. I don't even know what to do. If you were going to raise, you should go with your gut. <laughs> Nick trying to encourage Emma to three bet despite the fact that his 10 8 can't take the pressure. <laughs> she complies. 1,400 more for Nick to call. Does he feel like gambling? No. Did you set a trap? Yeah, I did. I know. I have a really big hand, actually. Big freaking hand. <laughs> yep. Mm hmm. I have like a medium rare, but I love medium rare. Like medium rare, you're in a lot. Medium trouble. rare hand. Medi no, but medium rare is like the best cooking, best Ag way to cook. Agree. Food, right? Agree. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Come take a look, take a look. Emma being completely honest about her holding. I mean, the guy's race, I mean, he's literally laced like 30 times. I finally called 400. <laughs> Alarm bells should be going off. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> and you, I probably just have you dominated. You probably have ace 10 suited. You're just dead. Dead. You probably have like ace jack, just dead. You like to give me the money though, right? 
Go take a Maybe thing. I'm Go walk around to, first. Probably. Yeah, yeah. Just take yeah, a walk. Maybe that's a new passion that I <laughs> that you've created. If she walks around, then I have put her on Ace King immediately. Stop! I don't want to. <laughs> I'm not listening. Can I have your headphones? <laughs> no. <laughs> you cannot. <laughs> My instincts tell me you don't have it. <clears throat> They also told me you didn't have it. I still folded. Because <laughs> I figure you're going to give it to me later, right? We're running out of laters, though. And a lot of the trouble with this situation <laughs> from <laughs> Phil is, once it you is talk about your hand that much, I had what are you going to do, I flat? I had, a, that, I had napkins. Look at this. <laughs> Show it. I like napkins. I confess. I confess. <laughs> so dead. I confess. I confess. Man, so bad against me. For <laughs> Emma. These crazy kids. He's reveling in Don't worry. Phil's Don't worry. ace jack fold. You, you win. <laughs>
Just limp fold, <laughs> that's all I do. No, no. Folding tens before the flop. You really dodged in. a spot, by the way, with tens. Huh? You dodged a spot with the tens versus Landon. Not really, I was That's upset. Right. Actually, I'm upset that I just didn't move in before the flop. Yeah, but still. Yeah, you would have punished him so much. Nick good. picks up no, three callers as Helmut sits the 9-4 tray rainbow him. board out. I punish him in the way I think. Like, I get, I punish him by making him get it in bad. But he was so folding, makes me probably. Feel good. probably right, C in. bets the gutter no, in a real way. Find a way to Six, call seven. Because I, I took so long, right? Ah, the math. You know, <laughs> stays curious. Uh, math, I don't take the maths in those spots, but they do. high, actually the best know. hand here, and look at this I card. Math is strong. Numbers. Oh, I love While math. Nick has hit the six <laughs> to make the best hand. I'm just hand. not sure that I Richardson the same math as that picks I up with their same math. The straight math and flush draws. He was hunting that. equity when he floated the flop. Doesn't input the same variable. Won't be able to check variable. raise it as Nick checks variables. back. Variables. I do you like some work. variables. He doesn't input the same variable after breaking yeah. the end. He doesn't input the same variables. Allen fires 2,500. I was right, yeah. Ace check, but then that <laughs> was good. I think I'm ahead. I really do think I'm ahead. This would be bad if I'm wrong. I don't have a very good hand. Four, five, five, Alan's five. speech play is impeccable in these spots, but he is be silent. Possibilities and comes up with the right call. Wow, I was gonna win a big one, I guess. How can you beat the amateurs? They race with the six, seven offsuit under the gun. Well, that's a little deflating for Richardson. You just fold the jack nine suited. Then you realize, Nick wait. It gives him a shrug. Are you winning now or losing? I'm stuck a little. I'm still, I'm still, you know, it's going to be a long mountain to climb back from my 14,000 I bluffed off to her for no reason whatsoever. You had a reason. I had, did have a reason. That's true. You had, I, I you had a good reason. Yeah, I did. it's not like I had, there was, and I just, I thought she had, because you raised 900 pre-flop that hand. So yeah. You're going to be a one one, okay? That's fine. I just, yeah. your point that you would have checked back the second jack if you had an overpair yeah, is, ob like, you made a really good call there. The, thank you, but that's like, I didn't, I, once you said it, I'm like, oh, mm -hmm. clearly. Yeah. And I just was committed to myself. But, I call. Cool. I don't know why I measured it out that way. Like I was here <laughs> Thanks, bro. I checked. Six, seven, 10, and a couple of spades. Very good call. <clears throat> Nick cool. out flopping the two nines. Check. No C bet out of Emma. With a second check in front of her, she can't resist. Understandably 18. bets 800 and gets check pop to 18. Nick Scott moves. Here we go. Check. Check. Emma called the extra Check. thousand, and now Nick defers on the end. Don't let it go. Might she have Don't been able to move him go. off the 10? Take it we'll easy, never know. Take it slow. She checks back, and <laughs> Nick hauls one in. How do you get a 10 there?
Well, what started off dicey for Nick Wright is starting to turn around. He wins a couple of nice pots, and his stack is headed in the right direction. Welcome back to Poker After Dark, where Nick Wright is on a heater. The sports commentator spoke with Veronica Brill earlier tonight. As a sports guy, I want to know what you learned this week playing poker with the biggest names in poker. Oh, uh, there's, like, everybody understands that the pros think of the game on a deeper level. That's obviously true. But that plus the information retention, like the ability to recall not just specific hands, but how people looked and acted and set their chips out in hands people weren't even involved in is like a massive part of it that I knew was a part of it, but I think I maybe underrated how good all of them were at that. Thanks, Veronica. Some pretty insightful observations from a so-called amateur. I don't think we're seeing the last of this guy around the poker table. Heartbreaking fold. Oh boy. Jack Last 10 in a rough way done. against Ace 10. Raise filberated me. It's the problem with playing with amateurs. Raise onto the gun with, what did I have that hand? Six, six seven. seven off. That's what mm -hmm. I thought. <laughs> so now you, you have to, hear, to call six. You just wanted to hear no, him no, say it, huh? Because you think that I think that maybe no, 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 you have but six I also, seven again. No, no, no. But there's a zero percent chance more. that you're just putting 900 in with nothing. No, no, no. There's, I'm zero percent to fold. I have two options here. Okay. <laughs> Music to your ears, huh? Uh, I have a little more than you. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, I know what she would do. I call. <laughs> Nick Sorry. with a little speech play. Yeah, no problem. How about this? Trying Bill to rep something you. much stronger check than what he's got. in the dark behind. Wow. What a. And wow, big somehow thing, both man. players check the flop before it's produced. <laughs> so out wow, comes the look. turn. Wow. Right. Wow. Very fortunate. To hit top pair. I have to look. Yeah, I know. Helmuth with the club check will pleasantly discover the ace is a club. Did you flop a set? I can't give you any more information. <laughs> You've taught us not to lie, and you said you know what I look like when I'm bluffing. I'm at a huge underdog at this. Well, I was a huge underdog before the flop. All right, I'm going to bet 2,100. 2,100? 21 is the bet. Okay. Full I want to fold that, Phil. Pot size bet on the turn, and the jack crumbles under the pressure. Quite a bit of poker being played beyond the borders of the felt right now. That was big discipline. Call. Oh. And then fold I the bomb it for less. <laughs> <laughs> but he folded a seven. If I always earlier, folded now the same leaves. hands in the same spots, there's no way I could just. You could be Phil Helm. I wouldn't be living in these, these the house I live in, and I wouldn't have like, <laughs> I wouldn't have well, all these. You could made it on your your alcohol or a thousand other. <clears throat> Can't wait to bring you. That you have ball. seen me. You have seen me call like a million dollars with bottom pair, right? Like. I've also took 10%, you know, watched you win 120 grand in Chinese in about three hours. <laughs> I'm lucky I won at all the games. A couple of eights staring at two God, over cards I mean, here after raising the button. You see, you froze me, Alan. So I, I was never, I was never going to bluff. Oh, sorry, because I knew you had, because I knew you had Queen's race king. And I was like, all right, I got lucky to even get to a flop. No, it was better for you because if you just call me, I'm going to bluff there on the flop. Nick peeling one off. King of Diamonds working. Alan checks back the turn. 800. 800. Oh, and right. Bluffs it's at so it. It's so funny that you say 800. Did you have pocket eights again? Because I have an eight. Oh, one eight. Pocket eights. <laughs> turn over one of the queens or the aces? Turn over one of them. You can pick which one. No, you just turn over one. There's a seven in there, maybe. No, I said to turn over the queen or the ace. Okay. Yep. Uh -oh. Good blood. <laughs> if looks could kill, come back after the break to see if Nick is still alive. Welcome back to Las Vegas, and welcome back to more Poker After Dark. 
Are you proud of me? Yeah, I'm proud of you. You trapped him, got him to bluff off his money, and then when he hit the miracle, you folded. <laughs> <laughs> that's what that's, is that's what way to play. Classic squirt. What, what I need more. And of you that. did, and and you checked in, in the middle of two, three players, so there's no way he could put you on ace jack. Exactly. So are you proud of me? I learned I a little. I'm proud of you. Yeah, that was a good play. That was that was vi that was very advanced. Very advanced. <laughs> advanced squirmish battles. That's your new book. Gonna be squirmish. Cool. Yeah, dense dense Everyone's steps back. to own in. Are these? Is this, a, is this? This is a multi. This is a. This is a Truxican skirmish right here. I check. Can you say the word again slowly? S skirmish. It's S K I. There's no. You, you're saying squirmish. Worm is okay. a different skirmish. Word. S K I R M I S H. Skirmish. I like skirmish more now. Skirmish. Skirmish is a, like a. It's like it's like a battle. Like. Skirmish. We call it a border skirmish. Is like. Border skirmish. Right. Border. That's like two countries, but rather okay, than like send those, tanks, yeah. say like send you know uh, you know. That's guys to take like four exactly or five shots across the river, without. but nobody gets killed. Yeah. No, it's like no a skirmish. No, right. Okay. Yeah. Rather than That's send a turn border barrel. Border skirmish. Tice checks back his two sixes, skirmishes. which raised the button. Yeah, pre. skirmishes. Skirmishes. You could say border skirmishes. Border skirmishes. Multiple border skirmishes. He fired the C bet of 300 on the flop, which Nick Check called, and now Wright gets after it. If you're calling attention to me. For 700 on the river, and Tice just Is mucks, it? giving him credit for the ace king 10 Is or it better. It was. It was. Was that a buy in? They Second changed. nut low it just for Nick. A running stream of. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Skirmish, skirmish. I don't well. Come on, I haven't won one hand you raised on the button. Lana, is this possible? What? I'm, I'm over on you raising my button. I mean, we're filming on five hours. Him raising your button? Or him raising your big blind from his button? Yeah, you got it right. You're 100% right, Nick. That's how it is sometimes. That's what I meant. You're actually going to book 30 wins in a row today? Yeah, but, I, but, but the problem is that when we filmed uh, high stakes poker, I uh, just one small over three sessions, which means I had a couple of small losing sessions in there. So my record was literally 27 out of 28 times winning with one break even in there. And then, and then. Uh, so you're going to hang on to that like 8K win? That's a it's lot. Gonna be, it's hard to beat me out of a chip anyway. How are you going to beat me out of a chip? In four minutes? It's going to be tough. I'm upset this in hand. Can I have my hand back out of the muck, still please? Still going to be extreme. It's off in four minutes, though. Go ahead, yeah. just deal. If we, but I mean, I would have. Oh, we have to deal. I made a mistake folding that hand. Five minutes, whatever. Nick's got the goods on the button. Oh, what? I don't want. Hmm? I'm so tired. Decides to check back the king high flop after Emma defended her big. Second over card on the turn. Six hundred. Six hundred. Finally on the river, Nick fires. It does have a four. Yeah, I just, I really don't believe that at all. <laughs> You what? I don't believe that at all. Trust your gut, Nick. I basically just have an eight. I don't have an eight, but it's basically what I have. And I just don't believe you. You bet an eight? No, I don't have an okay. eight. But I you have nine? I bet the same as that, okay. and I just don't believe you. It's like I queen five or sevens. I have a four. OK, I have queens. My turn. Good sniff. What a, what a smart play. How did, you, how did you get even in this game? Beautiful. Well played. You can't help yourself, huh? I can, no. <laughs> Well, it was a good bluff by Emma, but an even better call by Nick. More Poker After Dark after this. Poker After Dark is brought to you by Roman. Simple, straightforward, the way healthcare should be. Visit GetRoman.com to learn more. Manscaped. Don't gamble with your grooming tools. Visit Manscaped.com today for the best in men's grooming. And Poker Go. Get in the game at PokerGo.com. I let him win 20 pots in a row. And I ran into you. I don't know, yeah. <laughs> Are you losing? Yeah. Okay, you. That's very, very nice spot for you. Well done. 
Here, one last, I'm gonna trap you one more time on the way out the door. Oh my God. Well, let me have my cards back. <clears throat> on the way out the door. You, you can have your cards me? back. Yeah, I'm gonna trap you one more time. Where, on the flop or pre-flop? Right here. Okay. Well, the She's trapper is about to be the trapee once Tice wakes up with this ace king. Am I in a bad way with king queen suited? To play a big one. Yeah. And confirmed, Tice is ready to go. Oh, man, come on. I fold. I can't waste more than. I got a purple. What? Purple. purple. Let her play the hand, Alan. Jesus. Can exactly he stop her <laughs> from playing the hand. You know, I can't help myself. It's just like, how hard? How hard do you want to try? I just don't want to be in the cage window for half an hour. You just go and cash and order spicy margaritas. That's it. No, I don't mind. I can't get there. Emma, yeah. calls and fans. Hand. Same story for Ace King. I'm a little King. bit pissed off about the last hand because I check raised land and light because I thought and I was you were good. right. And I ran she into had, her. Yeah, she <laughs> but I waited to I waited 20 hands for that. A little more bashful post flop with the $1,500 sizing is Landon. Emma wants to tear one off, despite not having a diamond on board. Now she picks up a gut shot straight draw. Check. We've got ourselves a $9,400 pot. Certainly on the larger side, given how snug check. the action has been here. Both players check the turn. And now Enjoy. Emma has the opportunity, if she wants it, to try to this take this one away from yeah, Landon. <laughs> Feels like had a lot of tough spots, and she's gonna go for it. Thirty-five hundred. Boy, that sizing is kind of right in there. No one likes to get milked. And he sniffs it out. Good. Wow. wow. <laughs> My son. Couldn't help yourself, huh? I have king high. No, of <laughs> course. <laughs> <laughs> I limped in with ace eight suited. Yeah. My son. Yeah. She couldn't help herself. I couldn't catch her, though. <laughs> That's unfair. He has ace hey. king. He has to call. I know. I do. <laughs> Impressive body of work put together by young Landon Tice. <laughs> I wish I Tice. something. A little <laughs> emergency. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Yeah. I couldn't emergency catch you today. king is fine. You know. As he Emma, I couldn't catch you today. I can't complain. I was put a solid queen. punctuation point on his session, and Emma <laughs> queen finishes on a low note, still in the black. No, no, no. But not nearly. Up around that high water mark that she set for herself. Not long ago, Landon ends up the big winner on the session. As we take a look at the stack sizes, brought to you by GG Poker, $24,000 winner. Alan Richardson exited without bearing witness to the last hand carnage, up eight dimes. Emma, modest 2K winner. Nick Wright, basically even, up about 500 bucks. And Phil Helmuth, up about 4K. Next time on Poker After Dark. It's too early to pull out all the gags. A sit and go with a lineup you've got to see to believe. Can I throw a Helmuth Rage? Oh, let's all see right. it. Bottle of water. Yeah. A United States Senator. What up, everybody? A YouTube superstar. That would be crazy. A chess prodigy. And the man who thinks he's better than all of them. Do you know who I am? Tonight on Poker After Dark. Going look on at, here. Look at that. He's got his hand. Wow. Poker pros. Oh my God. Politicians. Well, the game would work well if you could see the card first. <laughs> and celebrities. 
Let's see what happens. Come together for a common goal. The luck oh, is in my favor. To win all the chips on the table. Oh, man. Godzilla oh. versus King Kong. Yes. Most of the time when we show you the bright lights of Las Vegas and the scenic of the Aria, you come to expect gambling, poker in particular. But tonight we're gonna do things different on Poker After Dark. From inside the Poker Go studio, we bring you our first ever free roll sit and go. And everyone's a winner. And by everyone, I mean the charities for whom these guys are gonna be playing for. We'll get to them in just a moment. Ali Najad in the booth. And Jeff Platt gonna handle the interviews today. Those should be familiar faces. To everyone watching, Phil Hellmuth, the legendary Doyle Brunson, and United States Senator Ted Cruz. Join us, one-time Solicitor General. Ted, a poker enthusiast, has come to test his mettle against not only the poker legends, but how about some chess legends as well? Stanford University graduate Alexandra Botez, a prolific streamer in the space, and more folks responsible for content. Clay Travis, a sports journalist and political commentator, and Graham Steven, a real estate agent and YouTuber, prolific content creator in the personal finance space, sold $130 million worth of real estate over his young career. Has the 31-year-old 5K put up for each player, and it is the top three that will be able to donate to their charities. 20,000 for first place, 10,000 for second, 5,000 for third, and it's a turbo structure, just 15 minute levels. The blinds will be 500 and 1,000 with a 1K big blind ante, and you may notice that we have an empty chair. In seat two, soon to arrive will be none other than YouTuber and poker enthusiast Jimmy Donaldson, better known to those in the YouTube streets as Let's Mr. See, Beast. His flight has been a little delayed, but we will plop a full stack promote, in front promote, of him promote. when he gets here. Sell, sell, sell. So my book positivity, <laughs> which Tony Robbins recommends. Wow. Phil Helmuth. That's for you. Very strong. Opens with ace, queen of clubs to 2,500. raise, I should call you. Yeah. <laughs> well, Be later, 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 later. We'll, we'll get a little later in the match, and then you Graham can. defends his big blind. 3,000. 3,000. King high does not beat ace high. But nevertheless. Feels like you have a flush drop. He wants to take a peek at the turn on this board. He can't even board. look at you. He doesn't yeah. want you to read him. The ace smacks Helmuth, who already had the best hand. $1,000. And a very modest 1K bet. 3,000. Raised at 3,000. Which Helmuth is not buying any of. All right, I'm gonna we have our you. first failed bluff of the evening. I had it. Oof. That's close. Not that good, though. <laughs> I had it. I had it. Helmuth, perhaps the best known face in poker, and certainly among the top three, if not number one. It's too early to pull out all the gags, but I'm hungry. I want a pop tart. Well, Ted Cruz, that smile suggests he is a man. Well that is more a kid in a candy store than anything else right Chess now. Chess has a lot of needling. Well too, educated. When you play for fun. Sorry. Alumnus of both Princeton when you play and Harvard. Yeah, serves on the speech. committee on foreign relations. Yeah, sponsorships a thing in chess? Yeah, or at least for, for content. Because um, the only other sponsorships only go to top players. But now people don't monetize their chess, but they monetize their viewers. So. How did the Netflix show change things for you? Um, had to be like pretty huge, right? Yeah, it, it basically started bringing attention from all of the main stream media Save sources, so that was really helpful. Did you watch The Queen's Gambit, Doyle? Huh? Did you watch The Queen's Gambit? No. This chess show was amazing. You saw it? Yeah, there? I saw it. I yeah, you guys great. saw it? Yeah, it's great. It was amazing. How realistic was it? I mean, it's... It was the most accurate depiction of chess in TV that I've ever seen before. Wow. Um, there are obviously some things that miss. Like, for example, if you're going to be the best in the world, you would have had to technically start a little bit younger. Um, they didn't really show her losing or drawing much. It just seemed like a straight shot to the top, yeah. and the best players still struggle with that. And then they didn't really show all of the things about sexism in chess, but it was kind of nice, because you don't want to show about being a female chess player. It's like, no, she just happens to be female. So that was cool. 
Where did you grow up? In Canada. Although I was I was born in, in the U.S., but then my parents moved to Canada pretty Where in Canada? Uh, in Vancouver. Oh, cool. She finally got the God's country. Yeah. yeah. It's a great town, Vancouver. I mean, I'm when you said you came from Canada, I was oh. like, well, she's not a lot of needle people. But. <laughs> We do, we just say, oh, were... sorry about it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> say sorry and with a Canadian, how do you say it? Sorry. 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 You gotta throw a W in there. I'm really sorry. Raised to 3,000. About. Sorry about it. Sorry it's about It's a little it. Minnesota, too. You've got the, yeah. the, so you went Texas to Canada, I went Canada to Texas. So yeah, there you there. go. Come on, yeah. Call. Botez. From the small blind. Looking to punish we had him Graham's limp, and again he has a king high, but it turns into a pair of nines. Yep. I was pulling. Well, thank you. Life is long. Botez flops a pair of sevens, but decides to check it. And Graham checks back. It's really nice to have the biggest legend in poker history at the table, Mr. Doyle Brunson, the man, the myth, the legend. An old old man now. Alexandra bet the turn with the worst hand. Graham promptly called, and now she binks trip like sevens, takes another peek just to make sure she's as that. lucky as she <laughs> thinks she is. And now with 14,000 in there, she's got to come up with a number. And the sizing, just 3,000. So I have to show both. All right, chess girl. Gets Ooh, wow, three sevens with an ace. Big hand alert. Wow, they both had hands. How's the pot so small? Yeah, I guess that's a good point. You worry about your pots, Thank Phil. You. So a nice haul there for the 25-year-old chess professional and chess girl. streamer, a five-time. I like chess girl. Canadian yeah, National that's... Girls Champion. People always nickname me Chess Girl. Even though I remember being 15 and thinking, oh God, I hope there's gonna be something in my life I'm as good at that is not chess. I hope this is not the one skill I'm the best at. And then it really traumatized me and then I decided to focus more on school <laughs> than chess. It's good not to play too many hands, so, you know. Yeah. I don't know what your coach has taught you. But... This is actually my first game. Really, ever? <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, no, but I am. Well done, I, well done. I, I, I believed you for, I, I didn't believe until I thought about it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I this is a tricky just... one. She's messing, she's already. No, I know, I know. She's already getting in Phil's head. That's, that's she has, right. she has the EQ, try. you can tell. You know she has the IQ, but now she's shown us the EQ. On well, that's what you're famous for, right? You were Who, actually me? able to read people. You don't care about optimized theory. <laughs> <laughs> I care about optimized theory to a point, but. Let's just say, let's just say you raised it, raised it and I re-raised it and you raised it again. Mm -hmm. And I have queens. Yeah. And you move in. The, all, the optima, all the optimal theory says I have to call you, mm -hmm. right? But if I think somehow you have aces and kings, mm -hmm. then I can take a little shortcut. A tail? A reading, oh. uh, a white magic reads shortcut and just fold and the queens up. and save my stack. Interesting. If you can save your stack a couple of times a day, you're going to win a lot more. Botez opened with ace-10. Graham defended his big with ace-jack and is way out in front, but out of position. He checks the king-high rainbow board. Alexandra checks back and <laughs> flashes a I smile as they both stick. pick up wheel yeah, draws. All right, does anybody want a strawberry frosted Pop-Tarts? I'll take one. Thank you. Ted? Sure. <laughs> All right, give it Yeah, you, you can have one of these. Wait, wait, you can't touch it. Give it to the senator first. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like the king, right? Yeah. The, the joys of tasting. Doesn't right. somebody have to poison test it first? Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> See, he found a good use for your book. Yeah, it's exactly the right size to do it. <laughs> pop tart holder. It's a Don't coaster for pop tarts. No, I'm not complimenting it's it. It's a pop tart holder. <laughs> That's what she's good for. Oh my God! In the midst of pop tart distribution, do, Graham bet you know, a thousand you know the on the turn and got called by Alexandra. Now he checks so the river. You know it because of your kids. Great right song. I like that. I love that song. Backdoor clubs and a four liner on board. Chess girl ten. knows that song. Ooh, oh my goodness, a full thousand. pot size bet here Six. from Alexandra. Right. Oh, it's a bluff and a snap call from Graham awesome with the best hand. I do you think I have clovers, but I don't. Oh, bluff. There we go. 
Ace Jack High, what a call. What just happened? Poker After Dark is brought to you by Roman. Simple, straightforward, the way healthcare should be. Visit GetRoman.com to learn more. Manscaped. Don't gamble with your grooming tools. Visit Manscaped.com today for the best in men's grooming. And Poker Go. Get in the game at PokerGo.com. Welcome back to Poker After Dark special charity sit and go headlined by none other than Texas Senator Ted Cruz, who sat down with our Jeff Platt to tell us his poker origin story. Well, Senator, welcome to Poker After Dark. It's great to have you here. What's your what's your poker background like? Fill us in. Well, I, I grew up playing poker. Mm -hmm. My grandmother taught me. Wow. And, and so my parents would drop me off at my grandmother's house. I would play and I'd win and I'd win and I'd win. And when I was eight or nine years old, I had saved up five dollars. Uh, which was 10 weeks allowance because I got 50 cents a week allowance. And so I came and said, Granny, let's play for real money. So we sat down, played for real money. She took every penny from me. <laughs> when my mom came to pick me up, I was crying, tears coming down my face. And, and my grandmother was just <laughs> laughing. You know, she's Irish and Italian and happy to teach her grandson a lesson. Well, let that serve as a warning, folks. Sweet old grandma might just be a card shark. Four-way action for 1K ahead, and Graham certainly could have raised this ace-king suited. It made me nervous. <laughs> it was a look, does she have anything or not? That's like my normal top pair, natural. top kicker, and closes the action with a check Because I do have the something. flop. Botez with the tens and a gut shot straight draw, still not a better, and Helmuth decides it's time to come out swinging. Brunson tagged a five, but he's out of there. Jennifer Tilly did really well yesterday, too. I think she's Phil's a bet player. She really should be a pro, right, Doyle? But not Graham. How much experience does she have? 2000. She plays quite a bit, doesn't she? Yeah, I mean, uh, I did a video on her and uh, saying something about the 10,000 hours. This seems when I turn on TV, she's on there. Nine. Oh. There's a book out there. Do not adjust your screen. For 10,000 hours, you're a master. Yep. Yeah. yeah. yeah the, Malcolm Gladwell's book has a, yep. has a chapter. It's on. taking the pot courtesy of the fact that Graham did not turn his hand over. We'll he folded the winner there. Um, I think one, two, that one is Outliers. Nine. There's outliers. another one, David and Goliath, so I, which are both really one good. 1,000 and then 4,000 four. Well, my guess is that Phil didn't have a whole lot of situations like the one he just encountered right there en route to his 15 World Series of Poker bracelets. Hockey All-Stars and says, do you notice anything about them? And their birth dates right. are all, I think, beginning of February. And I wow. guess the Canadian youth hockey, basically they were, when they were five-year-olds, they were the oldest five-year-olds oh in their league. Yes. And, and his whole th thesis is, it all right. translates, yeah. So they were the best when they were five, they were the best when they were six, so they worked harder, they worked harder, they worked harder, and they rose up. But his thesis was, if you change the birthday cutoff to June, the All-Stars would be a totally different list, which That's is a pretty amazing. wild It's a wild hypothesis. assertion. Yeah, 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 I agree. Well, a lot wild of hypothesis. get held back now, especially in the South, you know, to be able to play older by the for time For football. You're, yeah, for football and other sports, too. I mean, if you're, you know, 18 years old. Four thousand. Yeah. I bet. Well, you're Clay Travis is well situated yeah. to Haley speak on that subject and virtually anything else that's involved in the sports space. The George Washington University and Vanderbilt University graduate, originally from Nashville, Tennessee, found it outkick the coverage. Yeah, it's really taking the advice on your shirt. <laughs> An outspoken commentary site on sports headlines. Meanwhile, Botez. Well, like, this girl's paying attention to everything. <laughs> the logos on the shirts. How can I work that into like? Well done, Playing with well fire. I, I like the, the fist bumps. They give me confidence before you're going to take my money. <laughs> I'm building you up? Yeah, you really are. To I take you down later? Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. okay. You ever do that in chat? Um, only if I'm hustling people. Oh, hustling. Who here? Do you go out and like the 
Central Park and play the guys there? Yeah, yeah. I did a YouTube video actually where I was playing Hustlers, and one of them went viral and got like 16 million views. I think I've seen it. I oh, think yeah. I saw that one. Yeah? Yeah. That was wild. I think I saw that one. And it was filmed on an iPhone. I don't know how that happened. That was pretty it's cool. It's always those videos that end up doing the best. Of he, you never did think. he beat you that game, though? Um, one of the Hustlers beat me one of the games. Yeah, yeah. Because like he's, the king he's a hustler. master, and he, like, he's beaten Grandmasters before. Right, right, right. So he's, but I felt he's like he was the king hustler. Yeah, he is. He is. So you won like. 12 straight. But the, I rematched him, though, and I got him that oh, you time. got him. Yeah. Seven. Oh. $7,000. The chess streets nowhere near as profitable as the poker streets, and there has been a tremendous amount of interest in chess from the highest echelons of poker professionals. And in turn now, we're seeing chess pros diverting some of their focus to poker. Meanwhile, Helmuth is focused on this blimp from Alexandra. On the button, he makes it 7,000 with ace-10. And Clay Travis wants to play some cards. Been waiting the patiently to this point. The only left is uh, Texas City. Really? Yeah. And who, who is that? And, uh, it's nephew, my nephew. nephew. Yeah. Six, seven, nine. Two That's diamonds. The last of the Top pair comes. for Travis. <laughs> Botez with two overs and the 10, gutty. 000. And Helmuth with just the gutty. Should be no good if the eight slid in there. Ah, yeah. Alexandra not looking to play any further after Travis leads for 10K. Yeah. So <laughs> take it down, little. Clay. That's, that's little for my hand, it's true. That's a good hand, too. Good hand. Thanks. The all-time legend came out of retirement to play with us. <laughs> so what made you start playing poker? You said you started when you were a sophomore in college. Yeah. What drew you in at that age to start playing? Well, I'd only played one time in high school. And yep. I came in up from a date, and I happened to see them playing. And I went in and started, and I, they were really bad. <laughs> <laughs> and so you thought you could take advantage of them? So I played all night, yeah. And had you played before, or was that first time you were sitting down at a table? That was the second time I was ever sitting down. How'd you do that night? Do you remember? Oh. I, I played all night long, and I had a track meet the next day. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. So you were playing basketball, you were running track, you yeah. were doing... And poker, too. Yeah, I was yeah. a state champion in the mile, actually. Wow. Yeah, so you oh, wow. had like a four-minute 20, something like that? 18. Oh, wow. That's, yeah, it was good. That's back, hardcore. Back then, it was. Hardcore. Yeah. The only thing is, that was my best time, but it was in the national meet, and I didn't even place. Wow. 408 won it. Wow. What did we The start? world record was 401 at that point. 4,000 the bet. Did, did poker distract at all from the sports? No, not really. Travis looking for back-to-back -back Ws. Some people can do both, I guess. Graham I guess so. doesn't want to peel with the gutty. Helmuth folding. With the ace high and two for two. Welcome back to Poker After Dark, where our charity sit and go has been low key and polite for now. As the blinds go up, the action has moved along with it. Can I get change? Yeah. I'm oh, sorry about that. Picking up the action in a three way limp pot. Ooh, biggest pot so far. Here we go. Helmuth. Got involved with this 6-7 suited. Has himself an open-ender up against top pair, which is what Senator Cruz came out swinging with. It was 60 years ago. For 7,000 wow. on the flop. And yet it is Graham who called the 7K and now having picked up a wheel draw on the turn. The oh, <sighs> comes out swinging with just the two overs and a quick slap of the wrist from the Senator. A little swearing tub. <laughs> Uh, well, those of us who have played a whole lot of poker are looking at this situation here and going, how on earth is this happening? So I have to put in 17K. But think back to the first time you got out there on the felt. And it wasn't on a studio stage I do that, with lights. We see what that next card is. Up against... Established right. champs. You can oh, the game would work well if you could see the card first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> okay. Well, well done. Good raise, Ow. Ted. Good raise. 
Nice. I'm very curious to see what you had. <laughs> He'll never wasn't tell. Enough to make you pay, though. That's a man who knows how to. I want to last. Keep things close to the vest. I remember a, I was filming once, and it got down to Johnny Chan and I, and I was like, "This is going to be some kind of a great heads-up match." We were filming Poker After Dark, and the very first hand, go uh, a little. Very first, you can't make this up. The very first hand, I think, I had Ace Ten, and I raised, and he moved in, and I said, "You can't have it. I have to call. I don't want to call, but I have to. I have him beat, and I called." And he flopped two pair, oh. and I was just like, Johnny, we, we could, this was a five-day show. You, he and I could have played. It could have been two or three days straight. Oh. I bet Race the, to six. Uh, he had king-queen suited. I bet the time to Tom Vaughn moved in on you, and you had two aces in the NBC head. Oh, one. that one hurt. Oh, my God. He, he had two tens, right? Yep, yep, yep. Well, we're, yep. Yeah, that one really hurt, Doyle. Don't go second guessing how sharp Doyle's mind is. He remembers the bad beats that Helmies took. We put in hundreds of big blinds. That was a hand that he had a ten on the turn. Sort of put yeah. Tom Dwan on the map, actually. Meanwhile, Botez raised this pot up after Clay Travis opened in the cutoff with a limp. I'll see the four and raise six. And Clay. Looking to play a little power poker here. He is in horrendous shape. Call. That paired flop might allow him to run a three street bluff through go. these kings. As Alexandra's 4,000 became 10, she calls the extra six, 36,000 in the middle. Now, Clay hits a five. I'll see the 10. And I'll raise 10. 20,000 total. Look at this. Travis looking to play power poker with Botez. <laughs> Led into him for 10,000. The min raised. Not enough to shake uh. the kings. And now what's going to happen on the river? A black queen. Largest pot of the night. Obviously, Alexandra needs to respect the possibility that Clay has a jack. Check. She'll check it. And 10, one last effort to bluff this pot. But is the sizing too small? The answer looks, is yes. Looks and like three jacks, doesn't it? That's what I'm worried about. I see it. Oh, good. Over, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. Somebody got caught with wow. his hand in the cookie jar. Wow. I was sweating the jack. <laughs> yeah, that was a good move. You had me convinced. Yeah, I, I thought yeah. she would buy that I had the jack. I was just too tempted to play these. I, uh. <laughs> you guys have impressed me. I'll yeah. love you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I, wow. that was gutsy, man. He went after it. Which he did. He, he, I, I was gonna see the jack, and I, I thought you would think that I had the jack once you got down to the. I was, I so. was afraid you did, but I thought. Yeah, chess girl was in like she's like, he only bet ten thousand on the river. Yeah, you were, no, doing, he, he you were doing loops on the inside. No, I, I'm I, still gonna. I know, because if you would have raised a lot, I'd be like, oh. Yeah, if oh, it moves sorry, in. Sorry, we're not allowed to swear, are we? Before the break, Alexandra Botez won the biggest pot of the night, picking off a huge three-street bluff from Clay Travis and leaving her as our new chip leader. You have to be, be you. authentic. Well, yeah. Clay Travis Being authentic is entering this pot with a little bit more kit than he did the world. last one. True. Brunson was the opener, made it 8,000 to go. Ace Jack Eight is the flop, and if you're scratching your temple and wondering why on earth Doyle would open raise this hand, well, he won not of, one but you know. two World Series of Poker main event titles with that exact hand, ten deuce off suit. So it is the text dolly. I think I can get away with a little bit more. When you get it. You got to play it. Call. So Phil, you appreciate when I was in high school, I was on a cruise with my parents right before freshman year of college and I was up at the casino playing blackjack. Which cruise? I don't even remember. It was like Caribbean like, or something? Yeah, it was like out of Galveston. It okay. was like a four-day cruise or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
And so I was playing blackjack and my dad, who I'm very close to, but he's a pastor and he, he comes up behind me and he crosses his arms and he harumphs disapprovingly. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, oh, hi dad. And I just sit there playing and I'm 17 and a pretty cocky kid and I'm playing for about 10 minutes. And then my dad with his arms still crossed behind me under his breath, he goes, <laughs> double down. No. I'm like, what? He goes, double down. Look at, hold on. Look Wait, at Doyle. What is going Look on at, here? Look at that. He's got his wow. hand. He was bluffing it off with the tenders because he has to. And he hit the diamond diamond. Wow. Oh Look at that. Oh, my God. That's a fun hit. Bit of a gut punch there for Clay Against Travis, Ace who had King. way the best oh, of it. Man. Now, Doyle, 10 2, you've won diamonds. bracelets with that. Okay. Yeah. I, I almost played. A, I almost played a 10-2 earlier this game <laughs> in honor of you. I almost said, "All right, to hell with it. I'm betting it to see what happens." <laughs> That's a tough break. I didn't okay. appreciate all that action. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you're playing, and your and your father's a pastor, is like this. He's behind me. He's got his arms crossed, and then after about 10 minutes, under his breath, he goes, "Double down." <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> My dad was a poker player and I didn't know it. He was doing the secret games for years. He, was, he did, yeah. yeah. I came home and i never forget, I raised it with a 10-8 oh. and he had a 10-7 and he stayed pat behind me. And I said, how could you call that, Dad? He said, I've been seeing plays like that for 40 years. And that's when I found out that he was playing at the Elks Club. Sweetwater, Texas. So did he teach you, or who taught you to play poker initially? Was it a buddy from college, or? No, I think I just kind of had a knack for it, mm -hmm. I guess. In the jeans, as yeah, we come to find out. Right here. For Doyle Brunson. Three-way limp pot. Checked around on the 10-7-8 rainbow board, and the nine on the turn, giving Helmy at the jack high straight. Second round to checks in front of her, and Botez figures, why not? 10,000. And that is a very big bet with just ace high. 10 into 12. Helmuth shoots her a grin and that's a big down bet heads there. up. Young lady. Hands up. I'll check. 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 Alexandra. I have a jack high straight. Ends up with some nice. showdown value six? after hitting the no. ace. All right. <laughs> oh, you tried to bluff, huh? I did try to bluff. Oh, but you hit an ace, so you, had, so you gave up bluffing. Yeah, I gave up bluffing there. But your bluff would not have worked, so. Exactly. The ace saved you some money. Uh, so so I recently so heard the term knit. Is that offensive in poker or <laughs> is it okay? No, actual question, not true. Okay, okay. Doyle, what is the term? Is knit offensive to you when they call you a knit? I've never have been called that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back inside the Poker After Dark suite where the sit and go is still six handed. But don't fear, everyone. I promise Mr. Beast is on the way. Now, are you kids poker players? Uh, no, uh, one is uh, one is at uh, uh, Citibank, and the other one um, has been, you know, he's smarter than my wife and I, and his EQ is higher than my wife and I, and he's just decided to drop out right near the end of college and like, kind of go do his thing. And we were like, uh, what can I say? I mean, I was like, cool, and I'm sure we'll end up somewhere. Um, but. Call. But I respect it. I mean, his, his goal is to become radically authentic, Call. which I think is amazing. My kids are older than anybody here. Call. Uh, apparently, no one respects my big blind. <laughs> 56. We got a family game. Look, oh, wow. how often do you see a family this pot in this <laughs> studio? Very rare, very rare. So friendly. Two King Jacks and Ace 10, a couple of sixes, and somehow a King and a Jack roll off on this board. Top two for both Helmuth and Brunson. 5,000. And yet it is Graham who decides with bottom pair and some backdoor straight potential to come out betting. The good senator knows when it's time to throw away an eight with four players left to act behind him. Now Botez has the gut shot straight draw. 32,000. Oh, jeez. Aggression, yeah. Aggression. And this is a meaty raise from Phil Helmuth. And Doyle's played with him long enough to know Phil doesn't usually put 
this kind of action in unless he's got a really strong hand. I'm all in. And nevertheless, oh. Doyle is going to oh. move I all in. Godzilla no. versus King yes. Kong. I, I'm going to, I probably <laughs> should, but I just. <laughs> now. I mean, I think it's no bad for the that. show, but I have time. I, I really want to say. I, I want, yeah. Call. Call. I can't, no. Oof, I can't beat that. I'm tied. No! Oh, wow. <laughs> spade, spade! No way. You're right. Spade, spade. <laughs> oh, there you go. I'm not even Doyle really with an old spade. school slow roll. It's harmless. Yes. Although, you know, Doyle's put some bad beats on me in some of these shows. <laughs> the not book gonna happen one. this time. Go ahead. Yeah, he's, he's the only person pulling two. <clears throat> A scoop. Should a spade roll off, he will draw to it, but no. Yes. I, have the nuts. Yes. I have the nuts. Chase Hold King <laughs> on the turn gives them both kings full, and they'll carve it up. All right, that was strong. That was, uh, that, that yeah. was, that was fun. I was like, I, I almost okay. felt sorry for Doyle. I'm like, he has to have jack eight suited or king eight suited here. Because he would have raced with eights. Wow. And for the non-pros, we all knew, get the hell out of the yeah. way. Yeah. Yeah. That was just run away. I've wow. never felt better about a fold before. <laughs> <laughs> when Doyle and I pile yeah. it in, <laughs> you better watch out. Weird to get adrenaline from a fold, but I did yeah, there. Yeah, I, <laughs> I loved it when you said two pair. I thought you were going to, you were going to show like kings and eights. I don't, I don't think I call. Oh, I'm little. How much is it? Uh, you know, I make three. those weird folds. Three and three, yes. Yeah. You might have got me with King Eight. Thank you. Yeah. How does that? We both make the nuts. Mm. Yeah, King Eight would have been a painful hand to have there. Yes, yes, it would have really hurt. Because you might have ended up the same place, and that have yep. been all she wrote. Lines are at 1,500 and 3,000. I feel like I feel like I have a line coming here. Let's see what Chess Girl does here. Well, Ted's not been playing a lot of hands. Good. He's playing this yeah, one. That's assumption number one. <laughs> that's your mind's working. It's running through assumptions. Yeah. So is, so is 7-2 a good hand? <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Helmy's limped in for the three, and Ted made it 13-5 from the small blind. So Alexandra lets go in the big. It's oh. back over to So Phil. he's talking. So he's talking. So he definitely is very strong here. Um, I'm supposed to say... Do you know who I am? <laughs> but I don't think it works against Senator Cruz. So. Maybe not. Yeah. Nice hand. I had king ton of clubs, by the way. Yeah, well. Very, very smart. Don't show good it. Good for you. <laughs> Although, if you do show and you have it, it builds up credibility for me. Uh, we were a coin flip. Flippy. You must have about nine burgers, though. Wow. Bingo. Welcome back to Poker After Dark, where the first all-in of the night ended in a chop involving Ted Cruz, who actually has got some poker chops. All right, so what's the biggest difference between a, a pro and, say, someone who plays a regular family game? I mean, it, it, how are the games fundamentally different? Second tour of duty for um, kings with both you know, when, you're, when you're in a family, family game setting, there's not as much raising before the flop. Mm -hmm. Pros... Call. Pros almost always. No, I, I'm the exception. You saw me just call before the flop with king How jack suited and king ten suited because I'm trying to trap people. But all the other pros, almost a vast majority, are raising okay. and they're betting every flop and they're very aggressive. And you just don't see that in you know friendly games. You don't see that in family games as much. Um, it's like a completely different mindset, you know. Six thousand. Six thousand. And of all the folks you played with, who's like blown you away and said, all right, that's a hell of a player. Can't be anyone at this table. So. <laughs> <laughs> Doyle's been amazing forever. Wow. All right, we'll take him off the uh, list. Check. Um, 
Kings full now on the turn you know, for Alexander. Salibi She's is, back in front. Is, is kind of a, a great player. Daniel Negreanu. Um, Eric Seidel just won his ninth world championship mm -hmm. recently, uh, which is pretty cool. So a lot of the legends, and there's some really great young players too. Um, Love the sizing out of Botez, just 10K. Are the greats, are they a lot better at math? Are Steven Shidwick. Steven Shidwick is a, is a great young player that everybody respects. I mean, what are the differentiating skills? I mean, you obviously have to be able to do the numbers and, and know, know where you stand, but then there's the people aspect of it. It's interesting. Let's see the sand. Oh, the door's going to call. Mm. Wow, king's full. Wow. <laughs> Doyle had an ace. What? Wow. Nice hand. Nice hand. Great. Great. I, this nice is the second time I got kinks today. The luck oh, is God. in my favor. Yeah. Yeah, but you, you won chips on them, too. Played it well. Thank yeah. you. You played both of them well. Oh, I'll remember it. There we go. Yeah. What up, everybody? Jimmy! Hey. Sorry about Welcome. that. If it bothers you. No, uh, I like it. Okay. Welcome, Welcome to the party, here. Mr. Hey. Beast. Welcome. Yeah, How's it going? nice to meet you. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you. All right. Southwest decided to delay my flight by two hours. So Oof. here we are. Oh no. Glad you could make it. You made it. I'm uh, already nervous, Jimmy. <laughs> I got it. The 23 year old. All in first hand. Exactly. North Carolinian uh, is, by all means, a YouTube there, you super know, there are, star. It's actually, there are a lot of, a lot of the. Uh, Been at it for almost 10 like, years. Like Ted's children and, and my nieces and nephews. I said you're here, and there's uh -huh. a lot of people that are like. Excited. It's okay, so hundred and three and a half no. million combined <laughs> subscribers, <laughs> and fourteen and a half billion <laughs> views across the six YouTube channels one. that he manages. Yeah, exactly. Chesco has been killing me. And Mr. Beast is the eleventh most the subscribed channel on all of, of YouTube. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, it's okay. You'll join it. You'll take over from. I gotta just see how you play a little bit before I go in. Yeah. Right back. Actually. I was warned you play a lot of big pots, but you yeah. usually have it. Yeah, I, mean, I usually Can lose, so it should be basically free money for you guys. I just started playing six months ago. Three okay. Yeah. Ace Queen Jack here as Helmuth Check. open limp the button with the blinds Check. now at two and four thousand. His queens are best, and his position bet on the flop draws the curtain. I have a queen. Anybody want to see, or you just believe me? I believe, I'll like to see too. Yeah, all right. Trust but verify. All right, so I want to hear more about, tell us a little bit about your, uh, hmm. so you have a YouTube channel for finance. Right, yeah, I talk about uh, really anything that's going on in the market. Just try to make it fun. I'm not great with names, but we saw, we saw, we saw a uh, guy who was doing the sports stuff switch to stocks. Uh, Portnoy? Yeah, Portnoy. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. He's cool. big into gambling. I mean, his thing is really just, let's go into the most wild call options, make a whole bunch of money, have fun with cool. it. Yeah. But. Uh, by the way, Portnoy, I love you, and thank you for putting <laughs> me in the latest thing. I'm just a little tired right now, so. Well, more. Now, is that working on more sponsorships? <laughs> yeah. A <laughs> couple of black hooks <laughs> on the button for Dolly. Well, I don't think we're being paid by Pop-Tarts, so. There you go. Thanks. Wow. If yeah. Phil's not being paid by Pop Tarts, that is just a genuine affinity right for breakfast treats <laughs> in the afternoon, no less. Oh. Whoa. Here we go. You guys have fun with that. <laughs> mm. Big potter right away. The senator will defend his ace eight limp, but Mr. Beast. Steps away. Little Texas Legends. And right away, an ace in the window, leaving uh, Cruz in front. Oh. Hmm? It's a 2 4. Uh, oh, yeah, you can always look right there. Yep. Oh, perfect. Wow, this is so professional. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen something like this. Cruz All right, so leads for 10,000. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Doyle why, uh, makes the call. Why do, why, why do all of my nieces and nephews love you so much? Now Ted picks up a good basically give away money for a living. Oh, <laughs> give away money. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> good person to have at poker. Exactly. Right? And a million dollars worth of fireworks. Yes. That was probably one of my favorite videos of yours. Yeah, that was crazy. We bought the biggest fireworks in the world and launched it. 
Really? Yeah, I don't That's know. That's cool, man. We can just talk about whatever. Yeah. Like they're, okay. While well, they're just deadlocked. <laughs> if someone bets big and someone's studying, then we, then we can stop. Oh. oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> You're giving money away now. Well, the bets are pretty sizable. It was good you asked. I think you got me, Ted. 16,000 pre-flop, 10 on the flop, 20 on the turn. That is ace king or ace queen. And now 20 on the river. And a huge chunk of Brunson stack is heading to the senator, who now is the chip leader. Such flair with how you guys throw the poker chips. I've just been pushing them in. I've been doing this wrong. <laughs> wow. We have flair. Yeah. All right. We have flair. Well, he may be the most experienced pro here, but Doyle Brunson has his hands full tonight. Stick around. Poker After Dark is brought to you by Roman. Simple, straightforward, the way healthcare should be. Visit GetRoman.com to learn more. Manscaped. Don't gamble with your grooming tools. Visit Manscaped.com today for the best in men's grooming. And Poker Go. Get in the game at PokerGo.com. All right, so what do we call you? Beast? Mr. Beast? You just call me Beast. Beast? All right. <laughs> yes, yeah. How many people call you Jimmy? Uh, well... Not many, and the problem is if you say that, then most people won't know who you're talking about yeah. when they watch this, so. <laughs> okay. How'd you come up with the name Paul? Paul. Uh, I was 13, I honestly don't know. <laughs> I, I love the names that people picked as kids that just stuck. Yeah, and then you get too big to change it. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good problem to have. You ever think about changing the name? We like have raised no, anywhere I'm through sorry, the process? See the 15, Speaking of good problems to have, how about aces for Helmuth? And Dude, this time, oh. Jimmy, who makes okay. his living giving away money, apparently. First Beast game. versus Apex Predator. He's yeah. certainly Apex poised to do some of that with this 7 8 offsuit, although he flops himself an open ended straight draw here. Um, I'm all in. And oh leads out for yeah. 10,000, which is promptly yep. piled on by Helmy. You can flip it over. I probably shouldn't ask for advice. but No, I'm not going to ask for advice. <laughs> so it's uh, 7, 8, 9, 10. I mean, I feel like I'll hit a straight, so let's do it. Call. No. <laughs> I just sat Dang. down, but let's see what happens. Oh, oh my no goodness. <laughs> Look at Phil oh, Helmy. Wow. Oh. All right. Did wow. everything he could. Yeah, you know, I had this happen the other day, right when I sat at the table. The first hand I played, he had pocket Thank aces. You. The problem is, it's bad for the podcast if you lose. Like, it's bad for the show if you lose because you're, I have plot you're a armor. Big draw. Watch this. You're a big draw. I, I know I'm going to win because I have plot armor. Oh man! Wow. Yeah. All right, let's see it. It's a good one. I guess I can't give my. If he hits it, I can't give my usual tantrum. It's a charity event. Oh gosh. Ooh. All right. Well. Not there on the turn. One more tug at it. And Jimmy on a two-hour delay just landed. The suspense. Is he headed back to the airport? Ah, oh, darn. Sure looks that way. All right. So what was the percentage chance I would hit it there? Uh, well, two to one. Two to one? Yeah, you can multiply. There were eight cards you could hit for. Do, just, do you want them? Four sixes, yeah. four jacks you could hit, so multiply that times four, so about 32%. Okay. Gotcha. Plus you could make two pairs. So in my case, would you have folded? I would have folded, um, and I wish you would have folded for the show wise. <laughs> 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 because, because we need Mr. Beast. Does he, he can well, say it. I actually disagree. Yeah, yeah, of course. Wait, I think, can, can I we, think can that's the best possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's the best possible. Oh, 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 well, they they, they want to do an interview with me real quick. Yeah, he gets to okay, stay. Right. We'll leave him here for another hour, though. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, so now I just got to see her watch everyone play? <laughs> and now you can just give color commentary. Yeah. yeah. And just say. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. How many hands were you here for, by the way? I, I, that was the first hand I played. And this dude gets pocket aces to my left. God. I did t He does have a reputation of going all in. Yeah. <laughs> you gave very accurate scouting. Yeah. Right. Here's another look. Helmuth jamming with what else? Pocket aces and Mr. Beast deciding he just can't fold that open ender. And that sends Beast to the rail where he is standing by with Jeff Platt. Well, Mr. Beast, you are most certainly fearless, I would say. Take us through your thought process throughout that end. Uh, well, if you play it back, I pretty much said it. Yeah. Uh, I don't know percentages, but I felt like there was a chance I would hit a straight, and I didn't. So. <laughs> Next time on Poker After Dark. Oh my oh. God. Alexandra puts the others in check. That would be crazy. Mr. Beast plays the pawn. Let's go. 
and the senator protects his castle. What did you call her? Alexandra. Chess girl. I've got two daughters. The grief I would get for chess girl, I'm not willing to endure. <laughs> Mr. Beast, is it hard for you to watch the great ones win? No, I'm just messing around. I'm giving them content. Tonight on Poker After Dark, Texas Dolly and the Texas Senator get it in. All right, well, I'm probably on the tail end, but I'll call. Graham tries to stave off eviction. I guess I'm all in. Let's go. All right. All right. Let's go. All right. And although Mr. Beast has been eliminated from the game, that doesn't mean he's leaving the studio. Mr. Beast, is it hard for you to watch the great ones win? No, I'm just messing around. I'm giving them content. Welcome back to the Las Vegas Strip, everyone, as we embark upon night number two of our charity sit-and-go, a star-studded affair of politicians, poker pros, and social media personalities. Here at the Poker Go studio at Aria Resort and Casino, I'm Ali Najad bringing you the call, Jeff Platt on the sidelines, and there is Phil Hellmuth with all the chips after busting Mr. Beast. Godfather himself, Doyle Brunson, and United States Senator Ted Cruz, who was front and center for the final hand of our last episode, which spelled the end for Mr. Beast, who is standing by right now at the bar with Jeff Platt. Do you see the potential of your audience kind of joining you on your, your poker, poker journey? journey? Yeah, uh, maybe a little bit. Um, what I do online is so different sure, than that, sure. so it's like, yeah. And with so much going on, do you see poker as a a release or just a fun game to play or, or how do you look at it everything i mean okay. name a form of gambling that's more fun yeah. you know what i mean everything else just feels so skillless you know what i mean and in vegas will you divert from the poker tables will you play blackjack will you play craps nah, will you play all that, okay. i hate all that okay yeah. so there's something to be said right about poker versus these other games like you feel like they're, they're, th that poker is a skill base game, yeah? Yeah, I mean, there's a reason he won that hand and I didn't, and <laughs> he's been playing longer than me. Um, any friends or any family that you have that, that plays poker? Not really. I usually okay. just come here occasionally and just play some hands. And do you think that yeah. you could see yourself coming back here? Oh, 100%. Okay, there yeah, we go. I'm coming back as many times as I'm invited. Okay. Yeah. That's on, and, and next time, I'm going to go for four hands instead of three. <laughs> Hey, how about you go back to the table? You want to hang out with them for a little bit longer? I don't even know. I feel like I'd be impeding on their game. It's, it's up to you. We got a couch. We got a chair. So is he gone now? <laughs> it's unfortunate. No, no, no. We, we, we were in Italy last week, and we had someone who kind of sat with us, and it worked well, actually. I can't mention the name. <laughs> I just will let you break me, Senator. Oh. And Brunson <sighs> is going to try his man out here with King Jack off suit. Well, we can tease you a little bit at least. Right? Another all in. <laughs> all right, Who's joining see. me? Let me read your shirt. Yeah, who's trying to do it? Tremendous amount of crap shit would be a great idea. Great product. I love Steve. Very true. How old are you? 23. 23? Giving away all that money? Sweet. I love it. Well, it's on brand, you know. Exactly. Nice life. All right, well, I'm probably on the tail end, but I'll call. Here we go. Oh, boy. Doyle, King Jack. Ted with ace nine, so right. Ted is a favorite here to take out the legend. Wow. Three to two favorite. The biggest legend in poker. Hit him on queen a couple of Texans squaring off yeah, here, and what a treat it would be for the senator <clears throat> if this ace nine would hold up. There's no interesting well, cards. And he could add busted Doyle Brunson oh. to yeah. his long list of accomplishments. Over the course of his career, obviously, Dolly is hoping for a king or a jack. Yeah. All right, Dolly has wow. three jacks, three kings. Da -da 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 -da. That's six outs. That's 38 outs for Ted. Yeah, that's truth. I'm not good. Go ahead. Oh, on what? 36 to eight. And is it there for Doyle? Oh, no. A 10 on the end and the second <laughs> casualty wow. of the evening. Extraordinary privilege. It's a lot of fun. Wow. Yeah is okay. none other Thank than you, Doyle. legendary Doyle Brunson. 
Dolly, I've missed wow. you, Dolly. Well done. My crutches here, whatever they are. We're dropping like flies. Yeah. <laughs> Ever since I sat down, people are just <laughs> well, losing. People are just going all in. <laughs> Well, it's true, as soon as Mr. B sat down, he lost all of his chips on the very first hand he played. And now Texas Dolly is out in sixth. When you were trained, did you figure out stuff like how many big I know it's early, but yeah. the all in with you and Phil yeah, was I pretty cool. Play with and, you guys and the chop, are, are we strong. doing like a little yeah. game afterwards? Oh, I just wanted to shake your hand. Thank you so much. Okay. Yeah, yeah, there's a game, there's a game with uh, Thank you. a private game here. No. Doyle, do you mind if okay. I take a picture with you? Can I get a picture with you? Thanks so much, man. Here, give me your camera, I'll take it. Thank you. Sorry, there you sure. go. Thanks so much. Yeah, Pleasure to play with you. I know we didn't get a chance I'm to talk to you. North much, Carolina. <laughs> the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Yeah. One, two. So. You've always been there, right? Yeah. So there you go. It's because oh, everything so I do much. is cheaper. Right. But yeah, my yeah, warehouse yeah. and yeah, stuff in LA would cost like $50 million, but I'm just fine. Yeah, no, million. of course. Of course. Yeah. And then you have your entire Got team me on there, that. Right? Exactly. All the people. Yeah. So it's been fun. I don't, I don't really awesome. find LA. Thank you. I feel like LA just has a bunch of distractions. Oh, I agree. I agree. Yeah, if I was here, I would play poker all the time. That, that's why I'm in Austin. I'm going between LA and New York, but every time I'm there, it's just so busy. So then you go back and I'm like, okay, I can actually be heads down when I'm home. Exactly. Uh, like yeah. in Greenville, post Malone. Oh, post Malone. Oh. And he's like, he's, he's like, like, yeah, he post loves Malone. Malone. Yeah. yeah, that he's, guy. He's uh, an investor in my esports team that I play for, or I guess I'm a content creator oh, nice. for. So he sometimes plays with Envy. He's such, a, he's such a nice guy, but he's very happy and living outside of L.A. Yeah, yeah. It's, like, it's overrated. He was in L.A. Where and he's we, like, you know what? I just don't like it. 5,000. Yeah. Hmm. Ted. You had Ted. to read on me that Ted, I was weak. Did you weak. see this? Did you see this? <laughs> yeah, you had me that I was weak. That's why I was throwing him in. No, I never do this to a professional poker player, but I'll do this to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> now you gotta win a hand against them so they can play that back and look, make them look bad. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so Beast, oh I, I gotta we tell have you. another clever yeah. guy. My daughters are 10 and 13. I already met them. Oh, yeah. good. Aww. Actually, surprisingly, they're bigger fans of my friend. They're like, is Carl here? I was like, no. Aww. Sorry, Aww. Carl's not here. You just they had been me. asking me for a week yeah. if Carl was yeah, coming. Yeah, I, I know. Probably not. I had to be the letdown. No, my friend's Aww. not here. It's just me. But, but, but they may have undersold how excited they are about you. Like, yeah. I am blown I away. To be playing with Phil and Doyle, frankly, like, I am fangirling, which I'm not going to admit to him, but it's true. <laughs> yes! <laughs> but, yes! Woo but my girls are like, yeah, 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 poker smoker. Yeah. Mr. Beast, are you <laughs> kidding me? So they flew to Vegas to meet That's you. That's so oh, sweet. Way. That's amazing. Well, I actually cool. go hang out with them. Uh, and well, we and my, my 10 year old, dinner, her fifth grade watching. friends did not believe. They're like, you are not meeting Mr. Beast. We don't believe you. And, and she's like, <laughs> dad, tell him, you, tell him I am. That sounds about right. Anyone that's like below the age of like 17, that's, that's, they usually will know who I am. Anyone above, it's like, who's that? I've heard Mr. Beast before, but I didn't know, you know, and, Which one? and yeah. All right, so what's um, the biggest thing? I'm checking who's a super excited. We bought an island and put people, a bunch of people on it, and the last person that left got the private island. So, like, it's a bunch of weird things like that. In the Palmas. Oh, that's, what did yeah. the island cost? Uh, that, it was like 800 yeah. grand. It wasn't oh, yeah. like a big one. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah. we had to build a beach on it because it didn't have one. It didn't have one otherwise. <laughs> yeah. That. But my favorite thing is we put a million dollars in cash in a room and had a bunch of people put their hand on it, and whoever took it off last got yeah, to keep yeah. it. Yeah, my boys, I mean. And how long did that last? What was Surprisingly, that? only 39 hours. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I know. Surprisingly. Yeah, I mean, it's because they had to stand and they got tired. Yeah, I'll take a. Uh, 39 take a, hours? I would have still had my hand on that money. Are you out of your mind? In the last one I've played poker out. longer than that. Wow. Yeah, and I've, it only took 39 hours. Yeah. Wow. Beast. Makes sense. I mean, Hit me up next time you got one of these crazy I mean, island I, I million dollar things week. going on. I mean, with that much money. You say that, but then it's kind of like. What, I wonder how long the island, island thing to took. Exactly. Yeah. Because it's not like you have That's to stay really cool. on that like island that. forever. You're just the last one there. Now you own it, and you can turn around and flip it. I actually yeah. watched the footage of you saying PewDiePie, PewDiePie, PewDiePie. Oh, it's <laughs> counting to 100,000 was the hardest thing I ever did. Really? Yeah. How long did that take? 40 hours of counting. I just, 40 hours? That's how I got my break after I yeah. dropped out of college. I just counted to 100,000, and everyone made fun of me, but it worked. <laughs> I heard you met Phidias, who said Mr. Beast a hundred thousand yeah, times. Yeah, that was also funny. Yeah. Raise your hand if you dropped out of college. Only two of us? Oh, oh I never three. went. 
So, uh, so that, that, you should you drop out. You should have so, gone yeah. for two weeks, then dropped out. Come like on, chess girl. You know, I mean, you're, you, but you're just one who's focused <sighs> on like you know getting stuff done. You probably got straight A's. It's really disturbing. Yeah. Yeah. Straight A's. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a shocker. Oh wait, I guessed. Everybody Straight had A's, clubs. Chess and champion, you know. Well, Alexandra. That's more boring. You do less exciting things if you're good in school. With a six. Truly. Has the best hand and is betting it. Blinds at 2,500 and 5,000 now. And right, Travis and Cruz. Release. <laughs> Poker After Dark is brought to you by Roman. Simple, straightforward, the way healthcare should be. Visit GetRoman.com to learn more. Manscaped. Don't gamble with your grooming tools. Visit Manscaped.com today for the best in men's grooming. And Poker Go. Get in the game at PokerGo.com. Welcome back to Poker After Dark, where five players still have chips in our sit and go, but there are six people seated. People love learning. And I, th I think that's one thing that one thing that this in the in 2021. Ted, tell me if you agree. 2021, everybody wants to learn, right? We all want to learn oh. about everything. We couldn't do that, like, you know. Well, I'm older than you, but I oh. couldn't do that in like the 90s. You What's know? up? Good to see you. Tom Dwan. I heard one of this guy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I took out Mr. Beast, which I felt very yeah. bad about. I was thinking to myself, I couldn't help. See, he and I have this very famous heads up match coming for 200,000 in a couple of days. Ooh. Check. And I was Limped thinking to myself, I hope he hits it. Check. I swear to God, I thought this. I Flops hope he hits this. And Clay. I hope Dwan misses against me. <laughs> because Flops. I know you're putting in a freaking draw, Tom Dwan. 10,000. Checked around on the flop. Call. Clay. Fires 10,000, figuring the nine must be good. Graham makes the call. So I do charge 25,000 for lessons. You can have some for free. Oh, okay? thank you. Diamonds get there that. on the river. And you can still root against me today. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. How many clients do you have? All, All right, so what Travis. are the clients do you have? Uh, I, only I mean, 25,000 sticks only his last 11.5 out there. Yeah, but that, that, that seems a Graham little Graham says call and. charge more? Do they not work? All right. You're right. All right. All right so that's Phil, all what she if wrote. Do an intro huh? poker lessons YouTube. Another one bites the dust. <laughs> you can decide how much of this you want to give to the world. Yeah, actually, you but should. But I bet you it'd be a heck of an advertising. Yeah. To like. It's a great idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Even, know, we've got cross marketing going here. I love that. I love that. I love cross marketing. Yeah. We have like a lot of cross marketing going. Oh man. Going on here. And, We're both centered. and a cute lack of acknowledgement of the fact that Come Clay on. Travis has just been Sports. felted oh, really? by but, um, Graham Stevens. Depending on who's in the show, it, it can go bigger. I've, I've had a. Um, do you follow NBA at all? A little bit, yeah. So uh, I had Draymond Green come and film with us. Mm -hmm. And of course, the network loved that. Um, he's a really good player, man. I've is worked he? hard with him. Yeah, I've worked really hard with Dana. How big is he? Uh, man, you kind of, I feel like shorter than you'd think, you know what I but mean? But is he thick? He plays strong. Oh my God, he plays strong. Yeah. Like, watching him play, watching people try to dunk on him seven footers. Yep. And he's standing underneath the basket and just goes up and like, I mean, his, for me, it's really fun to watch someone who has great strategy. Big blind and Ted, you, no you, respect. you would see, you would see Draymond take the ball out, come screaming up the floor and he always makes the perfect pass, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Tournament director Paul Campbell stepping in to say it's time to race off some chips and color up. And as they do that, we look at the stack sizes. Brought to you by GG Poker. Up over 300K is Helmuth in the lead, followed by Senator Cruz, chess girl Alexandra Botez, and personal finance and real estate guru Graham Stephan. Blinds now going up to 3,000, 6,000 with a 6K big blind Annie, meaning Phil still has over 50 bigs, but Graham with only 20. Has a little bit of work cut out for him. So how you can't would make you that summarize it's just, what it's, just it's eight, about? It's, it's eight life tips. I feel like I could read it in five seconds. It's so <laughs> it's <bad>. 70, <laughs> well, The text is so big, too. <laughs> it takes 70 minutes to read that book, and, uh, and it's just eight life tips. Mm. But Oh, and it's One a great place to put your pop tarts. So why, uh, explain this to me. Why, why the flick of the cards when you throw them in and fold? It's just style. Yeah, but like, doesn't that Sadly, increase the chance that they flick over Sadly, cannot give you action with these. I'm sorry. Maybe a little. 
Yeah. Whatever. There's a little style to. Interesting. You learn not to like. It's bad form to show your cards. You're right. Oh, sorry. So I, no, not you. You were fine. You you showed it after the hand. Like, yeah. That, when you're that was... folding, it's bad form to Obviously, show it. Obviously. Yeah. yeah. I thought at so the end like, of it. So he's like, why are you okay. flicking your cards? And I'm like, newbie. <laughs> <laughs> I can fold a million different ways. Mm -hmm. So would that be a strategy to look like you worse, you're worse than you are? Just like fold them like normal. Well, I can't get away with any of that, but yeah. Yeah, if, if obviously you weren't one of the Chess girl could players, sit down at a table and kind of pretend she doesn't know what she's doing and they'll try to bluff her anyway. They're like, she's not going to call me. They don't know she's a chess grandmaster. She's not like, a grandmaster, just a master. Just a master, okay. Are you ever going to be a grandmaster? No, it takes so much time. I'd rather put that towards something else. So, so like, what would it take to go from master to grandmaster? How much? I mean, it, it, some people debate if everybody can reach grandmaster. Most people say you could get to international master by, mm -hmm. by just talent alone. But I'd Six. have to only focus on chess um, for several years to try doing something like yeah. that. And how many grandmasters are there in the world? I think there's something like, how many are there right now? A thousand or so? Yeah, focus on chess for and several most years? Most people did were either a prodigy or they only focused on chess for a I certain mean, amount of time. How much Adderall so would that require? So if you go to school and you don't drop out early and you're not ahead of it, it's, you're not going to be competitive. What is it? Where did you go, Miss Straight A's? Uh, one more. Huh? Where did you go, Miss Straight A's? Where did I go wrong? Yeah. <laughs> college. Where did you go to college? Uh, to Stanford. Stanford. Oh. Oh, wow. Well, I live right, I live right there. Oh, you live in Palo Alto? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, yeah, I, I think I saw that. Stanford. Yeah, it's a nice school. You went to nowhere. At community college for two weeks. <laughs> so. yeah. I didn't make it either. So what was the first instinct oh. to become a YouTuber? You were, was it the counting? Was yeah, that that's the what sort I of That was the first viral video, yeah. yeah. And, and then like, the whole world just made fun of me because I wasted 40 hours. It, where did the idea come from? So you're sitting there, are you with a buddy and having a beer and suddenly said, let's <laughs> no. count? Or I'm, what? I'm like 19, yeah, just dropped out of college with no hope. And I was like, well, might as well just risk this and just sit here, like, because I didn't have money to do anything else. So it was just like, what can I do that will go viral and not cost money? And, and that's what I came up with. Actually, fun fact, I was watching Game of Thrones, and I also was like, how can I make money while watching Game of Thrones? And I watched, like, three seasons while counting. No <laughs> wow. way. Yeah. Oh, my really? God. That part I usually leave out. So. Yeah, 15? I heard a story of how when you started, it was you and your friends, and you said that you guys are just going to focus on making content and got super obsessive about it. Is exactly. that right? That's yeah. really cool. For, for three years, you weren't allowed to date, drink, do anything. You woke up and made videos. <laughs> fun times. All right, cool. so is there a video? Speaking of fun times, how about a six on the like, turn right, for this Phil Helm? Definitely where I buried myself alive for two days. To jump out in front of I Graham Zayce. What did you do on that? I haven't seen that one. I just literally just got in a coffin and buried myself alive. In a coffin? Yeah. So did you have oxygen in it? Yeah, and then there was oxygen going in. And then did you have lights? Uh, yeah, and some lights, and then just a camera hooked up. And then my friends were like above the ground just messing with me, like trying to cause an earthquake or as weird as so it is. So you're in a real coffin. Yeah. Uh, six feet under? How? Yeah, like how probably like eight or nine feet. Wow. And yeah. then how, and you put dirt on top? Yeah, exactly. And then my friends just messed with me up top. They could like control the lights. They could play music or like scream in the microphone and stuff like that. So it was like funny because it's like they're just up there doing whatever they want. And I'm down here being tortured and people loved it. Are you a masochist a little? <laughs> <laughs> no, I take it you don't get claustrophobic. Oh, I'm very claustrophobic. I had to sleep in a coffin for like oh, many days house. to train for that. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, so like the weeks leading up, I would just sleep in my nice garage hand. in a coffin. Well, you can put this ace deuce of nice clubs hand. in a coffin. Nice Damn. Yeah, that was pretty lucky. Oh, Helmuth man. goes from sixes to trips right, to sixes full I need you to take and gets three streets of value from Graham, <laughs> who is left with just 52K. Mr. Be Mr. Beast, is it hard for you to watch the great ones win? No, I'm just messing around. I'm giving them content. <laughs> oh, by the way, I'm totally not super spiteful. We're dropping like flies. Yeah. <laughs> Ever since I sat down, people are just losing. <laughs> All right, you should go on against someone else. Why, why only me? <laughs> wow. All right, with those last chips, I need you to take these. <laughs> yeah, right. No, that's why you rate, right? Yeah, I did it purely for content. <laughs> purely. I didn't think I had a good shot of winning. Right. Uh, 15. There's the 15,000. That's just throwing away money. Big stack. 
Willie's from the button with the 9-7 I didn't need that suited. much of a hand to call you, Phil. Mm. I know. I'm aware. <laughs> I'm aware. Can I play a hand for you? I would. Uh, <laughs> do you trust me enough to play do. a hand here's for what him? We're gonna do. I'm going because because no, this is a charity event. I, it doesn't yeah. break any rules if I play a hand for him. It would break rules, but what I can do is I can show you my hand. Okay, and, and you can, can, can whisper. I, I can make the decisions for him. I'm not saying you're going to make the decisions. Yes, come I'm on, let saying, me for one hand. Come on. <laughs> no, because you're going to just move all, all in. in. No, no, I promise <laughs> I won't. Unless I'm just going to move all in. Unless I firmly believe. I will let you look at my hand, and you can whisper. Is that okay, everybody? It's fine. Okay, no, you got to do what I say, or I don't want to do this. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. okay, do say it. you're going to fold. So. Okay, I'll okay. fold. Next hand, next hand. Yeah, when something interesting comes along, it's fun if you tell me well, what I'm to small. do when I do the opposite. Um, and it's three. No, I think it's I funny think if you just let me play for you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got it. Trust. Uh, I firmly believe whatever you get next hand, you will win. So I'm going to wait for Jimmy to be in the hot seat. <laughs> right. <laughs> you want to see a hot seat? Let Jimmy control what Phil does in a I pot. Know, we're not having much fun filming. Yeah, we're about to make it more fun. This okay. is great. Are you kidding? We everybody, just, just everybody's me laughing. Okay, Mr. Beast, we got we have to know how you started giving away money because that's that's cool. The the first one I did is I tipped pizza delivery drivers a hundred bucks, okay, and then I, I just kind of enjoyed it and just got bigger yeah. and bigger from there. It's amazing. So wholesome. So do you have a oh, total for how much money you've given away? I do, but I sound arrogant if I said it. So. No, you're, we're not going to send Eric. Senator Cruz just I, I, I gave away $100,000 in a poker tournament. That's, <laughs> it's, it's a big number, but it's like, and then it just sounds like I'm flexing. Okay. Cool. You would never flex. Nope, I'm humble. All right, how about uh -huh. this? Can you yeah, well, let Phil like, flex for you. Who was most excited? Like, whose life was impacted the most? That oh, was like just great crap. question. Yeah, it's weird, because, like, you would think it's, like, the people who win a million dollars and stuff, but sometimes you give someone a few hundred bucks and, like, so yeah, they come back the next day and they're like, I could take the weekend off to hang with my kids and I don't have to work overtime and they're just like crying. And yeah. All right, here, I'm giving you my good choo choo. I believe there in you. Yeah, exactly. Oh. I need it. Okay. I'll hold it for the next I can still come back. Helm you. I am trying to outlast you. <laughs> Betting oh, 7,000 with a wheel I draw. Oh, yeah. Third I guess. place is a thing in this. Oh, yeah. yeah. Third place gets gets money through one player, there. but certainly isn't going to get through the senator the who has aces up and any, all right, is <laughs> raising it up. But here's the one guy, take it. I guess it was fitting he was out early because right. he gives some It's on brand. Exactly. Anyway. Yeah. exactly. In fact, he would be offended by only giving. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> He'd be like, it wasn't enough. Right. <laughs> that was my protest. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Kidding. I know, I know. So how many? How much money does he have? Look at his stack and tell me off the top of your head. Head? Yeah. Uh, Don't 66. count. 260. 260? No more. I'm gonna say it's 310. If you can look at stacks. It looks like, yeah, out. I'd say 295. I, I think it's a little bit. What percentage three. of the chips? Well, and are not that board. far apart, though. Yeah. I mean, our blues are. Say it again? Uh, what what percentage it? of the three. chips on the board three. do you have? Does that matter? Oh, sorry. I feel like it, you would track random. I don't things. think, you know, it's interesting. Oh, I don't sure, pay sure. as close as. <laughs> again. What matters is how many Thank big you. blinds you have. And how well, why did you stack them like this? Is it random? Oh, doesn't look kind of neat. Okay, I didn't know if it was to block your. It's an NFT, man. Oh, yeah? <laughs> You're selling it online? No, I'm not selling it for poker. <laughs> All right, Phil, here's one. Are there any pros that can't do the chip tricks? No. Every pro can do chip tricks. Hmm. Because you just sit... Because so you heard it here. If you can't do the chip tricks, You're not you a pro. suck. <laughs> <laughs> Phil, okay. quote him, said that. And I quote. Well, All right, that was, start that was, practicing that now. was edited. <laughs> By the way, oh, actually I said, it wasn't. what I said was da 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 If I don't see this on Twitter, I'll be mad. <laughs> <laughs> You're threatening a lot of people today. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is so much fun. This of course, I do have all the chips. Yeah, it, was, it looks like. Where's that? Where's that saying? Everything's funny when you have all the money. <laughs> so Phil. Hold on, we're looking together again. Okay. So far, we've picked up. Oh, oh, okay. well, that's a hand. Okay. Well, you finally let me. So, what? How much would you raise? Because I'm gonna raise. Is it on you? Yeah. I would just double it. I would. I can't by gaming commission rules accept. I'm gonna make it 15 though, so it's close. You okay. Well, okay. All right. That's my gaming decision. commission. Yeah. <laughs> It's like the algorithm for YouTube. <laughs> Stop blaming the gaming commission. I just feel like you two are not bluffing as a team, so you know, enjoy. Yeah, it. I know. Wow. <laughs> Good read. <laughs> nice. and, see, wow. in a scenario like that, That's you nice. should have you should have said no, we're not betting, and then I should have <laughs> yeah, been yeah. like, yes, we're betting. We could have <laughs> yeah, 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 double yeah, yeah. bluffed them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
That's true. Yeah, every hand you're like, no, no, no. And this yeah. one you're like, okay, how much are we betting? Yeah. And they're supposed to be like, oh, I wonder what he has. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like, that's a fold. And you'll be like, no, I insist on race. <laughs> yeah. uh. I will bet this is this this uh, this session gets the best ratings. You think so? Best ratings ever in Poker Go. And I thought Do most Poker wow. Go people not talk much? Well, because oh. because we have we have our we have our social media superstar here. True. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to respond to that. Yeah, look, we're going to turn out every teenager on the planet. It, Let's go. It, my not daughters even old are enough a measure to gamble, of but they'll be watching. And that's awesome. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm kidding. I mean, and then Alexander's going to teach them all to play chess. Exactly. There we go. And then we'll educate the next generation. <laughs> there. This is a funnel. This is all chess propaganda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, and Clay's got to come in oh, with some good I, I, sports. Welcome like, back, Clay. Yeah. Clay I know, like, I've been talking off the stat here. Like, what are you doing a, over there? I was just meeting everybody because I got wrecked on the game, so I might as well just go talk to everybody. Are you? How are you doing, by the way? Oh, you're, well, you're, as yeah, soon as you left, it started going downhill. So we're, got you back. we're a little short stacked over here. Yeah, you know. I can see how this one's going. Now my cards almost hit the muck before your chips. <laughs> I was trying to get my cards in the muck before your chips hit. Top pair in a gut shot for Cruz, who bets and takes it, and Clay Travis is gonna hang out. He was eliminated in line. fifth so place. So Doyle Brunson. Come in and just lose immediately. Like that's the best possible result. I mean, it'll be funny. I guarantee you I'll see it on Twitter yeah. whenever yeah. this goes up. Yeah, People yeah. will be like, You're gonna what? get invited to so many poker games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <Like suddenly. laughs> so here's my professional yeah. poker record. 0 for 1 all in. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Here's my professional poker record. I lasted two hands. <laughs> yeah. uh, everyone watching is gonna invite me to like hundred thousand dollar buy in yeah, 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 yeah. You're you're automatically invited to every game. So, that, so we're in a good situation for you to now train me, so now yeah, I can yeah, hustle yeah. a bunch of people. Yeah. It's not hustle. You, you don't have to ever hustle in poker. You just say, hey, listen, uh, you know, I've been working hard on my game. Let's still help you. And you're going to get invited anyway because everybody wants to play with you, and then you can. There we go. Yeah. True. Actually, I didn't think about it. So, like, Draymond I'm, I'm, and, and bigger I'm, names, they get an advantage because if they're good, people will still play with them because they are interesting. That's my edge. So I should get good at poker. Yeah, yeah. of course. It is a photogenic group here at Poker After Dark as we look at the images from a star-studded sit-and-go, which is now down to its final four. You think you think that you think they're not going to invite you to every game, chess girl, with your sparkling personality and teasing? Thank you, thank you. You're in, you know. Does that make you just want to take all the chips? Him calling you chess girl? <laughs> no, I, I like chess girl. He's. Boy, I'm chess girl. Yeah. <laughs> I did, I did, you're the right. Superheroes, though. superheroes, nobody I did needed. check with her because, like, it was a little... <laughs> I, I missed that part. But so once, she, once, once, once she liked it, I was like, call me yeah. Pokemon. I'll, I guess I'm all in. Let's go. Yes. All right. Action. Okay, all right, good one. Intense See. music. Graham, limp the small oh, blind with King 10, and he is behind the senator. Oh, who, but only, yeah. only about, you know, 55%. Yep. Uh, Puts them all see. in with the ace knight. Yeah, good, yeah, good hand to get your chips in. I think, I think it's just fine. I'm going to do it. You had to go in somewhere. That's a great place to do it. He's all in than mine. Well, you know, he has been here a little longer. Yes. I am See, this one, whose chip is that? I don't know. I don't know. That's yours. Oh, oh wow. He's wow, that's a ball. really wow. good flop for you. Oh, now he needs oh. heart, heart, or a jack. There's only four jacks, so you're only about 16% right now. Good right. straight draw against Maybe top pair. Quick yes. and, and see, all the rest of us knew that. We just wanted to let yeah, go. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> heart makes it interesting. Wow. Oh boy. Hey, welcome to Okay, I'm going to tell you what's going on right yeah. now because this, I, I am see charity chance? events. Do I have you have four wins. Yeah, yep. the Senator Cruz has 40 wins. So it's possible. Yeah. <laughs> have you it's seen possible. Dumb I'm, not, I'm not out yet. <laughs> yeah. 10 to 1 underdog. The man needs a jack. <laughs> he does dun, dun, dun. indeed. Ooh. And it's not there. Oh, there you nice go. Wow. Game. One and less constituent right, in the so Poker After Dark district for yeah. Yay, Senator right. Cruz. I'm just trying to survive this one. I just folded it all. And the charity yeah. money bubble great. has I burst as yeah, yeah. all three of the remaining competitors yeah, let, will be receiving yeah, a minimum of $5,000 for the charity of their choice. 10K will go to second and 20 to first. Then there were three left. Here we go. I'm folding. There's a new chip leader, ladies and gentlemen. Golf. Golf. The senator from Texas. 
Well, Graham, I'd love to chat with you about your Poker After Dark experience, yeah. but there's a more qualified person yes, here. Mr. Beast, it. you got this. You go. got this. I'm Come out. I'm in. out. We'll see you guys later. Okay. Okay. All so, right. good to see you. I just wanted to know. You know, I lost literally like 40 minutes ago, and then I could do whatever I wanted, and the entire time you kept playing. Do you regret not just losing when I lost? No, I wanted to make it to third. I mean, that was my goal. If I could just make it to third, I would be so happy. I, I've honestly only played poker like four or five times my entire life. For the same people? Yeah. They want to finish first, second, or third. Wait, what's up? For the same people? Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I draw, it's either last or first in my case. Okay, we'll give you that. <laughs> <laughs> Which I did a good yeah, job at. Yeah. Okay, well. Could have worked. That, that was Could've all I wanted to ask, so I'm going to give the other guy his job back. <laughs> so the chief, Rehnquist, was an amazing just gambler. He, he would bet a dollar on everything. And he would, I mean, he would wager how many inches it would uh, snow. In 96, in the presidential race, he was betting on how many... Uh, electoral votes Clinton and Dole would get. Oh, that's awesome. And he usually won. He yeah. was a oh, wow. smart guy. Yeah. <sighs> he was a Milwaukee right, guy. So I was invited. Here. Yeah, I was invited. I was invited uh, to play oh, the game good. in DC. Yeah, I'm having um, fun. This, this type of stuff's fun. There was a game that <sighs> you and I were, well, we won't talk about that. I didn't know you played poker that much. Um, but, yeah. uh, but I was also I'm, invited I'm to play to with two of the Supreme Court justices. But not those two. So well, why not? That's pretty awesome. What's, mm -hmm. what's the bind? New rule: You're not allowed to say there was a game in DC. So like Stop. It was literally like say we won't talk about that. Yeah, Shoot yeah, right Senator now, Cruz a look yeah, and then leave us hanging. Phil. Too, or? Yeah, I mean like minimally. Yeah. Minimally. So I bet very very small. Uh, you know, I bet a thousand or two, or or if it comes to NFL totals, I might bet ten thousand. Yeah, yeah. Um, do you do other like backgammon competitively? There's some similarity. No, I'm not. I'm not good at backgammon. Um, the guys are good lessons. at this. That's an impressive game. I think so, really too. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet you can play backgammon. I, I think it's fun. My dad taught me a little bit, but I haven't taken oh. it seriously. No. I imagine you have the kind of mind, though, because backgammon is mathematical, right? Mm -hmm. So you have the kind of mind where you become good quickly, I think. 10,000. Three-handed action, Helmuth. Limps from the small well, and flops like nines against the senator, who checked like back an ace and turns too. into he sevens on this flop. In rapid Ten thousand. Okay. Four liner on the board, and Phil's still firing. Not very much. It's more understanding. Opening theory is a lot of memorization, yeah. but the rest you have to understand the concepts because you do very rarely get seven the same positions. When did you start playing? Seven. When I was six. So were you good instantaneously at six? Like, were you better than most six-year-olds when you first yeah, started? Yeah, I won nationals oh. two years later. Pair of nines yeah. with so, a queen. So that's why my dad pushed oh, me um, towards it. Uh, eight, he, thousand, sorry. Oh, eight, sorry. Yeah. Oh, you just had to be eight? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they have to, they, have, they make me make that eight. With the blinds at four and eight thousand, that is the min bet and Helmuth. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Small pot. But Gives there crews a milking. Know, winning chips, that. Yep, yep. I was futzing so around with slightly other? worse than you had. Yeah. Community kind of knows yeah, yeah, yeah. 52 bigs for Phil, 40 for the Senator, and 16 bigs for Alexandra Botez. As we flash back to those who came and went, Mr. B still hanging out, but he lasted only two hands. And then the two Texans squared off King Jack against Ace-9, and Cruz busted Doyle. And it was Clay Travis's turn, and most recently it was Graham Stephan leaving us with three as we head to a break. Stay close. Welcome back to Aria Resort and Casino for more Poker After Dark. All right, Beast, who's your favorite YouTuber? Oh, boy. Oh, you can't put you're, me you're on You're getting trouble like in that. that. You're going you're gonna... to... That really <laughs> put him on the spot. Yeah, uh, here, I'm going to say Phil. I, I, yeah. I love this channel. Ah. Yeah, he totally, he, he does YouTube, right? I think. Right. <laughs> what was that was first? a cop-out. That's like a... But that's believe. a very political answer there. Yeah. <laughs> what was it's your... like me asking you who, like, uh, like, who your favorite politician is. <laughs> right. Senator, <laughs> who's your favorite? <laughs> <laughs> Do you watch any YouTube? You know, I don't don't really. I've watched some Mr. Beast videos. There my we girls, go. Like yeah. when I said, "All right," <laughs> so I was Moving like, to "Texas." Yeah, no, no. They were showing to me. I saw the one where you were giving, trying to give away a house, and had uh, the sign had the keys, and like yeah. pull the key out. I was like, "All right, that's pretty fun." My and boys then, are obsessed. Like, in fact, I'll read you the text. 
they thought they're going to be really disappointed with how quickly you got eliminated. Um, but uh, my 10-year-old said, uh, when do you play Mr. Beast? I said, he'll be here in a little while. Here, let me send him a little video. What's his name? <laughs> Lincoln. OK, let's, let's see if we can make him freak out. Oh, you will. Or you should FaceTime him. I don't know. Yeah. I think he might be at a high school. Uh, I went oh, to watch a. a what up, no, if he, but so. Mr. Beast knows if he sends him a video, oh, yeah. Yeah. he'll be showing I'm, it I'm to recording all it of right his now. friends. So, Lincoln, yeah. your, your father knocked me out. Um, of the, I'm kidding. He didn't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, Phil did. I hate him. But he's going to. Yeah, I hope you have a good day. And if you, you say he's still in school. Yeah, he's a Yeah, then show this to everyone in your class. You're cooler than them, just so we're all on the same page. <laughs> <laughs> that is that's you well, done. well done. Yeah, there there well done. Nice. Well done. That's sweet. That is definitely going to score um, some points for Lincoln. But yeah, they Lincoln. were uh, absolutely Clay Travis's blown son. away. I did um, something like that this morning for someone who's getting married. Yeah? It's just nice. Why wouldn't you do the video, yeah. right? Do you do cameos? Make people happy. I, have ca I, do, a, I do cameos, but I've Yo, been missing So I can make you say anything on a cameo? I'm going to buy one right now. <laughs> <laughs> to you, mm -hmm. I'll probably say anything, but otherwise I'm a little cautious. <clears throat> That's funny. 16. OK, 16. chess girl. Are you sure you want to mess with me this hand? Yes. Let's go take him down. <laughs> Thanks. Here we go. Alexandra. I think we both have really Min good Min raises hands. her queen jack point. against Helmuth, who has a seven, and she right, flops top pair. This one. Yeah, you would normally be in the middle of this. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I don't want to intrude on the shot. Wait, was, were these? That's your chain. That's my chain. Mr. Beast, sit down, please. OK. We, we like All having in. you in the. All oh, of it? Oh, my gosh. Wow. All right. I said down. OK, I did All start right. with a very good hand this time. So. Mm. I'll show you one Wait, you out of generosity. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Good hand. She had a queen. Wow. Good hand. There you go. She had a, she had a queen. Ah, come on. I wanted you to call that one. Wow, you could have called Did you have ace, there king, or king, queen? Who knows? Oh, Ooh. very smart. <laughs> Maybe I had a deuce. <laughs> Some fearless play from Botez and also fearless table talk as she proves she can go toe to toe with the brat. Welcome back to Poker After Dark, where Alexandra Botez is so charming that even Phil Helmy doesn't mind losing some pots to her. I gotta say right now, I actually me. think Phil and Alexandra could do a show together. <laughs> <laughs> Just like the banner back and forth. Or something. Basically, Poker play chess girl. Basically Poker her giving girl. Phil grief the whole show. <laughs> and yeah, people oh, yeah. would watch She's, it. Yeah. It's like a show where they make a move in chess and then they play a hand of poker and they start like a new sport. Oh, yeah. Uh, eight. I mean, Mr. Beast intuitively came in and made fun of me. Like usually usually they have to hang out with me for a day before they realize. A lot of people just don't like you. No, they they love me enough to make fun of me. Uh, I hope. <laughs> I hope. All right. Ted, I am Senator, I call. Check. Heads up. I Senator will. has a good poker face. <laughs> I'll bet nine. He does have a good poker face. You will be behind as the gentleman from Texas has sevens. See, this was a really, really first-rate starting hand. No, no, no. The problem is, what am I going to hit? Right. I don't know. <laughs> what if I, I just want some action to watch. That's true. There's That's true. no straights here for you to. <laughs> You're right. Forward. Never mind. No straights fold. They have to be your style. <laughs> One raise, one fold. I can see you're going to need a lot of coaching. <laughs> <laughs> a little bundle. He's just yeah. going Ted's totally. way. Good line. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's doing it for TV, so when he's training, people don't know how good he is. Come on. Yeah. Uh -huh. Come it's, on. Will come you just on. let me tease the poor guy? But playing dumb, it makes great content. Totally what I'm doing yeah. here. I know all the percentages. Small blind. Uh, four, right? Yes. This is a, this is a really fun uh, match. Let's see if I can find a way to win it. I'm going to make it 20,000 to go. Let's go. Now, if your mind right now is in deduction mode, Phil didn't raise last hand with ace nine of diamonds. Must be a better hand than that. Da 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 Logic. But you mix it up too, right? Oh, but oh, mix it up. Could be anything. Could be anything. I don't know. You raise it to 20? Correct. Sorry, I'm just a call. I'll let you two fight this one out. You know, if he and I were to put a lot of chips in, you might like. I just might, might score my yeah, way to second. Yeah, now you're. Yeah, yeah. Now you're like, all right. Now it's a minimum second. Cruz speculating with the eight-six suited. 
Comes up short on a jack five deuce board, but ace nine not exactly nutted. 18. Yeah. Nevertheless, oh, yes. follows through for 18,000 and takes it down. I had you before the flop. I'm sure you did. No. Okay. Screwing around. But if I'd have hit, you wouldn't have had me on the cards. Would never have figured it out, yeah. So, how many people do you have working with you? Like, what's your team now? How big is the crew? Right now, we got around 100 people. Oh, wow. 100? Uh, yeah. All right, so what do 100 people do to put, I mean, that's a lot of people. Well, yeah. I mean, if I'm burying myself alive, like yeah. 20 of them are studying how to bury people alive, get auction mm -hmm. supplies, running tests for a few months, or figuring out how to buy a private island. It's mostly logistics more than filming. How do you hire? At this point, it's just, people that are just all around intelligent because it's different, you know. Like, one like day, but are you involved in the hiring process at this yeah, point? Yeah, because it, it's just like you don't hire because of their skill set. It's just like, are they coachable, a grinder? Right. Because like no one knows how to buy an island, oh. bury someone alive, sell houses for a right. dollar, walk a mile in the world's largest shoes. You know? Are so, they intelligent? That's a good answer. Are they exactly. based everything in North Carolina? Yeah. So they have to move a lot of them. Of so course, yeah. Like right. you have to be almost one of the biggest employers in your town, right? Like uh, behind the hospital, yeah. They, they have two thousand wow. employees, so yeah. I'm getting. It's that's a ways away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's so, the goal. And is the revenue model? Is it straight advertising? Is that advertising brand deals? Uh, we we own a restaurant um, and stuff like that. The burger, kids, burger place, right? Yeah, yeah. exactly. So we My have a thousand. My kids ordered locations. your food, like uh, the beast burger or whatever it was. Like yeah. we had that. Um, Which that that's been crazy because yeah. since it's a virtual restaurant, I mean we can sign. Oh, how does that work? We we can sign like 50 restaurants a week. They just start serving our food. We we train them up and then. You know, um, people can order on DoorDash, Uber Eats, Grubhub, and we can just grow as fast as we want. Yeah, that's pretty wild. I know they were delivering because we were curious. I was curious. I will like, say. Like Fuka de Beppo. That was, like, yeah. I was really basketball. hoping you'd bite. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, you had me so trapped. If you bet just Those a little less third, on the flop. Third pair of kings she's had. I don't you know are what's owning happening. that hand. I don't know what's happening. I should have sat Ted, there. I had yeah. a flop, too. I flopped they, a pair. They know Did I'm you? a chess if, player. If she bets 15, I'm calling. I didn't know what the right amount was. 20, I'm like, I think she has something. Poker After Dark is brought to you by Roman. Simple, straightforward, the way healthcare should be. Visit GetRoman.com to learn more. Manscaped. Don't gamble with your grooming tools. Visit Manscaped.com today for the best in men's grooming. And Poker Go. Get in the game at PokerGo.com. You would have called. I had a four with oh, a jack kicker. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> I, I need Beast influencing you more. <laughs> what, my old roommate is actually applying, I think, for um, like a product manager position. Uh, one of your really, yeah, one of your food startups. Yeah, Not I like startups. this. This is like a you know yeah. resume. Yeah. There yeah. we go. Yeah. Right. You know, this is a productive yeah. like, uh, yeah. recommendation. Yeah. All right, do you recommend man. a higher said person? No, I do. She's <laughs> great. She's really smart. You're like, we don't hire her. We went to college together, also. Okay. And it's yeah. well, I can't really do much with that. But after this, yeah. just tell me your name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Obviously, I won't say it. Again, Phil Let's and tell the whole world but I was just talking to her the other day. Cruz, so excited about what square you off, jacks against wow. threes. And this paired flop may prove to be troublesome for the senator, especially once Helmuth checks. Check, check. Right. Oh, that was a good check, Ted. Mm. Oh. Will you pay off 15? <clears throat> nope, I won't pay anything. <laughs> Certainly not once you get counterfeited. As Phil tried to trap. I had, I had, I had fantasies here. of I'm going to win a big pot. I did too, and you crushed my dreams. <laughs> oh, my oh my gosh. I feel like All right, that now things are going to get serious. I'm being yes, things are getting here. interesting. Yeah. Not a lot mm. of blues. So we're going to play a heads up match uh, maybe later? After this, right after this. Right after. The same table when it's done. And you know what? First hand, touch. Philly's going all in, and you, you might get knocked <laughs> out. Yeah, yeah. Could be I'll, I'll put ten grand on it. We'll play Could be a short money. match. Let's let's Look, do a deuces heads up. against aces. One out of five times that wins. I mean, I wonder if I wonder if I wonder if they should film us. That might be fun. I, I think, think that needs to be filmed. That's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You already have a content mind. There you go. <laughs> can, I, can I bet free burgers for life? <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, that would be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I can do that. I would take that bet. No, and it's yeah. five. I'll do right? that. Twenty. How much do you want to play 20, for? Heads up. Ten's enough. Whatever. I don't know. Or more. Actually, let's do ten, and then let me buy in as many times as I want. Well, that could last too long. But hey. Uh, yeah, but the longer it goes, the more money you take. That's true. I, I, I normally I'd be very excited, but I have a lot of family in town, so uh -huh. yeah, I'm balancing that with uh, my parents are here. 
my brother, all my sisters, all my nieces and nephews. Oh, wow. So, yeah, so I... They can come watch. Yeah, think how excited <laughs> they'd be to watch. They would actually What, be what would be excited. more exciting for them? They would be excited to watch. All right, here, I promise I'll, I'll in in like the first five hands. Keep it quick. Next time on Poker After Dark. The point is you don't high roll Bill Gates. The sit and go crowns a champion. Oh my oh. God. <laughs> Will it be Senator Cruz who's got the moves? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we already said you have a good poker face. Chess girl becoming the queen. Beast, what would you do? Raise. <laughs> or will the amateurs fall to the pro? Oh my God. Oh! You do that to me again, I'm gonna start raging. I can dodge bullets, babe. Tonight on Poker After Dark. Beast, what would you do? Raise. <laughs> <laughs> the final three play on to determine a champion. All in. And with the busted players looking on intently. Oh my gosh, what did I miss? Bill Helmuth makes sure to put on a show. Oh my gosh, oh! No one is rooting for me in this room. Welcome to Poker After Dark for the final night of our special all-star sit and go event. From inside the Poker Go studio, I'm Ali Najad in the booth with Jeff oh, no, Platt on the floor, play and play at the table, we've You're got right, three right. players but with chips. Saying, like, Bill Helmy, nice. Alexandra Botez, and Senator yeah, Ted Cruz, and three go. players looking uh, on for fun. So we're That's Mr. Now, Beast, Clay one. Travis, and Graham Stephan. As we rejoin the game, action is on Botez in the small blind. He's a fan of yours, big fan of yours. Well, awesome. Tell him thank you. Yep. And... I'm sorry, there we go. 30,000. I'll tell you, I'll tell you, Ted, what I liked, uh, what I liked. Um, King three you know, you for Botez. I'm in the middle politically. Mm -hmm. Picks off, so big. when I looked at both sides, I was like, what I look for is reasonable. Yeah. And you were reasonable. I was like, I like this guy. Thank you. A long time ago. That's it. Up. No more compliments. <laughs> yeah. He's like, he really wants me to call that all the yeah. yeah. time. Uh, Very reasonable. <laughs> it's reasonable to push all my chips in the middle. <laughs> yeah, but you won't do that because you're reasonable. You won't do it with nothing. I'll make it a call. This was a hand that everybody else would raise with. Beast would all in it, of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Beast would already be all yeah. in. Check. Yeah. And it would have worked this time. <laughs> Your favorite. Yeah, I actually was... played a 6 9 hand the other day. 12? Uh, yeah. I just remembered it. And did I ended win? up winning a really big pot against <laughs> something. And it was so funny. That's funny. Yeah, uh, yeah I did it. I was playing with Reed, and I okay. beat him with that as well, all yeah. in with 6 9. And he thought it was so dumb. <laughs> okay, 5 10 blinds. Oh my God. Wow. I mean, you can tell there's an intensity, right? Like. They're, they're both kind of laughing and joking, but they're both just a little bit nervous, and they're both evaluating. They're both trying their hardest, mm -hmm. which you can clearly see. Of course. Right, and I always try my hardest, so. I, I three know. people that are always it trying It burnt me. All right, Alexander, I'll t tell you the most fun I've had playing chess. Please. Ooh, I want to hear that. Uh, which is college. Uh, did you, what, who did, what did you call her? Alexandra. Yeah. I have chess another girl. name. Chess girl. Chess girl. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, go ahead. I've got two daughters. Okay. The grief I would get for Chess Girl, I'm not willing to. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, she calls me Poker Boy, to be fair. You started it. <laughs> That's more of an inner rivalry. Yeah, all right. I won't try to pull Ted in. Ted's a little too so smart. So what was the story? So summer between sophomore and junior year, um, I go with some friends of mine to college to Japan. Mm -hmm. and we spent about a month in Japan teaching debate. Okay, that's cool. Uh, which was really cool. Very cool. Yeah. But one night we went to Mount Fuji and climbed Mount Fuji all night, which is spectacular. If you ever get a chance to do it, you leave about eight, nine o'clock at night, you yeah. climb all night in, in the dark, and then you see the sunrise from the top. Really? Oh, that sounds fun. And a buddy of mine from school. Had, so it takes like seven, eight hours yeah, to climb. It takes all night. And, it's, and you climb through the clouds, and you're above the clouds when you wow. see the sunrise. Oh, my God. And so a buddy of mine who was in school was... Um, had been the New Jersey State High School chess champion. And so at the top, 
we played 27 consecutive games of chess at the top of Mount Fuji. Waiting for the sun to come up. Yeah, it was just kind of, and he beat me 27 times. Okay. <laughs> but what was fun is he would beat me and then he'd set the table back up and he'd run through the game. He said, okay, you moved here, I moved here, you moved here, I moved here, you moved here, I moved here, you moved here. With perfect That was recall? a mistake. You shouldn't do that because you did this. I'd, and it, like, it was the coolest like, <laughs> educational wow. on top of a mountain. It was wow. the most fun I've ever get, had losing 27 times in a row. That is the sure. coolest place I've ever heard people play chess. Yeah, yeah. yeah. oh my God. Maybe there's better fun. things to do. No, it's just cool anyway. I mean, yeah, it's cool regardless. Ted dropped in the, oh, and then he went above the clouds. Yeah. He, he had us, so yeah. he already had us, but we were like, Shame what? it went down before Ten. YouTube was around. Ted could have monetized the hell out of that content. Poker After Dark is brought to you by Roman. Simple, straightforward, the way healthcare should be. Visit GetRoman.com to learn more. Manscaped. Don't gamble with your grooming tools. Visit Manscaped.com today for the best in men's grooming. And Poker Go. Get in the game at PokerGo.com. Where, where's, where's an amazing place you've heard people play chess? I played in Times Square recently. Got a table there. It was really cool. How many people did you play against? I don't remember. I mean, it was like anybody who wanted to come up and play yeah. against you. Yeah. Take all challengers. Exactly. Exactly. Have you done this like simultaneous play multiple? I people? have done that before. Yeah. And how hard is that? Um, it's only hard if you're standing for like six, seven hours because you just oh. start getting oh, physically wow. tired by the end. Have you done a video on it? I haven't yet. I'm. I'm yeah. Planning. If you did a video titled, no, I'd, would you title I'd be it? ten Little, people right? in chess at the same time. I guarantee that I'd get ten million views. How would that not? Uh, okay. Okay. Well, I don't know if you can do that, but. That I, oh, I definitely can. <laughs> then, yeah. Dude, dude I, who wouldn't click on that? Right. Well, yeah, why I stop mean, at like, 10? I, I find it interesting. Ted says he's not a YouTube guy, but he's seen something on me on YouTube, something on you on YouTube. Tom set no you waiting you. for Botez, and the senator's got a piece oh, here. This could he's be trouble. Got a good staff. As he limp yeah. called. How many people work for you? The 20K raise, and now he about is 70? reaching for okay. chips. So I've got about half of them in D.C., half, about half in uh, uh, Texas. All in. All in. Oh snap! Wow. I'm gonna keep snap. You're gonna call one of these days. Ooh, with a little talk at the end there. Botez, trying to induce a payoff. How much do you have there? I guess. Um, let's see. It's gonna take me a while to count. Okay, twenty. Maybe. How how do you count all of them? What would you? Oh, sorry, well, that's right. Just show me how many blues. Yeah, just, sorry. Okay. These are yeah, red blues. Can. 68, about 100,000, 105,000 maybe. 106 to be exact. Cruz has 214 back. Beast, what would you do? <laughs> Raise. <laughs> Raise. Would I would money. still find a way. Uh, all right, I think I'm losing. But I'm gonna call you anyway. Let's go! Whoa. Wow. Flip them up. Thank okay. you. Flip them up. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Losing is an I understatement oh, in this okay. spot. Trap. Yeah. Is worse. What a trap. Whoa. Nice, nice wow. hit. Just a small raise before the flop. Nice Very clever. Chess Running player. jacks are the <laughs> only path Poker to victory. Wow. Chess girl, I said chess well, player. Well, let's see. You can anything could happen. Maybe there are some not chop much. Outs. Not much yeah, could happen. Jack here. Yeah. No, Jackie still loses. Oh yeah, true. Jack seven. Or Jack Jack. Uh, you know, he basically needs a 10 and an 8 for a tie. Yep, yep. Jack, Jack. Um, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. there's so the now 10. he has some ties. An 8 or a king for a tie. Yep. Which would be really that unlucky That for would you. be crazy. And chop sounds good. Really <laughs> glimmer of hope. <laughs> you just chop it down. Can we just degrade a chop? <laughs> Can we the just senator would be all too happy to go shares he's here. <laughs> okay. Wow. I'm nervous. All right. Oh, Not going to no. happen, though, in a 262K pot. What a hand. Great hand. Heads toward Botez. Nice hand. Thank you. See, that was very clever, only raising 10 before the flop. Very tricky. I also limped King King with you, but <laughs> and then I went too far with the 20. Yeah, I dodged that one. I can dodge bullets, babe. Oh, you really did. You While really we finish did. the accounting, let us take a look at the chip counts. Brought to you by GG Poker. Helmuth all alone up top with 480,000. With the blinds at five and 10, that's 48 bigs. 26 bigs for Botez, who just doubled through the Senator. And Cruz has just 13 really big nice. blinds. Sometimes to get people going. are a little quiet and they're not as much fun, to, you know. Yeah. 
I mean, this freaking girl over here, all she does is tease me. Oh. But it's fun. <laughs> all he does is bluff me. But I and fold. gets away with right. it. All right, Phil, but, here's a story I've heard. I, I should have asked Doyle while he was here because it's a story about him, but maybe you know if it's true or not. But, so the story goes mm. that Doyle was at the Bellagio with Bill Gates. And, oh, gosh. And that Bill Gates says, hey, Doyle, how about you come down here and we play 1,000, 2,000, hold them. And the story goes that, or, or, or Doyle says that to Gates, hey, 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 Bill, come up here and play 1,000, 2,000, hold them. And the story is that Gates responds, hey, Doyle, why don't you come down here and play 1 billion, 2 billion? Yeah, that's, that, was, yeah, that was about how it went. Yeah, yeah. Really? Is that a and real? Did he do it? It's too, I've told well, that story a hundred times, so it's, it's too good it's not true. to be true. You, oh you know, I mean, Doyle's wow. messing, you know, the point is you don't high roll Bill Gates, right? <laughs> so, I mean, you can't call him out and he'll be like, you called me out for this much money and I'm gonna call you out for this much money. Great. Bill Maybe Gates used to play $3, $6 limit hold'em at the Mirage. Thank you. Many, many years ago. Man, that's insane. And the story there yeah, was, like, what difference does it make how big so or small he plays? Stories and such an yeah. overlap yeah. between yeah. actual poker pros and just celebrities, you know? I mean, yeah, literally, literally, there's a game in L.A., the best artist in the world, mm -hmm. the best comedian in the world, the best, like, and it's just, like, the energy is so there. good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm invited to that game, but I don't always fly to L.A. to play it. Um, but it's just fun. It's uh, What's the vines? Uh, that game may be combined for 20,000. So is it just like not worth your time to fly down there and play it? Actually, they played, the, the last time I played in that game, and I'm, I haven't mentioned any names. Guys, I didn't mention your names. Um, the last time I played in the game, they said, hey, we're gonna play this like 200, 400 blind game, 20K buy-in. And I flew in and it turned out it was like six times that big. Nice. Wow. And I kind of wasn't that comfortable at that level, I was like, yeah. You know, I just people? don't, I don't win, I don't like winning and losing 500,000 in a night. Interesting. Um, but a lot of people do. So you've got me intrigued when you say the best comedian in the world. I don't, I don't want you to identify him, <laughs> but it, I, I'm sort <laughs> yeah, of running through ideas. like. Yeah. Check, check. That is a highly subjective title to assign to a comedian. Botez. Binks I mean, a three on the river. I just don't think I can bluff her. <laughs> I'll check. Okay. Jack high. I have one three. <laughs> oh my God, she, oh! Wow. What is she, oh my. Okay, that might be like, you're, normally I might give like a tirade. <laughs> I want to see rage. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, oh poker boy. Oh, nice, nice. She's going about it the right way after firing 15,000 with yeah. dust on the flop and getting there on the end. God Tell me he's peeled with the gutter ball. My fault. I should have just bet the turn. Should have. Yeah. You took your one swipe at bluffing. I called you and then you gave up, which was reasonable. Yeah. And then you hit a three. That's exactly what happened. <laughs> That's a very good analysis of it. Well, you do that to me again, I'm going to start raging. You're scaring me but not that scared. I think you'd prefer the rage. Yeah, I would like to see the rage. I 32. Think 32. 32? Oh, yeah. I just want to be in one of those wow. compilations on YouTube. <laughs> It'd be funny. It's just a montage of you raging and one of them just in the background. That'd be <laughs> funny. <laughs> or the, guy, or the, the, the younger generation, the first time I realized it, when I was going off and they were smiling, mm -hmm. and I was like, this is not the intended consequence, but I felt really good about it. So. I'm raging, and they're like, yes, Phil's raging at me, I'm in the club. And I was like, this is messed up. But it was also, I appreciate it, because I'd rather, if I'm going to rage, I'd rather have somebody laugh at me yeah, they than have it affect mad. them. Yeah, also yeah. Big one. Here we go. Cruz with the deuces. The U.S. Senate versus the Chess Federation. <laughs> <laughs> Defended as big. Here at the eight and 16,000 blind level. And on the seven four tray board. I just comes don't out understand swinging. what hand could have been so good for him to play before that he would raise with three, four, seven, unless he has two clubs. Or, That's a nice analytical mind right there. Right.
Here, hold on a second. Let me let me assist in this process. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, there okay, we go. there you go. Right. Oh. It's harder for me to read now. Yeah. There you go. Well done, well done. We already said you have a good poker face. <laughs> You need the headphones now. Hmm. I need a hoodie. And a hat. Yes. I oh, well, I didn't bring a hoodie. I think because my <laughs> girls would laugh at me if I showed up in a hoodie. Well, nice. one of us. That was, worked. That was nice. Nice bet. Yeah. That was nice. If you had two clubs, you should it show worked. up. <laughs> I hope you had two clubs. You know, as they say, I'm not dead yet. <laughs> nope, Only nope, mostly nope. dead. <laughs> There's a lot that? of pain here. <laughs> And the U.S. Senate wins again. Yes. yes. Some versatility behind those Ray-Bans. It's a cross between Poker Pro and Country Club right Cocktail right. Hour. Welcome back to Poker After Dark, where Jeff Platt spoke with Senator Ted Cruz earlier, talking about whom he'd like to play cards with. Uh, we clearly have a great lineup in store today. But what, Senator, is your, your dream lineup? If it could be you and five other players, they don't have to be poker players. They could be, what, what five would you pick? Um, you know, I don't know who would be interesting to play with. Um, you know, Reagan would be interesting to see around a poker table. Although, actually, among presidents, the one who was probably the best poker player was Richard Nixon. Hmm. So Nixon, apparently, when he was in the Navy, like, made real money and helped pay, to pay his way through law school playing poker. Um, so you can kind of see Tricky Dick as sort of a scowling, <laughs> uh, you know, you don't imagine him as, as a chatterbox and, right, a, and, right. A, and a real friendly player, but, but you could imagine him, him being pretty tough. Uh, you know who would be fun to play poker with? He's, he's passed away since, but, but Robin Williams. Sure. Um, just, and I have no idea if he could play cards or not. Um, and living, I, you know, who I threw out there is Billy Crystal. Uh, you know, kind of a similar talent to Robin Williams of just funny and interesting, and, and, and that'd be a lot of fun. But not the land. Gotcha. Yeah, a little, little ugly. We'll play. <laughs> Something's going to happen eventually. Cool. King, I mean, four rainbow if you and I play pot. Up, I wonder how fast it's going to be. All in on like the fifth hand, maybe. Yeah, probably. Like, I call, I call, I call. Let's do it. <laughs> what? And give me one buy in, though, so I can mess up once. Or two buy ins, so I get two bullets. I mean, um, I just need enough where my luck can play into it. You, but what if, but what if you're making a lot more money than me. 32? Then should I spot you? What do you mean? Cool. Nice bet. Botez Thank you. checked back the ace in the big after I the senator limped. And <laughs> that's in position on the flop to take it. But we don't have to. We can play for 1,000. It doesn't matter. I don't care. Yeah, but then it's not fun. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> but <laughs> OK, you guys are balling over here. Well, I have a match for 200,000 in about four days there against go. Dwan. Against Dwan. Oh my God. So is it That's a tough one. Is it 100K each? Yeah. What's the most you've ever yeah. lost in a day? 536,000. Nice. What happened? Why, what, like, did, okay, so did I you was, make the right decisions in the, I mean, like, how I was, would you assess it post game? So I was at, like, the Hotel de Cop. I mean, it's a great story. I was at this, at this hotel in, uh, I think it was the Hotel de Cop. And I'm playing Phil Ivey, massive stakes. And things got a little out of control, and I lost 536,000. Wow. And so then. Cash game or tournament? Uh, just kind of call it a cash game, just heads up. We're playing a game called Chinese Poker. And uh, I was so bummed out. We played all night. You played all night, then continue. Well, I'm, I'm waiting for you to act. I'm studying you. Studying me. Study. 64, like chess. 64,000? Like 64 squares on the board. Yeah, 64,000. 64,000? 64, yeah. yeah. I, I'm putting it in, sorry. That's a massive mm -hmm. bet. I have a pair, but I fold. Oh, OK, I'll just keep these. So then, uh, so all right, we're playing. And then, um, and then I was so bummed out mm -hmm. that I called my wife. And I said, honey, we just. Let's sell the house. <laughs> no, I said, honey. Um, I was so irresponsible to lose 536,000. 
that before I go to bed, and I'm going to stay on the phone as long as it takes, uh, I want you to write a check for 300000 to some charities and, uh, and pay down the mortgage. So I said, exactly, I'm going to spend exactly a million. Yeah. And, uh, and so that's what I did. So, I mean, at least, at least for my... What was her reaction? At least for my... Well, I mean, I mean, is she like? Yeah, she, I mean, she married like, professional yeah, poker yeah, players. No, she, I mean, I listen. think most married guys think if I go to my wife and I say I've lost five hundred, whatever. I mean, five hundred grand. They, their reaction wouldn't be, "Hey, let's uh, yeah, give away like three hundred yeah, yeah, grand yeah. more." Oh no, she was not happy. Yeah, she was very. She was, but well, but to her, would, but I was upset enough for both of us. That was a call. So. I don't know about your wife, Tevin, but like when I play blackjack at a table, she stands over, she doesn't like to play herself, but she stands over my shoulder, looks at my cards, and questions every decision. <laughs> <laughs> like, so. Double. Really? But yeah. It sounds like my dad when I was playing chess as a kid. Oh, I, was yeah. hovering. 20,000? 20,000. Yeah, so, I mean, like, my wife was not thrilled. I mean, it's a big number. But um, the, the second half of the story I'm proud of because we gave this money to Doctors Without Borders. Oh, that's great. Right. That's and, awesome. uh, yeah, and so I was like, you know. Um, and I'll tell you, that was a rough trip. I remember I left in the middle of the night uh, and drove eight hours to stay with my sister. Really? Yeah, I just I kept picking up kings against aces in the in the uh, tournaments, and I was just like, what if? But you didn't wow. question your decision-making, like, on the play. I mean, like, you, the percentages and everything else just went against you? Yeah. Well, like I, you... I shouldn't have been playing that high. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, how has your strategy changed since then? 40,000. 40,000? Um, my strategy, you know, if I'm going to be playing, like, it's just too much money to risk in one day for anybody. Yeah. I mean, not for anybody. Um, if I'm playing with my friends and I lose that money, wow. that's oh, yeah. just shove. Okay. All right. I don't have a choice. I have to call. You two play it wow. out. Ace, queen, I have. All right. Sorry. Oh! Ace, king against ace, oh, no. queen yeah. as the chips get in the middle. No get revenge for me. Oh, wow. I thought the way you put the money you were strong, but I, I can't, even as good as I am, I can't get away from ace, queen. Yeah. yeah. Wow. That hand right. kind of played itself. Yeah. I love this. Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wait, so, what are the, so what are the odds here? Uh, he's a two and a half to one favorite. Oh my oh, God. Wow. wow. Brutality not, here as the believe, queen high flop is believe. all Phil Helms. Give him a tenor and jack, please. That's brutal. Just give him a king. It's okay. I mean, he deserves it. Okay. Mm -hmm. This Cruz. is not fair. <clears throat> Needs a king and a king alone, and it definitely yeah, isn't so fair. Everybody, everybody at home is puking. You know, uh, you guys are all puking. You're like, we can't let Phil win this pot. Not yeah. Of course it. we can. No, we yeah, can't. Wow. can't. It's not even fair. All right, give me one of her cowboys. She's had no, this one's a king. Oh, man, oh man. Now that was oh, a river. Yeah. Was not awesome. there. And Cruz could do this, nothing better than what he did you there. Yeah, okay. Two and a half to one favorite against me. And uh, you didn't deserve to lose that pot. What you played hands. beautifully. Yeah. It's the name of the game. I, I, I guess, can, can I throw a Helmuth Rage? Yeah, I would I like, like to. Let's, let's All right, see bottle of water. Yeah. 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 Now there knock over your chair. Chair? Yeah, yeah. you got to knock All over All right, I've got to do it right. Is it? Oh, How's this? Yeah. That's it. There we go. That's there we go. Well done. <laughs> All right. I'm trying to live up to the legend. You did it. He's in persona. Oh, that was great. <laughs> Good stuff. That was fine. Right, now right. I feel like I should. You deserve to win. Two of the last. Oh, look, you get it in, no and then wow. we'll be sitting what happens happens. We'll just slide him over uh, next to each other. So that was a good hand. Uh, all right, I'm moved to the other side too. Well, not sure if anyone had Ted Cruz throws a tantrum on their bingo card, but one has to admit that's a pretty decent Phil Helmuth impression. Welcome back to Poker After Dark, where we've seen all but two bust out of our sit-and-go. First, it was Mr. Beast, followed by Doyle Brunson. Then it was Clay Travis's turn to go broke, and Graham Stephan finished in fourth place. And just before the break, Ted Cruz was knocked out by Phil Helmuth, and Jeff Platt is standing by with him now. Well, Senator, I've spoken before with a esteemed up Phil Helm. It's not pretty. Am I speaking with esteemed up Senator Ted Cruz right now? Oh, I had a blast. <laughs> okay. This this was awesome. I mean, this was a chance to sit down with legends. Yeah. I mean, just to to be in the same room for, with Doyle, to be in the same room with with Phil. I mean, it's that's that's crazy fun. I've watched them on TV for a long, long time, and it was. You and I sat down at the beginning, and I yeah. said my goal was I, I want to win one hand off Phil. <laughs> I want to win one hand off Doyle, and I managed to do that, so I feel great. And Phil delivered some really 
kind words, some nice praise about your game afterwards, what'd that mean to you? Oh, look, it was, uh, I was very kind. I mean, yeah. it's, listen, the guy is amazing. He's got 15 bracelets, and between Phil and Doyle, they got 25. I mean, that, 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 that's a little insane. Um, but at the end of the day, I got all in, all my chips in, and, and I was a strong favorite. I right. went all in on ace king against ace queen. You know, a hundred times, you'd do that all hundred times in a row. So, at the end of the day, you, you try to... Sometimes they get lucky. He got in with ace king against ace queen. He deserves well, well to win aware. that pot. He deserves to win that pot. And I, uh, viewers at home that are rooting against me, I apologize. <laughs> but, but you liked that his game. That was awesome. That no, was you great. liked his game. Yeah, but I wasn't surprised. Right. Because you can tell he plays, you can tell he's a Holden player. Mm -hmm. And he had great patience. I mean, really, and then got it in good. When he pushed in, I was like, oh, he might have ace king, but I have to call this. I didn't have to hit it, yep. though. And then he does spike a queen. So finally, Sender, are we going to see want? more of you in the poker world moving forward? Right, look, I, I would love it. It, yeah. it is. I've, I've played since I was a kid. It's a great game. There's nothing like it. Great having you here. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you. Nice meeting you. Thank you for being here. And I'm glad we're helping a bunch of really good charities. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you. Lied about every hand, and it messed me up until I watched the video later. OK, by the way, no one is rooting for me in this room. <laughs> that's accurate. <laughs> No one is rooting for me that's washing this telecast. <laughs> Even my biggest fans are rooting for you. Yes. So you have that going for you. That's true. That's true. However, I'm pretty tough. I, I'm scared. 40? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think there was a beat between those yeah. two. Yeah. Was... <laughs> I'm scared. 40,000. <laughs> well, I wasn't scared on that hand. Heads up between Phil Helmuth and Alexandra Botez, poker boy and chess and girl, for 20000 in charity money. 10000 like going to second. Well, Senator I Cruz is going to hang out, and he got 5000 <laughs> for his third place uh, finish. Dumb, because yeah, I knew yeah, yeah, I was yeah. beat and did it anyway. Oh, which, yeah. yeah, that one, you, yeah. it was dumb. Yep, yep. Well, dumb's a strong word. had a word. chance. That's a strong word. As it turned out, it didn't look good, but I'm going to just call. Call. I had her with an overpair, but not trips. Yeah, that was it was kind of staggering that she actually had. <laughs> <laughs> two diamonds, two deuces, and a jack. Helmuth with ace high, limped in on the button. Forty. And Botez showing off that she understands how to try to pick up pots and do some bluffing. Dan Smith told me aggression works. And she gets through the A-side. Nice works. bet. Thank you. Apparently Dan Smith was right. Uh, they, say, uh, they say when you move, moving all in works until you finally get called. Just never call. It'll be fine. Come on. Do it yeah. for the fans. We already lost no, Jimmy. No, Sorry, no, no, beast no. early. There's, listen, there's like at least 3%. 3% of the crowd's rooting for me, <laughs> and I have to like, you know. Yeah. Give them a good show. I know my wife's around here somewhere. She's rooting for me. Well, she might not even be rooting for me against you. Just eight. Oh. And you've got Stanford on the other side, so that's... Sorry. Yeah. I'm used to online where everything's done automatically. I'll, I'll bet you... Uh, by the way, your wife is awesome. Thank you. Um, I'll bet you that... Uh, I wonder if your wife had straight A's. Yeah, she did. Yeah. She's <laughs> My wife had straight A's. Your wife had straight A's. Our chess, who I lovingly call chess girl, has straight A's. What did you have? Um, I dropped out. <laughs> <laughs> what about high school? I had, uh, no, unfortunately, I had AD, ADD, ADHD. Well, okay. we used to call it ADHD, right? Yeah. No, we used to call it ADD, <clears throat> now it's called ADHD. Definitely had that. And uh, that works against you when you're younger, I think. But a lot of CEOs have it, you know, uh, so I think it helps later. Some but chess players have it, it actually, they're able to focus during the games. Yeah, that guy that played you, the one guy, when I, I saw you were playing that guy who was a master. Oh. I saw the video, it seemed like he had ADD. He was a. Oh, maybe. 40. 40. Botez leads right out with the open ender and a snap call from Helmut. Okay, here we go.
He makes Jackson eights on the turn as Botez makes the straight. Check. You check? 85. 85,000. All in? Call. Yeah. I have Jackson eights. Botez check raises Helmuth all in, oh, and the cooler is on. Wow. Oh my God. Wow. No nice way. hand. All right, so I only have two Jackson. I only have four wins in the deck. Oh, or you're going to have a massive chip lead here. Oh, wow. come on, please. I don't mind losing this. I really don't. It'd be good for the show. And fair and square. One of these weird cooler hands. Yeah. Yeah. No, you had to. You had to. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I was yeah. like, yes. Yeah. When you moved in, I'm like, woohoo! I win. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, she. I don't know what she has, but she can't be Jackson eights. River card is the queen, and Are the four outer right? doesn't come in for Phil Helmuth as Alexandra wow. Botez takes a massive chip lead Dude, and leaves him with under ten really big nice. blinds. Get it up with a higher These are fun to watch. Yeah. yeah, I'm glad. What an exclamation! What an ugly card for me, a jack. Right. Oh. I'm just gonna pass them to on you. On the other hand, yeah. can I really complain when I took out ace queen against no, ace queen? No, no. So. The karma it's not over yet. Wow. No, I know. I'm. Don't worry. Okay. Just reminding you. Thanks, coach. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like. This tea is so good. Two seventy nine. What sort of tea is it? Green tea. Well, Phil Helmy is holding it together after getting cooler there against Botez. And don't look now, but Chess Girl has got a massive chip lead over the Poker Brat. 34 big blinds and 690,000 against Phil, who's got 185K and is in real dire straits with the blinds going to 10 and 20,000. Good news is both of them are guaranteed at least 10,000 to a charity of their choice, but Botez poised to pick up the 20 ball. How will things play out from here? We'll find out right after this. Welcome back to Poker After Dark, where our sit and go is now heads up. And Jeff Platt spoke earlier with our chip leader, Alexandra Botez. I want to get the cliche question out of the way. So what, what skills would you say transfer from chess to poker? Well, from my personal experience, it's probably too soon to say, since okay, I was right. mostly playing socially, now getting more into the competitive scene. But from what I've seen, there's a lot of overlap between poker and chess. A lot of chess players go into poker, and a lot of poker players like playing chess casually. So there's definitely some kind of strategy and competitiveness that goes really well in both games or sports, however you want to call them. And you briefly yeah. touched on it, but how have you gotten into poker over these last couple years? Yeah, so I actually learned how to play poker the same way I learned to play chess, which was from my dad. Mm -hmm. My dad taught me how to play when I was uh, pretty young, I think 10 years old or so, and I would play head-to-head -head with my dad. And sometimes he'd be playing online with work friends, and he'd have to go, and he'd let me play, okay. and they didn't know. <laughs> and then the playing style would change. And I remember one time I won a tournament for him, and then he told all his coworkers they lost his 12-year-old girl, and he was just <laughs> so proud. Um, but then I only played socially, you know, yeah. with uh, work friends or just regular friends. And recently, I've been playing in some of the um, WSP poker events, like the head-to-head -head and a cash game, actually, earlier this week. Two five thousand tips, and then I'll give you 75. Okay. 50, 75. Yep. Right. 20 and 20? 20 and yeah. 20. Yeah, 10, 20, 20. Wow. Ah, uh, Okay. That adds up fast. I mean, I thought, I really thought the match was over. I'm like, a great I just made Jackson eight. Yeah. <laughs> that was dancing. That's poker. Uh, I should have seen your hand and been like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let you get the adrenaline. That's, that's the one. Okay, that's... Well, it's like the line Doyle said, I can't beat that. Yeah, that was yeah. so good. Yeah. That, 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 yeah. was, that was well delivered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or what you do is what you do the uh, the okay. slow roll. The slow roll, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You'd be like, oh my God, you have Jackson eights. What a hand! And then I apologize, and you're like, well, you win, but I have this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just but it, a straight. It's considered rude, right? <laughs> Just as it is, it's considered yeah. rude. It's more of a. Okay. But it's old school rude. A lot of the new school guys. Mm. All right, let's go. Can you finish the deal? All right, has she won yet? 
Not oh, yet. She won a big yeah. hand. Oh my gosh, Huge what did hand. I miss? Straight you missed, against two you pair. All in. Dude. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Dude, it came eight, nine deuce. She bet 40. I called in a jack. I made jacks and eights. I was dancing. All I'm hearing I'm is like, she's it's better at yeah. poker, basically. What you're hearing is she made a straight. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly. Oh, so you, she caught the straight I missed. <laughs> Botez well, with an it ace on the button. So she, knew she had the straight. Yeah. Makes it Probably 50k to go. About it. Yeah, I mean, she, honestly, she got it in with. I mean, it was, it was very cold for me, but. Helmy's defense with the queen nine, not the flop he was looking for. As Botez promptly hits an ace, and he's down to just. Forty. Forty. Six, or five bigs rather. Seabet takes it down. It's the lucky seat, you know? You shift that's true, I did, I did, that's right. That was a lucky seat, yeah. I agree with that. Yeah. yeah, that seat has not basically lost a hand. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I hope it won't. Ay, uh. Ay, uh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that, it's so funny. I'll be in line somewhere, like ordering a Starbucks, and the line's way too long, and I go, ay, uh. And there's always somebody that jumps up yeah, exactly. Who said that? No, it, it spooks me a little too. And I'm like, me. Oh yeah, one more, sorry. So I don't know if I missed this part, but what charities are you guys donating to if you win? Uh, we can't talk about the names, but we can talk about what they do. Yeah. Gotcha, okay. So it's a school in Houston for kids with developmental disabilities and, and uh, so that's one. It is a scholarship organization that gives scholarships to low-income kids to go to private schools, parochial yeah. schools, yeah. the school of their choice. That's cool. Uh, and then it is a camp that helps veterans deal with PTSD. Yeah. And then gives them All great causes. Therapy. So my sister, my sister yeah. developed me disabled, so she's in Special Olympics. And uh, she's here this trip. And so it was always fun for me. I'd go down and I'd host, I'd, I'd host Eva Longoria's event. Mm. Uh, which is basically no action with the suited ace. near you, I think. Mm. Um, Developmentally disabled. That's yeah. my sister. She's great. She finished college. Oh, so she's quite functional and quite functional. Yeah, That's yeah. great. The last of Mr. Beast's chips, the last of Doyle Brunson's chips, and then the last of Senator Cruz's chips. We're down to heads up. Poker After Dark is brought to you by Roman. Simple, straightforward, the way healthcare should be. Visit GetRoman.com to learn more. Manscaped. Don't gamble with your grooming tools. Visit Manscaped.com today for the best in men's grooming. And Poker Go. Get in the game at PokerGo.com. I just toured this week uh, the factory in Dallas of the where um, for the blind and blind people that are manufacturing all sorts of things for the federal government and for the state including you know vests and uh, all sorts of equipment it's amazing the work they do they're doing careful you know people totally blind doing careful wow. stitching and they've got machines you know high wow. industrial sewing machines they do a phenomenal yeah. job do a lot of stuff 30, for the military Botez flops top pair as Helmy tries was, to take a stab on the heels of limping in. 60? 60,000. <laughs> 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 Things not going well for him. Damn it. I'll show you just so you feel better. Wow. Yeah. Wow, that was a really just, nice check because it got me bluffing off my money with Jack. <laughs> no draw. Ay, uh. Ay, uh. Okay. I think cool. I will tell you this if you win this hand, well, let's see if you play or not. Yeah, we'll see. If it... I'm going to predict if you play and win the sand, it's over. The only heads up match I lost, I was playing Nick Wright, the Fox One commentator. And we were playing at the end of one of these, and he beat me, which then cost him to challenge me for 50000 What's your favorite charity? Uh, the one I run. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. That uh, makes sense. What about before? Uh, How would you decide which charity? Probably St. Jude's. Saint Jude. My sister had leukemia, so. Ooh. Yeah. St. Jude's. She's fine now. But oh, did, so she. Work. Yeah. How old was she when she went through Like that? two or three. Oh, it was, wow. Yeah, it was pretty brutal. They she, saved her? Yeah, and she can't go in the sun because she got a blood transplant. Long story, but she's good. But you yeah, remember any kids with it? cancer, just no. Like that just shouldn't be a Yeah, thing. no, it's horrific. Yeah, exactly. So. Thank you. <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, so I've done, I've raised a lot of money for, or I've raised over maybe 12 million for the Philadelphia Children's Hospital. Mm, geez. Did a bunch of poker events for them. Um, now, is there a particular connection I've raised to Philadelphia? Six, I've raised 66 million for charity events that I've emceed. I need you to help me raise money for our charity. I need to learn from you a little well, bit. Well, yeah, I mean, like, um, we, you know, charity poker tournaments passed golf around five years ago. It's the number one way to really? raise money. Yeah, Interesting. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And people just buy in with 45? substantial dollars and everything 45? goes to the Yeah, so I do one for the Warriors. Uh, it's a $10,000 bind, but all the players play. So everybody shows up and they, you know, it's 10K mm -hmm. buy-ins and 10K rebuys and people go a little bit crazy and we pick up $2 million in one night. That's awesome. Mm. Yeah. Well, uh, Phil, you better either pick up a hand or get all of your plugs out of the way right now. I have a, a, the I have last a purple chip. Hand. 49ers. Gets right. in there with 9-4 off suit, wow, and he shares a 9, Where? which is really bad Good news Lord. for him. You're about a 2 and a half to one favorite right now. 2 and a half. Well, we yeah, saw what happened last night. You got yeah, that's true. It doesn't always yeah, work. Okay, yeah. okay, I'm in the 4 business. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. But Jack comes, it's already over, so, yeah. Let's go. I can still call you a chess girl, right? Of course. You beat me? That's forever. Okay. I mean, she might be Poker Girl after. Yeah, yeah I gotta yeah, say, yeah. she might have a new name. Yeah. Okay, now for me, like the three of diamonds is interesting because it gives me a straight and a flush draw. Right. In poker, we kind of root for, although you're just rooting for an offsuit jack to end it. Don't Should be greedy. Be well in front of nine high. Don't be greedy. Okay, with one card to come. Oh my God. This is what I do with your percentage What's your percentage I have three outs. She has 41 outs. Wow. GG. Is this Poker kind of Boy's last well, stand? And will Chess well, Girl emerge victorious? Off. She will. All right. Good game. There you go. Thank you. Very nice. Thanks for playing. Thank you. Wow. Awesome job. Yes. Thanks. A lot of fun. Jack High holds, and Alexandra Botez right. is your the victor. Wow. Poker After Dark charity free roll charity? champ. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna look at the three and decide which one to go from it because it's one of the three that they. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. I really like scholarships because I've always really been. Interested in just giving poker girl, Stanford play. girl. Thank you so chess much. Champion. It was a pleasure. Well done. Yeah. Beat me fair and square. Thank you, poker boy. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> poker boy, that's wow. good. I'm glad I flew out just fair? to lose one hand. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, it uh, was Mr. fun. I'm Mr. Beast, uh, like, uh, would you know, you lasted two hands, by the way, so congratulations. What? And as we draw the curtain, we know that fun was had by one and all, including Mr. Beast, who lasted only two hands, but stuck around, as did Graham Stephan. Bill Brunson and Clay Travis weren't there for the finale, but Senator Ted Cruz. A podium finish, $5,000 going to the charity of his choice. Then Helmuth gets 10, and Alexandra Botez, 20000 as we send it back down to Jeff Platt. Well, Alexandra, congratulations. Going to get to you in one quick second. Phil. Chess girl gotcha. What do you think of Alexandra's game? Wait, I lost? No. You did lose. <laughs> oh boy. Not there, again. There he he already did this once at chess. Oh, never mind. Never mind never okay. Mind. No tantrum. Okay, no tantrum. Okay. How about thoughts on the way she played? Played really, really well uh, for a beginner. Had good patience, uh, made good bets. Uh, she was coached a little bit and she made a lot of really good moves. Uh, also, also, Ted played really, really well mm. too, but I was more expecting it because he's been playing for years. But yeah, no, I mean, hats off and uh, congratulations. Thank you so much. Can I throw a chair? No. No, One more no time. chair throwing. <laughs> Phil, you've been on Poker After Dark almost 50 times by now. Was Chess this... girl's like, I want you to rage. That's I what really you wanted do. that. You really wanted that really temper tantrum. Yeah, it's okay though. It's Keep okay. watching Poker Go and, and you'll get plenty of them. Oh, I will. Is, is this some of the most fun that you've had on this show? Yeah, this might have been the most fun I've ever had. I mean, wow. <laughs> sometimes when you win like Two or three hundred thousand on a show, that's really nice, right? And yeah. fun. And I've done that a couple times in the studio. But this was the most fun I've had. I mean, like, uh, it was really fun. Um, Ted, you know, Ted, Senator Ted Cruz was who I thought he was uh, uh, reasonable, disciplined, super nice guy. Um, chess girl was amazing, <laughs> you know. Uh, she's been fun. She's been, you know, beating the crap out of me all day, which I, which I love. And then, uh, you know, the other players, everybody was just handled themselves really well, and it was fun. Alexandra. Yeah. And we have, we have Mr. Beast, my God, like, I mean, my yes. God. the biggest, like. For all, all of one hand. Yeah. My nieces and nephews lined up to take pictures with him. Wow. 
Oh, you oh, should yeah. tell him you killed my dreams. <laughs> it's all your fault. And I killed his dreams. But, <laughs> yeah. but he put the money in with the 7 8. True. That's true. That's true. Alexandra, your first time on Poker After Dark. What's you her show name? up and you What's win a tournament. A chess girl, as you would yeah. say. Yes, okay. Alexandra, as we would say. What yeah. was this experience like for you? It was so much fun. And not just because I won, but also <laughs> because the company was really good. It was a good cause. The studio is super nice. I had a great time. Does this inspire you to play more poker? What's your future like in this game over the next couple years? I don't think anyone who's ever won a poker game has said they don't want to play more poker sure. after. But I know that the swings come and go. But I have been having a lot of fun, so I hope to play more. All right, congratulations. We hope to see more of you in the future. We know we will see more of you in the future. Ali, let us send it back to you. Well, thanks, Jeff. It was a wild tournament that saw big name professionals get ousted. Successful amateurs proved they are bona fide. And the real winners in the end were the charities. Until next time, I'm Ali Najad saying good night from Las Vegas.